At the family gathering, everyone mocked me as a loser. But the head of a top aristocratic family knelt down and called me chief. Seeing this scene, everyone was shocked. But I didn't care at all, just waved my hand lightly. Two subordinates followed into the building and in 10 minutes wiped out an entire family. Only to see their head kneeling in front of me, trembling all over. Sir, what have I done wrong? If you want me dead, at least let me know why. I coldly said, dare to ask again? My wife He Shu Erong's project will be finalized soon. Why did you use underhanded means to take it away? Do you know how long she cried? Feeling the murderous intent, that head turned pale with fear, realizing that the person called a good-for-nothing from the Yi family was actually you. I sternly ordered him to be expelled, never to set foot here again. To him, that sentence was like a death sentence, but this man was as if granted a reprieve. He knelt down and cowed out desperately, after all, offending the god of war, being able to survive was already a great fortune. I instructed the subordinate next to me to bring my electric scooter, I should go pick up my wife and go home. At this time, Yi Shu Erong was attending the Yi family's family banquet. She was afraid that I would be cold-shouldered for not having dinner, so she packed hairy crabs and abalones for me. But as I was about to go home, I was stopped by Fan Qingyang, the young master of the Fan family. What's so good about your useless husband? He's been in the army for two years and hasn't done anything. You'd be better off with me. Upon hearing this, Yi Shu Erong prepared to turn and leave. But Fan Qingyang persisted, blocking her way. Just then, I suddenly appeared on my electric bike. Drifting smoothly, I arrived in front of him, sparks flying. Already displeased, Fan Qingyang cursed directly, Are you looking to die? But Yi Shu Erong was delighted to see the arrival and immediately ran over, Honey, why are you here? Did you come to pick me up? I affectionately patted her head and said, Wasn't I worried about you being out so late? Hurry, get in the car. Let's go home. On the side, Fan Qingyang was full of anger, Yang Chen, you really are useless. You came to pick up your wife on this piece of junk? Aren't you afraid of being laughed at? I chuckled, you don't need to worry about that. I have enough strength to protect her. As soon as I said this, everyone couldn't help but sneer, as if they had heard a particularly funny joke. Just then, a middle-aged woman suddenly walked over. Yang Chen, you dare to come too? Aren't you ashamed? I recognized her at a glance. She was my mother-in-law, Hao Hongqin, the wife of the head of the Yi family, Yi Mingshan. Yi Shu Erong timidly called out, Mom. Hao Hongqin ignored her daughter and continued aggressively, Yang Chen, tell us, what have you accomplished in the army in the last six years? Even the most useless person should have gained a small official position, but you came back with nothing. I had no expression on my face. Do you really want to hear about my time in the army? Fan Qingyang said, then tell us, let's see how you managed to go from a regular soldier to a squad leader in six years. Everyone looked at me mockingly, waiting to see me make a fool of myself. I glared back with cold determination in my eyes. I briefly recounted my first year in the army without holding anything back. I became the core reserve elite of the army. In the second year, I was appointed as the captain of the special forces. In the third year, I became the youngest battlefield commander. By the sixth year, I had become the chief commander of Kyoto. Everyone was shocked. They had wanted to mock me, but even though it sounded unbelievable, there was a feeling that made people want to believe it, because what Yang Chen, this useless person, said sounded too real. Hao Hongqin looked helplessly at her daughter and said, look at the person you married. It's fine if he's not capable. He talks endlessly. How can you have a good life with such a useless person? Yi Shu Erong didn't care, and was even a bit worried. I thought she had been home for too long and her brain had gone bad. Everyone joined Hao Hongqin in mocking. I feel like I'm just a fool who only knows how to dream. Suddenly, a convoy approached from the front. Leading the way is a middle-aged man who looks extraordinary at first glance. Fan Qingyang looked at the scene in astonishment and said, My God, what a lucky day it is today to actually meet Mr. Lai, a big shot in the military whose current net worth is said to be close to 1 billion. Upon hearing this, everyone looked admiring as he is a big shot they can only look up to. But I, after hearing this introduction, just chuckled as if it was a joke to me. Fan Yang said slyly to Yang Chen, since you claim to be so well connected in Kyoto, Mr. Lai should know you, right? Go and say hello to him. If you dare to go, I will apologize to you on my knees. Everyone felt that Fan Yang's move was too harsh. For someone of unknown origin to go and greet him is equivalent to provocation. He might just get a beating or even be taken out. They are all waiting to see a show from me. But I just smiled faintly and said, I'm afraid he can't handle it. After all, Mr. Lai is just a small leader under my subordinate. By then, I was already the king of the north, and even the trusted ones were not qualified to see me. Fan Qingyang continued to provoke, 
you really can talk big. Then why don't you go? Just talking and not doing anything doesn't make you a hero. Seeing the situation, Yi Shuaron quickly dissuaded her husband, let's ignore him and go home. He's afraid I might really go and cause trouble. But before I could speak again, Mr. Lai suddenly walked over in a voice as loud as a bell and asked, Excuse me, are you guests of the Yi family? This statement startled everyone. Mr. Kai actually came to find them in person. It's unbelievable for the small Yi family. When everyone was dumbfounded and speechless, Yi Shuerong immediately responded politely, Yes, our family has already left. May I ask what the matter is? Mr. Lai respectfully apologized, I am truly sorry. I just rushed back from out of town and missed the opportunity to meet the head of the Yi family. I have been disrespectful to everyone, please forgive me. Everyone was stunned. Since when did the Yi family have such a great influence? After all, Mr. Lai's wealth and status alone equaled several times that of their entire family. Fan Xing Yang immediately felt proud on the side, of course, this was due to the status of the Fan family. Since your family's Yi Lin Lin is married into our Fan family, naturally, you can also enjoy such treatment. Beside them, Yi Lin Lin admiringly exclaimed, Wow, husband, you're amazing. In the midst of the conversation, Mr. Lai had his subordinate hand over a gold card and respectfully said, I heard today is Mr. Ye's birthday. This membership gold card from Jushang Pavilion is from our side, a small token of appreciation. Please accept it. Seeing this, even Fan Xingyang swallowed hard. His father wasn't even qualified to get this membership card. There are very few people with the Juxiang's eye gold card. Could it be that the strength of the Yi family has suddenly increased recently? He finds it hard to figure out. At this point, I suddenly interjected, by the way, I heard today is the birthday of the Yi family's old master. Although you didn't invite me, out of respect for my wife, I also brought a birthday gift. After speaking, I took out a black plastic bag from the electric bike basket and casually tossed it over. Hao Hongqin didn't even want to touch the black plastic bag, and disdainfully said, Apologies, what kind of junk is this? Let me tell you, there is no gift worth less than 100,000 at today's birthday banquet. I chuckled and said, It's just a small trinket, do you want it or not? At this time, someone nearby had already picked it up and opened the packaging to take a look. They were surprised to find that it was an incense burner. Could it really be an antique? Fan Xingyang took a look and immediately laughed mockingly at Yang Chen. I think you've really gone mad. How dare you bring this stall goods to give to the old master? But before he could finish speaking, a voice nearby exclaimed, Oh my goodness, this is a 12-sided gold-carved bronze incense burner from the Southern Tang Dynasty. Last week at the exhibition, that top-tier collectible that was bought by a mysterious buyer, how could it be here? Mr. Lai's words made everyone's eyes widen. The person holding the incense burner was even more at a loss. Mr. Lai exclaimed, this is definitely authentic. This color and craftsmanship cannot be imitated. Moreover, for a genuine item of this caliber, the price is at least 5 million. With the condition being so good, the price might even go up. No one would have expected that this thing would be so valuable, and it's even more surprising that it was given by Yang Chen, a useless person. Mr. Dai has been playing with antiques for many years, his eyes are extremely sharp, and he can almost instantly tell whether something is authentic or not. No one would doubt his words. But the most crucial thing is that I actually threw something worth millions into the basket as if it were nothing, and everyone was almost dumbfounded. The birthday gift he gave was not even worth one million, it's a world of difference compared to this. Moreover, this was just a random gift this useless person picked up, it's a real slap in his face. Mr. Lai is now staring intently at the bronze skull, and suddenly he realizes something. The man who just gave this gift, could he be the mysterious buyer? While everyone was puzzled, he had already left on an electric bike with Yi Shu Aron. On the way, I said to my wife not to bring me crayfish in the future, like those crabs and lobsters. I got tired of them when I was in Kyoto. Although I'm exaggerating, it sounds quite interesting. And over the years, I often tell him such stories, like how I subdued dozens of people in Kyoto, and eliminated thousands of charming women. It sounds so real. Scenes seem to be right in front of her, sometimes she almost believes it. But how is that possible? Soon, we return to the residential area where we live. Just as we arrived downstairs, Yi Shu Erong saw that car again. The red Rolls Royce has come again today. This car has been parked here before. Every time my husband goes out, this car appears nearby. After parking the car, I said to Yi Shu Erong, Wife, you go upstairs first. I have something to take care of. Yi Shu Erong didn't ask much, obediently answered, and then went into the hallway. She had just walked to the elevator, then quietly stepped back. She couldn't help but feel suspicious. Hiding in the shadow at the entrance of the hallway, 
she secretly watched the situation outside. She actually saw me, walking towards that Rolls Royce. The woman in the Rolls Royce saw me approaching, immediately got out of the car, and respectfully said to the chief, what orders do you have for me? Looking at the former leader of the assassin group, the she-wolf whispered, the one we trusted today, is he under your command? The she-wolf lowered her head and confirmed, yes, I asked him to take care of your wife. He doesn't know about your existence. I waved my hand and said, that's enough. This guy went a bit too far today. Remember to remind your people not to make such a big scene in the future. The she-wolf's back was already soaked, and the terrifying aura of the war god made her extremely nervous. Then she quickly bowed deeply, I will obey. At this moment, Yi Shu Erong, who was far away, already looked shocked. Is this really her husband? The rice at my house costs 8,000 per kilogram. The pork is all imported from Russia. But my wife is completely unaware of all this. But just now, I witnessed myself chatting with the henchman driving a Rolls Royce. Soon, I returned home. As soon as I entered, I saw Yekshuaron staring at me. I was a bit puzzled and asked, what's wrong? My wife Yekshuaron asked cautiously, honey, who was that person just now? When did you meet him, a friend who drives a Rolls Royce? I shook my head inwardly upon hearing this, realizing that I was still being spied on. But my mind worked very quickly, and I immediately made up a lie. It's like this, today when I was riding my electric bike, I accidentally bumped into someone. So, he specially came to compensate me. Yekshuarong was startled and asked, are you okay? I smiled and said, I'm not injured, and the owner compensated me a lot of money. After that, Yekshuarong went to serve me hot tea, and in the kitchen, we chatted as usual. Honey, I found a job for you. You can work as a security guard in our family company. It's not only easy but also pays well. I suddenly felt speechless. The mighty god of war is going to work as a security guard. If this gets out, the whole world will be shocked. After a moment of silence, I said to my wife, actually, I've already found a job. I will be the head of the security department at Morong Group. Actually, this company is a birthday gift I'm planning to give to my wife. Yi Shu Erong, really? Husband, I heard there's a mysterious figure behind that company. Now, almost all the major conglomerates in Gautan City want to establish a relationship with them. Are you sure it's really the Morong Group? I nodded with certainty, so my wife doesn't need to worry about work. Yi Shu Erong still had some doubts, but seeing my serious look, she didn't feel it was appropriate to ask further. She knew her husband's character and that he would never lie to her, so she would never question what he said. The next day when Yi Shu Erong arrived at the company, she found everyone discussing something fervently. Hey, have you heard? Just last night, Hai Jia was actually killed by a mysterious person. Hai Jia, who was known as one of the three emperors of Gautan, has also vanished from the world, completely disappeared. Hearing this, Yi Shu Erong suddenly understood something. If Hai Jia is gone, doesn't that mean I can continue to be in charge of that project? Others coldly replied, that's indeed the case, but the Yi family will definitely hand over this project to Yi Lingling. Upon hearing this response, Yi Shu Erong was instantly filled with extreme despair. That project had always been something he was following up on and communicating about. It was forcibly taken away by the maritime group at first, and now, after finally getting it back, his own sister became the person in charge. At this moment, inside the chairman's office, a secretary shouted, Chairman Yi, the people from Morong Group are here, and they said they want to see you. As the head of the Yi family, Yi Mingshan was shocked when he heard the report from his subordinates. What? How could this happen so suddenly? Take me there quickly. In the company lobby, the people from Morong Group have been waiting for a while. The senior members of the Yi family quickly gathered and respectfully welcomed these distinguished guests. Yi Mingshan had a smile on his face as he said, I'm really sorry, I don't know why you have all come here. The representative of Morong Group said with a calm expression, Ha, it's nothing major. We're just here to discuss a little business with you. Excitedly, Yi Mingshan asked, May I ask what cooperation you want to discuss? Is it about the new business our company has been developing in the real estate sector in Gautan? We have already gained quite an advantage. Before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by the other party. No, 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 you've misunderstood. The truth is, we came this time to acquire your Yishur group. This simple sentence shocked the entire audience. The people of the Yi family never expected that the prestigious Moron group would target them. This small company was like a little lamb being targeted by a fierce tiger, unable to resist being exploited. We have already prepared the specific acquisition plan for you. We'll give you three days to prepare. The day after tomorrow afternoon, we will send someone over to formally take over. After saying this, the people from Moron group left, not giving them any time to react. The stunned members of the Yi family stood there, leaving everyone puzzled and confused. 
Why does the Morong Group want to swallow us up? Our family is just a small, inconspicuous player in the real estate industry. Why are we the ones being targeted? Young daughter Yu Wenqing angrily exclaimed, They are too arrogant. They want to devour us as soon as they arrive. What if we don't agree to their acquisition? Yi Mingshan, the old master of the Yi family, indicated that not agreeing would be seeking death. The behind-the-scenes boss of the Morong Group is a formidable figure. It is said that he built the entire company in Gautan City in just three days. The relevant departments have been giving green lights all the way, even the top leaders have to personally take care of it. Everyone was somewhat astonished. These inside stories were obviously far beyond their imagination. The news of the Yi family being acquired spread quickly, and everyone in the company knew about it. Yi Shu Erong found this news hard to believe, despite the unfair treatment and contempt he received at home. But he had deep feelings for the family business, after all, he had watched it grow from scratch since childhood. Seeing Yi Shu Erong return home with tears on his face in the evening, he suddenly felt a bit agitated. Was his wife bullied at the company again? Before I could even ask, Yi Shu Erong, with a tearful voice, said, Honey, our family's company is going to be gone. Someone wants to acquire us. I hesitated for a moment and said, Isn't this a good thing? This way, you can get away from your family. They have always been unfair to you. Yi Shu Erong cried even more sadly. I looked at my wife's tearful eyes, and my heart softened. Rong Rong, don't cry. Your husband will find a way. Have you forgotten that I work at Morong Group? I'll ask around, maybe there's a way. Hearing this, Yi Shu Erong stopped crying and looked up joyfully. Really? I nodded and then took my phone to the balcony to make a quiet call. Let's put the acquisition plan on hold for now. The other party hesitated a bit, but we just finalized it today. I exchanged pleasantries and said, let's talk, do as I say. The next morning, there was an emergency meeting at the Yi family company to discuss the response to the Morong group's plan. Yi Shu Erong couldn't wait to tell her father, I talked to Yang Chen yesterday. He's working at Morong group now. Maybe he can use his connections to help. Yi Mingshan chuckled, that waste of space, I'd sooner rely on a dog than him. Everyone also laughed and said, stop boasting. Can that guy Yang Chen work at Morong Group? How could a place like that hire such a waste? He probably works as a janitor. Yi Shu Erong felt extremely embarrassed and bit her lip, lowering her head. At this moment, Yi Lingling secretly smiled, but on the surface, she calmly said, Dad, should we go and talk to the Fan family? If Ching Yang talks to his dad, our family should be fine. Yi Mingshan is still a bit worried. Will it be useful to talk to them? After all, they are from the Morong group. Yi Lingling confidently said, You forgot about it. Mr. Lai personally came to the restaurant two days ago and even gave you the gold card for the incense hall. It's all because of our relationship with the Fan family that they value us so much. Since the Fan family has such a great reputation, it shouldn't be a problem to inform the Morong group. Upon hearing this, everyone gained some confidence, seemingly feeling that Yella Linlin is much more reliable than her sister, Yexuarong. After the meeting, Yella Linlin immediately called Fan Qingyang, acting cute and pitiful as she told her about the situation. Fan Qingyang quickly showed his manly side and confidently said, It's nothing. Leave it to me. They won't disrespect the Fan family. Yella Linlin said with great joy, My husband is amazing. We'll rely on you. She said it loudly, intentionally making sure those around heard. In reality, Fan Qingyang didn't have much confidence, but he had no choice but to put on a front. In front of the Yi family, he always had to maintain a sense of superiority. In the afternoon, he drove his own Mercedes straight to the headquarters of the Morong Group. Upon arriving, Fan Qingyang was stunned. Although the entire building was still under construction, the grandeur of the place far exceeded his imagination. After entering the main gate, the receptionist looked him up and down and asked, Hello, may I ask who you are looking for? I am the vice president of the Fan Group. I'm here to discuss some matters with your leader. Does your CEO have time? As he spoke, he presented his business card. But unexpectedly, the other party didn't even glance at it and simply said, Fan Group? Sorry, I haven't heard of it. We don't entertain third-rate small enterprises here. Fan Qingyang felt embarrassed and stunned. The illustrious Fan Group was actually looked down upon by a mere receptionist. To be so disdainful and claim not to have heard of it, even calling it a third-rate company. So he immediately retorted, Did you hear me clearly? In Gauten City, who dares to claim not to have heard of our fan family? The other party said impolitely, Sorry, we only entertain companies with assets exceeding 3 billion. Do you meet the standard? If not, please leave immediately, or else I'll have to call security. Fan Yang was stunned, their company fell far short of this standard. But to think that a newly established company was so arrogant, completely disregarding their family. Fan Yang felt uncontrollable anger. 
After leaving dejectedly, he immediately called his father, Fan De Shang. Dad, someone looked down on our company. They even almost laid hands on me. Are you going to do something about it? The person on the other end of the phone had a rough and fierce voice. Who dares to be so bold as to lay hands on my son? Fan Ching Yang said, it's the newly established Morong Group. They even said our company is just a third-rate company. Before he could finish speaking, his father interrupted him. Are you looking for trouble? Can we afford to offend them? Hurry back to me. Fan Ching Yang was stunned. Are they really that terrifying? It's just a new company. Fan De Shang was furious. Of course. It's rumored that their assets and background are so terrifying that even the three emperors of Gautan are afraid to provoke them. Moreover, they are planning to shake up the entire city of Gautan. Everyone is on edge, and you still dare to go knocking on their door. Fan Xingyang was suddenly drenched in cold sweat, realizing his own recklessness. It was too risky just now. It's a good thing I didn't meet their president, or I wouldn't even know how I'd die. Fan Xingyang regretted boasting so much to Yellenlin. She was hesitating about how to respond, but soon, Yellenlin's call came in. Honey, you really have a way. Morong Group called. They said the acquisition has been cancelled. That's efficient. Fan Xingyang was stunned. How is that possible? I didn't even have the chance to meet them, how could they? But he immediately regained his composure. It was a piece of cake for me. One call from my end and everything was settled. Yellenlin coquettishly said, Honey, you're amazing. I just love you to death. At the company meeting, Yemingshan, who received the news, was also very excited. Our good brother-in-law is truly a capable and outstanding son-in-law. Lingling, you also played a significant role in this matter. Let's promote you to the position of general manager for this. Yellenlin was overjoyed and couldn't help but glance triumphantly at Yexuarong, looking down on him. Now, Yellenlin has leaped from department manager to general manager. Because of this matter, he actually became Yexuarong's immediate superior. Yexuarong felt extremely uncomfortable, his younger sister stepping on his head like this. And this is not the first time. Now, he suspects that this matter might not have been resolved by Fan Xingyang, but rather by Yang Chen using connections. But he is just a small department head. Although the whole thing made him somewhat unhappy, at least the company is still intact. I was cooking in the kitchen when I got back home in the evening. A pleasant aroma wafted over, and at that moment, Yexuarong had a sudden idea. Seizing the opportunity, he sneaked into my study. It's a room I always use, filled with my belongings. Yexuarong rarely comes in here. But today, he couldn't resist, perhaps hoping to uncover my secrets here. As soon as he entered, he found the computer still on and after a few attempts, he realized the password was indeed our wedding anniversary. Upon startup, he saw numerous work-related files on the desktop, densely packed and diverse. He was somewhat surprised. Could it be that her husband had been secretly doing something behind her back? In fact, if he looked carefully, he would find that there was a document with Mu Rong Group Development Plan written on it. Before he could go through each one, he found another thing that shocked him. There was a small box next to the computer, with a faint shimmer coming from the seams. He picked it up and felt its weight, carefully opening it to take a look. Inside, it was filled with a whole box of metals. One metal is worth millions, but I have a whole 100 of them. My wife thinks this is simply impossible, she is sure they are all fake. Because even the most remarkable person couldn't possibly have so many all at once. Before he could continue exploring, my voice suddenly came from outside. Startled, he quickly stood up, nervously putting everything back in place. He walked out as if nothing had happened, suddenly realizing that this little room, which he didn't often enter, seemed to hide many of her husband's secrets. It seemed that he would have to find some time to explore it thoroughly. During dinner, Yi Xu Erong tentatively said, By the way, today Mu Rong Group promised to cancel the acquisition. Is my husband's matter related to you? I lied and said I went to my city to talk to the leaders, it might be somewhat effective. Because the leader happens to be my old classmate, we have a good relationship. After hearing what I said, Yi Xu Erong became even more suspicious. Which classmate of yours? Why don't I know them? I quickly changed the subject and asked if there were any signs at home. Did they give you a promotion or any rewards? Yi Xu Erong seemed very disheartened when talking about this. People at the company think it's all thanks to Fan Xingyang. As a result, Lin Lin was promoted to general manager instead. Upon hearing this, I felt annoyed. I've been reluctant to go after the Yi family all these years, out of consideration for Yi Xu Erong's dignity. Although I don't mind those people looking down on me, I can't bear to see Yi Xu Erong being wronged. Alright, then I'll make a move this time. The next morning, as soon as Yi Xu Erong went to work, I made a call. I had someone inform the Yi family that although the acquisition was cancelled, there were other conditions. 
We want them to cooperate with us on a project and have them send someone over to discuss it with us. After the call, I needed to go grocery shopping. I usually cook for Yi Shu Erong, using only the finest ingredients. Not only bird's nest and abalone, but also all of five-star hotel special grade quality. Of course, Yi Shu Erong rarely ate such expensive food before, so he didn't recognize it and thought it was just ordinary fish and fungus. I had just ridden out on my electric bike, when I saw a Maserati parked downstairs. There was also a person standing next to it, seeming to have been waiting there for a long time. Anyone who saw this scene would be shocked. It's truly unbelievable that someone of his status would wait downstairs for two hours like this. As soon as he saw me, his eyes lit up and he hurried over to greet the chief. Good morning, I apologize for intruding. His attitude was extremely respectful and humble, but my expression was very displeased. Who allowed you to come here? Do you know the consequences of disturbing me without permission? This statement made the other party break out in a cold sweat, and they were trembling slightly. Please forgive me, sir. I just wanted to invite you to attend this once in three years East Sea Banquet. Although there are many celebrities, only your attendance would truly make it shine. And I actually brought a small gift this time, knowing that you are fond of tea. I present you with a set of Yunnan Premium Poor Tea Cakes, as a token of respect. I looked at the tea leaves worth billions, but I just sneered. Do you think I would be interested in that kind of thing? The person was so scared that they kept wiping their sweat, and they were extremely nervous. This is just a small token of gratitude to you. I bluntly said goodbye without mincing words. I've already said it. Right now, I just want a quiet life. Didn't the she-wolf tell you? After saying that, I got on the bike and left, not giving that person a chance to speak. I hadn't gone far when I unexpectedly ran into our neighbor Lin Dipang. He sat in the BMW and chuckled, Little Chan, off to the market to pick up leaves again? Since we are all neighbors, I don't want to embarrass him too much. He's just a tiny bug that I could crush with a finger. If you care about such a person, it would be lowering his status too much. But Lin Depang persisted, come with me. There's some leftover food in my trash can that hasn't been touched much. Let me treat you. It's a feast for you. My eyes instantly turned cold. Move your pile of scrap metal and don't block the road here. Lin Depang angrily shouted, you're quite arrogant, kid. I'm not moving today. What can you do to me? Just at that moment, a Maserati suddenly appeared from behind. When he saw the car, Lin Depang was stunned for a moment. When did this kind of car appear in this neighborhood? And when he saw the person in the car clearly, Lin Depang was even more surprised, almost dropping his jaw to the ground. It turned out to be the richest man in Donghai province, Ouyang Rongguang. A big shot usually only seen on TV. How could he be here? The next moment. But the other person coldly spoke, who gave you the courage to speak to Mr. Yang Chen like that? Lin Depang was so frightened by his scolding that his legs trembled. The richest man in Donghai province actually addressed Yang Chen, that waste, as Mr. What's going on? Before he could figure it out, the other person gave a command. Smash his car for me. Two burly men got out of the car and walked briskly to Mr. Lin's car. The imposing manner made Mr. Lin shudder, and then the burly man raised his hand, punched heavily on the car hood, a terrifying dent immediately appeared, and the entire car engine was instantly scrapped. Mr. Lin was on the verge of tears. This was his usual flashy BMW 530, but now it had become scrap metal. The terror of the other party made him not dare to stay or make a move. He was very clear that as long as the other party wished, they could wipe out his entire family at any time. After all, he was the richest man in the East China Sea. He was so scared that he scrambled out of the car and didn't even dare to look back. After dealing with him, Ouyang Rongguang quickly and respectfully walked away. Carefully, in front of Ming, he said, Sir, please forgive me for adding a few more words at the end. Actually, the most important thing about this banquet is that you can bring your wife. And this way, it can also give her a little surprise. Your words made me hesitate for a moment. The East China Sea Banquet is the most top-notch local ladies' banquet. This kind of event would actually be good for Yexuarong to participate in. It can broaden her horizons and knowledge, which is also beneficial for her future development. So I can agree, but I have a condition. At that time, my identity should not be made public. I will only attend low-key. My response made Ouyang Rongguang overjoyed, as he could have the famous Yan Luo war god in attendance. Even if entering humbly, it is enough to be a source of pride and boasting. Especially as the host of the East Sea Banquet, he is very aware of the grandeur of this war god. For him, being able to climb up to me is an incomparable honor. I didn't waste any more words, and simply left by riding the tram. At the Yi family's side at this time, after learning about the news of the cooperation with the Murong group, everyone became even more excited, 
feeling that they have gained more face. Yi Mingshan said with emotion, the fan family's face is truly great. Not only did it prevent the other party from swallowing us, but they also took the initiative to request cooperation. Yi Linlin also excitedly said, this is our chance, the Yi family's chance. Perhaps we can turn our fortunes around and enter the first tier family clans. Mingshan said, Lingdaling, you've just been promoted to general manager. I'll send you to talk to them. Remember, this cooperation is very important. We must not mess it up. After this incident, Yi Lingling walked with her head held high at home. Everyone regarded her as the savior of the company, and she no longer looked down on anyone. In the afternoon, Yi Linlin proudly took the company's special car to the Morong Group headquarters. Upon arriving, she naturally paused for a moment, not expecting the scale of this emerging group to be so grand, it was truly magnificent. She smugly thought that by cooperating with such a company, her own family would definitely soar to new heights. As soon as she entered the company lobby, she immediately announced her identity. I'm Yi Lingling from the Night Market Group, here to discuss the project. The receptionist straightened up and then said, Yi Lingling, right? I'm sorry, the person our CEO wants to see is not you. Yi Lin Lin was dumbfounded and immediately became somewhat angry. Are you mistaken? My husband is Fan Qingyang, also known as the vice president of the fan group. Do you understand? In his eyes, this is just an ignorant receptionist. If I mention Fan Jia, it will definitely scare him. But unexpectedly, the other party's expression didn't change at all. Moreover, they calmly replied, we are very clear on this side. There is only one person from your Yi family who is qualified to talk to our manager. That would be Miss Yi Shu Erong. No one else will be seen. These impolite words left Yi Lingling dumbfounded. At this moment, she was completely bewildered. She couldn't understand it. It would have been fine if the other party didn't want to see her, but instead, they specifically asked for that despicable Yi Shu Erong. Yi Lingling couldn't understand, but she had no choice but to slink back to the company. After the people of the Yi family learned about this, they were all extremely puzzled. Yi Mingshan also couldn't understand how this could happen. What merits and abilities does Yi Shu Erong have? Why specifically ask for her? Actually, deep down he understood very well that Yi Shu Erong was the most capable among the three daughters. He just didn't want to admit this fact. Yen Wenching coldly analyzed from the side, I bet that person is probably fooling around with someone outside. As everyone listened, they all nodded in agreement, seeming to think this was the most likely scenario. Yen Shu Erong probably used her beauty to get involved with something in the Morong group. Otherwise, how else could she receive such treatment from the higher-ups? Yi Mingshan cleared his throat, and the crowd finally stopped whispering. In any case, the current situation can only allow him to go. This opportunity is very important for our company, we must not underestimate it. Hurry and bring him over here for me. Yen Shu Erong was also stunned after learning that the Morong group actually asked her to discuss cooperation. This is too unbelievable, it's like freaking dreaming. Yen Shu Erong didn't dare to delay and quickly arrived at the Morong group with the documents. As soon as the receptionist knew her identity, she immediately became very respectful. Are you Miss Yen Shu Erong? We've been waiting for you. Please come inside. She was quickly ushered into the high-level conference room, and many attendants served her tea and water. Yen Shu Erong was almost at a loss for words due to this treatment, feeling as if she was a VIP. But he was clearly just a representative of a small company. Soon, the company's business manager also arrived. It didn't take long to finalize the cooperation, and the contract was signed very quickly and enthusiastically. The deal was settled so easily that even Yi Shu Erong, who had a smooth business, couldn't believe it. He was even surprised that Morong Group was not as difficult to deal with as rumored. The other party is clearly so friendly. What he doesn't know is that the reason the other party did this is because it's from the veterinary company above. Everyone knows that Miss Yi Shu Erong is not to be trifled with. She is someone personally taken care of by the president. At the end of everything, Yi Shu Erong suddenly remembered something, by the way, manager, may I ask a question? Does your company's security department have a supervisor or employee named Yang Chen? The manager didn't ask for the reason at all and simply replied, let me check. After checking, there is no supervisor in the security department with the surname Lin. Do you need to call him over? It seemed as though everything Yi Shu Erong requested here was taken for granted. Yi Shu Erong quickly waved his hand and said, no, no, I was just asking. No need to bother. But he was angry inside. It turned out that Yang Chen had really lied to him. He didn't work here at all. But if that's the case, then who is helping him? At this time, I was riding an electric bike and arrived at Gauten City's largest mall, Daqian Chang. After all, I promised Ouyang to attend the East China Sea Banquet. I can't let my wife wear those ordinary clothes, can I? 
But as soon as I arrived here, I saw the square in front of Daiki and Chang, covered with countless roses and balloons, and the like. There were also banners hung on the side, very ostentatious. The name Yu Mingqi was written on the banners. I find this kind of cliched and exaggerated method very laughable. I was curiously looking inside. But soon, a security guard nearby scolded me. What the hell are you looking at? Don't you know the onlookers should step back? Wayne remained calm and just calmly asked in return. Isn't this place a public area? The security guard angrily said, Damn, have you been kicked in the head? Don't you know that young Master Zhao is going to confess here today? Let me tell you, in front of young Master Zhao, there is no such thing as a public place. After hearing this, I became more confused. Which young Master Zhao? CUN2 seemed to not believe that there could be such a foolish person who didn't even know the famous young Master Zhao. Indeed, during the Gao Tan period, everyone knew about the Zhao family. The Zhao family, along with the Zheng family and the Hai family, were collectively referred to as the three great emperors. Since the Hai family was wiped out overnight two days ago, the other two families have also become timid. But their descendants don't seem to have restrained themselves much, still being so arrogant outside. This security guard, he would never have imagined that the legendary terrifying man who wiped out the Hai family is now standing in front of him. Suddenly, a GTR worth 8 million yuan drove up. Immediately after, Zhao Shang, dressed in casual suit, opened the car door and slowly got out. With a pair of sunglasses on his face, he exuded a domineering aura, then he said to the security guard, what's going on? Don't these people know that I'm going to confess today? The security guard quickly bowed and apologized, I'm really sorry, young master. I was just teaching them a lesson. After speaking, he led a few followers over and shouted at the crowd. I shook my head, why do young people have to be so arrogant nowadays? Can't they behave with a little money? But I didn't do anything, just walked into the mall alone. After all, I came to buy clothes today. As soon as I entered, I ran into an acquaintance, who was also a wealthy second generation from Gautan. He was Cheng Dong Yang, the son of the boss of Dishang City. As soon as he saw me, he ran over to me, what a coincidence, Mr. Chun, what do you want to buy today? Let me help you with that, he said. I waved my hand, indicating that it was unnecessary, what's going on outside today? Cheng Dong Yang quickly replied, oh, that's the second generation of the Zhao family, wanting to pursue Nanda. It's a joke. So that's what all this commotion is about. We have some relationship usually, so I specially reserved a place for him. I hope it doesn't bother you, he said. I just lightly said three words, and he felt bothered. Chung Dong Yang was instantly quite frightened. Before he could reply, I suddenly asked someone to bring my car from the underground parking lot and occupy the square. Chang Dong Yang hesitated for a moment. Faced with my command, although he was a bit hesitant, he really didn't dare to resist. He quickly asked, which one are you referring to? Seeing Cheng Dongyang's nervous expression, I straightforwardly said, bring out all my cars. Cheng Dongyang felt like thunder had struck, completely stunned. Because the luxury cars parked here are almost too numerous to count, half the garage is filled with my cars. The parking lot of Dishang City is famous for its many luxury cars, but what no one knows is that almost half of the cars belong to one person. That person is Yang Chen. What concept is it to drive them all out? I'm afraid the entire Gautman will be shocked. Mr. Yang. Isn't that a bit too much? I'm afraid your subordinates won't be enough to handle it. Shouldn't we reduce the number a bit? Then just randomly drive out 10 cars. I'll have someone send the car keys over later. Yang Chen said calmly. Some people like to show off their wealth, right? Let me teach you how to behave. Cheng Dong Yang could only agree nervously. Then he quickly mobilized his subordinates and started to act. At this moment, in the square, Zhao Sheng impatiently looked at his Rolex watch. Why hasn't you Mingqi come yet? It's been several minutes. Girls are like that, young master, be patient for a while longer, she should be coming soon. Zhao Sheng was a bit annoyed and said coldly, I've made such a big scene for her, an opportunity that many girls dream of, she should cherish it. That's right, young master, with our lineup today, we will definitely win her over. We will definitely succeed. The crewcut guy quickly tried to please him. Zhao Sheng was pleased to hear that. After all, he had invested a lot of capital for today's event. The flowers on the ground were all imported roses flown in from abroad. Just the price of the flowers alone was tens of thousands. Not to mention that he had specially prepared a diamond necklace worth 1.2 million. He had planned it all out, 
to put the necklace on Yu Mingqi's neck amidst the cheers of the crowd. Then, take her for a ride in the sports car. Have dinner, and then head straight to the hotel. The plan was perfect. He couldn't help but feel very pleased when he thought about it, what woman wouldn't be moved by such a gesture? In his mind, there was no woman in Gautan City that Zhao Sheng couldn't win over. As he was feeling smug, he suddenly heard countless roaring engines behind him. Everyone was attracted by the overwhelming sound. You could tell the difference just by the sound of the top sports cars. The sound was just too perfect. Zhao Sheng was shocked and turned his head to see a line of sports cars coming out of the underground garage exit. McLaren, Bugatti Veyron, Lamborghini Poison. The imposing figures of these top supercars were driving out one after another from the underground garage. Any one of them was worth tens of millions. These top supercars were roaring in, the terrifying lineup made even Zhao Sheng himself stunned. These cars, one after another, drove into the square, and all his flowers were instantly crushed under their wheels. The supercars lined up in a majestic formation, parked in the center of the square. Compared to them, his own several million GTR seemed insignificant. At first, everyone thought that this lineup was arranged by Zhao Shang, part of his confession ceremony. But until they saw these sports cars directly crushing the roses he had laid out, everyone understood that these sports cars had nothing to do with him. What's going on, my god? This is too terrifying. Is today a supercar gathering? It's impossible, isn't young Master Zhao in the middle of a confession? Who wouldn't give him face? In shock, everyone discussed with great confusion. From childhood, Zhao Sheng had been flaunting his wealth, he was used to being extravagant. The sky is the limit, he is second to none. Today, he was actually outshone by someone else? And most of these were cars that were no longer available on the market, cars that even the rich couldn't buy. This was a level that even he couldn't reach. Zhao Sheng was about to explode with anger. And at that moment, he saw Cheng Dongyang standing not far away, witnessing everything. He immediately strode over, angrily scolding, Damn it, Cheng Dongyang, what's going on? You were supposed to leave the square to me, what kind of arrangement is this? Ruining my event? Zhao Sheng was furious, while Cheng Dongyang looked helpless. I'm sorry, young Master Shang, I couldn't help the situation today. It's your own fault for being too ostentatious, you brought this upon yourself. What? There's a sports car gathering, why didn't anyone tell me in advance? Tell me who organized this. I also have good cars. Let me tell you, I have two Bugattis at home. This statement almost made Chung Dong Yang laugh. This guy really has no idea how big the gap between people can be. Two Bugattis? Ha, huh, let me tell you the truth, all the cars parked here today belong to one person. Cheng Dongyang's words almost made Zhao Shang lose his balance. And the people nearby who overheard the conversation were so shocked that they couldn't breathe. All these rare sports cars lined up here belong to one person? What kind of concept is this? With so many luxury cars combined, it's worth almost billions. How rich is this person really? Looking at Zhao Shang and the onlookers almost dumbfounded, Cheng Dongyang couldn't help but smile secretly. If these people knew that these cars were just a small part of that person's collection, what would their reaction be? In the underground garage, there are at least twice as many sports cars. His admiration for Yang Chen was truly profound. Most importantly, he was powerful yet low-key, not showing off at all. Unlike these second-generation rich kids who flaunt their wealth as soon as they have some money. After meeting Yang Chen, he felt how ridiculous his past self was. Zhao Shang was now extremely fearful. Who did he offend? This kind of action was clearly targeting him. Does anyone in Gautan City have such power? Absolutely not. And just at that moment, Yu Mingqi had already taken a taxi to the square. As the campus belle of Nanan University, she was also a full-fledged gold digger. She had put a lot of effort into getting close to Zhao Sheng. When Zhao Sheng invited her to Dakian City today, she already understood his intentions. Before leaving, she dressed up in her best outfit and spent a long time doing her makeup. Sure enough, when she arrived today, she saw this row of 
supercars parked in the square. The momentum was extremely imposing. Her name was even written on a banner next to them. She was instantly excited. This Zhao Shang was really powerful. She had finally hooked a wealthy husband. Yu Mingqi didn't hesitate and excitedly walked towards the row of supercars. But before she could reach them, she was stopped by Cheng Dongyang's men. Move aside, I'm looking for my boyfriend, how dare you stop me? Don't you know today is the day he confesses to me? Yu Mengqi said arrogantly. She just saw this person in front of her as an ignorant little guy. How could he not recognize her, not even a bit of recognition? What? Sorry, these cars have nothing to do with you, they belong to Minji. The other party's response left Yu Mingqi stunned. And then she noticed that the so-called Zhao Shang was standing awkwardly in the distance. On one side were ten top supercars lined up in a domineering manner. On the other side, Zhao Shang and his little sports car stood awkwardly to the side. He was too scared to even make a sound. Yu Mingqi finally realized her mistake. She felt so embarrassed and wished she could find a hole to hide in. While the people outside were in an uproar, Yang Chen, who had created all this, was leisurely shopping for clothes in several women's clothing stores in Dakian City. He rarely shopped for clothes in Dakian City, so the staff didn't recognize him. When he first entered, the staff were all looking at him coldly, as if wondering how such a person could come in. But when he left, they all turned respectful, almost kneeling down. The sales commissions brought in by this person were equivalent to what they would earn in several months. He picked out the most expensive and top-notch styles in the store, placing orders without even blinking. It was as if he was buying radishes and cabbage, not clothes worth tens of thousands. This was a true VIP, they hurriedly touched up their makeup in front of the mirror, each wanting to show their most beautiful side to this man. Maybe they could try to hook up with him? Such a super wealthy man, if he were to take a liking to them, they would be set for life. Unfortunately, Yang Chen couldn't even be bothered to look at them properly. In his mind, with his wife Yi Shuerong's pure and beautiful appearance, if she were to dress like this, her elegance would rise to another level. Thinking of this, Yang Chen felt somewhat pleased. He was looking forward to the arrival of the banquet day. After shopping, Yang Chen rode his electric bike back home. He was unaware that he had become popular online again today. The news headline read, The most awesome supercar emperor humiliates the second generation rich with a row of top luxury cars. This nickname of his quickly gained popularity online. In fact, over the past two years, his discreet and impressive actions had caused quite a stir. Besides the supercar emperor, he had many other nicknames online. For example, there was a bank robbery on the street, with the police facing off against dozens of armed bandits. When they were at a loss, a passerby walked in and, within two minutes, he single-handedly subdued all the armed bandits. And when people tried to find that mysterious man, they discovered he had already left. People called him the nameless hero. This person was none other than Yang Chen. Another time, he was drinking at a small bar and sang two songs in a moment of joy, causing a sensation. Someone secretly recorded a video and posted it online, instantly becoming popular as the back shadow song god. Countless incidents like this happened. And no one ever knew that these low-key yet amazing mysterious figures were all the same person. Just as Yang Chen returned home, he saw Yi Shuerong sitting on the sofa, looking serious. This expression usually meant she was angry. In the two years of their marriage, she had rarely been angry with him. Yang Chen, come here, Yi Shuerong said sternly as soon as she saw him come in. Yang Chen was a bit puzzled and walked over. I'm asking you, did you lie to me about something? Yi Shuerong, with her hands on her hips and pouting, said in a pitiful tone. What thing? I didn't do anything, Yang Chen tried to deny. I'm telling you, I know everything. Don't pretend, I went to Morong Group today, and you weren't there working, right? Yang Chen suddenly realized his mistake. How could he forget about this? He had arranged for someone from Morong Group to discuss business with her, but he should have first arranged his identity as the head of security. Wife, I didn't mean to lie to you, it's just... I don't care, anyway, you have to go to work. You can't just stay at home all the time, you'll waste away, she said worriedly. 
Okay, I'll listen to you, it's just a job, I'll find one tomorrow, Yang Chen had to compromise. By the way, look, wife, I bought you some clothes today, try them on. I think they'll suit you. Yang Chen quickly changed the subject and handed a few bags to Yi Shu Erong. Hmm, these brands look familiar, I remember, they seem quite expensive. These are all luxury brands. Husband, where did you get the money from? Yi Shu Erong looked closely and was amazed. Oh, it's not expensive, there happened to be a discount today. Try them on quickly. See if you like them, Yang Chen said casually. In reality, he didn't think these clothes were worth much, but if he revealed the actual prices, he was afraid of shocking her. The cheapest one inside cost over 80,000 yuan. Urged by him, Yi Shu Erong went to the bedroom and put them on. When she looked in the mirror, she was stunned. In the two years of their marriage, she had always worn casual or work clothes, and it had been a long time since she had worn such clothes. She had never seen herself so beautiful before. These clothes must be very expensive, husband. Yi Shu Erong said anxiously Yang Chen's eyes were shining brightly as he looked at his woman, who was truly beautiful, more beautiful than any celebrity. If Yi Shu Erong were to attend an event dressed like this, she would surely turn heads. Money is not important, what matters is that. You like it. In a couple of days, I will take you to an event, and you can wear this then. What event? Yi Shu Erong blinked and asked. You'll find out then, he he. Wife, I'll go cook for you first. Yang Chen teased and then left. However, Yi Shu Erong still felt uneasy. She felt that Yang Chen didn't really want to work and was spending money recklessly. She worried about how things would turn out. Although she understood that this man truly pampered her, she knew that this was not a sustainable way of living. Yi Shu Erong was very worried. The East Sea Banquet was scheduled for three days later, on Saturday of this week. Recently, the entire East Sea province, and even half of the country's elite families, entrepreneurs, and important figures from the political and military circles had started to make their moves. The East Sea Banquet, held once every three years, had already been held five times and had become a symbol of the upper-class society. Only those who could attend this banquet were considered true aristocrats and wealthy individuals. It was an honor. At this moment, the Yi family was also making preparations for the event. Dad, have we received the invitation for this year's East Sea Banquet? Youngest daughter Yi Wenching asked eagerly. She had been looking forward to this opportunity for a long time. Not yet. I've tried many connections, but it's difficult. There are too many big families who want to attend. Every year, the invitations are highly sought after. With our status, it's probably difficult for us to get in. Yi Mingshan sighed. Attending such a high-class banquet would greatly expand a family's network and help them climb the social ladder. Almost every family in Gautan City wanted to be a part of it. Especially in recent years, the Yi family had been on a downward trend, so for Yi Mingshan, this opportunity was crucial. By the way, I heard some rumors recently that there will be a special guest at this year's banquet. But no one knows who it is. It's said that this VIP will attend incognito. Yi Wenching suddenly changed to a mysterious tone and said to them. What? Why would a VIP want to attend incognito? Yi Lin Lin couldn't understand the other party's mindset. She asked, how important is this person? Yi Wenching lowered her voice, cleared her throat, and said, let me tell you something, once you hear it, you'll understand. The host of the banquet, Ouyang Rongguang, personally went to invite him to attend the banquet. I'm asking you, isn't that terrifying? Everyone gasped. The fact that this person, who they couldn't even get an invitation from, was being invited to attend, and that too by the richest man in the East Sea, Ouyang Rongguang, was mind-blowing. How prestigious must this person be to receive such an invitation? In their minds, Ouyang Rongguang was already like a godly figure. At just 40 years old, he had become one of the country's top super-rich individuals, with personal assets close to a trillion, owning numerous companies and industries, and hosting the most exclusive gatherings in the circle of the wealthy. Even such a person had to personally lower himself to invite this guest, just thinking about it was terrifying. Moreover, Ouyang Rongguang's admiration for this VIP is unparalleled. 
It's said that his success is also greatly attributed to this person's guidance. Do you get the idea now? Everyone was left speechless by Yi Wenqing's revelations. It was like listening to a myth or legend. The disparity was too great to comprehend. It heightened everyone's expectations for the banquet by several levels. Although they didn't know who this person was, just having a meal under the same roof would be a great honor. Is there really such an impressive figure? Is this information reliable? Yi Lin Lin was very emotional and couldn't help but ask, absolutely right. Everyone is talking about it now. Yi Wenqing confidently affirmed, then she tried to please Yi Lin Lin by saying, Lin Lin, why don't you ask your brother-in-law Fan Xingyang for help? Can he take us along? In the current family, the most capable person is Yi Lin Lin. In everyone's eyes, she is the most reliable person. As for Yi Xu Arong, after marrying Yang Chen, she was considered useless and completely ignored. Oh, you're thinking too much. That's the East Sea Banquet. The Fan family barely managed to get an invitation, it's not easy to bring extra people. Xing Yang said he can only take me. Lin Lin immediately responded, feeling proud. Lin Lin, think of a way, can you get dad to go too? You know, our Yi family is not doing well now. If we miss the East Sea banquet this time, who knows when we can recover? Yi Mingshan almost pleaded with his daughter. He really wanted to attend. Okay, I'll talk to Ching Yang again and see if he can help. But I can't guarantee it. Yi Lin Lin said somewhat indifferently. Well, then dad is counting on you, Lin Lin. Yi Mingshan quickly said, at this point he completely disregarded his dignity. He just hoped his daughter could help him fulfill this wish. As long as he could attend the East Sea Banquet, he was willing to put aside his pride. But dad, what do you think about the cooperation between Yi Xu Erong and the Mu Rong Group's new project? At this point, Yi Lin Lin suddenly changed the subject and brought up this matter. Yi Mingshan, cunning as he was, understood his daughter's implication. What do you mean? He pretended to be confused, wanting her to reveal the meaning herself. You see, since Yi Xu Erong has already signed with the other party, we have secured the cooperation with the Mu Rong group. So, do you really want her to be in charge? Yi Lin Lin wanted to get involved in this project because she wanted to profit from it. After all, being responsible for this level of cooperation could bring in a lot of money. Another major reason was that she didn't want Yi Shu Erong to hold an important position in the family, she was determined to sideline Yi Shu Erong. She hoped to push her sister out of the company and make her and her husband leave the Yi family together. Well, Lin Lin, you have a point. It seems that Yi Shu Erong may not be capable enough. All right, I'll let you handle this project. Yi Mingshan immediately understood and said, he knew very well that his greedy daughter would definitely make a profit from it, and she might make a lot. But he was extremely dissatisfied with Yi Shu Erong, and now he urgently wanted to attend the East Sea Banquet, so he agreed decisively. Okay, thank you, Dad. Don't worry, I'll talk to Ching Yang about the invitation. Yi Lin Lin was overjoyed and quickly made a promise. Meanwhile, Yi Shu Erong was still unaware of what was happening at home. She was still in charge of the on-site exploration in the new city area. The cooperation project with the Mu Rong Group was in the suburbs of the North City, which was one of the most promising areas for future development in Gauten City, a key development area in the new city district. Yi Xu Erong was personally involved and was determined to do a good job on this project. So she came to the site in person. But with just one phone call from Yi Lin Lin, she was called back. Yi Xu Erong, Bring all the documents for the new city project to my office. You are no longer in charge of this project. Yi Xu Erong was extremely surprised. What? Why? I just finalized this deal. So what? Just because you finalized it doesn't mean you can handle it. Can't you understand this logic? How naive. You. I'm going to confront dad about this. Yi Xu Erong was furious. Do as you please, I'll tell you, this order came from him. Ha ha. After Yi Lin Lin finished speaking, she hung up the phone. Yi Xu Erong was almost driven crazy, why? 
Why was she treated like this in her own family? Clearly, she had always worked hard and diligently, being the most dutiful child in the family. But no one had ever respected her, not even a little bit. Even her own parents were so cold and heartless. Everyone seemed to treat her like an enemy, always opposing her. Just because she married Yang Chen, did that give them the right to treat her like this? In the office, Yi Shuarong cried in grievance for a long time. She had suffered too much in this family. But she had no way out, no one stood by her side. Except for Yang Chen. But Yang Chen was struggling himself, with no source of income. This family still relied on her to support it. So, after crying, she wiped away her tears and obediently took the documents to Yi Lin Lin's office. In the office, Yi Lin Lin sat on the boss's chair, looking down at her with a cold smile and said, I'm telling you, Yi Shu Erong, you have no chance against me. As long as you are in this family, I will make things difficult for you every day. Yi Lin Lin, I'm your sister, why can't we get along? Yi Shu Erong bit her lip, glaring at her fiercely. I just can't stand you, what about it? Let me tell you, I will make you leave this family sooner or later. And remember, be polite when you talk to me, I am the general manager now, your superior. Got it? Yi Lin Lin said arrogantly. She enjoyed the feeling of stepping on Yi Shu Erong's head. Yi Shu Erong's eyes turned red with anger, she didn't say anything more, she turned and walked out of the office. This family was no longer her true home. Even though Yi Shu Erong had feelings for them, no one in the family had feelings for her. Her true family now was only Yang Chen. When she returned home that night, Yi Shu Erong found that Yang Chen was not at home. She didn't know where he had gone again. So, she decisively entered Yang Chen's study. This time she had plenty of time to explore here. To search for Yang Chen's secrets. The room was still neat and clean, without a speck of dust. First, she walked over to look at the books and magazines in the cabinet. Most of them were about war literature and information, with deep content. In addition, some internal reference documents caught Yi Shu Erong's attention. Judging by the dates, these were all the latest documents. Didn't Yang Chen retire a long time ago? How could he still receive these? These were all very large-scale and highly confidential information materials, as well as the latest military situation. Could an ordinary soldier receive this level of information? She began to feel something was wrong. Then, she suddenly noticed another thing. Yang Chen's phone was right on the desk. He had forgotten to take his phone with him. Since that was the case, why not explore his secrets in his phone? A man's phone always held too many secrets. She took a deep breath, picked it up, and turned on the phone. She wouldn't have done this before, but now she couldn't help it. However, Yang Chen's phone was quite boring, with almost no content. There were very few photos, all of them were secretly taken of herself. Right, let's check Yang Chen's WeChat. She decided to do it and directly opened Yang Chen's WeChat. Then, she scrolled through it. Surprisingly, Yang Chen had almost no chat records in the past two years. And he had never posted on moments. It was too quiet, even though he had hundreds of friends. What surprised her the most was that many of the WeChat friends' nicknames were very familiar to her. For example, one of them, nicknamed Sima Tang, wasn't that the name of the president of Tingxin Group? A world-renowned wealthy man. And there was another one called Jean Fei, with the note, Commander-in-Chief of X Army. This military leader with great achievements, who didn't know him. Names of such celebrities kept appearing in her sight. Who in the country didn't know these people? They are all very famous figures, well known to everyone. These people, their nicknames are too exaggerated. Do they really think that by using a fake celebrity nickname, someone will believe it? Yi Shu Erong completely believes that these are all fake. After all, how could Yang Chen possibly have added these celebrities on WeChat? At this moment, she suddenly came up with an idea. Why not just post a job-seeking message directly on Yang Chen's moments? At least he has a few hundred friends, much more than her own. There must be a few who have connections, right? After some thought, she directly wrote a post on moments. Is there anyone who can introduce a job opportunity? 
Male, 25 years old. Retired soldier. Located in Gautman City. After some consideration, she clicked on the post. She was a bit worried if the information was too brief. Will anyone see such a simple post? But a moment's post can't contain too many words. Let's just give it a try and see if his friends are reliable. After posting, Yi Shuerong waited for a while but there was no response. No likes, no replies. She started to feel a bit disdainful, it seems she can't rely on these people. What Yi Shuerong couldn't imagine was that this simple moments post had actually caused a huge sensation. The entire upper class society was almost shaken as if by an earthquake. It exploded completely. The god of war Yin Luo is back? And he posted on moments? After two years of silence, his first moments post was actually about job seeking? This is simply unbelievable. The famous god of war actually needs to find a job? Is this a joke? Is the god of war down on his luck recently? Impossible. With his status, he can easily have countless wealth and power just by waving his hand. Everyone was completely puzzled. They couldn't understand why such a godlike figure would post such a strange moments post. In fact, because Yang Chen disliked the socializing in the upper class circles, he hadn't logged into WeChat since he returned to Gauten City two years ago. Yi Shu Erong could never have imagined that the names of these friends were all real. There was no exaggeration. The so-called richest man in Asia, certain politicians, certain movie stars, these were all globally renowned celebrities. The friends added on this account, whether in politics or business, were the most top-notch figures in the world. As the ace god of war with the strongest military force in the underground world, many people wanted to flatter him and get to know him. Since his return, he had decided to give up his past life, so he had long stayed away from WeChat. He just wanted to live quietly as an ordinary person. Over the past two years, countless people wanted to find the god of war, and his followers in the celebrity society almost dared not disturb him. Soon, various speculations spread like wildfire in the upper circles. Some said that the god of war was really down on his luck and broke after retiring. But almost no one believed this statement. Some said that the god of war was really looking for a job, but what he meant was a war. He was itching to go kill enemies. However, a more credible version was that everyone believed this was a test from the god of war to them. He wanted to know how many of them were truly loyal to him. After all, many people had been promoted and helped by the god of war in the past, he was their true benefactor. So this was actually a test disguised as being down on his luck, giving them a chance to show their loyalty. As a result, all the big shots started to take action. In a joint headquarters office of a bank in Europe, the elegant highest executive chairman was pacing in front of the window with a serious expression. It was the god of war who promoted me back then, allowing me to survive and create my current career. So this time, no matter what the situation is, I must make a statement. Immediately send people to prepare 10 top black cards to be delivered. On the other side, in a conference hall in a certain country, the magnificent palace, with a monarch sitting on the throne, looking equally stern. Back then, if it weren't for the intervention of the war god, I might not be here today. Even this country would have been destroyed long ago. The staff and high officials below all agreed. Now that the war god has requested support, we must act without hesitation. Send my orders, use my fastest private jet to deliver money to the war god. Let the war god understand our country's sincerity. The command of the monarch was met with no objections from those below. Similar sensational events are happening in various corners of the world. In the top circles of society, it has caused a sensation akin to a tsunami. Everyone's only thought is to do everything possible, to show their loyalty to the war god with the greatest strength. The incalculable wealth continues to pour into Gauten City. In the following two days, the Yi family received packages like crazy. To be precise, it wasn't just packages, but mysterious individuals in suits personally delivering items. Some contained envelopes with strange black bank cards. Some even had boxes full of diamonds, jade, gold bars, and other jewelry. Each one was labeled for the chief. How Hongqin was on the verge of collapse. 
Who is this chief? Why are all these things being sent here to him? In fact, this was because outsiders' information about the war god was still stuck two years ago. They only knew that Yang Chen had married into Gautin City, a small family surnamed Yi. So, they sent everything here. But in reality, Yang Chen had never set foot in the Yi family's home. The house they currently lived in was even rented by Yi Xu Erong herself. The Yi family didn't know how to deal with all these items now. They were panicked, afraid. The value of these treasures was astronomical. With so many items being sent over, could they touch them? When Hao Hongqing first saw those items, greed took over, and he accepted them. But after accepting them, he felt fear. You foolish woman, how dare you take everything? Are you asking for death? When Yi Mingshan found out, he immediately scolded in anger. But if someone delivers it to our door, shouldn't we accept it? Hao Hongqin argued back. Yi Mingshan sighed, feeling helpless. Of course, he was also very tempted by all these treasures. But reason told him that if he touched them, he would probably die a horrible death. Just the thought of it was terrifying. But with no other choice, they could only put them away for now. They would wait until the chief appeared. This secret, none of them dared to speak of it. Three days passed in the blink of an eye. Soon, it was Saturday, and the elite from all walks of life gathered in Haizhou, the provincial capital. Haizhou, as the capital of East Sea Province and one of the top. Three powerful cities in the east, was a bustling metropolis with intense commercial activities. This city, where the truly wealthy gathered, hosted the East Sea Banquet, one of the most grand events in the city every year. Even many common people came to catch a glimpse of the true faces of the rich and to broaden their horizons. The banquet was held at the Union Building located on the riverbank. This was the most luxurious restaurant in the entire city of Haizhou, and even in the entire East Sea Province. Naturally, it was one of Ouyang Rongwang's properties. The entire restaurant covered several hectares in building area, adopting an oriental style, ancient and picturesque, almost like a palace. Known as the Yunyan building where only the wealthy could enter, the choice of venue added a lot of style to the entire event. By this time, the parking lot of the Yunyan building was already filled with luxury cars, and the number of high-end cars was at a terrifying level. The value of just these luxury cars on the scene probably approached billions. This time, the Yi family specially brought their top-of-the-line BMW X7 to show off. Although this car was not worth mentioning in the Yunyan building's parking lot, this car worth over 800,000 was the best one Yi Mingshan could find. With the help of the Fan family, Yi Mingshan also managed to get an invitation letter. He brought his wife, Hao Hongqin, his daughter, Yi Linlin, and Yi Wenqing. As for Yi Xu Erong, they never even considered her. They no longer regarded her as part of the family. But as soon as they parked the car in the parking lot and walked to the entrance, they immediately saw the strikingly handsome couple ahead. Everyone was stunned. It turned out to be Yi Xu Erong and Yang Chen? How did they qualify to be here? Oh, you're here too, Yi Xu Erong was very happy to see her family and greeted them immediately. After all, in a foreign city like the provincial capital, seeing relatives still made her feel very warm. What are you doing here? Yi Linlin looked at them incredulously, showing no warmth at all. Of course, we're here for the banquet, Yang Chen replied simply. Yang Chen's friend happened to have extra tickets, so he gave them to us. I didn't expect you to be here too. Yi Xu Eron was still so naive, completely unaware of her family's hostility. Are you kidding me? He has tickets? Do you know what kind of event this is? The East Sea Banquet. Show me your invitation letter? Fan Xingyan was going crazy. He had worked hard to get the invitation letter, and now this useless person could get one too? This was a slap in the face. Yang Chen completely ignored them, planning to leave with Yi Xu Erong, but she obediently took out the invitation letter. When Fan Xingyang and the others took a look, they were dumbfounded. Their invitation letter was not only genuine, but it was also of a higher class than theirs. The East Sea Banquet was divided into three levels of seating based on the guest's status. The third-class seats were for commoners near the entrance with the lowest status and ordinary dishes. 
The second class seats required a certain level of wealth and status, reserved for prominent families. The dishes were of higher quality. The first class seats were the most elite, with only a few dozen people enjoying the top treatment as distinguished guests seated at the forefront of the banquet. The dishes were of the highest quality. Just getting a seat in the lowest third class was a dream for many. The invitation letters obtained by the Yi family and the Fan family were only for the third class seats. But Yi Shu Eron's invitation letter turned out to be for the second class seats? In fact, Yi Shu Eron was also very surprised at the time, wondering how Yang Chen had such powerful friends. But she was used to Yang Chen's mysterious ways and didn't react much. Before they could recover from their shock, Yang Chen had already taken Yi Shu Erong and left for the hall. The family stood there dumbfounded, unable to believe what had just happened. And Yi Shu Erong's attire was much more beautiful than before. She was in a completely different league now. Even Yang Chen was dressed in a suit, looking handsome and dashing. Yi Lin Lin was so jealous that her teeth ached. They couldn't understand how Yang Chen, that useless person, had such influential friends. In fact, it was at the strong insistence of Ouyang Rongguan that Yang Chen agreed. Originally, he only wanted to sit in the most common third-class seats, but Ouyang Rongguan felt guilty and upgraded them to the second-class seats. Even this small change created a huge gap. Inside the hall, as the banquet guests arrived one by one, Ouyang Rongguan was extremely excited. Being able to invite the war god was a great honor for him. If it weren't for Yang Chen happening to be in Gautan City, with his status, he wouldn't have been able to get close to this important figure. This was a case of making use of available resources. He had prepared in advance to please Miss Yi Shu Erong. After all, winning over a woman favored by the war god was equivalent to pleasing the war god himself. The Cloud Smoke Tower, with its ancient charm and magnificent decoration, resembles an ancient palace with flowing water under small bridges and ancient beams. Wealthy individuals from various places, including millionaires and even billionaires, gather here, toasting and mingling. At this moment, the mysterious guest's news has ignited discussions among the people in the banquet hall. I heard that a remarkable figure will grace the event this year. Yes, Mr. Ouyang personally invited this person. In front of that person, Mr. Ouyang is insignificant. So impressive. Who could this person be? I can't wait to find out. I heard that this guest will choose to sit in the most ordinary second-class seat, not seeking attention at all. They just want to keep a low profile. Stop guessing. Just then, Yang Chen and Yi Xu Erong entered the scene. Yi Xu Erong's appearance, like a star, attracted numerous gazes. In such a setting, there is no shortage of beautiful women, but for those accustomed to mediocrity, people have long been tired of it. However, when they saw Yi Shu Erong, everyone's eyes lit up. Her beauty was extraordinary. With a light makeup, exuding an elegant taste, her fair skin was as smooth as cream, surpassing any female celebrity in beauty. In an instant, everyone's attention was focused on her. Almost everyone was inquiring about her, trying to get close to her. Who is that beauty? Why haven't I seen her before? I heard she is from the Yi family a small household in Gauten, named Yi Shu Erong. Wow, she's so beautiful. But isn't she already married? Hey, let me tell you, that woman married a useless man who doesn't even work and relies on her for support. Really? That's so unfortunate. Yes, look at the man standing next to her, that's her husband. Hmm, he looks dignified, didn't expect him to be useless? Let me tell you, it's been two years, and they haven't even had a child. Ha ha. Such harsh gossip was piercing and unabashed, not caring if they were overheard. Yi Shu Erong felt extremely uncomfortable listening to these comments. Being in such a supposedly elegant environment, she already felt out of place. The sharp voices behind her were like needles stabbing her heart. Despite looking beautiful that day, she couldn't find any joy. She didn't want anyone to speak ill of Yang Chen, she didn't want others to look down on him. Yang Chen, how about we go back? She lowered her head and softly spoke to Yang Chen. Yang Chen, however, looked at her calmly and asked, Why? I? I'm not used to this. Wife, stay here. 
pay no attention to anyone. You must understand, you are my woman, wherever you go, you will always be a queen. Yang Chen said domineeringly. His words seemed to give Yi Xu Erong infinite courage. She nodded vigorously, took a deep breath, and sat down in her seat. Yi Xu Erong, you've hidden yourself well, huh? You have a second class seat, and you didn't tell us? Just then, members of the Yi family also arrived, appearing very aggressive. I didn't. Enough, don't say anything. I heard that guests in the VIP seats can invite friends, right? Let us sit here too. Exactly, you usually don't contribute anything to the family, and you hide good things from us? Is that right? The family members were unreasonably self-righteous, and instead, they scolded Yi Shu Aron. Without hesitation, they sat down at the second-class seat. Yi Mingshan, at least appearing respectable outside, felt it was a bit too much, but being able to sit in the second-class seat was a great honor. This opportunity might not come again in this lifetime. Thinking of this, he didn't dwell on it much and sat down directly. Yang Chen felt a bit disgusted. But after all, they were Yi Shu Erong's family, and it seemed that Yi Shu Erong was willing to sit with them. He didn't say much more. At this moment, a voice suddenly came from the stage. Dear guests, welcome everyone. Next, we will proceed with the lucky draw segment for tonight. Now, each guest's entry number is in this box, and we will select the luckiest one to receive a tear of dream gemstone necklace. Upon hearing this name, everyone felt a bit breathless. The famous tear of dream. Crafted by the hands of the world's top jewelry master, it is considered a priceless masterpiece. This small necklace is worth a whopping 20 million, and it is priceless. Its reputation is known to almost everyone. Everyone sighed, Mr. Oh Yang really spared no expense. Especially all the women, their eyes widened. For them, it was like a dream come true, to possess it, they would willingly give up 10 years of their lives. They held their breath, longing to have it. In their hearts, they desperately prayed to the heavens. In fact, even if they prayed again, it would not have any effect. Because the real winner had already been chosen. This was just a discreet preparation by the host of the banquet, Mr. Ouyang Rongguan, to present this gift to the Lady of the War God without drawing attention to it. Soon, the host dramatically announced the result. The guest who won tonight is number 8012. Congratulations to the recipient. Let's invite her to come up on stage. Yi Shu Erong was stunned for a moment. Then, she seemed to realize something and checked her own entry ticket. Suddenly, she covered her mouth in astonishment. It's me. Wow, it's really me. Her voice was soft, only those around her could hear. Everyone looked at her number and was instantly shocked. It was indeed 8012, the actual winner. The envy and jealousy among the crowd were beyond words. Everyone felt a pang in their hearts. You must have taken the wrong one. This is mine. At that moment, Yi Linlin coldly said. I just placed it here, you took the wrong one. The unreasonable Yi Linlin reached out and snatched it back. How could it be yours? Clearly, it's mine. Yi Shu Erong said indignantly. Hers was a third-class ticket. How could they be the same? You placed it? Did you write your name on it? Look carefully, this is yours. Are you out of your mind? There were no names on the entry tickets, only numbers. So, whoever had it in their hands, it belonged to them. Yi Shu Erong was about to speak again, but Hao Hongqin immediately interrupted her, Yi Shu Erong. You are the eldest, why are you arguing with your sister? Do you have any sense of being an elder sister? Even if you give it to your sister, so what? Yi Shu Erong was made even more angry and aggrieved by them. She knew she was being opportunistic, but she had no way out. Even her family members were biased like this, always siding with her sister. From childhood to adulthood, had she not suffered enough because of her? Yi Shu Erong's eyes turned red. Yang Chen couldn't bear it anymore. What are you talking about? Are you being unreasonable? Disrespecting the elderly? Wei surname, you useless thing, dare to lecture me? 
Let me tell you, just because you've done us a little favor, doesn't mean our family owes you anything. It's none of your business to speak about our family affairs. Hao Hongqin directly cursed, like a shrew. Yang Chen shook his head. A small necklace meant nothing to him. He felt he shouldn't have had any illusions about such people in the first place. He shouldn't have let them sit down in the first place. Yi Linlin proudly held the entry ticket, stood up, and walked towards the stage. At this moment, Ouyang Rongguang stood on the stage, feeling excited. He was eagerly waiting for the Lady of the War God to come up, so he could personally present the gift to her and see the joy on her face. But when he saw the person coming up with the entry ticket, he was stunned. Who the hell is this? After all, he had just seen the appearance of the Lady of the War God. The person coming up now, who the hell is she? Impersonating? How dare she even pretend to be the Lady of the War God? The scene he had carefully planned was ruined by this woman. Ouyang Rongguang was instantly furious. Hello, I am guest number 8012. My name is Yi Linlin. Yi Linlin respectfully handed over her admission letter, excitedly saying. At this moment, she had not noticed the anger in Ouyang Rongguang's eyes. Ouyang Rongguang sneered, his face dark as he said, Huh, do you think you deserve it? Quite bold. How dare you steal on my turf? Yi Linlin instantly froze in place. How did he, how did he know? Security, throw this woman out for me. Oh Yang Rongguang shouted sternly in front of all the guests. Yi Linlin was completely dumbfounded. She was trembling with fear. She never imagined that coming up here was not for glory, but to make a fool of herself. What would be the consequences of angering Oh Yang Rongguang? the most powerful man in Donghai province. If he stomped his foot, the whole province would tremble. Just being thrown out was already considered merciful. Fan Xingyang and the people from the Yi family were too scared to even speak, fearing they might be implicated. In full view of everyone, Yi Linlin was rudely dragged out by the security, and then thrown out of the venue's gate. Like throwing out trash. At this moment, Hao Hongqin was filled with regret. If she had just stopped her daughter earlier, this wouldn't have happened. Instead of stopping her, she ended up helping. She never expected to push her into a pit. At the same time, everyone couldn't understand why Ouyang Rongguang knew which person corresponded to the admission letter number. How did he know that the woman was an imposter? Ouyang Rongguang was not stupid, and he was aware of this issue. But his mind was quick, and he immediately came up with an explanation. Let me tell everyone, our admission letters have personal information recorded. Our technology is very advanced, and that woman just now didn't even have the right name, clearly an imposter. Such people are not worthy of attending our banquet, he said loudly into the microphone. Of course, this was a lie, they didn't have that kind of high technology. But no one found any issue with this explanation. The Yi family members were trembling below. Hao Hongqin was even more regretful. All right, then let's have the real owner of this number come on stage. Miss Yi Shuerong, are you here? Ouyang Rongguang actually called out Yi Shuerong's name directly. Those three words made Yi Shuerong's heart beat faster. Yang Chen gently held her hand, giving her infinite strength. Next, amidst the envy and jealousy of the crowd, Yi Shuerong stepped onto the stage. With the help of the etiquette lady, she put on the tears of dream necklace. The sword is given to the hero, and the rouge is given to the beauty. This exquisite gemstone necklace, worn on Yi Shuerong's delicate neck, looked incredibly beautiful. Like stepping out of a painting. Yi Shuerong was deeply moved. Today, she was so lucky, it must be a blessing from heaven. Seeing her going through tough times, heaven arranged this good fortune for her. Little did she know, she could have all this because of Yang Chen. Yang Chen, of course, wouldn't reveal this, he thought Ouyang Rongguang had put in effort to prepare all this, which was considerate. Ouyang Rongguang breathed a sigh of relief at this point, finally, the gift was delivered to the war god's wife. Now he could relax. Watching the radiant Yi Shu Erong on stage, the Yi family members below were all fuming. They were extremely displeased. This daughter, who they least favored, had such good luck. 
But even though they were unhappy, they didn't dare to make a sound. Faced with Ouyang Rongguan's authority, everyone felt their scalp tingle. After the raffle segment ended, the banquet officially began. Yang Chen went to escort Yi Xu Erong back from the stage. As they passed the front row, a dandy-looking young man stood up and intercepted them. Oh, Miss He, that necklace is quite nice. The young man looked her up and down impudently. Um, thank you, Yi Xu Erong replied softly feeling the hostility from the other party, she was somewhat afraid. Come, sit down and have a drink with me, how about that? Let's be friends. This is a prime seat, you only get the chance to sit here if you're invited. Don't miss this opportunity. No need. Yi Xu Erong was about to refuse, but Yang Chen interrupted her. Sure, since we're invited, there's no reason not to accept. Sit down, darling. With that, Yang Chen was not polite at all, and sat down directly in the seat. Hey, is this your seat? I only invited this beautiful lady to sit, not you. The young master immediately said coldly. Yang Chen stared at him in confusion, what, since you invited my wife, can't I join? The young master was stunned for a moment, then sneered. Ha, you really don't know the difference in status? Let me tell you, I am Qian Zhenyu, the eldest son of the Qian family in Haizhou. Have you heard of my name? If you know what's good for you, get lost now. Don't provoke me. Everyone was excited. This loser actually dared to offend the eldest son of the Qian family at the banquet. That was one of the most powerful families in Haizhou. Moreover, the old master of the Qian family doted on this son the most. He was extremely arrogant outside, and no one dared to provoke him. If he set his sights on someone's wife, as long as he wanted her, he could have her. Even Yi Xu Erong's mother, Hao Hongqin, was somewhat hopeful. If the young master of the Qian family took a liking to Yi Xu Erong and snatched her, then she could openly kick out Yang Chen, right? Marrying into the Qian family was much better than being with the Fan family. With that, he signaled to his men to bring over a box, placed it in front of Yang Chen, and opened it to reveal a pile of red banknotes. The crowd gasped in surprise again. Take a good look, this money is for buying your wife for a night. Leave your wife and scram. Today, I'm in a good mood, so I won't hold it against you. Xian Jinyu continued to be arrogant. Doing such things was like a piece of cake for him. He was just a useless waste of a man, publicly snatching your wife and insulting you. What would you dare to do? But Qian Zhenyu would never have imagined that the person he had offended this time was not just some useless person. He was the king of a person who could overturn his entire family with just a casual word. Young Master Qian, I'll give you a chance too. Apologize to me right now, and I can pretend nothing happened, and let you keep your life. You only have one chance. Yang Chen said calmly. In front of Yi Xu Erong, Yang Chen didn't want to take action, it was one of his principles. He didn't want to scare her. Although his tone was calm at the moment, if it was his subordinates or enemies from the past who heard it, they would probably be trembling in fear by now. That voice carried the killing intent of a chief war god. What did you say? Shen Zhenyu was stunned, not expecting this guy to be not only cowardly but also crazy. Completely insane. How many lives did he think he had? Everyone gasped in shock. Was this guy really seeking death? What no one had expected was that the next moment, a thunderous slap came like a truck. Directly hitting Qian Zhenyu and sending him flying several meters. In an instant, his facial bones were almost deformed, and his teeth fell to the ground. I said, do you need me to say it twice to give you a chance to keep your life? Yang Chen's cold voice was like it came from the depths of hell. He, he hit Qian Zhenyu? Someone hit Qian Zhenyu? And it was at the East Sea Banquet? This is insane. The Qian family's influence in Haizhou was deeply rooted, even Ouyang Rongguan had to give them face. That's why Qian Zhenyu dared to be so arrogant and reckless. This was the first time he had been hit in his life. And directly hit to this extent. Everyone was sure that this guy was as good as dead today. Xian Zhenyu was in a sorry state, in so much pain that he could hardly get up. He angrily shouted, someone. 
Kill him for me. In an instant, the thugs behind young Master Qian surrounded him. These people were all elite thugs of the Qian family, one by one, they were all top experts in the martial arts world. They always protected him closely, but at that moment, they didn't react at all. Because Yang Chen's move was too fast, as fast as lightning. As soon as these people saw him, they all gasped. They only understood one thing. That this kid was finished. Although his strength was so powerful just now, with a wave of his hand, he could send people flying. But no matter how strong the power was, a hero is no match for four hands, especially when the young master of the Qian family had such terrifying subordinates. In the blink of an eye, several big men had already surrounded them. Yi Shuerong, on the side, was already pale with fear, she knew how powerful the people here were. Especially when she had heard of the Qian family in Haizhou, a truly terrifying big family that had control over everything. Offending them would definitely not end well. Young Master Qian, I'm sorry, my husband didn't mean it. How about this, I'll apologize to you on his behalf. If you want to punish someone, punish me instead. She was so frightened that she hurriedly stood in front of Yang Chen, ready to bow and apologize to Young Master Qian. But just as she was about to bend down, Yang Chen reached out and stopped her. Don't bow. You are my woman, remember, never bow to anyone. His voice was firm and powerful, word by word. Facing opponents who were terrifying to ordinary people, but to Yang Chen, they were just a group of insects. He could easily kill them with just one hand. At this moment, Yang Chen couldn't hold back anymore, he was ready to make a move. Who is causing trouble here? Just then, an extremely angry voice came from the side. This voice belonged to Ouyang Rongguang. He hurriedly arrived with a group of his men. Today, he thought everything was going smoothly, but now, seeing Yang Chen in trouble at the first-class seat, he was stunned. Despite all precautions, something had still gone wrong. Uncle Ouyang. You arrived just in time. This waste from the second-class seat dared to provoke my Qian family. Don't stop me, I'm going to take care of him. Chen Zhangyu had already climbed up from the ground, arrogantly shouting. In his eyes, Ouyang Rongguan would never allow such a thing to happen. After all, he was the young master of the Qian family who was qualified to sit in the VIP seat. The family had also had a close relationship with Ouyang Rongguan. The other party was just a poor waste. How could they compare to him? But what he never expected was that the next moment, a loud slap resounded, hitting his face hard once again. It was Ouyang Rongguang who slapped him. First the left cheek, now the right cheek. Qian Zhangyu was completely stunned, his face covered in blood, staring blankly. Even his men were all stunned. What kind of thing are you? How dare you cause trouble at my banquet? Ouyang Rongguang's reaction left everyone dumbfounded. Uncle Ouyang, are you, not giving face to my family? Qian Zhangyu trembled as he spoke. The small Chen family, what face do you have? It's me who is giving you face, allowing you to attend the banquet in the first class seat. But that doesn't mean you can act arrogantly here. Seeing Ouyang Rongguang's attitude, Chen Zhengyu immediately backed down. The Chen family's power was immense, but in front of Ouyang Rongguang, they were still inferior. If they really fought, his family would not be a match at all. But what he couldn't understand was why Ouyang Rongguan was helping this man. Was this waste more important than his own position? Now you apologize to Mr. Yang immediately, and then get out of here. Ouyang Rongguan ordered again. What? Apologize to him? Qian Zhengyu was also angry. After all, he was the heir of a major family, the young master of the Qian family. Wasn't it too much to apologize to such a waste? He was the one who had just been slapped. If you don't apologize, do you think you can walk out of this door? Ouyang Rongguang's eyes could almost kill. Seeing Ouyang Rongguang speak so firmly, Chen Zhengyu was also frightened. This was no joke. After all, he was on the other party's turf, so, he could only grit his teeth and apologize to Yang Chen. Yi Shuerong on the side had long been stunned, she never expected things to develop to this extent. All of this caught her completely off guard. She secretly observed Yang Chen, 
only to find him calm as usual. As if everything happening now was just a matter of course. The person you should apologize to is my wife, Yang Chen said coldly to Qian Zhang Yu again. Damn, you dare to push your luck? Qian Zhang Yu became anxious, gritting his teeth and glaring at him. Apologize. Oh Yang Rongguan angrily repeated on the side. Qian Zhang Yu was frightened and had to obediently do as told. In front of everyone's eyes, he bowed to the two and apologized, then left the hotel lobby with his men in embarrassment. This time, the face of the young master of the Qian family was completely lost. Ouyang Rongguan's actions puzzled everyone greatly. They thought Ouyang Rongguan would help the Qian family and drive away this insolent freeloader. But unexpectedly, Ouyang Rongguan was willing to offend the Qian family to help him? For what reason? Fairness, morality? This was too far-fetched. So they began to speculate, could there be something improper between Yi Shuerong and Ouyang Rongguan? After all, Yi Shuerong was stunningly beautiful, and no man could resist her charms. But if that was the case, why would he help Yi Shuerong's husband? This made even less sense. Seeing the situation getting out of control, Ouyang Rongguan felt nervous in his heart. He had to maintain the identity he was asked to hide by the war god. He quickly stepped onto the stage, took the microphone, and said, Everyone, please be quiet, I have something to say. Our East Sea Banquet is an event focused on communication and fairness, especially on this day with the presence of the war god. In his presence, we cannot allow the arrogant behavior of the young master of the Qian family. The war god? So the distinguished guest today was the war god. Everyone felt their breath quicken. In front of that person, what was the Qian family but ants? No wonder Ouyang Rongguang had such confidence. Ouyang Rongguang's explanation finally dispelled everyone's doubts. He also felt relieved. After the banquet, Ouyang Rongguang hurried over to apologize to Yang Chen. Sir, everything that happened today was my fault. Please forgive me. Rest assured, I will send people to deal with the Qian family, I will make them disappear from this world. Ouyang Rongguang was trembling nervously in front of Yang Chen. He regretted inviting the war god for the sake of face, only to find himself incapable of managing the banquet. Yang Chen just shook his head. He had overestimated himself. It was just a small banquet held in a local place, yet he had expectations, wanting Yi Shuerong to meet some influential people and broaden her horizons here. These people, in essence, were just a bunch of riffraff. The disparity was too great. He had attended countless national banquets in the capital. In comparison, what could this small banquet amount to? You handle this matter yourself. I won't hold you accountable for it, but don't organize the East Sea Banquet again in the future. I don't like it. That's it. Yes, I understand. Ouyang Rongguan felt utterly crushed inside. This was the biggest event he had organized, symbolizing his status. But with such a big mistake today, even if he had the courage, he dared not say another word. Being able to save himself was already a stroke of luck. He now only resented that arrogant young master of the Qian family, Chen Zhengyu. It was all because of his arrogance that completely disrupted his banquet. He angrily made a phone call. Send people to deal with the Qian family immediately. Make their family collapse within three days. At that moment, the head of the Qian family in Haizhou, upon learning of these events, was also furious. Who exactly dares to touch my son from the Qian family? Dad, this time it was because Ouyang Rongguan personally intervened, and he even kicked me out. You must stand up for your son. The disheveled Qian Zhang Yu, who had been slapped twice, was crying to his father about his ordeal. But when the head of the Qian family heard this, the anger in him weakened significantly. What? Oh Yang actually took action himself? Yes, he even said that if our family goes against him, he will destroy us. The head of the Qian family was so scared that he sat down heavily on a chair. You ungrateful child, look at what you've done. It's all over now. He was not a fool. If his mind was simple, he wouldn't have reached his position today. He understood that the person even Ouyang Rongguan had to personally help was definitely not just an ordinary guest in the second row. 
Although he didn't know the other party's background, he understood that this was someone who should not be provoked. If things went wrong, Ouyang Rongguang might blame him. What? Xian Zhengyu was completely stunned. He never expected that his father not only didn't help him, but also reacted like this? He was on the verge of a breakdown. Everything that happened at the banquet left everyone puzzled, but also made the Yi family very unhappy. They thought they would see Yang Chen suffer, but they didn't expect Ouyang Rongguan to personally intervene and help him? This really made them very unhappy. Dad, why did? Ouyang Rongguan help that waste Yang Chen? Back home, Yi Wenqing couldn't help but ask. I don't know. Yi Mingshan was also puzzled. I think that guy is getting more and more arrogant. This time he escaped a disaster at the banquet, but won't the Qian family come after him later? At this point, Hao Hongqin said. Yes, if it implicates our family, it will be troublesome. Yi Mingshan immediately realized this and felt uneasy. But before they could do anything, they soon heard another terrible thing. That is, a few days later, the Qian family actually collapsed. The Qian family, the top luxury family in Haizhou. Just like that, they collapsed? No one knew what exactly happened. But people speculated that it was because the Qian family's behavior at the East Sea Banquet displeased the war god. So they ended up in this situation. Now, everyone felt that the Qian family deserved it. And they were full of awe for the war god. As for everything that happened later, Yi Linlin Lin was completely unaware. Because, after returning home, she fell seriously ill. At the banquet, Yi Lin Lin not only didn't get the teardrop of dreams, but also lost face. And with so many prominent families present at the time, she would have a hard time holding her head up for a while. This incident made her hate and blame everything on Yi Shu Erong. She believed that it was because of Yi Shu Erong that she suffered so miserably. So she secretly vowed to get revenge. Honey, you have to help me vent my anger. Yi Lin Lin cried to Fan Xing Yang. Lin Lin, don't worry, there are ways to deal with her. In the bedroom, Fan Xing Yang said coldly. In Gautnan City, Fan Xing Yang's methods were extremely cunning, he had countless ways to deal with a person. Even resorting to despicable means. After returning home, Yi Xu Erong became more and more convinced that Yang Chen was truly extraordinary. He was hiding something more than just his depth. Many recent events made Yi Xu Erong even more curious about Yang Chen. But if Yang Chen was really a powerful person, why would he be so low-key? Shouldn't a man with money and power be very high-profile and flamboyant? At least none of the wealthy people she knew were not high-profile. So, she couldn't understand it at all. Especially after Yang Chen returned home, he still did the laundry and cooking every day, as if everything at the banquet was not worth mentioning. So, Yi Xu Erong's mind started working again. She suddenly came up with an idea, she could try to see how capable Yang Chen really was. Although this method felt a bit bad, she now felt that it was okay to be a little bad to her husband occasionally. Honey, don't you think our house is a bit small? Yi Xu Erong came to the kitchen and softly said to Yang Chen, who was busy cooking. Her voice was sweet and different from usual. Yang Chen felt puzzled and looked up at her, I think it's fine, just right for the two of us. What's wrong, dear? Didn't you like it here? This house was rented by Yi Xu Erong because she was kicked out of the Yi family and rented this small house. Yang Chen had mentioned moving before, but Yi Xu Erong said she was comfortable living here and liked it everywhere, so they didn't move. In fact, she just thought it was cheap, as there were few houses as cheap as this in Gauten City. But now, Yi Xu Erong realized that maybe she shouldn't worry about money at all. Yeah, lately I feel like this house is too old very uncomfortable to live in. Don't you think so? She deliberately said. She knew that Yang Chen spoiled her, she just wanted to see how capable Yang Chen really was. But Yang Chen replied, wife, the housing prices in Gautan are not cheap, getting more expensive. And, I think our home is pretty good. Why so picky? Yang Chen's answer also surprised Yi Xu Erong. It seemed like her guess was wrong? Her husband wasn't some hidden rich man? The next day, Yi Xu Erong went to work as usual. When she arrived at the company early in the morning, 
she was suddenly informed that the North City project was handed back to her to manage. Manager Yi said the project is temporarily handed over to you, but she specifically reminded me that this cooperation is very important. You better not mess it up, otherwise, the consequences will be severe. The secretary of the general manager informed her with a high and mighty attitude. Upon hearing this, Yi Xu Aron was both surprised and delighted. Manager Yi Lin Lin actually voluntarily handed over such an important project to her? Why? Did her sister suddenly change? Was she no longer hostile towards her? Deep down, Yi Xu Erong had always hoped to improve her relationship with her family, wanting her parents and two sisters to treat her better. Unfortunately, her wish had not been fulfilled. So this time, she was very happy. She thought the relationship was getting better. But little did she know, this was actually Yi Lin Lin's revenge plan. Yi Lin Lin had already discussed a plan with Fan Qingyang on how to deal with Yi Xu Erong. First, she pretended to be sick and took leave from the family, then persuaded her father Yi Mingshan to hand the project back to Yi Xu Erong temporarily. Later, Fan Qingyang would secretly use his social connections to send a group of people to cause trouble at the construction site. With these thugs, they could easily ruin the project. Yi Mingshan would not tolerate Yi Xu Erong messing up such a major project. This way, they could successfully kick her out of the house. Although this would cause a great loss to the Yi family and she would miss the opportunity to benefit, for the sake of revenge, it was nothing to her. After all, she had already profited enough from the family. Yi Xu Erong immediately got busy after taking over the project. She researched, visited the construction site, and got into work mode. Yi Lin Lin would never do these things herself, always delegating to others, too lazy to even look. This characteristic of Yi Xu Erong was one of the main aspects they exploited. Young Master Yang, how are things going? When are we going to make our move? Fan Xing Yang asked the leader of the thugs he brought in, a scar-faced ruffian named Dao Ba. Who called him? Dao Ba was one of his closest contacts in the underworld of Gautan City, a quite influential figure. In the next couple of days, remember to be ruthless when the time comes. Fan Qingyang coldly instructed. Then, he suddenly added in a low voice, Oh, don't forget to find an opportunity to capture Yi Xu Erong for me. Then contact me immediately, let me take care of her. You know what to do. His voice, filled with malice and pride. The reason he agreed to help Yi Lin Lin with this matter is all for his own benefit. This is his perfect opportunity to deal with Yi Xu Erong. For him, if he can't have someone, then he will destroy them. All right, leave it to us, you can rest assured. Scar readily agreed, with a sinister smile on his face. This kind of thing, he excelled at. However, he did not expect that those noble and dignified aristocratic families, who usually appeared respectable, would be so dirty and ruthless in their actions, even more so than them. But, as long as he can make money, what does he care about all that? Recently, the North City project of the Mu Rong Group has been entrusted to Yi Xu Erong by the Yi family again. Soon, Yang Chen received a call from his subordinate wolf girl, reporting the situation to him. Hey, interesting, what does this mean? Yang Chen felt somewhat ridiculous upon hearing this. Yes, he had long been aware of the situation where Yi Xu Erong was marginalized in the company by Yi Lin Lin and had the project taken away. He saw everything that happened in the Yi family. Initially, upon learning that Yi Lin Lin had taken away the project, he was very angry and was planning to take action against them, but he did not expect Yi Lin Lin to suddenly pull such a move. However, Yang Chen was not as naive as Yi Xu Erong. He immediately realized that this woman must have a conspiracy. Yi Lin Lin must have set a trap for her. I estimate that this Yi Lin Lin is planning something. Sir, how should we proceed? Let's wait and see for now, arrange more people, prepare at the construction site, I guess she is planning to target the project. Yang Chen judged. This foolish woman probably can't come up with any clever tricks. She can be easily dealt with. If anyone dares to treat Yi Xu Erong like this, Yang Chen will spare no means to eliminate them. But the person treating her like this happens to be Yi Xu Erong's close relative. So, he has no choice. However, his tolerance also has its limits, if Yi Lin Lin continues to challenge his bottom line,
then don't blame him for being ruthless. After dealing with this matter, Yang Chen began to work on another matter. Choosing a house. His wife's words are more important to him than anything else. On the surface, he said he wouldn't move, just to not expose his identity and strength. The reason for not moving before was because his wife didn't allow it, but now that his wife has said she wants to live in a new house, how can he not take it seriously? Soon, the wolf girl sent him information on several houses. What seaside villas, mountain view mansions, top floor flats. These houses, each one is top-notch in the local area. Even for many tycoons, they are all top-notch residences that they dream of. These few are not suitable, too flashy. And these are not suitable either, too remote. It's inconvenient for my wife to work from here. After careful selection, Yangchen finally settled on a mountain view villa located in the suburbs of Gautnan City that looked relatively pleasing. At the moment, this seems to be a relatively good choice. The location is suitable, the environment is quiet. It's all good. Let's go with this one. As Yi Xu Aron was about to leave work, she received a phone call. Hello, is this Miss Yi Xu Aron? We are from the Mu Rong Group. As a token of appreciation for your work, we have a small gift plan to give you. Yi Xu Aron was surprised to hear this. Ah, it's really embarrassing. It's already an honor for you to cooperate with us. Please don't say that. Having a professional project manager like you is our luck. The gift we are giving you is a five-year residential right to a small house. Please accept it. The lady on the phone said respectfully. Wow, really? Where is the house located? Yi Xu Aron was delighted. This is too good to be true. Um, the specific location may be a bit remote, in Nanshan. If you find it too far, I can find another place for you, the other party said. But, there are no residential areas in Nanshan, right? Yi Xu Aron was a bit puzzled. The place is desolate, with no new residential areas at all. Unless. In an instant, she suddenly realized. Wait a minute. Are you talking about the South Mountain Villa District? South Mountain is the only residential area there. It's the top villa district in the entire Gautan city. Who in the city doesn't know about it? After getting confirmation from the other party, Yi Xu Aron could hardly breathe. To have such a good opportunity come to her, it's really lucky. The Mu Rong Group is truly a big company. Next, people from the Mu Rong Group quickly came to her with the agreement and she signed it. They handed her the keys to the house. Everything felt like a dream. As soon as they met, she couldn't wait to tell her husband about it, but Yang Chen just scratched his head, oh, is that place very expensive? Yang Chen really didn't know much about these things, because money was like paper to him in terms of his status. He had no concept of these material things. Yi Xu Erong excitedly told him, Honey, the South Mountain Villa is very expensive. Even if we can only live there for five years, it's already a dream come true for many people. Yang Chen smiled and said, Is that so? Wife, you're really lucky. I can enjoy the benefits with you. Yang Chen said pretendingly. Yi Xu Erong was immersed in excitement and didn't suspect him at all. Although she believed that Yang Chen must still have many secrets hidden from her, she absolutely did not associate this matter with it, after all, how could Yang Chen have the power to manipulate the Mu Rong group even if he had some abilities? Soon, the two of them arrived. At the South Mountain Villa District to view the house. The entire villa area is located on the mountainside of South Mountain, surrounded by lush forests, with extremely elegant scenery. Those who live here are basically the top elite class of the city. Ordinary people don't even have the qualifications to visit. Yi Xu Erong stood at the foot of the mountain, looking up at everything here, unable to help but feel deeply moved. While others may not have a concept of the prices here, she was very clear about it. She had researched it thoroughly before. This was the place her father, Yi Mingshan, had always dreamed of, dreaming of owning a house here. Unfortunately, this was not something that could be achieved through effort alone, the world is not that fair. Some people struggle their whole lives and still can't achieve it, while others can do it effortlessly. Yi Xu Erong had always aspired to buy a house here through hard work to fulfill her father's wish. 
But today, finally, that day had come. Wife, which one is ours? Yang Chen asked pretending not to know. I heard it should be the one at the very top. Yi Shu Erong said, feeling secretly excited. The level of the South Mountain Villa is arranged according to the height, the higher you go, the higher the level. So, at the very top, that also means. Oh, isn't this Yi Shu Erong? And you brought your useless husband along? A convertible Bentley arrived beside them. Inside the car sat a young couple. They were fashionable and exuded an air of wealth. They were looking at them mockingly. Yang Ching? What are you doing here? Yi Xu Erong immediately recognized the visitor, he was her former university classmate. However, she didn't have a good impression of this classmate. This guy was Yang Qing, the young master of the Yang family, and he was also a well-known second generation rich in Gautan. During their student days, he was domineering in the class, and no one dared to provoke him. At that time, he had always been interested in Yi Shu Erong, but unfortunately, Yi Shu Erong had always been with that guy from the Wei family, Yang Chen, and he never had a chance. Later, the Wei family disappeared, and Yang Chen also disappeared. Their family, on the other hand, continued to rise, and now they could live in the South Mountain Villa district, which was enough to show the strength of their family. And the high and mighty goddess who had rejected him back then could only marry a useless waste like Yang Chen. They could only stand below and look up at their family's mansion. This was really satisfying for him. Shouldn't I be asking you that? This is the South Mountain Villa district. I live here. With your qualifications, I'm afraid you're only worthy of admiring from below, right? Ha ha ha. Yang Qing laughed heartily when he heard this. My dear, what if they are here to steal things? We should remind the security to keep an eye on them. The woman in the passenger seat next to him added. Don't worry, the security system here is the tightest in the city. Not even a fly can get in, let alone thieves. The two of them mocked them recklessly. You, look down on people too much. How do you know I'm not a resident here? Yi Shu Erong said angrily. How could these people insult others so casually? Is having some money so impressive? She suddenly wished that Yang Chen would reveal his hidden wealthy status and slap them in the face. Since you're so awesome, where's your access card? Each resident of Nanshan Villa has a dedicated access card, otherwise, you can't even get through the gate. Understand? Yang Qing continued to sneer. My dear, why are you telling him this? Look at them, they look so poor, they don't even have a car. People living in Nanshan Villa, can they even take public transportation? When he heard this, Yang Qing laughed even more triumphantly. What a clever little devil. There are no public transportation routes in Nanshan Villa, the point is to be secluded and undisturbed, after all, who living here doesn't have a few luxury cars? I will buy a car for my wife. However, you two are very annoying, you better leave quickly. Yang Chen finally spoke. His voice was very cold, full of dominance. Damn, how dare you talk to me like that? You're looking for trouble. Yang Chang was immediately angry. Who does this guy think he is, the young master of the Wei family? Just a lowly dog. Dare to be arrogant with him? He was about to explode, but at that moment, a Mercedes-Benz RV suddenly came towards them. He recognized it at a glance, it was specially prepared by the developer to welcome VIPs. Only S-Class residents can enjoy it. Each S-Class villa has such a dedicated set of facilities, even a dedicated fleet of vehicles. Seeing this car, Yang Qing's eyes widened. My god, there's a VIP today, wait, am I seeing things right? The license plate number is SSS01? Yang Qing couldn't believe his eyes. My dear, what does that mean? You don't know this. It's the special car for the top villa. It is said that a mysterious tycoon bought that villa a few days ago. It seems that today we can finally see the true owner? S-Class represents the highest class in the villa. It means the most top-notch luxury homes in the entire Nanshan Villa area. In this Nanshan Villa area, it is also divided into different levels. The Yang family's villa is just a B-Class. 
S-class is something they dare not even think about. Yang Ching couldn't help but feel curious. Who could buy this villa? I say, you guys are lucky today to see the owner of the S-class villa. Don't just stand here foolishly, hurry up and leave. It won't look good if the property management kicks you out later. Yang Ching continued to mock them, looking pleased. At this point, they could only find a sense of superiority in them. But before he could finish his words, he noticed that the exclusive welcoming car slowly stopped. And it stopped right in front of them. Then, a man in uniform and several attendants quickly got out of the car and stood in a row, respectfully saying, I am the housekeeper Wu, welcoming Missy Xu Erong home. Yang Qing was almost petrified in an instant. His girlfriend, who had a proud look on her face, also froze. Is this a dream? The person who bought the S-Class villa is actually Yi Xu Erong? Based on the strength of the Yi family? But the fact is right in front of them, disbelief is useless. The two of them felt so embarrassed that they wanted to disappear. Even Yi Xu Erong was surprised. To have such a service of a dedicated car and even a housekeeper, she was just beginning to experience the world of truly wealthy people. Miss Yi, why don't you let us pick you up directly? Our special car can pick up owners from anywhere in the city, and even from outside the city. Steward Wu said respectfully. It's, it's okay, no need to trouble yourselves. Yi Xu Erong waved her hand in a flustered manner. She looked very cute. After all, she was rarely treated with such respect, and she felt a bit at a loss. All right, but the road up the mountain is long, it's more convenient for both of you to take the car. Steward Wu said respectfully again. Okay, let's get in the car first, rong rong, Yang Chen immediately spoke up. He knew his wife's personality, always afraid of inconveniencing others. Yi Xu Erong nodded and then got into the spacious car. Yang Chen glanced at Yang Cheng beside him, who was still dumbfounded with his girlfriend. Why are you still here? Yang Ching suddenly came to his senses. He was so scared that he didn't dare to make a sound, and quickly stepped on the gas pedal and drove away. Now he understood how insignificant he was. This was the owner of Villa S. Not to mention that he couldn't afford to offend him, there were not many people in Gauten City who dared to disrespect him. He had been so arrogant in front of them just now. Looking back, he broke out in a cold sweat. Now, he only felt fear towards Yi Xu Erong. Sitting in the car, Yang Chen and Yi Xu Erong looked at the scenery outside the window, feeling very comfortable. The villa area was built like a park, with elegant scenery. Walking here made people relax. After all, it was a high-end residential area. Soon, they arrived in front of Villa S, and the car slowly stopped. This villa was completely different from what they had seen along the way, not only was the design exquisite and grand, but it was also more majestic. After all, this was the real top luxury villa in Nanshan. In the future, if you need anything in the Nanshan villa area, just call me directly. I am always at your service. After getting off the car, Steward Wu said again with the utmost respect. Steward Wu led Yang Chen and Yi Xu Erong to visit their new home. As soon as they entered, the decoration of the house, as well as various high-end furniture and facilities, opened Yi Xu Erong's eyes. The life of the wealthy was truly unimaginable. The place is not fully decorated yet, it may take some time. If you think it's okay, you can move in a few days later. After the tour, Steward Wu said. Okay but I heard that the maintenance and property fees here are very expensive, can we afford it? Yi Xu Erong asked worriedly. Miss Yi, rest assured, these are all services included with the purchase of the house, you don't need to worry about them for the next three years. Steward Wu quickly explained with a smile. Everything was arranged perfectly. Yang Chen had already decided not to reveal his true identity in front of Yi Xu Erong. For the past two years, he had been keeping a low profile, especially in front of his wife. He didn't want Yi Xu Erong to feel distant from him, treating him like some lofty war god. He was worried that it would create a rift between them. He just wanted to maintain the current lifestyle, and that was enough. After seeing the new house, they agreed to move in by the end of the month. 
Yi Shueron couldn't believe that one day she would actually be able to live in this dream place, it all felt surreal to her. It was like a dream. She planned to keep this a secret from her father for now, and surprise him later. Let them move in together. Perhaps, this opportunity could help improve her relationship with her family. The next day, Yi Shueron went to work at the company, and as soon as she arrived, she received some bad news. Manager, there's been an accident at our construction site. You should go and take a look. Jean Xiaoqing was Yi Shueron's intern assistant, a young woman who had just graduated from university. She had been transferred to Yi Shueron's team because she was not well received in the company. Upon hearing this news, Yi Shueron was also alarmed and immediately rushed to the construction site in the north of the city. The scene was chaotic, with many facilities damaged and several workers injured. From the locals, she learned the general situation. A group of troublemakers suddenly appeared not long ago, arriving in two vans and causing havoc by assaulting people and damaging property. Before leaving, they issued a warning that if the construction site wanted to operate, they must first seek approval from Scar Brother in the north of the city. Upon hearing this name, Yi Shueron felt a sense of unease. Scar Brother was a notorious gang leader in the area, with many followers and strong backing. The company held an emergency meeting upon learning of the situation, discussing countermeasures. Dad, it seems like these people are trying to extort money from us. What should we do? Yi Wenching asked anxiously. It's nothing, just about money. Send someone to negotiate with them and ask for a figure. If it's reasonable, consider it a necessary expense to avoid further trouble. However, our family can only tolerate up to 3 million, no more than that. Yi Mingshan, being experienced in such matters, immediately came up with a plan. Yi Shuerong, as the person in charge, you bear a great responsibility for today's events. Understand? You must resolve this matter properly, or don't bother coming back. Yi Mingshan directed his displeasure towards Yi Shuerong. Yes, I understand. Yi Shueron was actually quite anxious, as this was her first time dealing with such a situation. But since her father had spoken so firmly, she could only agree. After all, she was responsible for the situation. Just as she was worrying, Yang Chen called. Wife, heard about the trouble at the construction site? Yi Shueron was surprised, yes, how did you know? Her husband seemed to have great connections. Don't ask. Tomorrow, just continue work as usual, and I'll accompany you then. Yang Chen's words reassured her. With a husband who had great connections, she felt more at ease. Husband, how did you know about the construction site issue? Yi Shueron couldn't help but ask when they met. Well, I have a former comrade with extensive connections in the north of the city. He heard about it and informed me. Yang Chen explained. In the afternoon, with Yang Chen's assistance, Yi Shueron returned to the construction site. They organized the workers, arranged the tasks, and soon the project resumed smoothly. Everything was proceeding in an orderly manner. With Yang Chen coordinating on site, the work progressed even more efficiently than before. The news quickly reached Scar Brothers' ears. Boss, the Yi family group has resumed work. A subordinate reported to him. What? Damn it, do they think I'm a joke? Scar Brother slammed the table in anger. What should we do, boss? Should we continue to deal with them? Deal with them. We must deal with them. Someone dares to act so arrogantly on my turf for the first time. Scar Brother felt humiliated for the first time, having expected the Yi family to come begging for negotiations. But they didn't even take him seriously? Frustrated, Scar Brother couldn't understand. They had already suffered at the hands of the Yi family last time. Were they seeking death? Fine, if they were seeking death, then he wouldn't be polite. This time, he directly mobilized over a hundred of his men, loaded onto several vehicles, and headed straight for the Yi family group's construction site. The workers on the site had already witnessed the prowess of these troublemakers last time and were filled with fear. At this moment, as soon as they saw the menacing group of people arriving again, and this time with even more people than last time, they were even more frightened and at a loss. 
Hundreds of people got off the cars, blocking the entrance, each holding knives, guns, sticks, and clubs, creating a very intimidating scene. Manager, their people are here again. Jin Xiaoqing took a quick look and hurriedly ran to report to Yi Shu Erong. Upon hearing this news, Yi Shu Erong also became nervous. At that moment, Yang Chen happened to be outside smoking and was not by her side. She gritted her teeth and thought, she might as well go talk to them first. She didn't believe that those people really had no regard for the law. She took a deep breath and strode towards the group outside. I am the project manager of the Yi group, what do you want? She furrowed her brows, staring at the thugs with scars. Unfortunately, her appearance was not intimidating at all, but rather very cute. As soon as Yi Shu Erong appeared, Scar couldn't take his eyes off her. She was indeed a top-notch beauty. No wonder that young master from the Fan family wanted to make a move on her. Any man who saw her would be captivated. Oh, so you are Miss Yi. Do you know who I am? Scar, with a cigarette in his mouth, looked Yi Shu Erong up and down, showing a threatening demeanor. You must be Scar, right? Yi Shu Erong looked at the scar on his face, trying to remain calm. Oh, it seems you recognize me, huh? You guys have some nerve, huh? You dare to continue working? Do you think my words are just hot air? Scar continued arrogantly. Why should I greet you? What you are doing is wrong. It's illegal. Yi Shu Erong gathered her courage to speak. Ha, damn, you dare say that to me? Illegal? Ha ha. Scar burst into laughter, and his henchmen also smiled. These people had been causing trouble in the north of the city for so many years, and it was the first time someone had said this to them. Let me tell you. In the north of the city, I am the law. Scar's face suddenly turned cold and he said arrogantly. Today, not only will you not be able to work, but you will also have to find a place to talk to me. Go, get her into my car. Scar ordered his men sternly. His men immediately came over and grabbed Yi Shu Erong. Yi Shu Erong struggled desperately, but how could she match the strength of these thugs? She was instantly immobilized. Scar walked up to Yi Shu Erong and arrogantly patted her cheek. Little girl, remember this, in the north of the city, I am the boss. Not only can I shut down your construction site, but today, I will also deal with you. You, how dare you? Yi Shu Erong was both embarrassed and angry, staring at the local tyrant in front of her, feeling helpless. Whether I dare or not, you will find out soon. He he he. Scar said smugly, but suddenly felt a shadow flash towards him. The next moment, he was sent flying several meters. He crashed heavily into the group of thugs next to him, instantly knocking down a large group of them. Like knocking down bowling pins. The person who suddenly appeared was Yang Chen. The thugs who were holding Yi Shu Erong, seeing their leader being kicked away, immediately let go of her and rushed towards him. Xiao Qing, take the manager back to the room first, leave this to me. Yang Chen not only remained calm but also instructed Yi Shu Erong's assistant, Jin Xiao Qing. Jin Xiaoqing stared blankly at this man, hesitated for a few seconds before nodding quickly, then went to help Yi Shu Erong. But Yi Shu Erong had no intention of going back, she was completely worried. Although Yang Chen might be a wealthy man with a lot of money, but, there were over a hundred thugs. How could he fight against so many people alone? Even if he had a military background, it would be difficult for a single hero to defeat four hands. Wife, don't worry, I can handle it. Yang Chen noticed her concern and smiled slightly at her. That smile seemed to have a certain power, making Yi Shu Erong suddenly less worried. She believed that Yang Chen must have a way. She nodded, Husband, please be careful. After Yi Shu Erong was taken back by Jin Xiaoqing, Yang Chen seemed to have been released from a spell. He could do whatever he wanted. Kid, was it you who kicked my ass just now? Damn it! Today, not only will I disable you, but I will also ransack your home. Scar struggled to get up from the ground, angrily shouting at Yang Chen. Yang Chen showed no expression on his face and seemed indifferent. It was as if he didn't even want to waste words. Get him. 
Beat him to death. Scar angrily gave orders. How could he let it go after losing face in front of so many subordinates? A group of thugs wielding knives menacingly approached Yang Chen. For a normal person, seeing this scene would probably make their legs tremble in fear. But Yang Chen, unarmed, didn't even take a step back. Not only that, he even had a slight smile on his face. It had been too long since he had moved. Today, he finally had the chance to stretch his muscles. By the time those thugs realized they had messed with the wrong person, it was already too late. Yang Chen plunged into the crowd of opponents like a fierce beast, launching a frenzied attack. Like a lion charging into a herd of sheep. This was not a battle at all, it was a hunt. The whole process took less than three minutes. Yang Chen had already taken care of all the people. The ground was littered with thugs covered in blood, their limbs useless. These people usually bullied and oppressed in the north of the city, and the common people dared not speak up against them. But this time, they would never be able to do evil again in their remaining years. Yang Chen's terrifying combat power left the ordinary workers around him stunned. Where had they ever seen such a scene before? Is this, is this still a human being? While everyone was trembling in fear, Yang Chen had already stepped over the disabled thugs lying on the ground and walked towards Scar. Scar was hiding at the back, already scared stiff, his legs trembling. You're Scar, right? Come, let's talk. Yang Chen grabbed Scar's hair without hesitation and dragged him into a nearby hut. The burly Scar was actually easily dragged on the ground by Yang Chen with just one hand. Scar couldn't break free at all, looking more like a dog being dragged. Where was his former arrogance? In front of this terrifying man, he had completely lost his bravado. Who sent you? Once inside the hut, Yang Chen locked the door and began to interrogate. Don't think you're tough just because you can fight. Let me tell you, the people behind me are tough. Before he could finish his nonsense, a swift kick landed on his face, blood splattering everywhere. Yang Chen only used half of his strength. If he used full force, the man in front of him would be done for. Scar dared not act out anymore, instantly cowering like a grandson. He obediently spilled the beans about Fan Qingyang's involvement. Upon hearing this, Yang Chen was furious. It was indeed him? This matter was definitely related to Yi Lin Lin. It must have been a conspiracy between this couple of scoundrels to pull off such a thing. To even target his own sister like this? After understanding everything, Yang Chen coldly said, Use all the money you've extorted over the years to compensate for the losses at the construction site. Stay and work at the site for three months, and this matter will be considered settled. Do you understand? Yes, thank you big brother, no. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Scar kept bowing in fear. He didn't dare to resist or disobey at all. At that moment, Yang Chen suddenly sensed someone nearby. He turned his head and saw Jean Xiaoqing standing outside the hut. She was sent out by Yi Xu Erong out of concern, but ended up witnessing such a scene. She stared in shock at everything, completely at a loss. A recent graduate, inexperienced in the ways of the world, where had she ever seen such a scene? She was completely dumbfounded. Yang Chen wiped the blood off his hands, opened the door, and walked out. Jin Xiaoqing watched him approach her step by step, her breath almost stopping. Not only does he have that domineering aura, but also a strong masculine scent. That kind of masculinity almost made her dizzy. Today's matter, I hope you won't tell manager Yi about it. Remember? It seemed like a question, but it didn't give her any choice at all. Jin Xiaoqing was so scared that she quickly nodded vigorously, and then, with Yang Chen's permission, she hurriedly turned and ran away. What puzzled her the most was that Rong Rong's husband, wasn't everyone saying, he's a waste? How could he be so powerful? That kind of charm, no girl could resist. She quickly shook her head to dispel those messy thoughts. He was Rong Rong's husband after all. Meanwhile, Fan Yang was humming a song happily in the company. He was waiting for Scar to report good news to him. Today, he heard that Yi Mingshan had sent Yi Xu Erong to negotiate. According to his plan, Scar would arrange a meeting place, such as a hotel room, 
and then secretly drug Yi Xu Erong to make her unconscious. The rest, he would have fun on his own. But he was eagerly looking forward to it, only to receive shocking news that struck him like a thunderbolt. What? Scar's brother, all wiped out? Damn. How is that possible? Fan Yang shouted in disbelief over the phone. It's true, Mr. Fan, we were lucky to escape. And it seems like there was only one person on the other side. Damn it, Scar has hundreds of brothers under him. Are you telling me they were all wiped out by one person? Are you telling me a myth? Fan Yang couldn't believe it. But soon, he had to believe it, as the news had spread completely, causing chaos in the underworld. Fan Yang began to feel terrified, what had really happened on the construction site today? Who was this godlike figure who could wipe out over a hundred of Scar's men alone? Fan Yang collapsed on the sofa in despair. This time, he had completely messed up. Of course, Yi Shu Erong had no idea what Yang Chen had done, she only knew that when she came out, the group of thugs outside had all disappeared. And the big boss Scar, he was still at the construction site, working as a laborer. This was too unbelievable. In the Yi family company, Yi Mingshan learned that Yi Shu Erong hadn't spent a penny and had successfully handled the matter, he was overjoyed. Good, Rong Rong did a great job this time. Deserves praise. For the first time, Yi Mingshan praised her in front of everyone without reservation. Yi Wenqing sat aside, rolling her eyes impatiently. She certainly didn't want to see her sister being approved by her father. But if it could save him a lot of money, Yi Mingshan was naturally very happy. Since you've done so well, continue to take charge of the project. Don't disappoint me. Yi Mingshan instructed again. I will, Dad. Yi Xu Erong was very happy and nodded obediently. Yang Chen had not told her about what Yi Lin Lin had planned behind her back, he didn't want his wife to get involved in these dark matters. For the past two years, he had been silently protecting Yi Shu Erong, she never knew what she had done. But recently, she seemed to be getting closer to his secrets. Yang Chen decided that he couldn't act frequently anymore, to avoid being discovered by his wife. He temporarily put aside Yi Lin Lin's matter, as they had already been taught a lesson. But if the couple dared to play tricks again, he would really not tolerate it. On the other hand, upon learning that Yi Shu Erong had perfectly resolved the trouble and firmly held the project in her hands, Yi Lin Lin was so angry that she gritted her teeth. Fan Xing Yang, you useless waste. I regret marrying you. Yi Lin Lin punched him in anger. Fan Xing Yang was also furious, he had never been so useless in his life. Not only did he fail to realize his dirty thoughts, but he also suffered losses. He had specifically given Scar 500,000 to get things done. As a result, not only was the money wasted, but Scar also got involved. I can't rely on you at all, I have to do it myself. Yi Lin Lin said resentfully. After thinking for a moment, she called her father, Yi Mingshan, directly. Dad, did you really hand the project over to that sly Yi Shu Erong? She asked bluntly. Upon hearing this, Yi Mingshan was taken aback. Why do you say that? What did she do? Dad, are you still in the dark? Do you know that Yi Shu Erong has been stealing money from our family, not just once or twice? Yi Mingshan narrowed his eyes, what's going on? Yi Mingshan didn't care about much in his life, but money was something he couldn't be careless about. Dad, haven't you noticed? Lately, the cosmetics she uses are getting better and better. And do you remember the outfit she wore to the banquet last time, that was a designer brand? It costs tens of thousands. Can she afford such expensive clothes normally? Yi Lin Lin listed the evidence meticulously, trying to pin the blame on Yi Shu Erong. She was almost turning black into white. Yi Mingshan was not stupid, he understood exactly what his daughter was implying. Lin Lin, you should be well aware of the importance of the project in the north of the city to our family. Prioritize your actions. Even if your sister has done something wrong, we can address it after the project is completed. Yi Lin Lin, who is usually spoiled by her father, was not used to him taking this stance. Dad, are you saying you're not going to investigate? Yi Mingshan coldly snorted, investigate? 
You mean the money stealing incident, right? If you really want me to check the accounts, I will thoroughly examine the company's financial records. Are you sure you want that? This was the first time Yi Mingshan had spoken so sternly to his daughter. Yi Linlin was stunned and couldn't speak for a while. This hit a nerve with her. In the Yi family company, if anyone was greedy for money, it was her, Yi Lin Lin. She would be the first to suffer if the accounts were scrutinized. Upon hearing Yi Mingshan's words, Yi Lin Lin understood her father's intentions. This time, he was determined to protect the cooperation project and not let anything disrupt it. The realization that it was her actions that made her father acknowledge Yi Xu Erong's abilities made her grit her teeth in frustration. It was like losing the rice while trying to steal the chicken. Seeing that she couldn't persuade her father, Yi Lin Lin was still unwilling to give up. She had another option, to seek help from her mother, Hao Hongqin. Mom, aren't you going to do anything? Look at how biased my dad has become. He's trying to help Yi Xu Erong rise up and eventually kick me out of this family. Yi Lin Lin went back to her mother's house and tearfully complained in front of her, pretending to be pitiful. Hao Hongqin couldn't bear to see her daughter Yi Lin Lin in such distress. Yi Lin Lin was her favorite daughter, the one who resembled her the most in personality, competitive and proud. Although her youngest daughter, Yi Wenqing, had a similar personality, she was a bit slow-witted compared to Yi Lin Lin and often seemed naive. That's why Hao Hongqin favored Yi Lin Lin the most. As for Yi Xu Erong, with her weak and kind nature, Hao Hongqin disliked her the most. Seeing her daughter Yi Lin Lin being treated unfairly, Hao Hongqin immediately went to find Yi Mingshan. However, she ended up being scolded by Yi Mingshan. This matter, you as a woman should not interfere. Do you know how much money we can earn by cooperating with Morong Group? This is very important for our family's future. If we keep changing the person in charge and continue to offend Morong Group, can you bear the responsibility? Seeing Yi Mingshan's firm stance, Hao Hongqin had no choice. And knowing the far-reaching impact of this matter on the company, she dared not say more. In the end, the head of the household had the final say on family matters. Daughter, it's okay. Here, mom has something good for you. Saying this, Hao Hongqin led Yi Lin Lin to a secret compartment in the house. She had to unlock several layers of doors, making it seem very mysterious. Yi Lin Lin, however, didn't take it seriously and followed along reluctantly. At home, she didn't even know about this level? At most, there are some antiques from her father, although they are worth a few bucks, but at most just a few million. Since marrying into the fan family, she still looks down on this money. Isn't your sister just holding a drop of tears of the dream? Ha, huh, what's that? Mom has a lot of valuable things here. Look. With that, Hao Hongqin showed Ji Lin Lin the boxes sent by the mysterious person. Those beautifully packaged boxes filled a whole cabinet. There were big and small ones, all with foreign words, the only common thing being that they all said, for the chief lord's eyes only. Seeing Yi Lin Lin looking puzzled, Hao Hongqin opened each of those boxes one by one to show her. This time, Yi Lin Lin was completely stunned. Various treasures, pearls, jade, luxury watches, diamond rings, and even boxes of gold bars. A dazzling array of treasures displayed right in front of her. There were even a few items that seemed to be things seen only on TV. Those were famous artifacts. If they were real, their value would be sky high. Of course, there were some things that the mother and daughter couldn't understand the value of, like some inexplicable keys, and some documents, all in a foreign language that they couldn't read. There were even some cards of unknown origin, looking black, like bank cards. Although there were a large part of the treasures that they couldn't recognize, they understood that they were definitely valuable items. My goodness. Mom, where did all this come from? Seeing all this, Yi Lin Lin was stunned for a long time before finally speaking. Being materialistic and greedy, she naturally widened her eyes at seeing so many treasures. It was like a dreamlike scene. Shu. Your father said this can't be spread outside, you should also keep it low-key. Some time ago, I don't know who, kept sending us things. They even wrote for the chief lord's eyes only, but we don't know who it is. Hao Hongqin said proudly. 
The boxes were all written in a foreign language, and the only few words they could understand were for the chief lord's eyes only. Could it be a mistake in delivery? Can we take them? Yi Lin Lin was still a bit unsure. These have been here for over half a month. Your father dared not touch them, but think about it, with such valuable things, if they have an owner, wouldn't they come to claim them? Besides, once they are sent to our house, they are ours. Hao Hongqin said with a smug look. For a middle-aged woman like her, what's beneficial to herself is right, even if it doesn't seem right. Moreover, with so many treasures here, how could she not be tempted? She was thinking about them all day long. Even waking up in the middle of the night to check if anything was missing. This logic of the mother clearly resonated with Yi Lin Lin, who agreed, yes, maybe the owner has long been dead. Besides, with so many good things, what harm is there in taking a couple? My father is just too timid. They agreed to slowly take and use them, as long as no one came to claim them, they would keep taking until they were all gone. Yi Lin Lin picked several items that looked very valuable, such as jade earrings, pearl necklaces, and of course, large gold bars. In addition to these items, she also casually picked two black cards from the pile and put them in her pocket. Although she didn't know their value, they all looked like bank cards, and with so many valuable items around, there must be some money inside, right? After taking so many good things, Yi Lin Lin's mood improved a lot. She happily left her parents' home. What a big harvest! That despicable person Yi Xu Erong probably never imagined that there were so many treasures in the house. And they were all left for herself. She wouldn't even get to see them. Thinking of this, she felt much more balanced. Back home, she immediately started showing off to Fan Ching Yang. Relying on you is indeed not possible. Look, all of these belong to my family. Fan Ching Yang was also stunned. I say, wife, when did your family have this kind of power? This necklace is a top grade pearl necklace produced in East Africa, and this is a special grade jade bracelet from Bao Zinfang? These are all world renowned artworks. Ah? So how much are these worth in the end? Yi Lin Lin was taken aback. In fact, she herself had no idea. She just knew they looked very expensive. Just this one, at least starting from 10 million. For this set, it might be 5 to 6 million. You wear these things on your hand? You are too extravagant. Fan Xingyang couldn't help but sigh. No way, are these things fake? Yi Lin Lin also began to doubt a bit. After all, things of unknown origin. It's hard to say. But, let's put them away first. They are not to be played with. Fan Ching Yang said. Then, what about this card, is it valuable? Yi Lin Lin took out the two black cards. Fan Ching Yang took a look and was stunned once again. His jaw almost dropped to the ground. Wife, do you know what kind of card this is? It's the Global Supreme VIP card of Shenghua Bank. There are less than a hundred people in the world who have this card. You have two directly? It was like a mythological scene. Ah, are these real or fake? Yi Lin Lin was also confused. Let's take them to verify, then we'll know. Fan Xing Yang suggested. His method was to take the card to the nearest Shenghua bank. They could check the authenticity of the card there. After all, this kind of card couldn't be used just anywhere. In ordinary situations, even people who knew about it probably didn't have it. Fan Ching Yang had just happened to hear about the existence of this card before. He never expected to see the actual thing today? He was also feeling extremely nervous. Soon, they arrived at a Shenghua bank. As soon as they showed the card, the counter lady was so shocked that she swallowed hard and quickly called for the manager. Then, the manager brought his own manager. Finally, they were received by the deputy head of the branch. They were directly taken to the highest level VIP room. Yi Lin Lin and Fan Xing Yang were also stunned. Although Fan Xing Yang had been born into wealth, he had never received such high level treatment at a bank. Dear guests, may I ask what business you would like to conduct at our bank? The bank president asked. Nervously. We just want to know how much money is in this card? 
Fan Ching Yang got straight to the point. Mr. Fan, this is the supreme black card, each one can be used for at least 1 billion. However, this card has not been activated yet. 1 billion. Activate it. Quick, activate it now. Fan Ching Yang couldn't wait. Yes, please wait a moment. The bank president said, and quickly proceeded. While there was no one else in the VIP room, Fan Ching Yang excitedly said to Yi Lin Lin, We are going to be rich now, we have two cards. We can mobilize at least two billion. Wife, where did your family get these cards from? Fan Ching Yang, in his excitement, also asked. He didn't notice the expression on Yi Lin Lin's face, she was almost going crazy. Just these two cards were worth so much money. Fan Ching Yang didn't know that there were several more boxes in her family. There were 10 of the same black cards alone. She didn't tell Fan Ching Yang about this, wanting to keep it as a backup plan. Uh, didn't we recently cooperate with Morong Group and got to know their leaders? So they gave them to us. Yi Lin Lin casually lied. Fan Ching Yang listened with envy, the background of Morong Group was indeed not to be underestimated, they were so generous. He regretted why his own family didn't cooperate with Morong Group. Meanwhile, the bank president on the other side was also sweating profusely. Although he had been in the industry for many years and had seen a lot, to encounter this level of card in the small town of Gauten was a first, the small fan family, how could they have such qualifications? Although he couldn't understand, he didn't dare to neglect it anymore, so he ordered the people below to treat them well. Then, he made a call to the higher-ups. President. President, there is important news. At this moment, in the office of the world headquarters of Shenghua Bank, his subordinates rushed into the president's office in a flurry. The president looked at his assistant with confusion. His subordinates were the most professionally elite in the industry, having seen countless things. What could make him so flustered? What's the matter, take your time. Don't be so flustered, the president reproached slightly displeased. I'm sorry, president. It's like this. We received a message from our branch below, saying that one of the top VIP black cards we sent to Lord Wargod has been activated. It has started to be used, the assistant said excitedly. What? Really? The president was instantly overjoyed. This meant that the war god had accepted his gift. During this period, since he sent those black cards, President Sun Guosheng had been restless, after all, it was a gift for that important person. Was it inappropriate? Or not enough weight? All these worries made him very anxious, even losing sleep. Whether the war god would accept these gifts became his obsession, and he considered whether he should send more to further express his sincerity. But now, all the worries were unnecessary, the war god had started using the VIP card he gave. His gift was accepted. What's there to be flustered about? This is good news. Sun Guosheng immediately said. But? President, they said that the user of this card seems to have a slightly incorrect identity. It's actually someone surnamed Fan? Not from the Yi family where the war god is. President Sun Guosheng immediately opened the computer, looked at the information sent below, and he was also puzzled. This, the name doesn't match. Could it be that it's not Wei War God himself using it? Could it be that someone stole Lord War God's card? The assistant asked cautiously. President Sun Guosheng suddenly realized this and became furious. His hard earned gift was actually being used by someone else? How outrageous is that? Stealing from others is one thing, but this is the war gods. This is intolerable. Sun Guosheng was somewhat angry, and he immediately ordered, have him report the security password first. If he can't say it, then immediately have them control this guy, he must be taught a lesson. Fan Xing Yun, who was unaware, was still in the bank, waiting proudly. Thinking about how to spend the 200 million once it arrived in his hands. But not long after, the bank manager who had just come in with a few people in uniforms. Sorry, you two have to wait a bit longer. We need to ask you some questions about this card. Yi Lin Lin and Fan Xing Yang's faces changed instantly. What do you want to talk about? We are black card users. Do you know how serious it is to delay our time? 
Fan Xingyang looked at them impatiently, reproaching them arrogantly. Actually, it will be quick, it's just that before activating this card, we need a security password. Do you know the password? Manager Lei Yong still said cautiously. After all, in case they were really the card holders, he didn't dare to offend them easily. In fact, the security password is not usually necessary, but this time it was an order from the higher ups. Password? This. Fan Xingyang paused, then looked awkwardly at Yi Lin Lin. Unexpectedly, Yi Lin Lin looked even more embarrassed than him. Seeing the reactions of the two, manager Lei Yong naturally understood. Indeed, these two were not on the right track. Don't know the password? Well, then tell me, where did the card come from? Manager Lei Yong then changed his tone, asking coldly. It's my family's card. What's wrong? I forgot the password, is that not allowed? Yi Lin Lin was still very rude. Oh, okay, then tell me the name of the cardholder? Yi Lin Lin was suddenly at a loss for words upon seeing Yi Lin Lin's reaction, Fan Xing Yang was also stunned, wife, this card, wasn't it sent to you by Mu Rong Group? Yi Lin Lin was afraid. She immediately couldn't hide it anymore, actually, someone sent it to the wrong address, and it ended up at our house. Yi Lin Lin nervously whispered. Fan Xing Yang was immediately furious, you foolish woman. Are you trying to set me up? Lei Yong slammed the table. You guys have some nerve. How dare you steal even the supreme black card? Do you know whose card you stole? If you don't. Explain everything today, you won't be able to leave this room. Guards, lock them up in the dark room. The two were dumbfounded. Before they could say anything, two burly security guards came over and dragged them out without a word. The news quickly reached both the Yi and Fan families, causing panic on both sides. This time, they had offended the Shanghua Bank. What's going on? Why did those two offend them? Yi Mingshan angrily asked in confusion. It seems like it's because of some black card. Someone below answered. Black card? Yi Mingshan immediately realized something upon hearing this. He rushed into the secret compartment, opened the cabinet, and instantly understood everything. Hao Hongqin was terrified and dared not say a word. She knew that she had completely caused harm to her daughter, and she was devastated. She never expected that her biased actions in private would lead to such terrible consequences. She had brought disaster upon them. You foolish woman! How dare you touch those things! I warned you long ago that it was a curse, why didn't you listen? Yi Mingshan was furious and scolded Hao Hongqin relentlessly. Hao Hongqing kept her head down, not daring to utter a word. This is bad. Shanghua Bank said that the owner of that card is not someone ordinary people can afford to offend. If anything happens to our daughter, it's all because of you. Yi Mingshan thought angrily. After scolding Hao Hongqing, Yi Mingshan had to swallow his pride and go to the Fan family for help. In law, you have to find a solution to this, our two children can't be ruined like this. We can only rely on your family now. Fan De Shang, the head of the Fan family, was already in a panic and snapped impatiently, don't waste my time. I think it's your family's jinx that has implicated my son. If my son doesn't come out, we're not done. Both families were on the verge of collapse. They couldn't understand why this foolish couple was so reckless, to the point of offending Shanghua. Even in the small Gautan city, the three major families before didn't dare to confront them. What could they do? The Yi family soon learned about the situation at home, and Yi Xu Erong was immediately worried. Honey, something's wrong, Yi Lin Lin and Fan Xingyang are in trouble. When she returned home, she told Yang Chen about the incident. What? They were detained at Shanghua Bank. It seems they took something that didn't belong to them, and it was discovered. Upon hearing this news, Yang Chen smirked. These troublemakers deserve to be caught. What card? Dad said it's something called the Supreme Black Card, and they even took two of them. How did they manage that? It's ridiculous. Yang Chen was puzzled, the Supreme Black Card? It sounded familiar, he seemed to have had a few years ago. 
But how could they possibly get their hands on something like that? If the Fan family is so capable, didn't they intervene? Yang Chen asked in confusion. Oh, what use is the Fan family? The other party is Shenghua Bank, a global banking giant. They can't even get a meeting with them. Yi Shuerong was very anxious when talking about it. After all, it was her sister, and recently she felt that her relationship with her sister had just started to improve, and her sister even voluntarily handed over a project to her, she still has no idea about the truth inside. Seeing Yi Shuerong so anxious, Yang Chen also felt a bit helpless, so he said, Wife, don't worry, I'll think of a solution. Can you tell me specifically what happened? Seeing Yi Shuerong's face, he had to help with this matter. Upon hearing Yang Chen's words, Yi Shuerong felt somewhat relieved. Now she knew how capable Yang Chen was, maybe he really had a way. Actually, it was a while ago, many people suddenly sent things inexplicably, many gemstones, gold bars, some antiques, bank cards, and my mom actually secretly gave them to them. Ah, my mom is really something. What does it say on them? Does it say who they are for? Yang Chen asked again. It says, it says, for the chief lord's personal opening. But for some reason, they all got sent to my house. Ah, who is this chief lord after all? It's really annoying, isn't this a trap for us? Yi Shuerong couldn't understand why there would be such a powerful figure in the world. People would send things to this person to such a crazy extent, according to observations at home, the total value of all these gifts added up to nearly billions. While not understanding, she also felt very curious, what kind of person would someone be at such a powerful level? Yang Chen was speechless for two seconds after hearing this. Chief Lord's personal opening? They were actually sent to him? What's going on? So, did he cause them to be caught? Yang Chen was dumbfounded. Help me check if anyone has been sending me things recently? Yang Chen immediately called the wolf girl. Yes. Soon, the wolf girl replied. Sir, may I ask, um, did your phone get stolen a few days ago? What? No, why? Yang Chen was puzzled. It was the first time he had seen the wolf girl so hesitant. Then please take a look at your phone, open WeChat, and you'll understand. The wolf girl said with some hesitation. Yang Chen immediately realized what was going on. He hadn't opened WeChat in so many years, almost forgetting about its existence. Sure enough, when he picked up his phone and opened WeChat, Yang Chen was speechless. Was this some kind of international joke with him? Looking for a job? He, the mighty god of war Yan Luo, the king of the Northern Territory. Looking for a job in Gauten City? He couldn't help but laugh and cry. He quickly realized that this WeChat post must have been secretly sent by Yi Shueron using his phone. Ah, there was nothing he could do, she was his wife after all. He could already imagine how much of a sensation this WeChat post would cause worldwide. But what he didn't expect was that these guys actually thought he wanted them to show loyalty. And then, they all started sending gifts to him? Ha, huh, was he that kind of person? Yang Chen was very speechless, he really didn't understand what these people were thinking. Oh well, let's deal with the current situation first. Yang Chen rode his electric bike and had already arrived in front of the Saint Hua Bank. He parked the bike on the side of the road and walked over. Hey, what are you doing? Do you have business here? Yang Chen hadn't even entered yet when the security guard at the entrance stopped him. After all, this was a bank specially for receiving high-end clients. If it wasn't a high-ranking official coming, it had to be a top-tier wealthy person. Even when Fan Xingyang and the others came in, it was considered barely acceptable. And someone like Yang Chen in front of them, the total value of his clothes might not even add up to a hundred bucks. Could someone like this be a client? It was obvious he was just a poor guy. I'm here to see someone. Yang Chen replied calmly. See someone? This is not a place for you to beg, understand? Get out. The security guard was already impatient and pushed him out directly. I'm here to handle some business, is that not allowed? Yang Chen remained unmoved, staring at him. 
He was not in a hurry or annoyed, just wondering why society now looked down on people so much. Just you? Let me tell you, the dogs raised here are worth more than you. Get out quickly. The security guard was already a bit impatient. It seemed like he couldn't be bothered to waste any more words, Yang Chen lifted his leg like lightning and kicked him, sending him flying into the nearby garbage pile. I also hate wasting words. The astonishing scene was witnessed by the lobby manager inside through the glass door. Then, a man outside pushed the door and walked in. He took a sharp breath and went to greet him. After all, it was in the bank lobby, and the lobby manager didn't dare to make too much noise, afraid of disturbing the customers. Let me tell you, if you dare to cause trouble here, you will die miserably. We have a hundred ways to deal with you. If you know what's good for you, get out quickly. The manager's voice was extremely gloomy. These so-called upper-class people, they eat people without spitting out bones, and when they do cruel things, they are more ruthless than anyone else. I just want to talk to someone, there's no need for this. Yang Chen just smiled. Talk? Who are you looking for? The manager looked down on him. Your top leader. Yang Chen replied indifferently. The manager was furious, you, a waste like you, dare to say such things? Do you think everyone can see the president? Get out quickly. Yang Chen was helpless and shrugged. Fine, then I'll make a phone call. In the president's office, his subordinate rushed in. President, there's another call from above. And, it seems like it's from the CEO himself. What? President Lei Yong was shocked. He rushed over in a daze and quickly answered the call. Mr. CEO, hello. I am. Stop the nonsense. Do you know who you are dealing with? How dare you even stop that person outside? The yelling on the other end of the phone made the branch president's legs go weak with fear. I'm sorry, CEO. But, what's going on? Let me tell you, the owner of the black card has arrived in person. And your subordinates stopped him. Go out and welcome him immediately. Yes. Lei Yong felt his head buzzing. He hung up the phone and ran outside. When he arrived in the lobby, he saw the arrogant lobby manager standing at the door, pointing and gesturing at the man. He immediately felt a sense of urgency, this must be the important person. He rushed over and kicked the lobby manager down. You bastard! How dare you treat a guest like this? The manager was completely dumbfounded. What? President, but this guy. The branch president gave him a resounding slap across the face. This is our honored guest. You scum, get out. Don't come to work here again. The manager was dumbfounded. This person is actually an honored guest? He never would have thought that offending such a seemingly poor man would cost him his job. I'm sorry, could you please tell me the name of the owner of the black card? After driving away the manager, Lei Yong looked at the man in front of him with some doubt. He was afraid of mistaking the person. Yang Chen. Security password 9999527. Is that enough? Lei Yong finally realized that the real master had arrived. That's enough. Sir, I have already arrested the two thieves who stole from you. I am preparing to deal with them next. Take me to see them. Yes. He quickly led him into the interrogation room. When Yang Chen appeared, the two disheveled individuals in the room were shocked. How did this idiot end up here? Yi Linlin, puzzled, looked him up and down disdainfully. Are you here to clean the bank? How come anyone can work at Shenghua Bank now? Fan Xingyang also sneered. Damn, these two people were already prisoners, yet they were still so arrogant? Yang Chen was immediately angered. Without hesitation, he walked over and slapped Yi Linlin across the face. Then he backhandedly slapped Fan Qingyan's face. Fan Qingyan's nose instantly started bleeding, while half of Yi Linlin's face swelled up. Damn it! You coward, how dare you hit me! The two immediately started jumping around, and Fan Qingyan raised his fist to strike. Back! What are you trying to do? Dare to move again? 
The branch manager next to him immediately glared at the two of them in anger. Fan Yang was so scared that he dared not be arrogant anymore. You! How dare you hit me! Yi Lin Lin's tone weakened a bit, but she was still very defiant. This slap, I did it on behalf of the chief. Yang Chen said word by word. Ah! The two of them were shocked. Yang Chen, could represent the chief? What exactly was their relationship? But looking at the reaction of the branch manager Lei Yong, and everything happening now, they understood, it seemed that the relationship was really extraordinary. Yang Chen really knew the chief. The last bit of arrogance and the two of them completely disappeared. Faced with this astonishing fact, they suddenly became as wilted as eggplants. They hung their heads in embarrassment, not daring to say another word. All right, let's settle this matter like this. You can go now. Yang Chen said coldly. Ah? Uh, but? Lei Yang was stunned. There's no but. The owner of the black card has agreed to let them go. Yang Chen's tone brooked no doubt. Hearing Yang Chen mention that person, the branch manager Lei Yang also dared not say more. He could only obediently let them leave. Later, he respectfully escorted Yang Chen out of the Saint Hua Bank. Yang Chen, do you really know the chief? Yi Lin Lin asked through gritted teeth, covering her swollen face. Why, is it so surprising? Yang Chen said casually. Fan Xing Yang and Yi Lin Lin's expressions became very conflicted. This person, who they considered useless, actually, had this kind of luck? Go back and tell your family to pack up all those boxes. In a few days, I will come to collect them. After saying this, Yang Chen left the two of them behind and left on his own. These two were detained for a day, and finally were able to go home. Naturally, Fan Xingyang blamed all the responsibility on Yi Lin Lin, almost divorcing her. And Yi Lin Lin, knowing she was at fault, didn't dare to say a word. She sneakily returned to her parents' home, planning to wait for Fan Xingyang to calm down before going back. The other thing she was worried about was whether this guy Yang Chen really had this ability? After returning to her parents' home, she told everyone about the incident. Upon hearing all this, everyone was shocked and dumbfounded. How is that possible? That useless person actually knows the chief? Yi Mingshan was greatly surprised. Not only that, I heard a few days ago that Yi Xu Erong and the two of them even moved to a new house. Yi Wenching added fuel to the fire. What? How could they afford a new house? Upon hearing this, Yi Mingshan found it even more unbelievable. Of course, they didn't buy it themselves, it seems like it was a gift from the Mu Rong group. And guess where the house is? The South Mountain Villa area. This news hit them like a thunderbolt. Wenching, are you kidding me? Yi Mingshan directly rebuked. He absolutely didn't believe it. That was the house he had been dreaming of. After struggling for a lifetime, it was still out of reach for him. But now he was being told that his least favorite daughter had quietly moved in there? Not only Yi Mingshan, but everyone found it hard to accept. Dad, I'm not kidding. I heard it from a friend of mine, young master Yang Qing from the Yang family, who lives in the South Mountain Villa. He used to be classmates with Yi Xu Erong. He said that not only did Ji Xu Erong and Yang Chen move to the South Mountain Villa area, but they also moved into that S-level villa. Yi Wenching said confidently. I told you, how could that guy possibly have this ability? Turns out he's relying on our family? How Hong Qin said unwillingly. Seeing the good fortune of the couple, the entire Yi family found it hard to accept. And just then, the doorbell suddenly rang. After opening the door and seeing the visitor, they were stunned. It was Yang Chen. At the sight of him, the Yi family members all took a sharp breath. The atmosphere was very tense. The air seemed to freeze. For the first time in two years, Yang Chen had come here. Wei, you came at the right time, I haven't settled the score with you yet. Why did you hit our daughter? Who gave you the courage? At this moment, Hao Hongqin stood up stubbornly and confronted Yang Chun angrily. Yi Lin Lin's face was still swollen. 
Yang Chen calmly looked down at her, do you think the chief will easily forgive them without any punishment from me? When he mentioned that person, her arrogance weakened. In fact, he did it on purpose. Not to mention just a few slaps, it wouldn't be excessive even if their faces were beaten to a pulp. Also, I'm here to inform you to organize all those gifts properly. I will return these items to their rightful owners, Yang Chen said coldly. Rightful owners? You mean you're going to give them to the chief? Yi Wenqing asked. Of course. Yang Chen, how could such a prominent figure like the chief possibly know someone like you? Yi Mingshan still couldn't believe this fact and asked unwillingly. Because I saved his life on the battlefield. So this is his way of repaying the debt. Is that not allowed? Yang Chen said leisurely. This lie of his was planned on the way here. It was perfect, impossible to verify. These items were sent to him by others, they just asked me to keep them for him. Because they got my address wrong, they were sent here. The chief is no longer in the country, so I will deliver the items to him. As for you, it's best not to have any crooked thoughts. What are you talking about? Who's having crooked thoughts, Wei surname? Stop insinuating things here, Hao Hongqin immediately shouted nervously. But Yi Mingshan asked with some confusion, who exactly is this chief? How did he attain such a position? This is top military secret. You have no right to inquire. I can only tell you that he is a person who has achieved countless merits on the battlefield, hence his accomplishments. Knowing too much is not good for you. This speech left them speechless. After informing them of this, he didn't stay a moment longer and left. The Yi family. He didn't want to stay a minute longer in this place. Leaving the Yi family members staring at each other. Although they were unwilling to believe that Yang Chen knew that prominent figure, from the various facts, the Yi family understood that this was probably not false. However, what relieved them was that the prominent figure was no longer in the country. Otherwise, they really couldn't underestimate this guy Yang Chen in the future. Dad, since they can live in the South Mountain Villa, we should move there together. I've long been tired of this old house. Why should they enjoy it alone? Yi Wenqing immediately said shamelessly and confidently. Exactly. Yi Shu Erong can now live in a big villa, isn't it all thanks to our family company? Otherwise, how would Mu Rong Group know her? In my opinion, this house should have been ours from the start. Hao Hongqin followed suit. She said this with a straight face. This is called being of one family, entering through the same door. Soon, they reached a consensus. That's settled, we'll go talk to Yi Shu Erong about this in a few days. Whether she agrees or not, she has to agree. Not long after, all those gifts were sent back. Including the ones that were previously in Yi Lin Lin's hands. Although it was heartbreaking for her, she could only grit her teeth and return them all. Even if she wanted to keep them now, she didn't have the courage. Yang Chen roughly counted the gifts that were sent. He couldn't help but feel emotional. These people were really generous. The Yi family members could only recognize some jade and antiques at most, and maybe the value of a bank card. Little did they know, those strange foreign documents were the truly priceless items. They were all stock transfer deeds, real estate deeds, and various transfer documents. Among them, there was a manor, an island in the South Pacific, and even a direct oil field in the Middle East. Yang Chen shook his head helplessly. It was all too chaotic. Wolf girl, have them come and take all these things. No merit, no reward. It's inexplicable why they sent so many things, it will damage the reputation of my war god. Yang Chen immediately called the wolf girl. So many priceless things, any one of them would be beyond reach for ordinary people. But for Yang Chen, it was nothing worth mentioning. In the Northern Territory, he had so many similar small gifts that he couldn't even count them. These people actually think they need money? They simply can't understand the feeling of being as rich as a country and how lonely it can be. Oh my god, are all these things from that person? How much are these things worth? When Yi Shu Erong returned home and saw the priceless treasures in front of her, she was also stunned. She had never seen so many treasures in her life. 
It was like a movie. By the way, husband, when you talked to my family, they didn't say anything unpleasant, did they? Yi Shuerong asked with some concern. After all, she knew very well what her family was like. Hmm, don't worry. The conversation went well. Yang Chen said calmly. That's good. But, will that chief blame them? Yi Shuerong was a bit worried about this matter. She felt uneasy about offending such a big shot. Don't worry, I am his lifesaver, and for him, this kind of thing is not worth mentioning at all. Yang Chen said with a light smile. Yi Shuerong now believed this fact. Her husband Yang Chen was not a wealthy man, he just happened to know a very powerful friend. Although she was a bit disappointed, she also felt it was fine. This way, she wouldn't have to worry about losing him. Men turn bad when they have money. If her husband was really that rich, what would happen if he didn't want her anymore? After that, all those things were quickly returned as they were, and this world-class chaos finally came to an end. Because of this gift-giving, it even caused turmoil in the world stock market. In some countries controlled by Yang Chen's Northern Territory Army, some rebels thought that Yang Chen had fallen from power and launched a coup. This led to unrest in multiple countries. And all of this, all because of that small circle of friends. That afternoon, Yang Chen arrived at a high-end club to attend a small gathering. He was having tea with three old men named Xiao, Ren, and Ji. The true identities of these old men were enough to scare anyone. They were all senior figures in the country's military and political circles. Xiao and Ren were even direct descendants of the royal family. Yang Chen naturally disdained these so-called high-class gatherings, but he still had to show some face to these old men. This club was not a place where ordinary people could enter. The threshold for entry was worth billions. The ordinary wealthy dare not even think about entering. The pot of ordinary Taiping Monkey King tea in front of them cost over 3 million. The imposing atmosphere in the private room where the four men gathered made anyone shiver involuntarily. Even breathing too loudly was not allowed. Although they were all seasoned professionals who had seen countless elite service industry professionals, being in the same room with such celestial level figures was still extremely rare. Ming, your soldiers were quite impressive recently. The K Country Rebellion that even the Central Forces couldn't quell, your men solved it in just two hours. I heard that the entire operation was conducted based on your instructions over the phone, remote command, the old man surnamed Xiao asked. Hmm, just giving some pointers. Enemies of that level can be easily dealt with even without me. Yang Chan replied indifferently. Watching this powerful and strong man, the three old men couldn't help but feel emotional. That young man from back then hadn't changed at all. Initially, after leaving a few words, he returned to Gauten City alone. After wiping out the entire enemy clan, it was thought that he would return, but unexpectedly, he stayed and even got married. It was expected that after two years of seclusion, there would be some regression, but his strength had not diminished at all, from the eyes, it can be seen. That it is still the fierce beast of the past. Wei, recently the princess of the royal family of country S has fallen seriously ill, and all the famous doctors in the country are at a loss. The king has contacted me several times, hoping to ask for your help. Will you give him face? As for the reward, they are willing to pay any price, and even promise to grant you the title of nobility in their country. The old man with the surname G brought up the matter again. I am not someone who can be easily persuaded, they should know that. Especially using such benefits as a price, it's ridiculous, Yang Chen said disdainfully. Yes, I know about this matter because the king and I were old friends, that's why I agreed to talk to you on his behalf. Since you are not willing, I will convey it to him. In fact, I have heard a bit about her illness, she often experiences auditory and visual hallucinations, likes cold food, and is sensitive to light. These symptoms are not a strange disease, just a poisoning called snake insect goo. Dip a hot silver needle in apricot water, insert it into the high men acupoint, and she will recover in half an hour. Why do I need to take action? Yang Chen suddenly spoke calmly. Ah, I see. That's great, I will convey this to them quickly. The king will be very grateful when he learns about this. Old man Ji was overjoyed. 
they had complete faith in Yang Chan's medical judgment. After all, he was an unparalleled medical genius. Not only a military and martial arts expert, but also a master of medicine. Such talent was rare in the world. The three old men greatly admired him. They would meet every six months and considered him a close friend. By the way, Wei, how did you consider the matter from last time, suddenly spoke the old man with the surname Ren. What matter? Yang Chen was puzzled. Pretending not to know? Of course, it's about marrying my granddaughter Inger. You haven't forgotten, have you? This matter had always weighed on the mind of the old man Ren. He had always wanted to betroth his granddaughter to Yang Chen, in his eyes, only a perfect man like Yang Chen was worthy of his granddaughter. Old leader, are you joking again? Joking? Do I look like I'm joking? Old man Rin frowned. I am already married. You know that, Yang Chen was also a bit displeased. Then get a divorce. Or, take another wife. I don't mind. And Inger said she doesn't mind at all. The old man was very stubborn. But I mind. Yang Chen retorted directly. Forgive me for being blunt, Wei, do you really find that ordinary woman appealing? She is just a common girl from a small family in Gauten City, although she is beautiful, she is still from an ordinary background, is she worthy of you? The three old men looked at Yang Chen with great confusion. They seemed to not understand this matter very well. In their eyes, marrying a woman of royal bloodline was something everyone dreamed of, how could anyone not want to marry into royalty? Many people sought to marry into royalty, wanting to become a royal son-in-law. In my eyes, no woman in this world can compare to her, Yang Chen said firmly. There was a hint of tenderness in his eyes. Eight years ago, after his parents committed suicide, the only family Yang Chen had left in this world was Yi Xu Erong. During the six years he had been away, she had endured a lot of pressure. If he abandoned her, he would not be worthy of being a human being. Hey. I think my old friend Ming probably doesn't find your granddaughter appealing, old Ren. Inger is like a tigress, she is a female general who leads troops into battle. Who wouldn't be afraid of such a girl? Exactly. How about this, Ming, consider my granddaughter Xiaofei. She just returned from Europe, now she's in the entertainment industry, she has starred in several movies, she is very beautiful. Forget it, can Ming really handle a girl from the entertainment industry? Everyone knows how chaotic that circle is. Who would dare mess with my granddaughter, Ming? Speaking of which, the three old men were about to quarrel. They all wanted Yang Chen to become the son-in-law of their own family. That would be too honorable. I don't care, anyway, Ming, my brother, you should prepare for a while, in a few days, I will let Inger come to see you. Finally, Ren Lao said shamelessly. Yang Chen shook his head helplessly, he had no way to deal with these old leaders. They were still like old children. They even wanted to meddle in his marriage, could this be forced? Moreover, he was not someone who easily compromised. During this period, the Yi family spent a lot to reconcile with the Fan family. Because of the black card incident, they had to entertain and give gifts, spending a lot of money, just to calm the anger of the Fan family. This time, Yi Linlin felt extremely frustrated. Especially as the family's attention to Yi Xu Erong gradually increased, not only responsible for major projects, but now they even had to move to her new home together. And because she had married into the Fan family long ago, she had no connection to this opportunity to live in the Nanshan Villa. If this continued, she would be the one marginalized in this family. Apart from feeling suffocated, Yi Linlin, of course, was even more angry than Fan Xing Yang. Since learning that Yang Chen was not the owner of the black card, but just a powerful friend he knew, Fan Xing Yang felt relieved. This guy was just lucky. If this waste was really much stronger than himself, he wouldn't be able to accept it. At the same time, his desire for revenge grew stronger, how dare that waste hit him? He must avenge this slap. After much thought, Fan Xing Yang took out his phone and made a call. Dragon Lord, hello. I am Fan Xing Yang, I have some information about your nephew Scar. The Dragon Lord that Fan Xing Yang contacted was one of the major figures in the underground forces of Gautman City. He controlled nearly half of the grey businesses, 
and had a background in the White Path, he could be said to be a presence like an underground emperor. His other identity was Scar's uncle. He was the one who raised Scar. Since hearing that Scar's power had been destroyed, he was extremely angry and had been planning revenge. But he found that he couldn't contact Scar at all, even Scar's men had scattered. Everyone kept silent about what happened at that time, no one dared to mention it. Even who did it couldn't be found out. So Fan Xing Yang took this opportunity to pin the blame for Scar's demise on Yang Chen. He told the Dragon Lord that the person who killed Scar was the husband of the project manager Yi Shu Erom, Yang Chen. But he could never have imagined that what he said was actually the truth. Dragon Lord, how about this, let's set a trap, I am familiar with him, I'll call and make up an excuse to lure him over. Then you can take care of him. Fan Xingyang suggested maliciously. Good, let's do that. Fan, your idea is good. The Dragon Lord was very pleased and nodded. As long as I can help the Dragon Lord, it is my good fortune. Fan Xingyang quickly tried to please. This time, the Dragon Lord learned from Scar's lesson and decided to use his own strong power to deal with this Yang Chen. After the small gathering ended, Yang Chen left the club. He had just walked out onto the street when he ran into a familiar face. The girl in front who was handing out flyers seemed a bit familiar. Wasn't she Jin Xiaoqing, the assistant of Yi Xu Erong? The girl also looked surprised and slightly opened her mouth, she had noticed him too. She looked very cute. Since witnessing Yang Chen's strength last time, Jin Xiaoqing couldn't help but be curious about this man. She knew that Yang Chen often came to pick up Yi Xu Erong after work in the evening, so she often took the opportunity to run into Yang Chen and say hello. She wanted to become familiar to him. On one hand, she also wanted to explore his secrets. But she never expected that this afternoon, she would actually run into Yang Chen here? Yang Chen, it's you. She greeted him nervously. Xiao Qing, what a coincidence. Yang Chen nodded, looking at her with confusion, and asked, Are you handing out flyers here? Um. I have some free time on the weekend, so I'm doing a part-time job here, Xiao Qing replied, looking very reserved and shy in front of him. The salary from the Yi family should be decent, why do you have to work so hard? Yang Chen was puzzled. After hesitating for a moment, Jin Xiaoqing lowered her head and said, My mother is sick and needs surgery, so? Yang Chen sighed. After thinking for a moment, he asked, How much money is needed for the surgery? Hearing Yang Chen ask this, Jin Xiaoqing felt conflicted, but she still told the truth. It's 30,000. Ah, now because of the hospitalization, my family already owes over 10,000, so I took up this part time job. Talking about this, Jin Xiaoqing's eyes turned slightly red. For ordinary families, one illness is enough to crush everything. Yang Chen could also understand the pain of common people, even though he hadn't experienced it himself, but eight years ago, he had crawled out of hell himself. All right, I will try to help with your mother's hospitalization, but don't tell your manager about this, Yang Chen said. Really? But that's a lot of money. I know your conditions with manager Yi are not that great either. Jin Xiaoqing was a bit uneasy. Don't worry, 30,000 is not a problem. It's nothing. I have a lot of private money, Yang Chen said with a smile. Ah, that's great, Yang Chen, thank you, I will definitely pay you back. So, let me finish handing out the last few flyers over there, can you wait for me? Just a few minutes. Yang Chen nodded, sat down on a nearby bench, and lit a cigarette. Occasionally, he couldn't help but lend a hand to help those in need. Jin Xiaoqing, haven't you finished handing out the flyers yet? How much money did you earn today? Is it enough to repay our debt? As Jin Xiaoqing was handing out the last few flyers on the side, a few rough-looking men suddenly walked over and surrounded her. Seeing these people appear, she instantly became nervous. Zhao Big Brother, today. I didn't earn much, only 60 yuan for handing out flyers in a day, I need to save some of this money to buy medicine for my mother. Damn. Buying medicine? Mother fasterisk asterisk asterisk her, owing us so much money, you dare to save some, seeking death? Your mother's worthless life, better off dead. How dare you waste our money? 
The leader with long hair cursed angrily. You, don't you dare talk about my mother like that. Jin Xiaoqing was furious, clenching her fists. Oh, quite tough, huh? Now that you owe money, you act like a boss? The group of thugs laughed and didn't take Jin Xiaoqing's anger seriously. With a slap, the long-haired man hit Jin Xiaoqing directly on the face. She staggered and fell heavily to the ground. Blood immediately appeared on her face. Let me tell you, if you owe us money, you have to obey like a grandson, understand? Insulting your mother is nothing, if you can't pay back the money, I'll sell you. Until it's enough. The long-haired man said arrogantly. At this moment, there were also many onlookers around, but no one dared to intervene, just watching the excitement. Jin Xiaoqing lay there, covering her face in pain. Bearing such pressure every day to repay debts, and being humiliated like this on the street, she wished she could just die. You guys, kneel down and apologize to her. A calm but penetrating voice came from the side. Everyone heard it clearly. Looking up, they saw that Yang Chen had walked over at some point. As soon as they saw Yang Chen, these thugs were stunned. This guy who looked like a loser, didn't seem like someone from the streets, right? Is he crazy? Looking for trouble? One of the long-haired men walked over and grabbed his collar. What the f asterisk 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 did you just say? Idiot? The onlookers were somewhat excited. Someone fearless had arrived. With an attitude of not minding their own business, they wanted to see what would happen to this man. There are seven or eight of them, this guy really doesn't know his place. He's asking for a beating. Ha ha. People were laughing and watching the lively scene. Just as they were excited, a lightning fast punch suddenly struck out. Before they could react, the long-haired man had already been sent flying into the air. He then heavily landed on the ground. The impact created a depression in the ground directly. Yang Chen walked over and stepped on his face. You trashy maggots, would you die if you didn't bully people? He asked sternly. He really couldn't understand this. What are you? What are you standing there for, not attacking? The long-haired man on the ground roared with the remaining strength he had. He felt like all his bones were broken. Just as he finished shouting, Yang Chen kicked him in the mouth. Blood sprayed out instantly, teeth scattered on the ground. This terrifying force once again shocked all the onlookers. The remaining few thugs had never seen such a scene before. Street fights usually weren't this fierce. This was simply demonic. None of them dared to approach. Tell me, how much money does Xiao Qing owe you? Yang Chen asked coldly while stepping on the long-haired man. 15,000. The long-haired man shivered in response. Good, you slapped her just now, that's 20,000. Now you owe 5,000 more. Tomorrow, you will deliver it directly to the hospital ward. Do you understand? Yang Chen commanded with an unquestionable tone. The thugs wanted to say something more, but facing this demon-like man, they dared not speak. Still not leaving? If I find out you're bothering her again, your fate will be the same as his. After Yang Chen finished speaking, they immediately scattered as if granted amnesty. The spectators who had intended to watch Yang Chen get embarrassed were now dumbfounded at the scene. This wasn't the kind of excitement they were looking for. Such a terrifying scene would probably leave a nightmare in their hearts forever. Yang Chen, thank you. After Yang Chen helped Jin Xiaoqing up, she said softly. Don't mention it. Let's go, I'll accompany you to the hospital first. Yang Chen said as he lifted Xiaoqing onto his back. Yang Chen, you're actually a very capable person, right? You're not the useless person they say you are. Jin Xiaoqing suddenly asked in a low voice. Yang Chen smiled bitterly and shook his head, little sister, do I look like it? Just because I can fight, does that make me capable? Do truly capable people need to fight? You are very capable. I can tell, your eyes are different from others. You're just deliberately concealing your sharpness, right? Jin Xiaoqing said very seriously. This made Yang Chen pause. This girl wasn't as simple as she seemed, she could actually see through people. 
She must have experienced hardships in life, matured early. After the examination at the hospital, Jean Xiaoqing's injuries were not serious, just some superficial wounds that would heal with some ointment. Xiaoqing, is this your boyfriend? Not bad, he's a handsome young man. In the hospital, Jean Xiaoqing's mother, who was paralyzed in bed, looked at Yang Chen with some joy. Jean Xiaoqing blushed. She was misunderstood by her mother, but she felt a bit sweet inside. Being mistaken for being with Yang Chen made her quite happy. But she quickly said, Mom, don't say that, he's our manager's husband, he's here to help. Oh, I see, I misunderstood. The mother smiled kindly. Yang Chen had originally planned to leave after seeing Jin Xiaoqing's mother. But just as he was about to leave, a nurse came in from outside, seemingly to administer in four. Looking at Jin Xiaoqing's mother in bed, she coldly said, Hey, look at how you've turned this hospital bed into a pigsty, disgusting, isn't it? Dirty all day long, like what? Don't want to stay then get lost. Yang Chen clenched his fist. How could this nurse have such an attitude? How could a bedridden patient handle hygiene on their own? Even if it's not clean, can you insult them like this? I'm sorry, nurse, it's my fault. I won't let it happen again next time. Jin Xiaoqing quickly apologized humbly, afraid that the nurse would be displeased. Yang Chen was stunned. Is this how you all serve patients in your hospital? He asked in confusion. Translation, what? Poor people like them who owe hospital fees all day, should be grateful that I am here to take care of them. Who are you, and what's your opinion? The nurse scrutinized him, as if a bug had suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Well, I do have an opinion. I think someone like you is not fit to be a nurse, Yang Chen said each word firmly. Damn, where did this lunatic come from? Get out, the nurse cursed impatiently. Before she could finish speaking, a loud slap landed on her face. The impact made her head spin. Go tell your superiors that the patient in bed 9 needs to be moved to a VIP ward, not someone like you. Yang Chen ordered sternly. Brother Yang Chen, the VIP ward is very expensive. Xiao Chang was shocked and quickly tried to intervene. Don't worry, I'll cover the cost. You don't have to be afraid. I have the money for this, Yang Chen's tone was resolute. The nurse was about to react but upon hearing this, she was suddenly taken aback. The VIP ward meant the highest level of care in the hospital, and they rarely had VIP patients. She was now filled with fear towards the man in front of her and dared not say more, so she slinked away. Jin Xiaoqing's sense of mystery towards Yang Chen increased significantly, along with a growing fondness. This kind of man was too perfect. Strong and gentle at the same time. No wonder he had the favor of a beautiful woman like Yi Xu Erong. She knew she would never have a chance, but she couldn't help but daydream. Later, Yang Chen asked about borrowing money. He learned that those thugs had been harassing her for a long time. Initially, she had only borrowed 30,000, but the interest had accumulated to a staggering 150,000. Yang Chen finally understood the severity of loan sharks. He made up his mind that since he was in a high position, he had to do something to stop these underground scum from being so brazen. This would also clear obstacles for Yi Xu Erong's future development. Young Chen knew that dealing with this kind of thing through his own power would not be easy. After all, these local forces were deeply entrenched and very stubborn. Therefore, he had to start from within their ranks. Early that morning, Yi Mingshan specifically called Yi Xu Erong into his office. Rong Rong, how is the progress of the North City project going? The preliminary work is almost done, everything is proceeding very smoothly, Yi Xu Erong answered somewhat proudly. Through her efforts, she had managed to run the entire project very smoothly. She was also very happy. Well, that's good. Also, I heard that you are planning to move? Yi Mingshan casually brought up the topic. Yes, Dad, you know about it. I wanted to surprise you. Morong Group gave me a villa in Nanshan and I want you all to move there together. Upon hearing this, Yi Mingshan felt a bit embarrassed. He had thought he would have to use coercion to get Yi Xu Erong to agree, but unexpectedly, his daughter was willingly asking him to move. He felt ashamed. 
Dad, don't worry, the house is spacious, with several floors. There are many rooms. And Brother Yang Chen won't mind, seeing her father's reaction, Yi Shu Arong thought he was unwilling and quickly reassured him. All right, I'll reluctantly agree and discuss it with your mother. He pretended immediately. In fact, he was very excited inside. Also, why don't you move to our old mansion for this period? After all, our family also has a large villa, much more spacious than the place you're renting. Your mother has been wanting to see you after all these years. Yi Mingshan quickly added. This was a tactic they had come up with to improve their relationship. Okay. I've been wanting our family to live together for a long time. Yi Shueron was very happy to hear this. She thought her father had truly changed. So, Yi Shueron quickly told Yang Chen about the move. He had no objections, as long as his wife was willing, he would agree however, although Yang Chen did not care much about Mr. and Mrs. Yi Ming Shan, he was concerned about Yi Wenching. Yi Wenching's looks, although not as good as Yi Shueron, were still quite outstanding. Living under the same roof as his sister-in-law made him somewhat uncomfortable. But since it was his wife's wish, he didn't say much. Dad said that in a few days, we will have a small gathering at home, bringing our family together for a meal. It's a way to resolve conflicts. Yi Shuerong happily told him. Finally, the family accepted the matter of Yang Chen, and she was happier than anyone else. Okay. Yang Chen knew very well that they were suddenly being so nice to him for a simple reason. They wanted to live in a big house. People are truly materialistic and ridiculous. This family is really a bunch of snobs. What Yang Chen couldn't imagine was that one day, he would receive a call from his brother-in-law, Fan Xingyang. It was that morning. Yang Chen, where are you? Fan Xingyang's tone was still arrogant. I'm at home, what's up? Yang Chen replied. Oh, I want to treat you to a meal and thank you for helping us last time. No need. There's no need to say that, we're family. I'm driving over to pick you up now. This was not something he would normally say. Yang Chen was not a fool and knew what this guy was up to. Forget it, just tell me the location, I'll come over. Fan Ching Yang was delighted and immediately gave him the location. It was a high-end restaurant in the city center. Hurry up, I'm waiting for you here. With that, he quickly hung up the phone. He was very excited. Yang Chen took a taxi and soon arrived at the location. Zhang Yang Restaurant This place was the stronghold of Dragon Lord, and today there was not a single customer in the restaurant, it was closed. His most powerful henchmen were all gathered there, with hundreds of his men outside. The scene at that moment would make anyone in the underworld tremble with fear. A grand display. As soon as Yang Chen arrived outside, he could already see what was going on, and he was curious about who had arranged such a formation. Fan Xingyan was not capable of this. It seemed that the people he had found were quite powerful. Perfect, he could use them for his own purposes. As soon as he entered, he saw that the hall was filled with people, all waiting in a strict formation. When they saw him, they all stared at him fiercely, as if they wanted to devour him. There was no sign of a friendly dinner invitation. Sitting at the center table was Fan Xingyang, along with a middle-aged man with a sturdy build and a goatee. They were drinking tea. It seemed that this man was the real master. What's going on here? Fan, inviting me to dinner, was there a need for such a grand setup? Yang Chen looked around at the people in the room and said coldly. He still exuded an extraordinary aura, calm and composed. Bah, Wei, did you really think I invited you for dinner? You caused so much trouble outside, don't you know that? Today is the day you die. Seeing Yang Chen's demeanor, Fan Xingyang felt extremely displeased. He was expecting to see Yang Chen scared out of his wits, but that didn't happen. Is that so? Well, I'd like to see that. Seeing Yang Chen continue to be so arrogant, he was infuriated. At first, he regretted whether he should have Dragon Lord deal with him, as that would be too harsh, considering that Dragon Lord was ruthless. But now it seemed that this was the right way to handle him. Dragon Lord, I leave this guy to you, I'll take my leave. 
Fan Ching Yang bowed his head and said, and Dragon Lord nodded. Fan Ching Yang sneered at Yang Chen, then left with a swagger. He thought to himself, wait for the body to be collected, he he. Yi Shu Erong, if your husband dies, let's see if you'll remarry. He was extremely excited. As soon as Fan Ching Yang left, the door was locked. Dragon Lord sat at the solid wood table in the center, leisurely drinking tea, observing Yang Chen in front of him. Kid, did you mess with my brother Scar? Yang Chen was taken aback. He thought these people were hired by Fan Ching Yang to deal with him. He didn't expect it to be about this, but how did this? Person no? Did Fan Ching Yang tell him? But at that time, everyone who knew about it kept quiet, so how did Fan Ching Yang know? Yang Chen couldn't believe that Fan Ching Yang was actually just guessing randomly, that was just a hat he put on him. Yes, it was me, Yang Chen nodded. Aren't you going to kneel down? Lord Long slammed the table and roared. This voice might make ordinary people shiver directly. But Yang Chen felt as if he was hearing a fly buzzing. He smiled slightly and said, why don't you guys help me? Because I've never knelt down in my life. Lord Long sneered and said, ha ha, all right, I'll indulge you. Go help him. Four muscular bull-like thugs immediately surrounded Yang Chen. Four pairs of sandbag-sized iron fists directly pounded towards Yang Chen from four directions. And Yang Chen stood still. Not until the fists were less than half a meter away from him did he suddenly strike back. Like lightning, he took on the four fists in rapid succession. At a speed almost too fast for the human eye to distinguish. The next moment, the clear sound of bones cracking could be heard. All four men were sent flying, crashing heavily to the ground. The four powerful men, all kneeling in three seconds. These were the strongest men under Lord Long. This scene made the remaining thugs too scared to approach. The fighting power of this man was too terrifying. Trash at this level dares to come out and fight? Yang Chen mocked. Lord Long's face changed. You have some skills. No wonder Scar lost to you. But do you think you can leave here alive with just that? Yang Chen pulled out a chair and sat down. He didn't even bother listening to his nonsense. Your name is Long San, right? To make things easier, tell me who your backer in this city is. Damn, you really don't know how to write the word death. Fine, I'll tell you, the second in command in the city is my big brother. In the underground world of Gauten City, I am the king. Lord Long's intimidating tone made these thugs secretly proud. Following such a powerful boss, they could walk sideways on the streets. Who wouldn't fear the name of Lord Long? Despite his fighting skills, in the face of real power, he would still have to kneel. But then, Yang Chen had already dialed a number without anyone noticing and calmly said, tell the second in command in Gautan to step down. What, what the hell are you saying? Who do you think you are trying to play a big role here? Long San was dumbfounded, and soon everyone burst into laughter. They thought this guy was simply crazy, thinking he could scare them like this? They treated Yang Chen as a clown. All right, let's see when this second in command will step down. Yang Chen looked at his watch and said, hmm, it should be about now. Long San burst into laughter again. Having seen so many people's faces before they died, this was the funniest one he had ever seen. But at that moment, his phone rang. Seeing the caller ID, his expression froze. Long San. Run now. I'm screwed, someone from above has taken action. They will find you soon. Long San's head was buzzing. Big brother, what are you saying? You are the second in command. Who dares to lay a hand on you? You fool. You have no idea how high the sky is. This time it's a direct notice from the provincial level, it said that it's a message from a person who has the ear of the higher-ups. Damn it, I must have offended someone. It's over. Before he could ask more, the call was hung up. Long San finally couldn't laugh anymore. Big brother, what's wrong? Who called? Seeing the look of their boss, the henchmen were all puzzled. Who, who are you? Lord Long ignored them and stared at Yang Chen. 
In his eyes, there was finally a deep fear. Looking at this man in front of him, he finally understood what it meant to be unfathomable. A phone call, three minutes, and a dignified second in command was forced to step down. What kind of concept was this? The so called boss of this so called underground circle, controlling a small business, what can be considered in front of such a powerful figure? He was so scared that his legs were starting to wobble. This time, he really messed with the wrong person. Long San, stand up for me first, Yang Chen exhaled smoke. Long San didn't dare to hesitate, subconsciously obediently stood up from the chair. He was completely afraid of this person. Seeing this scene, everyone was shocked. Your status is not enough to ask me who I am, understand? Your qualifications are far, far from enough. Long San didn't dare to say a word. I see that you have some influence in the underground world of Gautman, so I can let you live, but, in the next month, you will work for me. Long San heard this and quickly nodded repeatedly in agreement. It was his honor to work for such a big shot. He even felt that this was his chance to achieve something. But the next words from Yang Chen made him feel half cold. I will take one month to clean up the entire underground world of Gautan. After a month, you will hand over all your property and get out of Gautan. Before that, you will do whatever I ask you to do, understand? Ah! Hearing this, Long San couldn't accept it. He had struggled for decades to achieve his current status in the underworld. All of this was obtained through his hard work and cunning tactics. Let him hand it all over completely? What a joke! Seeing Long San showing signs of resistance, Yang Chen's eyes exuded a domineering aura. He suddenly exerted a slight force under his feet. Instantly, the entire ground cracked from the point where his toes touched the ground, spreading countless cracks to every corner. The whole room was trembling slightly. How powerful was this force? Everyone present was trembling with fear. Understood. Understood. I thank the big shot for mentoring me. Long San dared not resist anymore, and quickly knelt down to beg for mercy. The famous dragon lord, the emperor of the underground world. At this moment, kneeling in front of Yang Chen, he willingly became a little brother. This scene, if seen by anyone in the underworld, would be too shocking to breathe. Yang Chen stood up like a king. From now on, Tell others that your new big brother is called Yen Luo, remember that. From today, I am the king of the underground circle in Gautan. The rules will be set by me in the future. Didn't we agree to have a family gathering here today? Why hasn't Yang Chen arrived yet? In the Yi family's courtyard, Yi Mingshan looked at his watch impatiently. It was already past eleven, and everyone in the family was gathered except for Yang Chen. Yi Shuerong was also worried. When he came, Yang Chen said he would be a little late, but he still hadn't arrived. His phone was also unreachable. Could it be, something happened? Is he showing off to us? Inviting him to come and eat with us is giving him face. Does he think we are begging him? Hao Hongqin said angrily. Dad, I think you shouldn't have accepted him into our family in the first place. This guy has become too arrogant. Yi Lin Lin took the opportunity to say. She had been dissatisfied with her father's decision for a long time. How could he be prepared to accept that waste into the family? It's embarrassing. But she couldn't stop it. Yi Mingshan attached great importance to the matter of moving into the Nanshan villa. Mom and Dad, I'll tell you the truth, this guy probably won't come. At this moment, Fan Xingyang finally spoke triumphantly. What? Why? Everyone was surprised. He's out there, offending too many people, you may not know this, but many people in the underworld are investigating him. Upon hearing this, the family was even more shocked. This guy is really asking for trouble. How dare he? Offending people in the underworld. Yeah, it would be bad if he implicated our family. We shouldn't have let him come to eat at our house. The family started discussing. Don't talk nonsense. Brother Yang Chen, he wouldn't offend anyone. He will definitely come. Yi Shuerong couldn't stand it anymore and said angrily. 
he he, whether he can come or not, you will know soon. Fan Xingyang had a sneer on his face. He was extremely pleased in his heart, having witnessed that terrifying scene with his own eyes, so many thugs, layers upon layers surrounding. He believed that even if Yang Chen had wings, he wouldn't be able to fly out. Husband, what's going on? Is it true? Yi Lin Lin asked quietly. She was secretly excited too. She still remembered the slap that Yang Chen had given that guy. Don't worry. The person I found is Dragon Lord. He's as good as dead, Fan Qingyang confidently whispered. Really? Yi Lin Lin was instantly delighted. She was also aware of how ruthless those people in the underworld could be, and in Dragon Lord's hands, that guy was probably experiencing torture right now. There was no way he could die a painless death. The two of them were immersed in a sense of satisfaction, unable to extricate themselves, when suddenly, there was a knock on the door behind them. They were immediately stunned. But Yi Shuerom quickly got up and went to open the door. Sorry for being late, had to deal with a little matter on the way. Brought a bottle of red wine as well, Yang Chen's voice was clear and recognizable. Fan Qing Yang was utterly dumbfounded. Yang Chen? He was still alive? This, this couldn't be. He sneaked a glance and saw that Yang Chen was indeed standing there. The look in Yang Chen's eyes sent shivers down his spine. There was a coldness in those eyes, a fierceness like that of a tiger or a wolf. It was a murderous intent that he had never felt before. Yi Shuerong happily hugged him, why be so polite when coming to our own home? Come, have a seat. Yang Chen smiled faintly and sat down, ignoring the sneaky glances from Hao Hongqin, as well as the trembling Yi Lin Lin and her husband, behaving extremely naturally, which made them very uncomfortable. During the meal that followed, Fan Xing Yang felt extremely uneasy all over. It was as if needles were pricking his back. You said you found Dragon Lord? What's going on? Yi Lin Lin asked Fan Xing Yang discontentedly during a lull in the conversation. Damn, I can't figure it out either. Is this guy really invincible? He managed to escape from Dragon Lord's hands. Fan Xing Yang was also puzzled. He gritted his teeth and decided to go ask for clarification himself. I say, how did you manage to survive? Fan Qingyang found Yang Chen on the balcony, suppressing his fear as he quietly questioned. What, just because you found that person, you think you can deal with me? You think I'm so powerless? Yang Chen looked him up and down, his eyes full of disdain. You? No, I didn't find him, that person forced me to. This has nothing to do with me. Fan Ching Yang snapped out of his daze, realizing he couldn't reveal the conspiracy, and quickly lied. Let me tell you, Fan Ching Yang, you can continue to act recklessly because of your family connections, but once I decide I can't tolerate you anymore, you're finished. After saying this, Yang Chen exhaled a puff of smoke. He dropped the cigarette butt and walked away. Fan Ching Yang stood there dumbfounded. It was the first time he had heard Yang Chen speak to him in such a domineering tone. Normally, he would have retorted immediately. He had always been the one to insult and mock him at will, but now, he found himself being stepped on by him? However, the aura of dominance emanating from Yang Chen made him feel a chill. It was as if there was an invisible aura of death, an oppressive feeling. It wasn't until Yang Chen walked away that Fan Qingyun finally breathed a sigh of relief. That feeling just now had even made him break out in a cold sweat on his back. And what left him dumbfounded was still to come. Later on, he heard that Dragon Lord's backstage in the city had collapsed. And Dragon Lord, surprisingly, had given up his position, acknowledging another mysterious figure as the big brother, while he himself became a little brother. That mysterious figure was nicknamed Yen Wang. And he declared that he would become the new underground emperor of Gauten City. Could it be that this person was related to Yang Chen? But after inquiring through his connections, he found out that this person was not a local at all, and his identity was extremely mysterious, which made him breathe a sigh of relief. This guy probably just happened to escape a disaster. After that, Yang Chen and Yi Shuerong moved into the Yi family's courtyard. Two years later, the Yi family finally allowed Yi Shuerong to return, 
and even accepted this son-in-law. But everything was done out of self-interest. Actually, the Yi family's courtyard is also a small villa, with many rooms empty. However, they originally wanted to drive their daughter out and have her rent a place to live on her own, refusing to give her a place in their home. Yi Shu Aron, how long will it take to renovate your house? After everything settled down, Hao Hongqin asked without hesitation. This was her main concern. It should be by the end of the month, but if you want to make it more detailed, we can give them more time, Yang Chen took over the conversation, deliberately saying so. He knew this family was eager to move in. So, he wanted to tease them a bit. Hey, Yang Chen. Look, our old house has been like this for so long, it's in disrepair, and our parents are getting older. If we don't move to a new house soon, will there be another chance in the future? Yi Mingshan panicked upon hearing this and quickly spoke up. He even acted pitifully. Clearly, this villa was already quite large for ordinary people, but they made it sound so miserable. Oh, by the way, Yang Chen, you still don't have a job, right? How about this, we'll give you a position in the company, Yi Mingshan, seeing Yang Chen silent, started offering these small favors again, trying to win him over. However, little did he know that the most significant business for their family at the moment was all thanks to Yang Chen. And now, he was talking about giving Yang Chen a job? Yang Chen found it amusing. Yang Chen had planned to refuse at that moment, but Yi Shu Erong happily interjected, Great, Dad, you should have given Yang Chen a job a long time ago. Yang Chen, you should thank Dad. He forced a smile and shook his head inwardly. Forget it, it's only right. Yang Chen has made a significant contribution to our family. Yi Mingshan changed his tune in front of Yang Chen. Dad, our company has high standards for hiring. Are you sure you want to let someone without a degree like him into our company? Yi Wenqing complained disapprovingly. Hey, what are you saying? Your brother-in-law is a military returnee, isn't that more knowledgeable than going to school? Don't talk nonsense if you don't understand, Yi Mingshan quickly interrupted his daughter's words, reprimanding her. It was as if the person who once looked down on Yang Chen and called him useless was not himself. Yi Wenqing sneered but dared not say more. And Yang Chen remained indifferent throughout, not bothering to engage in their conversation. Watching them put on a show was enough for him. Dad, which department do you plan to assign Yang Chen to? Yi Shuerong asked again at this moment. Well, I've already decided. There's a vacant position for a debt collection specialist in the finance department. How about letting Yang Chen take on that role? Yi Mingshan said. In fact, he had long been brewing this idea, and the reason for arranging Yang Chen in this way was because he knew that not everyone could handle this job. The company's debts were all bad debts, and the small Yi family, facing strong enemies and surrounded by large corporations, had no way to collect debts. Doing business and making money was one thing but collecting debts was a big deal. Therefore, there were hardly any debt collection specialists in the Yi family company who could last more than three months. Yi Mingshan wanted to make Yang Chen realize the difficulty of the job. When the time came, if Yang Chen voluntarily said he couldn't handle it, he would lose face, and then they could transfer him to work as a security guard at the main gate, leaving him with no room to object. Yang Chen understood immediately that his father-in-law was deliberately making things difficult for him. He knew exactly what was on his mind. However, he just smiled and said, Sure, this job is not difficult. That's good, then. We'll pay you 5,000 a month. You can start working tomorrow. This treatment was not considered low, and Yi Xu Erong was also very happy to hear it. However, Hao Hongqin was somewhat displeased. In her opinion, it was reasonable to squeeze value out of this son in law but it made her uncomfortable for the family to pay him a salary. After discussing these matters, she added coldly, Yang Chen, although this family has accepted you now, it doesn't mean you don't have to do anything. Do you understand? In the future, you have to do the household chores that you should do. Like cleaning the floor, cooking, doing laundry, you have to put in some effort yourself. Mom, Yang Chen is not here to be our maid. Yi Xu Erong couldn't stand it anymore and pouted. What, he can't even do some work? As a mother, is what I say in this house no longer effective? 
Hao Hongqin said unreasonably, hands on her hips. Rong Rong, it's okay, as a son-in-law, these little chores are nothing. Yang Chen interrupted Yi Xu Erong's words and said casually. He didn't want Yi Xu Erong to be unhappy with her family because of him. Hao Hongqin snorted and stopped talking. On the other side, in the hospital room of the second hospital of the city, Jean Xiaoqing was carefully serving her mother's meal. Wow, my goodness, Xiaoqing, did you really move to the VIP ward? I thought you were joking with me. Suddenly, a fashionable girl wearing revealing clothes entered the room, looking around in surprise. Sis, I told you it's true, you don't believe me. The woman who came in was Jean Yuning, Jean Xiaoqing's sister. Her personality was completely different from her sister's, she was a full-fledged gold digger. Although their family was average, she constantly mingled with the circle of rich second-generation individuals, and often pretended to be a wealthy beauty. With her good figure and pretty face, she did attract the attention of many wealthy young men. After their mother fell ill, it was always Jean Xiaoqing who was busy taking care of her, while she hardly ever showed up. She was still immersed in the extravagant world of the wealthy, barely concerned about her mother, and hadn't visited for months. It wasn't until recently when she heard that her mother had moved to a luxurious ward and upgraded to special care that she was surprised and insisted on coming to see. Who is the person helping you? Your boss? Jean Yuning asked. My manager's husband, he told me to keep it low-key, don't spread it around. Jean Xiaoqing frowned at her sister, feeling dissatisfied. It's all the same. If he pays, he's the boss. Jean Yuning said in a worldly manner. He's not a wealthy person, he just has some private money, don't think too much of it. Jean Xiaoqing said displeased. Hee hee, Xiaoqing, there are some things you really don't understand. Jean Yuning smiled and shook her head, but didn't say much. After being outside for so long, she knew very well who could arrange for a VIP ward. It wasn't something that could be done with just a little money. It required power and real strength. Seeing her daughter, Zhang Mei was somewhat happy, Yuning, you're here. Have a seat, eat an orange. Zhang Mei lost her husband early on, had been alone for almost half her life, raising her two daughters on her own. Her two daughters were her only relatives. Seeing her daughter, she was still very affectionate. But Jin Yuning didn't pay much attention to her mother, instead she asked Xiao Qing, when will your boss come again? Jin Yuning was most concerned about this. Ah, uh, he mentioned today, he will come to see us and make sure everything is okay. Jin Xiao Qing replied. Jean Yuning had already made up her mind to get to know this wealthy man. In her opinion, this boss must be trying to woo her sister, but she was confident that she was more beautiful than her sister and could definitely win him over. In the afternoon, Jean Yuning stayed in the hospital room, not helping at all, just sitting on the side playing with her phone, even asking Jean Xiaoqing to bring her tea and water. Soon, Yang Chen finally arrived. In the afternoon, he rode his electric bike to the hospital to check on the situation. Upon entering, he was somewhat puzzled to see this extra person in the hospital room. Yang Chen, you're here. This is my sister, Yuning. Jin Xiaoqing explained quickly. Hello. Yang Chen nodded. Jin Yuning stared at him intently. Yang Chen, hello, I'm Jin Yuning. Nice to meet you. Her enthusiasm made Yang Chen somewhat uncomfortable. He shook hands with her. He could tell that this girl was probably not an easy one to deal with. Xiao Cheng, your boss's husband is quite handsome, Jin Yun Ning said ambiguously. In this woman's eyes, as long as a man has money, he is considered handsome. Moreover, the man in front of her was truly handsome. Not only was he good-looking, but he also exuded a strong masculine charm that made her feel a bit dizzy. No, she had to win over this man. The only thing Jin Yun Ning couldn't understand was why such a handsome man would dress so shabbily. He looked like a loser. But based on her experience, she believed that this man was definitely not simple. Xiao Cheng, is everything okay at the hospital? Those loan sharks haven't caused any trouble, have they? Yang Chen ignored Jin Yun Ning and spoke directly to Xiao Cheng. No, they dare not show up again. The nurses in this ward are very nice to us and provide excellent service. 
And, the nurse from last time seems to have been fired, Xiao Qing quickly replied. Who would dare to disrespect patients in the VIP ward? People like that don't deserve to be nurses, that's for sure, Yang Chen nodded indifferently. Hey, Xiao Qing, Yang Chen has helped us so much, shouldn't we thank him? At that moment, Jin Yun Ning seized the opportunity and suddenly spoke up. Ah, yes. Xiao Cheng was taken aback and felt a bit at a loss. She had always wanted to thank Yang Chen, but because she was tight on money, she couldn't come up with a decent gesture. When her sister brought it up, she felt even more embarrassed. Look at you, so hesitant. How about this, I'll take Yang Chen out for a meal. You don't need to come, stay here and take care of mom. Jin Yun Ning arranged without hesitation. Xiao Qing was not stingy, she had spent all her money on her mother's medical treatment. Yang Chen wanted to refuse, but seeing Jin Yun Ning's determination and Xiao Qing's insistence, he found it hard to decline. He thought, well, it's just a meal. Jin Yun Ning had been mingling in wealthy circles for a long time. Besides relying on her family's wealth, she had also been financially supported by some wealthy individuals, accumulating a considerable amount of money. She was a woman who was very good at using her wits. Soon, she drove her own BMW Mini and took Yang Chen to a restaurant. Along the way, Jin Yun Ning tried to get closer to Yang Chen, but he remained cold and aloof. Yang Chen, I heard that Xiao Chang works at your family's company? No, it's my wife's family. Wow, your sister-in-law has her own business, Yang Chen must be even more impressive. Jin Yun Ning continued to probe. Average, Yang Chen couldn't be bothered to look at her. Jin Yun Ning was a bit annoyed. Jin Yun Ning thought to herself that with her beauty, there was no man she couldn't win over. But this guy seemed completely uninterested in her. It was infuriating. They went to the Oli Western restaurant on Donghu Road, which was considered quite high-end in the area. Despite being in such a place, Yang Chen appeared very natural and composed, behaving very skillfully in every aspect, even during the meal. Jin Yun Ning noticed all of this and knew that Yang Chen was not as shabby as he appeared on the surface. This man must be wealthy. Yang Chen, can you tell me what kind of person your wife is? Jin Yun Ning asked tentatively. Why are you asking that? Because I want to know what kind of person Yang Chen likes. Jin Yun Ning stared into his eyes and said coquettishly. I like women who respect themselves. Yang Chen said coldly. Jin Yun Ning gritted her teeth inwardly but immediately said, Hey, Yang Chen, let me read your poem and see if it's good. I'm good at it. Jin Yun Ning said as she deliberately reached out with her fair hand to touch Yang Chen's hand. Her smooth and tender hands were something many men would want to hold and play with. But Yang Chen simply pushed her hand away. No need, I don't believe in fate, Jin Yun Ning said angrily. She felt rejected every time she tried to get closer. It was the first time she found it so difficult to approach a man. Yang Chen just sneered inwardly. He had seen this type of woman before. He knew all too well about her schemes and intentions. If she wasn't Jin Xiaoqing's sister, Yang Chen would have pushed her away long ago. She drove a car worth hundreds of thousands, but didn't lift a finger to help her mother's illness? Looking at the glamorous beauty on the surface, she was actually trash. Just then, a guest in a shirt walked into the restaurant. Wearing large sunglasses, he had the appearance of a young master with a few followers behind him. Extremely arrogant. When Jin Yun Ning saw this person, she gasped in surprise. The young master of the Shan family, Shan Dahai. Recently, Jin Yun Ning had been getting close to Shan Dahai, he was one of her targets. Their relationship was very ambiguous. But what Shan Dahai didn't know was that Jin Yun Ning was also involved with other wealthy men, not just him. He was just being played by her. Jin Yun Ning knew that if Shan Dahai saw her having dinner with Yang Chen, he wouldn't let it go easily. Just as she was considering whether to hide, Shan Dahai had already spotted her. Damn, Jin Yun Ning? Jin Yun Ning felt a bit flustered. Oh no, she had been discovered. This was someone she didn't want to offend. Shan Dahai was very controlling and had a strong personality. Most importantly, he was no ordinary young master. 
The Shan family was a prominent martial arts family in Gautan, holding a high position in the local martial arts community. There were many wealthy people in Gautan, but they all had to give face to the Shan family, as they were influential in the martial arts world. Moreover, Shan Dehai was skilled in martial arts and had a tendency to be violent towards others. Not many young masters dared to confront Shan Dehai face to face. And now, he sought his woman having dinner with another man? Who was this guy? Shan Dehai was furious. And looking at his shabby appearance, he didn't seem like anyone important. How dare he try to steal his woman? Who the hell are you? How dare you try to seduce my woman? Shan Dehai looked down at Yang Chen with anger, surrounded by his men, exuding a threatening aura. The restaurant staff had already noticed the situation, but knowing he was the young master of the Shan family, no one dared to intervene, they could only watch from afar. All eyes in the restaurant were on Yang Chen. They were closely watching the situation unfold. Whoever you are, it's best to speak politely to me, Yang Chen spoke calmly, continuing to drink his red wine. His tone was gentle, yet carried a hint of authority that couldn't be ignored. What the hell? You think you're tough? I'll give you five seconds to kneel down and apologize. Otherwise, I'll make sure you regret it today. Shan Dehai was annoyed, he didn't expect this guy to talk back to him like this. Young Master Shan, please don't misunderstand, actually. Jin Yun Ning nervously stood up, trying to explain. With a crisp slap, she was hit, her nose bleeding as she fell to the ground. Too scared to speak again. Yang Chen frowned. Although this had nothing to do with him, Jin Yun Ning deserved to be hit. But he still detested such behavior. I warn you, don't hit women in front of me, I don't like it, Yang Chen said, making Shan Dehai even angrier. Damn, are you looking to die? Shan Dehai was puzzled, did this guy only know how to act tough when he wasn't the one being targeted? Since that was the case, he would show him his strength. You're asking for it, die. Shan Dehai roared, throwing a punch with a whistling wind towards Yang Chen's head. This punch caught everyone off guard, it was too fast. Jin Yun Ning gasped in shock. After all, this was Shan Dehai. A renowned martial arts expert in Gauten, in an instant, it seemed as if everyone had already seen the scene of Yang Chen's head being smashed. However, Yang Chen only raised his hand slightly to block the punch in cheek when it was just a few centimeters away. Impatiently, as if shooing away a fly. Then, with a dull thud, a deafening sound. Shocking. The moment the force of the mountain and sea hit Yang Chen's hand, he felt as if he had struck a solid wall of iron and copper. The sound of bones cracking was clearly audible. Mountain and sea kept retreating, with half of his arm bent in a horrifying shape. This scene left everyone dumbfounded. It wasn't until the screams of the mountain and sea reached them that the crowd snapped out of their daze, and several henchmen rushed to help the mountain and sea. What happened? Almost no one saw how this man made his move, and the mountain and sea ended up in such a sorry state? Everyone felt like they were watching a movie. This was the young master of the Shan family. Yang Chen continued to drink his tea, looking relaxed, as if this kind of thing was nothing out of the ordinary. Young master, are you okay? Mountain and Sea was dazed, lying on the ground in a sorry state, leaving everyone in shock. Damn it, why hasn't he been killed yet? Mountain and Sea roared. If you want to be like him, come at me. Yang Chen didn't even bother to look at those henchmen. Five or six martial arts experts faced with Yang Chen, who was unarmed, hesitated to make a move. They all had some understanding in their hearts that this person must be extraordinary. To easily defeat the mountain and sea, without even seeing his move clearly. Can he be an ordinary person? Damn it, raising a bunch of useless people. Mountain and sea was furious at the sorry state of his henchmen. Before being taken away by his henchmen, mountain and sea angrily said. You wait for me. My father won't let you off the hook. Your father is? Yang Chen asked curiously. My father is Shan Deyong. If you dare, come to the Maple Forest Martial Arts Hall. He will kill you. Mountain and Sea declared angrily. Yang Chen shook his head with a bitter smile upon hearing this. 
It turned out that this small place also had a so-called martial arts circle and martial arts hall. He had been here for two years and had not encountered them before. It seemed he needed to make time to meet them. Jin Yin watched the entire process of Yang Chen dealing with the mountain and sea. This man not only had money but also had such formidable skills. Too perfect, she even felt a girlish flutter in her heart. Are you okay? Yang Chen walked over to her, interrupting her reverie. Thank you for saving me just now, Yang Chen. She quickly said after coming to her senses. Well, if you're okay, then get up. But, my foot hurts, can you help me up? Jin Yun started to act coquettish again. Yang Chen felt a bit disgusted but still reached out his hand. As Jin Yun stood up, she pretended to slip and fell into his arms. The fragrance made Yang Chen feel a bit dizzy. Such a strong scent of perfume. He felt repulsed and quickly pushed her away. Jin Yun, unable to steady herself, fell to the ground again. She was starting to get angry. Why are you like this? How could there be such a difficult man to deal with? She had never failed with these little tricks before. If you're okay, I'll leave now. And let me tell you, your outside relationships have nothing to do with me, but don't disgust me. I don't like flies. Yang Chen said coldly, leaving her trembling. She had hoped for a meal but not only did she fail to seduce the rich man, she was humiliated like this. Early the next morning, Yang Chen arrived at the Yi family's company. It was his first day working at the Yi family company. He went to the so-called finance department arranged by Yi Mingshan. The head of the finance department was a young woman named Zhang Lin, who was applying lipstick in front of a mirror. Upon seeing Yang Chen, she adopted a haughty expression, looking him up and down. You must be Yang Chen? Her tone was extremely disdainful. That's me. Yang Chen replied curtly, without any politeness. I have to say, can you handle the task of collecting debts? Our department doesn't keep idle people. Supervisor Zhang Lin crossed her arms, looking down on him. I can give it a try, Yang Chen said calmly. You want to try, right? Fine, then go collect that payment from Zhang Nan Real Estate. Can you handle it? Supervisor Zhang Lin coldly assessed Yang Chen. I can handle it, Yang Chen replied nonchalantly. But when Zhang Lin heard this, a cold smile crept onto her face. It seemed like another clueless person who had no idea what they were getting into. Without even asking for details, they dared to take on the task? This time, he's in trouble. Yang Chen didn't say anything, just took the documents and glanced at them briefly. The total amount of the payment was only a little over 8 million. Such a small amount of money, yet the other party was dragging their feet and not paying, clearly trying to bully others. But Zheng Nan Real Estate was a big player, and the Yi family knew they couldn't compete. So for now, they could only treat it as a bad debt. The company had already sent three debt collectors for this money, all of whom resigned when they couldn't collect it. All right. But I'll tell you the truth, this has been overdue for nine months. If you can collect it, then I'll admit you have some skills. Zhang Lin said mockingly and coldly. Okay. I'll do my best. Yang Chen took the documents and left without saying much, heading straight to Zhang Nan Real Estate. This 8 million was insignificant to Zhang Nan Real Estate, but it was a substantial amount for the Yi family. It would greatly ease the financial pressure on the company. I wonder if that newcomer really went. After Yang Chen left, in the finance office, several people immediately started chatting. Lin Jia is amazing, she makes him do whatever she wants. Ha ha ha. This guy really doesn't know his place, he actually dares to go after the money from Zhang Nan real estate. Even if he comes back and scathed, he won't escape a beating. Supervisor Zhang Lin was particularly pleased with herself, as this time she was following orders from above. After all, everyone in the Yi family wanted to teach this useless son-in-law a lesson. If she did well this time, she could earn the appreciation of the Yi family and easily get a promotion and raise. Zheng Nan Real Estate was a notorious rogue enterprise in Gautan, known for their dirty tactics. Few companies in the city dared to cross them, once you got involved with them, it was very difficult to deal with. 
The Yi family had made a mistake in the past and suffered losses, so they had basically given up on this money. Because everyone in Gauten had heard of the reputation of Zhengnan real estate, no one dared to provoke them, and it had been a long time since anyone dared to collect debts from them. But today, a clueless person like Yang Chen showed up. Everyone in the office was looking forward to seeing what would happen to Yang Chen. Riding his electric scooter, Yang Chen arrived at Zhengnan real estate around noon. Hello, I'm here to collect a debt, this opening statement left the receptionist stunned for a moment. Even if he was really there to collect a debt, did he have to be so direct? Moreover, this was Zhengnan real estate, no one had dared to come to their door asking for money for many years. The receptionist looked Yang Chen up and down, he didn't seem like anyone important, most likely just causing trouble. She quickly exchanged a glance with the security guard next to her. The security guards at Zhengnan Real Estate were all ruthless characters recruited from the streets, and they immediately picked up their batons and walked towards Yang Chen. Who let you in? Get out, the security guard barked. Yang Chen didn't even bother looking at him, just stared at the receptionist. Are you? Mute, the two security guards were annoyed. Ignoring them? This guy was really asking for trouble. He dared to come here and court death. The security guards raised their batons and struck at Yang Chen. Yang Chen didn't even look, just raised his arm to block. With a dull thud, the two heavy batons had already bent. And the powerful impact sent the two security guards staggering backward, crashing heavily into the glass door. The receptionist's eyes nearly popped out. Is this, a monster? Just a moment ago, she was arrogant, but now she was trembling in fear. Our company's senior management is all at the boss's birthday party today, and there's no one available in finance to handle this. She stammered. Where is the birthday party taking place? Yang Chen continued to ask in a frosty voice, it's... It's Tanhai Hotel. Oh. Yang Chen nodded and left without saying much. The front desk staff breathed a sigh of relief as if they had been granted a reprieve. She had been so scared just now that she had forgotten to breathe. When she came to her senses, she was surprised. Could this guy really be going to Tanhai Hotel? Even if he's so powerful, would he dare to provoke Qin Zhengnan? That would be like walking into a death trap. Tanhai Hotel is one of the top hotels in Gautan, and today is the birthday of their CEO Qian Zhengnan, so a grand birthday banquet has been arranged. Yang Chen parked his electric scooter and strode into the hotel. The largest private room on the second floor had been reserved by Qian Zhengnan, and at this moment, everyone inside was drinking, playing drinking games, and chatting. There were also many women accompanying the meal, making it lively. A fair-skinned, long-legged woman was sitting in Qian Zhengnan's lap, drinking and joking with him, and Qian Zhengnan was even touching her. At that moment, Yang Chen suddenly pushed open the door and entered. The people in the room initially thought he was a waiter bringing food, but when they realized who he was, all eyes turned to him. Who is Qian Zhengnan? Yang Chen asked directly. The whole room fell silent, and everyone gasped. How could someone dare to call out Qian's name so boldly? Who the hell are you? Before Qian Zhengnan could speak, the person next to him immediately rebuked. I'm here to collect a debt. Last October, you owed Yeshur Group a final payment for a project, please settle it. The total amount, including interest, is 8,330,000. Yang Chen was straightforward, getting straight to the point. The room was incredibly quiet and you could hear a pin drop. Today is Qian Zhengnan's 50th birthday. And yet, at this moment of celebration, someone dared to ruin his mood? Everyone stared at Yang Chen, trying to figure out who he was and why he had such audacity. Qian Zhengnan was very angry. But he remained calm, took a puff of his cigarette, and through the smoke, he looked at Yang Chen. Oh, I see. Eight million plus, right. My boss Qian still has that kind of money. With that, he flicked the cigarette ash and his tone changed. But, since you've ruined my mood today, you have to kneel down and kowtow to me before you can take the money. 10,000 for each kowtow. He wanted Yang Chen to kowtow to him. Everyone smirked at this, as if the man before them was already doomed. 
Even if he cowed out 800 times, Shen would not let him go. Shen Zhangnan was a vengeful and cunning person. He used to be in the underworld, and only a few years ago did he go legit, starting his own company and becoming a legitimate businessman. How many rivals had he bankrupted in the past? And now, this insignificant debt collector was standing before him? As everyone waited to see this ignorant fool kneel down, Yang Chen walked over, brought a chair, and sat down directly. Who gave you the guts to sit down? Stand up! Someone immediately shouted. Here's the deal, I'll give you a chance. Take the money and leave, and I'll pretend nothing happened. I advise you to cooperate, it's better for everyone. Yang Chen said to Qian Zhangnan without even looking at the thugs. Today, he was here on behalf of his wife's family's company, and he didn't want to resort to violence. He hoped to resolve things in a civilized manner. He thought he was being kind enough. But Qian Zhangnan was extremely furious. This guy was really pushing his luck. With a loud bang, Qian Zhangnan smashed his glass on the ground. Damn it, make him kowtow. Qian Zhangnan roared, and several burly men immediately stood up from beside him, looking like bodyguards, and walked towards Yang Chen. Yang Chen remained seated, shaking his head in resignation. Why was it that his kind words never worked on people like this? Suddenly, at that moment, there was a hurried footsteps outside, followed by a group of well-dressed attendants, a short middle-aged man walked in. Seeing this sudden arrival, Shen Zhangnan was dumbfounded. Who in Gautan doing business didn't know this man? He is the head of commerce in the city. Whether you run a company or do business, in front of this man, you have to behave and show respect. Shen Zhangnan was so scared that he quickly stood up, ready to greet, but the other party spoke first. Mr. Yang. What a coincidence, I just heard that you were here, so I came over immediately. I'm sorry to disturb you. However, may I invite you to have a drink? But this head figure in front of him is actually acting submissive to this man? The posture is as if he is his little brother. It's too scary. I'm busy collecting debts. Yang Chen glanced at him and said lightly. Such a big shot trying to please, but this guy in front of him doesn't give any face at all? What's going on here? Who is this man, really? In fact, this head figure himself doesn't even know who Yang Chen is. The only thing he knows is that previously, at a dinner with a group of provincial big shots, Mr. Yang, as the guest of honor, was someone even the provincial leader had to flatter. With his own status, he naturally doesn't have the qualification to ask. He's just a lackey pouring wine on the side. And today, to have such. An opportunity to get close to this big shot and build connections. He certainly won't miss this chance. What? This person, owes you money? The head figure's voice trembled. Someone dared to provoke this man? They must have a lot of guts. Yes. And he owes quite a bit. Yang Chan snorted. Qian Zhangnan, sitting there, shuddered instantly. He sensed that something big was about to happen. Before he could explain, the head figure was already furious. You are Qian Zhangnan, right? Someone, freeze all the assets of his company immediately, and seal Chen Zhangnan real estate. The head figure said sternly. These words made Chen Zhangnan feel like he was falling into hell. He shuddered. This was no joke, his entire fortune in life depended on this company. All the wealth he had accumulated, painstakingly laundered, and engaged in legitimate business. Just this one sentence from the other party could wipe out half of his life's wealth. If they really investigated his company thoroughly, he had enough dirt to put himself behind bars for life. Please. I. I was wrong. Mr. Yang. Mr. Wei. Please forgive me, I will repay the money immediately. Please don't bother with someone like me. Xian Zhangnan stood up in a hurry, almost begging on the ground. The room was stunned. At this moment, they dared not sit, all stood up, at a loss. The worthless person they had just seen, turned out to have such a terrifying status? When I gave you a chance earlier, why didn't you cherish it? Yang Chen looked down at him, with a look of helplessness and a pitiful gaze towards this trash. 
you handle this matter. Once it's done, I will put in a good word for you with the higher-ups. No need for drinks. After patting the shoulder of the city finance head, Yang Chen said this and left. Just two simple sentences made him tearful. He was so grateful that he wanted to bow to Yang Chen. Facing this young man, he felt even more humble. He could only do his best to serve him and repay his trust. After seeing Yang Chen leave, Shen Zhengnan quickly knelt down and begged, Sir, I have good relations with several leaders in the city government. For their sake, please don't touch me. He had placed all his hopes on the city finance head. He brought up all his connections, hoping to find a way out. Let me tell you, knowing people won't help you today. Because the person you offended is that gentleman. Pay back the money honestly, and then wait for your punishment. The head figure coldly dropped this sentence and then turned and left. Qian Zhangnan felt a wave of despair, completely collapsed on the ground. He didn't even know who he had offended, some big shot. Shortly after, Chen Zhangnan personally went to the Yi family and repaid all the debts this shocked everyone in the company. That's the Zhangnan group. Chen Zhangnan personally came to repay the money? Is this a dream? Especially the people in the finance department, all confused. That newcomer actually managed to get the money from Zhangnan Real Estate? He, isn't he useless? How could he have this ability? Later on, people found out that the municipal government suddenly launched a thorough investigation into the Zhangnan group. All industries established by Qian Zhangnan and Gautman were finished. Yang Chen did this amazing thing on his first day at the Yi family, leaving Yi Mingshan completely stunned. This guy, could it be that he's just lucky? Yang Chen did well. Keep up the good work. In front of the company, he could only reluctantly praise him. This scene made Ji Lin Lin and Yi Wenching below very unhappy. Yang Chen, you're amazing. How are you so capable? Yi Shuerong hugged Yang Chen and gave him a big kiss. She learned about this matter and besides being happy, she was more surprised. It's not that I'm capable, maybe just lucky, the city happened to investigate him, so he repaid the money. Yang Chen used this excuse to deceive his wife. Everyone also said that Yang Chen had a stroke of luck, as he happened to demand repayment when the city was cracking down on Zhang Nan real estate. That's why he was so successful. But Yi Xu Erong didn't believe this explanation. This guy Yang Chen must not be that simple. He definitely has secrets hidden. Oomph, just wait, I will definitely find out your secret. Yi Xu Erong secretly vowed in anger. After being dumped by Yang Chen last time, Jin Yuning felt very frustrated and vented all her anger on Jin Xiaoqing, scolding her severely when she got home. Jin Xiaoqing felt wronged. But Jin Yuning didn't realize that this matter was not over yet. On the same day, people from the Shan Family Martial Arts Hall came looking for Jin Yuning. They didn't know who the mysterious person who fought the junior hall master was, but they knew where Jin Yuning was. A group of thugs went to where Jean Yuning lived and smashed everything to pieces. She was also beaten up. Who was that man last time? Where is he now? I really don't know, I only know he's from the Yi family, called Yang Chen. Jean Yuning, with a face covered in blood, answered like a pig's head. She had completely lost her usual arrogant and aloof demeanor, looking more miserable than a dog. The martial arts hall thugs who got the information left her and immediately went to find Yang Chen. After work that evening, Yang Chen had just left the company when he saw two vans approaching him. One van breaks suddenly, and the other stopped in front and behind him, trapping him in the middle. Then the doors opened, and about a dozen people came out of the vans. Yang Chen sneered inwardly, the van could really fit a lot of people. He knew they were up to no good, but he didn't take it seriously at all. The people who got out of the van, all strong and dressed sharply, looked like martial artists. In an instant, they had surrounded Yang Chen in the middle, their formation extremely intimidating. Kid, did you beat up our junior hall master? They asked Yang Chen. As soon as he heard this title, Yang Chen knew who had sent them. Beat up? I just defended myself, I couldn't help it if he's useless. Yang Chen replied coldly. This statement further angered those. People. You really don't know how to write the word death. 
Come with us. The leader grabbed his collar angrily. In his eyes, the person in front of him was already finished, dared to provoke the Shan family, and still wanted to live? In front of them, this person had absolutely no power to resist. But the next moment, Yang Chen suddenly made a move. He grabbed the man's arm and twisted it violently. With a crack, the entire arm twisted into a spiral shape. All the bones shattered and fractured. Do you know how the person who touched me the most miserably died? All his bones were broken, leaving only the last one before he stopped breathing. Yang Chen's voice was chilling. You, aren't you going to help? Save me. The man screamed in agony, but the people around had already been scared and no one dared to come up. They just realized how terrifying the people who killed the deputy head of the Shaguan were. To be able to transform someone's arm like this, it not only requires martial arts skills, but also requires powerful internal strength. This person is too amazing. Lead the way. Perfect, let me meet your boss. After speaking, Yang Chen threw the person aside, opened the car door, and got into the car himself. The posture was completely taking the lead as if he were the boss. The remaining people didn't dare to act recklessly anymore. They all followed and got into the car as if they were his followers. In front of truly powerful people, they finally understood what was terrifying. At this moment, inside the Maple Forest Martial Arts Hall, everyone was on high alert. Damn it, even my son, Shan Deyong, dared to touch. Don't these wealthy people in Gauten City know my name? They are asking for death. Shan Deyong sat on the Grandmaster's chair, cursing coldly. He had been prestigious in Gauten for so many years, and his son was actually beaten by someone. And, his son's hand was disabled. He is still in the hospital now. He had never suffered such a big loss before. At this moment, all the disciples in the hall had been assembled by him in the martial arts practice field, ready to deal with this reckless person fiercely. Master, I heard that the other party seems to be not a wealthy person, just a parasite. Poor enough to ride an electric bike. Shan Deyong was stunned for a moment, then said smugly, Heh, it seems he is just an ignorant martial artist. He will understand what real kung fu is later. It's also a way to broaden his horizons before he dies. Shan Deyong was full of confidence in his own strength. In Gautan, he believed that no one could be his opponent. His master was a legendary figure who had served in the special forces of the military, Eagle Eye. This big shot even came from the Northern Territory and had been one of the eight great Azura warlords in the Northern Territory. His strength was unimaginable. It was only with a bit of inheritance from this figure that he had the qualification to walk around outside. Soon, the sound of cars came from outside, and two vans quickly drove into the martial arts hall. Shan Deyong clenched his teeth, rubbed his fists, ready to teach this ignorant person a lesson. The martial arts hall was located in the outskirts of Maple Forest, a beautiful place with mountains and clear water. Yang Chen looked around and thought, this place is really nice. It's just right to take this opportunity to expand my influence in Gautan a bit. After the van stopped, the doors opened, and a group of disciples got off one after another. Each of them fled into the martial arts hall in a panic. Seeing this scene, Shan Deyong was puzzled. Why are you all acting like cowards? Where is the person you brought? He asked sternly. Master, the person, is right behind us, the leader stammered. Shan Deyong was also puzzled. He had brought so many people to the martial arts hall, but they ended up like this, it was the first time. Usually, when were they not imposing and bringing people who were scared stiff? He was pondering when a man with a commanding presence walked in from outside. Just a glance from afar, he could feel that this person was extraordinary. Not only was he a martial artist, but, his strength was definitely not low. The aura surrounding him was truly terrifying. Is this the number one martial arts hall in Gautan? It doesn't look like much. Yang Chen looked around the martial arts hall and said disdainfully. It was as if the hundreds of martial artists in front of him didn't exist in his eyes. Shan Deyong was immediately very displeased. This guy had already walked into the tiger's den and still dared to be arrogant? Who gave him the courage? Even if he had some skills, 
with so many disciples on his turf, what was there to fear from him alone? Close the door. Shan Deong shouted angrily. The gate of the martial arts hall was quickly locked from the inside. In an instant, the entire martial arts hall was completely sealed off from the outside world. Seeing this situation, Yang Chen just smiled. Are you the one who disabled my son's arm? Shan Deong questioned. That's right, Yang Chen snorted. Damn it, do you think you can be arrogant just because you know some kung fu, when you arrive at Laozi's territory, you will definitely leave lying down today? Shan Deong roared in extreme anger. Master, let me avenge the young master. Master. Let me do it. No, I'll go first. Seeing this, a group of disciples eagerly expressed their loyalty to Master Shan Deong. They all wanted to deal with this seemingly useless guy first and make a name for themselves in front of the master. Watching this scene, Shan Deong felt extremely pleased. Do you think you're tough? Come on, pick someone to fight with you. Shan Deong looked at Yang Chen and sneered. With so many strong soldiers under his command, he wasn't afraid of this guy of unknown origin. He knew his son, Shan Dehai, was weak and never practiced martial arts. He could bully those who hadn't trained, but when facing a real martial artist, he was just a show-off. However, these disciples were carefully selected and among the best in the province. To his surprise, Yang. Chen just laughed after hearing this. Pick someone? No need for that, let's all go together. These small fries, even if they came ten times or a hundred times more, were just a bunch of buzzing flies to him. No matter how many flies there were, they posed no threat to a lion. His arrogant words immediately angered the disciples. In the martial arts circle, these people were considered outstanding and were never underestimated wherever they went. But this seemingly unremarkable man in front of them dared to mock them? Seeking death. Over a dozen high-level disciples glared at Yang Chen instantly. Shan Deong also felt his face severely insulted, and he immediately shouted, all of you, attack. Chop this brat into mincemeat for me. The disciples received the order and slowly formed a formation, surrounding Yang Chen in the center. Yang Chen didn't even bother to look up, instead impatiently cleaning his ears. With a collective roar, dozens of people wielding iron fists charged towards Yang Chen. So many experts exerted their full strength against Yang Chen. The lower-level disciples outside could only see a dark mass. They were also secretly fearful, this was too terrifying. How much power would this generate? Even if there were bronze bulls or stone lions in the middle, they would probably be crushed. But an unexpected scene unfolded before them. One, two, those powerful high-level disciples were continuously sent flying. What was happening? When they could finally see clearly, only the last two high-level disciples remained in the center of the field. Both of them were already covered in blood, although they hadn't even touched Yang Chen, they were so frightened by what had just happened that they trembled and dared not approach. Yang Chen smirked and walked towards them. With lightning speed, he kicked one after another. Before the two could react, they were sent flying like footballs. Master Shan Deong, sitting on the Grandmaster's chair, was now twitching half of his face uncontrollably. He couldn't accept everything happening before his eyes. These were the proud disciples he had cultivated over the years. The strongest among them had inherited nearly half of his skills. Even with so many disciples combined, Shan Deong himself probably couldn't fight them all. But, this guy didn't even need two minutes. Are these all your proud disciples? Sorry, I've wiped them all out. Yang Chen clapped his hands, speaking leisurely. Then, he walked step by step towards Shan Deong. Now, it's your turn, master. Shan Deong watched him approaching step by step, feeling a chill running down his spine. Menacing. An intimidating aura. The kind of coldness that seemed to trample on bones and blood. Don't mess around. I, I warn you, my master is a figure in the military. If you dare to mess with me on my territory, I guarantee my master will kill you. Shan Deong was already scared. He knew that if he acted out, he would embarrass himself in public, and he might end up like those disciples. So he had no choice but to bring out his master to intimidate him. 
This was his last card, he couldn't believe that this ordinary looking person was so powerful. He regretted it from the bottom of his heart. Oh, really? Then tell me, who is your master after all? Maybe I also stayed in the Northern Territory and might know him. Upon hearing this, Sean Dayon felt relieved. Even if you are awesome in the Northern Territory, can you not be afraid of the eight great war generals? Hee <laughs> hee, saying it out loud might scare you. Hawkeye. Have you heard of him? I'm afraid he is your superior superior superior. Sean Dayong said coldly, this master's position was his last confidence. Hawkeye, I have indeed heard of him. I promoted him to become one of the eight great Azuras before. It seems he also trained a bug like you under him. Yang Chen said thoughtfully. Shan Deyang was completely stunned by these words, hesitated for a few seconds, then burst into laughter. Ha ha ha. Your level of pretending is truly invincible. You promoted Hawkeye to become one of the eight great Azuras? If you say this in the Northern Territory, you will probably not even have a chance to die. The hawk-like eyes in Sean Dion's eyes were not just objects to be slandered casually. Hey, ask if there is someone named Sean Dayong under Hawkeye, who opened a Maple Forest Martial Arts Hall. Let him ask me. One minute later, Sean Dion's phone rang. Seeing the caller ID, Sean Dayong, who was originally proud, was shocked and shivered all over. The displayed number was none other than, his master, Hawkeye. After he became a disciple of Hawkeye many years ago, he only learned a little bit of superficial knowledge. Knowing that he was not cut out to be a martial arts genius, he ran away with this little skill and established his dominance in a small place. After so many years had passed, he never expected to receive a call from his master one day. He was excited but also felt extremely fearful. Hawkeye. Is it really you? Shut up. Traitor. Who gave you the courage? How dare you use my name to show off outside? The furious shout from the other end made him dumbfounded on the spot. Master, I, I didn't. Still dare to speak? Do you know who is standing in front of you? He is my benefactor, my leader. If it weren't for him in the Northern Territory, I wouldn't be where I am today. How dare you offend him? Hawkeye was furious. Kneel down and apologize to me immediately. Keep knocking your head until it bleeds. If you want to die, don't drag me down with you. Sean Dayong's hands were trembling, and his phone fell to the ground. He stood up shakily, his forehead and back already soaked with cold sweat. Seeing Sean Dayong's reaction, his subordinates were also dumbfounded. All the disciples in the hall watched as Sean Dayong walked step by step towards Yang Chen. They thought the hall master was going to make a move. But the next second, they saw the hall master kneeling down with a bang. In front of Yang Chen, he started knocking his head one after another. Master, please forgive me. I have the courage of a coward, I am. Not even worthy to be a worm in front of you. Please, please forgive me. Give me a way out. These shocking words were heard clearly by everyone present. The head of the Maple Forest Martial Arts Hall, who was a prominent figure in the Gao Tan Martial Arts Circle, actually knelt down and kowtowed to this man and begged for mercy in such a manner. What a scene is this? Is this a dream? Even in a dream, such a terrifying scene could not be imagined. Who are you really? Looking up at Yang Chen's disdainful eyes, Shan Dehai couldn't help but muster up the courage to ask. Are you even worthy to ask? This sentence instantly made him shrink back, and he dared not say another word. Then, Yang Chen walked towards him step by step. Watching Yang Chen approaching, Shan Dehai was so scared that he even shrank back. The master of the Maple Forest Martial Arts Hall, a dominant figure in the Gao Tan Martial Arts world, appeared so embarrassed and humble in front of this man, as if he were nothing more than an ant. Yang Chen didn't even look at him, passed by him, and stepped on the Grandmaster's chair. From today onwards, this Maple Forest Martial Arts Hall belongs to me. I will keep only a part of your useless subordinates, and the rest will be disbanded on the spot. Yang Chen's orders were loud and clear. Jin Dayong felt a shiver down his spine, trembling all over. Not only was his own son disabled, 
but the place he had worked hard for his whole life was now taken over by this man. He had been arrogant for decades, but now he suffered a huge loss. In a while, I will send someone to assess you all. And I will have someone take over this martial arts school, only those who are truly qualified can stay. As for you father and son, you have been doing evil deeds in Gauten for many years, pack up and leave. Don't let me see you again. Kidnapping people and bringing them into the martial arts school, these audacious evildoers, Yang Chen spared their lives, which was already considered merciful. Folin Martial Arts School underwent a complete change, causing a stir in the martial arts community of Gautan, and even the entire society. An unknown mysterious person single handedly challenged Fonglin Martial Arts School and disabled the owner. And he became the new owner of the school. Yang Chen, wash my clothes. In the evening at home, Yi Wenching sat on the sofa ordering Yang Chen. She threw a few dirty underwear at him. Her attitude was like that of a young lady ordering a servant. Yang Chen almost slapped her. But he thought it was just a small task, not worth arguing about, so he took them and threw them into the washing machine. In these two years, Yang Chen had been trying to control his temper. During his years in the north, he had been bloodthirsty, with too much blood on his hands. It was a good opportunity to temper his character. Yu Wenching held her phone, typing nonstop with a smile on her face. Recently, she had met a handsome guy, and things were progressing quickly. Xiao Chang, who are you chatting with that you're so happy? Yi Shuerong noticed her sister's lovesick expression and couldn't help but ask. Yu Wenching glanced arrogantly at Yi Shuerong before saying, Have you heard of the online sensation, the racing car emperor? The man who drove out a whole row of luxury cars from the parking lot in Deshang City? I think I saw something about it online, what about it? Yi Shuerong furrowed her brows. Let me tell you, he is now my boyfriend. Yi Wenching boasted proudly. What? Really? Congratulations. But, how did you two meet? Yi Shuerong asked curiously. Online, Yi Wenching replied casually. Ah, is that reliable? Would a wealthy person like him look for a partner online? Yi Shuerong couldn't understand. You don't understand. Nowadays, the rich are surrounded by gold diggers, they are tired of it and want to meet someone different online. Like me. Hoof Yi Wenching said confidently. Yi Shuerong sighed, if he disliked gold diggers, why did he tell you he was the racing car emperor? This kind of trickery probably only works on your sister. Yang Chen, who was nearby, had been laughing. Wasn't he the one behind that incident in Deshang City last time? How did he become the racing car emperor now? And someone was using his name to deceive young girls? It was ridiculous. Wenching, be careful not to be deceived. People in society nowadays are very complex, you can't trust easily. Yi Shuerong advised her sister worriedly. Yi Wenching interrupted her, enough, what do you know, we have already met several times. I'm going to bring him home for dinner in a few days. Yi Wenching didn't care about her traditional and conservative sister, she felt that Yi Shuerong's words were out of jealousy. Yi Shuerong was very worried, but she couldn't persuade her sister. What they didn't expect was that the next evening, Yi Wenching really brought that so-called boyfriend home. That night, Yi Mingshan had gone out for a social event, and Yang Chan and Yi Shuerong had just returned home from work when they saw Yi Wenching holding hands with a man, entering the house intimately. The man was a slick and flashy type, clearly a playboy. Yang Chen felt repulsed. Mom, let me introduce you, this is my recent boyfriend, Wu Chen. Yi Wenching held the playboy's hand and introduced to Hao Hongqing. Auntie, hello. This is a special grade Long Jing tea for you and uncle. Wu Chen handed over an exquisite gift box, saying. Oh, young man, you're so polite. Come, please have a seat. Hao Hongqin immediately greeted warmly, a stark contrast to her usual attitude towards Yang Chen. Hey, is this Snow Rongjie? Hello, hello. Wu Chen's eyes couldn't move away from Yi Shuerong as soon as he saw her. Such a level of beauty is rare, especially Yi Shuerong's fresh and natural beauty, which few men have the chance to see. That look made Yi Wenching uncomfortable. I say, Yang Chen, 
Can't you see that guests have arrived? Pour some water. Hao Hongqin immediately ordered coldly, treating Yang Chen as if he were a servant. Yi Shuerong was not happy at the moment, but she didn't want to argue with her mother in front of guests. Yang Chen gently patted her leg, indicating that it was okay, and poured the water himself. Yang Chen never minded such trivial matters. If it were his subordinates from the Northern Territory present, watching these scumbag relatives dare to bully the commander, he would have pulled out his gun and shot them all in the head. Yang Chen was determined to cultivate his temperament. As long as they didn't cross his bottom line, he always maintained a smiling attitude. Qingqing, is this the useless brother-in-law you mentioned who stayed at your house? Wu Chen looked at Yang Chen pouring water and mockingly asked. Yes, it's him. He hasn't found a job for two years and only recently started working at my house. Yi Wenqing immediately replied, seizing the opportunity to humiliate her brother-in-law. I say, brother-in-law, if you can't make it at Ye's house, you can come work for me. There are plenty of people at my company eager to get in. Wu Chen proudly said. He deliberately wanted to show off in front of Yi Shu Erong and belittle this guy. He couldn't understand how such a loser could marry such a beautiful wife. Is that so? How impressive. May I ask which company? Yang Chen asked with interest, seemingly not taking his provocation seriously. You may not have heard of it in your small town, but everyone in Haizhou knows our family, Sheng Yuan Mining. Oh, I've heard of it. Seems pretty impressive. Little Wu, is your family in the mining business? As soon as she heard this, Hao Hongqin immediately chimed in. She was only interested in the income of her future son-in-law. Of course, Wu Chen's company is one of the top mining companies in the province. Yi Wenqing proudly said. Is that so? It must be very profitable. Hao Hongqin's eyes lit up. He he, it's okay, we make tens of billions a year, not much. Wu Chen boasted. This made Hao Hongqin's eyes widen even more. A company with an annual income of tens of billions was hundreds of times more powerful than their family. Hooking her daughter up with such a wealthy son-in-law would be a great thing, wouldn't it? Oh, Wu, you're too modest. Hao Hongqin smiled broadly. By the way, Wu, I heard from Wenqing that you have ten luxury cars. It made the news? That's impressive, isn't it? Hao Hongqin was only interested in this topic. She asked right away. Hee hee, that's just a small matter. I usually keep a low profile, but that day I happened to meet him, and I felt it was necessary to teach him a lesson, so I had all the cars brought out. I didn't expect it to cause a stir. Oh, there's nothing I can do. Wu Chen sighed theatrically. Yu Wenqing was so proud to hear this and quickly added, Oh, mom, don't ask about this matter. Brother Wu Chen wants to keep a low profile now. You don't know how hard it is for rich people. Yang Chen chuckled on the side. This kid really knows how to talk, all smooth and polished. By the way, Qingqing, Qing, I have prepared a gift for you today. Let me show you. With that, Wu Chen took out a small box from his pocket. Upon opening it, inside was a watch that looked very exquisite. This watch was brought back by my dad from overseas, it's famous worldwide. It's the 99th anniversary edition of Ferrari. How do you like it? Wu Chen said proudly with a smug expression. Hmm, it's so beautiful, thank you, darling, Yu Wenqing said happily. Ha, huh, this watch, why does it look familiar? Yi Shu Erong stared at the watch, then suddenly said, Of course it looks familiar, you saw it on TV, right? Today I'll broaden your horizons, Yi Wenqing said smugly. But Yi Shu Erong shook her head, rolled up her sleeve, revealing the same watch on her wrist, leaving everyone stunned. It turned out, they were exactly the same two watches? Now, Yi Wenqing's expression turned sour. How could the watch her wealthy boyfriend gave her be the same as the one worn by this country bumpkin sister? What a joke! She suddenly felt that her status had been greatly lowered. Ah, there are so many fakes. I told you, this is the 99th Global Limited Edition Commemorative Edition. There are only two in the world, the other one is worn by the Queen of Country G. 
Wu Chen immediately said triumphantly. Yeah, are you the queen? Rong Jie? I really didn't know, Yi Wenqing mocked upon hearing this. Yi Shuerong looked very embarrassed. She regretted revealing it, wasn't she just embarrassing herself? Yang Chen shook his head, secretly amused. This watch was given to Yi Xu Erong by him six months ago. It was personally given to him by the global chairman of Ferrari. Yang Chen found the design and workmanship acceptable, so he accepted it and gave it to Yi Xu Erong to wear. He didn't think much of it. He didn't expect this guy to actually dare to show off this fake watch today? And even bump into his own hands? Exactly, can this guy Yang Chen really buy a Ferrari commemorative edition? Do you think anyone can buy it? Just trying to deceive people with fake goods. Hao Hongqin followed with disdain. I got this watch because I know the executive director of Ferrari in Asia, he gave it to me. Brother-in-law, you are really something, giving Rong Rong such a beautiful watch, you're embarrassing yourself, Wu Chen sarcastically mocked Yang Chen without reservation. This made Yang Chen a little impatient. He gave you face, didn't want to expose you, and you still show off? Seeing Yi Xu Erong awkwardly hiding her wrist, Yang Chen was very displeased and grabbed her arm. There are indeed many fake Ferrari watches, but I happen to know some features of this watch that cannot be replicated by fakes, Wu Chen hesitated for a moment and then said, of course, I know more than you. Is that so? Then tell me, Yang Chen asked. Wu Chen suddenly became a little hesitant and said, well, it's about the materials, craftsmanship and so on, you wouldn't understand if I told you. How about this, based on what I know, the genuine watch uses a sapphire crystal mirror, which is one of the strongest materials in the world, it won't be damaged even if hit with a hammer. But the fake watch can't withstand it. Do you know this? Ah, of course. Wu Chen puffed up. His chest, looking confident. Yang Chen nodded, stepped aside for a moment, and then brought a hammer over. Everyone was stunned. So, shall we verify it? Yi Wenqing became anxious, what are you trying to do? Smash my watch with a hammer? It will leave scratches. Can you afford to compensate for it? She was very confident that her watch was genuine. She didn't doubt this at all. Don't worry, with a sapphire crystal mirror, using this level of hammer, nothing will happen, how about it, don't you have confidence in your watch? Yang Chen deliberately said. Of course not. Shen Ji, it's fine, let him smash it. Yi Wenqing was provoked and became anxious. While Wu Chen was sweating in his palms, thinking, he really going to smash it? But he had to maintain a calm appearance, and he tried to stop it, actually, I don't think it's necessary. But Yang Chen didn't wait for him to finish, he raised the hammer and struck heavily, that fake watch was smashed into a pile of parts on the spot. The mirror even turned into glass shards. This blow hit Wu Chen's heart hard. It hurts, as he spent 3,000 yuan to buy that fake watch. To have it smashed into pieces by this jerk? He was furious. Yi Wenqing's face immediately became very stiff. Proving in front of everyone that his stuff is fake? Such a slap in the face. This, this executive actually deceived me? How despicable, I won't forgive him. When I get back, I'll call my dad to stop cooperating with them. Wu Chen blushed and said embarrassedly. Wait a minute, what about my sister's watch? You haven't smashed it yet. Is yours real? Yi Wenqing hurriedly asked again. She no longer concealed her selfish mentality. Hao Hongqin was also unhappy, she just watched from the side, not intervening in this farce at all. She wanted Yi Xu Erong's watch to be smashed into pieces, then she would be satisfied. How about you do it then? Yang Chen smiled and handed her the hammer. Yi Wenqing didn't hesitate, she took the hammer and fiercely smashed it towards that watch. A loud sound. The watch was unharmed. Now, everyone's expressions became stunned. Yi Wenqing was anxious, she unwillingly kept hitting the watch surface with the hammer. Unfortunately, even her hand was almost numb, but the watch remained unscathed. You, this fake watch is quite convincing. Ha, huh, Yi Wenqing said indignantly. She refused to believe that Yi Xu Erong's watch was real. Forget it, 
It's just a watch, why make such a fuss, right? Let's eat first. At this moment, Hao Hongqin felt a bit embarrassed by the situation and quickly intervened. Yi Xu Erong was extremely surprised. Could it be that the watch Yang Chen gave her was a genuine Ferrari watch? That brand is considered luxury, with each watch costing tens of thousands of dollars, and this limited edition commemorative model is probably even more expensive. Yang Chen, oh Yang Chen, now you've been exposed. Still claiming you're not a wealthy man? Exactly, these worthless things, brother Wu Chen can easily buy many of them, what's the big deal, just smash it if you want. Right, brother Wu Chen? Yi Wenqing also tried to save face for herself. Wu Chen nodded and quickly changed the subject, why eat at home? Cooking is such a hassle, let me treat everyone to Tanhai restaurant. Upon hearing this, both Hao Hongqin and Yi Wenqing were delighted, as Tanhai restaurant is a high-end place. A meal there would be quite expensive. Oh, no need to spend so much, Hao Hongqin quickly said insincerely. What's spending? I always eat there at Gao Tan, I have a premium membership card. Wu Chen said in a pretentious manner. I'm not going, I'm a bit tired today, Yang Chen immediately said. Last time, he caused a scene at Tanhai restaurant while collecting debts from Zhang Nan, and many waiters were present. If he was recognized, it wouldn't be good. He didn't want to expose himself just yet. Upon hearing this, Wu Chen was secretly pleased, as he would be happier without him. Oomph, you know your place. I wasn't planning on taking you anyway, Yu Wenqing said disdainfully. Then I won't go either, I'll stay at home with Yang Chen. Yi Xu Arong wanted to say, but Yang Chen interrupted her, it's okay, wife, go with them, I'll be fine at home. Exactly, Xu Arong, let's go together, it's more fun with more people. Wu Chen quickly added. Now, compared to Yi Wenqing, he was more interested in Yi Xu Arong. Being with this sister, Yi Wenqing paled in comparison. The family left together, and when they saw Wu Chen's convertible Porsche parked outside, it was dazzling. Seeing this car, Hao Hongqin praised it again, saying it was beautiful and prestigious, while Yi Wenqing sarcastically remarked, people really can't be compared. Some drive sports cars, while others can only ride electric bikes to work every day. It's really embarrassing. Yi Xu Erong was unhappy hearing this, knowing who she was mocking. Sometimes, she wished Yang Chen was a super wealthy man, so no one in the family would dare to look down on him again. Driving, the group headed to Tanhai Restaurant. Even at night, the place was bustling, and Wu Chen had reserved a high-end private room and ordered expensive dishes for this occasion. He had put a lot of effort into this show-off dinner. Without Yang Chen present, Wu Chen also relaxed a bit, still feeling uneasy about smashing the watch earlier. Throughout the meal, he kept showing off, talking nonsense and impressing everyone. Hao Hongqin was very satisfied with his future son-in-law. Only Yi Xu Erong felt that something was off about him, but she didn't say anything. Just as the meal was about to end and they were preparing to leave, a small incident occurred. When Yi Wenqing went to the restroom, she saw a man and a woman arguing at the restroom door. The man seemed aggressive, slapping the woman directly, and the woman didn't dare to resist, appearing afraid of him. Yi Wenqing took a closer look and suddenly realized that the man looked familiar. Wasn't he Zhao Shang, the young master of the Zhao family? Yi Wenqing was well-versed in the lives of these second-generation wealthy individuals, as she always aspired to mingle in high society and paid close attention to them. Normally, she had no sense of justice, and when faced with such situations, she would turn a blind eye, but this time, she walked directly over. Stop. Zhao, have you not learned your lesson? Yi Wenqing shouted loudly. Zhao Chang was stunned by the scolding, turned to look at her, Oh, do you know me? Little beauty? I'm asking you, who gave you the audacity to be so domineering? Why do you have the right to hit her? Scum. Yi Wenqing cursed directly. Her tone was very sharp. Zhao Cheng looked her up and down carelessly, sneered, not many people dare to talk to me like this at Gautan, who are you? You don't need to know who I am, you just need to know that I can make people manage you. Yi Wenqing said confidently. At this time, Wu Chen also went to the restroom. As soon as he arrived, he saw the scene and was a bit confused. 
Seeing him appear, Yi Wenqing immediately gained more confidence. She quickly went over to hold his arm and said, Darling, you came at the right time. Look who this is. Uh, I don't know him, I'm not familiar with the people at Gautan, I mingle in the circle of Haizhou. Wu Chen shook his head, while still trying to act cool. He's the one you taught a lesson to at the square last time. Don't you remember? Yi Wenqing quickly reminded him. Oh, really? Wu Chen suddenly took a sharp breath, feeling uneasy. How could this be so coincidental? Walking right into trouble. Who the hell are you guys? Zhao Chang became impatient. Yi Wenqing coldly snorted, staring at Zhao Chang. It seems like you really have a bad memory, let me remind you. Don't you remember what happened at the square last time? This made Zhao Chang a bit stunned. The incident at the square last time left a big shadow on him. Although he still acted arrogantly now, it was because he thought he wouldn't encounter that person again. But today, he unexpectedly ran into him again, and even got scolded by his woman? Although he didn't know if it was true or not, Yi Wenqing's momentum truly intimidated him. How dare someone impersonate and act so arrogantly? Before Wu Chen could intervene, Yu Wenqing directly walked over and slapped Zhao Chang. Still not apologizing? Yu Wenqing stunned Zhao Chang, and he dared not resist anymore. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Zhao Chang said fearfully. Yu Wenqing snorted, feeling triumphant, that's about right, next time I catch you, it won't be so simple, now get lost. Zhao Chang was scared and didn't dare to linger, he immediately slipped away. The girl who was hit by him quickly thanked them, Yu Wenqing was very proud, even saying something about mentioning her husband's name if there were any issues in the future. The girl then left. Wu Chen's heart was pounding now, this time he had played a big game. Fortunately, that young master believed them, if he didn't, it would have been difficult to handle the situation. At this time, Zhao Chang returned dejectedly to his friends, alone, with a palm print on his face. Bro, what's going on? Where's that girl? Everyone was shocked to see the scene. Damn, she left, don't say anything, too damn unlucky, I ran into that person from last time again. Who? It's that so-called racing emperor. The one from De Shang. Zhao Chang gritted his teeth, his face looking unpleasant. As he spoke, he glared at another person at the table, then quickly said, Yang, let's go. Come with me to confirm whether that person is the legendary figure you mentioned. This person was Cheng Dong Yang, the young master of Dishang, who sent people to help Yang Chen with his racing car. Although Cheng Dong Yang usually received Yang Chen's favor, he was still part of the Gautnan circle, and sometimes he had to come out to socialize with them, although Zhao Sheng was very dissatisfied with Cheng Dong Yang, after knowing the deeds of that mysterious figure, he also knew how amazing that person was and didn't dare to blame him anymore. No, the big shot doesn't want to be high profile. If I tell others who he is, I'll be done for. Cheng Dong Yang quickly said. No, I suspect that it's not him at all. That guy is definitely playing me. Come with me to observe in secret. No need to show yourself. Besides, last time, you made me suffer enough. You're not going to help me with this? Zhao Sheng said unwillingly using this matter to pressure him. Cheng Dong Yang was really afraid of Yang Chen, but he felt a bit helpless under Zhao Sheng's pressure, so he had to agree, let's just watch from the corner, not too conspicuous. After that, Zhao Sheng led Cheng Dong Yang to the hall and found the private room that Yi Wenqing had just left. At the door, Cheng Dong Yang peeked inside a few times. He didn't see Yang Chen's figure. It seems like the big shot is not here. Are you sure this is the room? Cheng Dong Yang was puzzled. I'm sure. That little bitch was just here. They played me, damn it. Zhao Shang was furious. Go get someone for me. I'll keep an eye on them here. These people are finished, I'm going to destroy them. Let me tell you, just now Wu Chen brother taught a rich second generation a lesson. Impressive, right? Back in the private room, Yi Wenqing was boasting too. Everyone. He he, it's nothing. That guy doesn't know his place, he didn't learn his lesson from last time, so I got him again. In front of Ye's family, Wu Chen dared to show off again. 
Anyway, the person from earlier wasn't present. Little Wu is really amazing. With you by Wenqing's side, I can rest assured, Hao Hongqin said with satisfaction, unable to hide her smile. In fact, they had no idea that this Wu Chen was not a rich young master at all, let alone the young master of Shen Yuan Mining. His true identity was a hoodlum who specialized in deceiving and scamming people, especially pretty and brainless girls like Yi Wenqing. He had no skills, relying solely on his silver tongue. His sports car and everything else were all rented to deceive people. Once he got tired of playing, he would disappear without a trace. As the group packed up their things to leave the private room, several unfriendly-looking thugs rushed in from outside, blocking them inside. This scene immediately frightened them. Who are you? What do you want? Hao Hongqin quickly backed away in fear. Yi Wenqing, on the other hand, was very angry. She walked out directly and said loudly, Are you looking for trouble? Look clearly, my boyfriend Wu Chen is here. If you mess with him, none of you will have a good time. Is that so? I'm looking for him. Zhao Shang said, walking out from behind the crowd with a dark expression. Everyone was stunned when they saw Zhao Shang. What's going on here? Wenqing? Who are these people? Hao Hongqin was a bit scared and quickly asked. Who am I? These two know very well. Didn't you just meet me? Zhao Shang's tone was cold. Looking for trouble, huh? Didn't my boyfriend teach you a lesson last time? Wu Chen brother, make a call and have someone deal with them. Yi Wenqing said sternly. Wu Chen, on the side, was already sweating coldly. This was bad, they had really stirred up trouble. Why was everything going wrong? This woman was asking for trouble by provoking under his banner. Wasn't this setting him up? Little Wu, say something. Aren't you the young master of Sheng Yuan Mining? Call your dad. Hao Hongqin urged in fear. What? Still Sheng Yuan Mining? The boss over there is surnamed Zhou. I know them. Just pretended to be the car king earlier, now pretending to be the young master of Sheng Yuan Mining? You've got some nerve. Zhao Shang was even more furious upon hearing this. Damn it, these idiots dared to deceive him? What? How is that possible? Yi Wenqing was instantly dumbfounded. The whole family stood there in shock. After a long moment of days, Yi Wenqing finally realized something and felt a bit overwhelmed. Okay, so you've been lying to me all along. You scum! Yu Wenqing went crazy, grabbed Wu Chen's collar from the past, and shook him desperately. Before she could finish shouting, Zhao Shang became impatient and walked up to her and slapped her. He hit her so hard that she was dizzy. Stop acting, how dare you play with us, even with me? You have some nerve. Tell me, how do you want to resolve this today? The whole family was intimidated, no one dared to say a word. But at this moment, Yi Shu Erong stood up and reprimanded, Hey, that's enough, don't go too far. When Xiao Shang saw her, his eyes lit up a bit. Too far? Ha, ah, I have more extreme things in mind. Today, if you want to get out, you have to choose one of you two to accompany me for a night. Otherwise, I will destroy your family. Xiao Shang shouted angrily. This statement sent chills down everyone's spine. And master, this matter has nothing to do with me. It was all because this woman forced me, please let me go first. Seeing the situation was not good, Wu Chen quickly knelt down and begged for mercy. Zhao Shang raised his hand and slapped him to the ground, and several of his men immediately surrounded him and started punching and kicking him. Damn, you dare to pretend to be a racing car emperor in front of me, and say it has nothing to do with you? Let me tell you, the young master of Dakian City is right here today. You are looking for death. Zhao Sheng said coldly. Chung Dong Yang was silently watching on the side at this time, not saying a word. Although he didn't like this kind of behavior, he had zero tolerance for this trash pretending to be Mr. Yang. He thought they deserved it. After beating Wu Chen to a pulp, the group finally left the private room. Zhao Sheng laid down the ultimatum, giving them only three minutes to decide. If they didn't choose one person within three minutes, then both would be taken away for a threesome. 
This left the Yi family in despair. What should we do? Hao Hongqin grabbed her hair in frustration. Our family has caused such a big trouble, all because of this guy. Yi Wenqing angrily walked up to Wu Chen and kicked him again. Wu Chen didn't dare to resist at all, he lay on the ground and took the beating and insults, screaming in pain. Hao Hongqin sighed, why don't we quickly call Ming Shan? Mom, that's the Zhao family. They are the two pillars of Gauten now, what's the use of calling my dad? Yi Wenqing said in despair. Then what should we do? Hao Hongqin was also hopeless. What to do, let my sister go. Yi Wenqing said directly. Wenqing, what are you saying? Yi Shuerong couldn't believe what she was hearing from her sister. What do you think? I'm not even married yet, how can I get married after this? You're already married, what are you afraid of? Yi Wenqing said unreasonably. Your sister is right, Yi Shuerong, you go. Hao Hongqin also said on the side. Yi Shuerong was on the verge of collapse, she couldn't believe that her family was like this. She felt extremely incredulous and heartbroken. Faced with this situation, she only had one hope left. She took out her phone and immediately dialed a number. Who are you calling? Who can help at this time? You only have three minutes, stop dawdling. Hao Hongqin impatiently asked. I'm calling Yang Chen. Yi Shuerong said angrily. What? Are you out of your mind? Do you think it's useful to call that useless guy at this time? They couldn't believe what Yi Shuerong was saying. But Yi Shuerong didn't. Bother to listen to them, the call went through. Yang Chen had just finished his noodles and was about to eat when he heard his wife's call, he put down his chopsticks and answered in a hurry. Yang Chen, we're in trouble, Yi Shuerong's voice trembled slightly. What's wrong, don't panic, tell me slowly. Yang Chen was a bit anxious, but he remained calm. Yi Shuerong roughly explained the situation to him. After listening, Yang Chen took a deep breath. His principle had always been that he could be casual with himself, but he couldn't touch Yi Shuerong. Once he touched her, he would be crossing his bottom line. This time, Yang Chen was truly angry. He didn't ride an electric bike, that thing was too slow. He went straight to the underground parking lot, got into his Bugatti, and headed straight to Tanhai Hotel. After moving into the Yi family, he had the She Wolf prepare a sports car nearby for emergencies. Today, it came in handy. This Bugatti was wild, its speed was terrifying, like a leopard. It took less than five minutes to get from the Yi family to the Tanhai Hotel, a distance so far away. Along the way, it attracted many admiring glances. Damn, a Bugatti! So cool. In Gautan, such cars were not commonly seen on the road. It's been three minutes, have you chosen the person? In the hotel, Zhao Shang led his men back into their private room. At this moment, he had a sinister smile on his face as he appraised the two girls in the room. That smile made both girls shiver involuntarily. All right. She, she will accompany you. She agreed. Yi Wenqing pointed at Yi Shuerong, hurriedly saying to Zhao Shang. Wenqing. Shut up. Yi Shuerong said angrily. Yi Shuerong, we already agreed on this, what are you doing? Hao Hongqin quickly scolded, afraid that Yi Shuerong would resist. Yi Shuerong looked at her mother and sister with a sense of grievance, feeling a chill in her heart. These were her closest relatives. How could they treat her like this? All right, since they said it's you, then come with me. Stop talking. Zhao Shang unabashedly eyed Yi Shuerong, his gaze revealing his evil intentions. It was as if he wanted to devour her alive. When he first entered, he had set his sights on this woman, she was too damn beautiful. Compared to the pretty girls he had flirted with before, she was like a village girl. That's why he arranged all this, just to have her. Can we leave now? Yi Wenqing nervously stood up and asked. Get lost. Next to Yi Shuerong, Yi Wenqing failed to attract any interest from Zhao Shang. His mind was solely focused on this woman. Hao Hongqin and Yi Wenqing felt like they had been granted a reprieve and quickly ran out. As they passed by Zhao Shang, 
he slapped both mother and daughter, making them sea stars. Remember the name Zhao Yi. Next time you see me, steer clear. Got it? The mother and daughter were in a sorry state, their dignity completely shattered. They felt lucky to be able to leave. Covering their faces, they slipped away. Young Master Zhao, how about we forget about this matter, don't go too far. Cheng Dong Yang was still standing nearby, feeling somewhat uncomfortable watching this scene. Zhao Shang's actions were a bit too much. Damn, if you're here, you're just one person, if you're not, get lost, don't disturb Zhao Ye's mood. Zhao Shang, aren't you being disrespectful? At least I am the young master of Dakian City. Cheng Dong Yang was displeased. So what? In front of our Zhao family, what face do you have? I haven't settled accounts with you from last time, get lost. After Zhao Shang finished speaking, his men came over and blocked Cheng Dong Yang, seemingly ready to take action against him. The Zhao family was one of the three emperors of Gautan, with top status in terms of wealth and connections. Cheng Dong Yang's family background was still a considerable distance from Zhao Shang's. Seeing Zhao Shang's determination, Cheng Dong Yang was also afraid and could only retreat. The men rudely pushed him out and closed the door. Beauty, tell me, do you want to stay here or go to the hotel? Zhao Shang approached Yi Shu Erong with a wicked smile. Don't come near me. I have a husband, he won't let you off. Yi Shu Erong paled in fear, but in front of so many men, she, a weak woman, had no way out. Using a man to intimidate me again? Ha, ah, did that guy see it? That's his fate. How capable do you think your man is? Zhao Sheng pointed at Wu Chen in the corner, arrogantly saying. Perhaps emboldened by alcohol, Zhao Sheng was daring at this moment. Even if the car emperor stood in front of him, he wouldn't back down. He had long wanted to vent his anger. With that, he walked over, grabbed Yi Xu Erong's hair, and roughly pushed her onto a chair. Let me go. Let me go. Yi Xu Erong struggled desperately, but this only further angered Zhao Sheng. Damn it, I'm giving you face. The women at Gautan are lining up to sleep with me, I'm giving you face, don't you appreciate it? I'll deal with you right now. With that, Zhao Sheng pressed down on Yi Xu Erong's arm and viciously tried to unbutton her shirt. Cheng Dong Yang was standing outside, feeling somewhat helpless, wondering whether to go back. Suddenly, a sports car roared towards the entrance of the restaurant, the gust of wind almost knocking him over. As the car came to a stop, the man who got out of it made Cheng Dong Yang's jaw drop. Mr. Yang had arrived. It was such a coincidence to meet him here. His entrance was so domineering. Truly worthy of being the big shot in his heart. Minji, what a coincidence. Cheng Dong Yang quickly approached, greeting him eagerly. But he noticed that Mr. Yang's expression didn't look too good. Who are you? I'm Xiaoyang from Dakian City. Oh, so you're here too? Where is the young master Zhao? Cheng Dong Yang was dumbfounded, was Mr. Yang here for Zhao Sheng? He, he's inside, but Minji, he has locked a woman inside and is doing something not very good. Before Cheng Dong Yang could finish his sentence, Mr. Yang clenched his fist, and he quickly rushed inside. Seeing Mr. Yang, the few guards at the door immediately stopped him. Stop. Young Master Zhao is busy. Inside. Be sensible and leave. Before they could finish speaking, a thunderous punch came at them. Several people were directly knocked away by this terrifying force. They crashed into the wall, almost rupturing their internal organs, all spitting blood. Cheng Dong Yang behind them was completely stunned. Not only did this big shot have endless wealth, but also such terrifying martial arts? This was too unbelievable. With a loud kick, Yang Chen smashed the door of the private room and strode in. At a glance, he saw Yi Xu Erong being pinned down by a rich young master, struggling desperately, about to be violated. Yang Chen's eyes widened in anger, his killing intent erupting. Anyone standing next to him would tremble in fear. Damn! Who the hell are you? Want to die? Zhao Sheng turned to glare at Yang Chen. He was intimidated by Yang Chen's aura. He, he is the great god. 
He is the real racing car emperor from last time. Shut up. Chang Dongyang had followed along and quickly interjected. He was on the verge of tears, what was happening? Why did he provoke this lord again? This disaster truly came out of nowhere. Cheng Dongyang was sweating profusely in front of Yang Chen, his back chilled with fear. Hearing that the racing car emperor had arrived, Zhao Sheng sobered up a bit. However, he immediately frowned and said angrily, Are you trying to ruin my good fortune again? I don't care how much money you have. In Gautan, everyone has to give face to the Zhao family. It seemed like Yang Chen completely ignored what he said and walked step by step towards him. Come out. I won't kill in front of your wife. You, your wife? Zhao Shang only realized something at this moment. There was only one woman in the room. Was this woman his wife? Wasn't he seeking death by doing this? The terror in Yang Chen's words would make any normal person shudder. In his mind, he had already determined that you were a dead man. He didn't waste time talking to you or listening to what you had to say. Who would talk to a dead man? Yang Chen walked step by step towards Zhao Sheng. Zhao Sheng was completely bewildered. Faced with such a powerful aura, his whole body couldn't help but tremble, shaking uncontrollably. Was there any resistance left? The little bit of alcohol buzz he had was completely gone. He suddenly grabbed a fork from the table and pressed it against Ji Shu Erong's fair neck, saying angrily, Come any closer, and I'll kill her. Yang Chen indeed stopped in his tracks. Yi Shu Erong's face was full of tears, her hair and clothes disheveled. She cried, Husband, save me. Yang Chen's heart twisted into a knot. His anger had reached its limit. In the blink of an eye, something suddenly flashed from Yang Chen's hand, the next moment, Zhao Shang let out a scream. There was a chopstick sticking out of his hand. The fork had already fallen to the ground, he screamed in pain, covering his hand, kneeling on the ground, blood flowing non-stop. Yi Shu Erong took this opportunity to break free and ran into Yang Chen's arms. She hugged Yang Chen, crying loudly. It's okay, dear, I'm here. Don't be afraid. Yang Chen gently stroked her hair, calming her down. After crying for a while, she finally calmed down. Take my wife out first. Yang Chen ordered. Cheng Dongyang immediately obeyed and led Yi Shu Erong out of the private room. But Yi Shu Erong was not at ease. She didn't hear their conversation clearly just now, but vaguely heard Yang Chen mention killing someone? That's not a joke. Yang Chen, please don't do anything reckless. I'm fine. She pleaded in fear. I won't do anything reckless, my dear wife. I'll talk to him. It'll be fine soon. After Yang Chen finished speaking, he asked Cheng Dongyang to take her out first. Seeing Yang Chen's violent behavior, Yi Shu Erong also felt a sense of fear and dared not say much. She left the private room, and the door closed behind her. Yang Chen pulled up a chair and sat in front of Zhao Sheng. Do you have any last words? You can't kill me. I, I am the only son of the Zhao family. Our family has been single-handed for generations. If you dare to kill me, my family will never let you go. Zhao Sheng threatened Yang Chen with a last glimmer of hope, hoping to gain a chance at survival. I've already wiped out the high family, do I need to spare your Zhao family? Yang Chen said indifferently. This statement completely shattered his hopes. Cheng Dong Yang, who was listening from behind, was completely confused. What? So Yang Chen also wiped out the Hai family? Who is this man after all? Is he a god descended to earth? You're talking nonsense. I don't believe you can wipe out the Hai family. Yang Chen didn't want to listen to him anymore, stood up, went to the window, grabbed Zhao Sheng and threw him out. Like throwing out a bag of garbage. This was the fourth floor. Even if he didn't die, he would be disabled. There was a dull thud, and there was no more sound downstairs. Cheng Dongyang was shocked and dared not breathe, not making a sound. The noble son of the Zhao family was ruthlessly killed by him without any mercy. He completely disregarded the consequences. Next, Yang Chen walked over, grabbed Wu Chen by the hair, and dragged him out from the corner. 
Do you have anything else to say? Grandpa, please listen to my explanation. I really know my mistake. I won't dare anymore. Please spare me. Wu Chen desperately knocked his head, causing blood to flow from his forehead. He had witnessed the whole process clearly and heard everything clearly. He didn't understand why he was so unlucky, why he had provoked such a terrifying big shot. This guy. Wasn't he just a useless son-in-law in the family? Didn't the Yi family look down on him? How could he have such incredible power? He now understood how terrifying it was to underestimate someone. You, trash like you, don't deserve to live. But I don't want to waste any more time on you. Kneel down and slap yourself a thousand times. Then get out of here. Yang Chen couldn't be bothered to spend more time on such a worthless person, so he stood up and left. Thank you for sparing me. Grandpa. Thank you for sparing me. Wu Chen was grateful, kneeling on the ground and thanking him from the bottom of his heart. A thousand slaps, his face would probably be swollen. But being able to keep his life was worth more than anything else. Yang Chen walked to the door, looked at Cheng Dong Yang, and said, Cheng Dong Yang, it seems that all my teachings to you have been in vain. Are you still associating with this kind of trash? Yang Chen's voice was full of coldness. Cheng Dong Yang's legs went weak, and he knelt down directly. Master Ming, please listen to my explanation. I have no choice in the Jiang Hu, sometimes I can't avoid social gatherings. I tried my best to stop what just happened, but that guy went crazy. Enough. Get up. This time I'll give you a chance. You clean up the mess here. Remember, don't let anyone know about me, can you do that? Yes, I can. I will definitely keep today's events to myself. I won't say a word, even if I die. Cheng Dong Yang quickly swore an oath. Yang Chen didn't waste any more time with him and walked out. Yi Shuaron was sitting on a chair crying. When she saw Yang Chen coming out, she hurried over and grabbed him, Brother Yang Chen, you didn't hurt him, did you? That person has a terrifying identity. He is the young master of the Zhao family. We can't afford to offend him if something happens. Wife, in this world, you only need to care about yourself. Others are not important. Remember that, Yang Chen said word by word. Yi Shuaron looked at Yang Chen's determined eyes and felt a surge of strength. That powerful force made her feel safe. I? I understand, she nodded vigorously. Yang Chen helped her tidy up her messy clothes and hair. Holding hands, they walked out of the Tanhai restaurant under the gaze of surprised guests. At the entrance, the Bugatti was still parked there. By the way, Brother Yang Chen, how did you get here so quickly? Yi Shuerong suddenly remembered and looked at Yang Chen with some surprise. I took a taxi. Let's go back, he said, pulling Yi Shuerong around the Bugatti and onto the street. He needed to arrange for the wolf girl to send someone to drive the car away. This incident almost exposed everything. Yi Shuerong was puzzled. The supercar wasn't here earlier, so why was it parked here in such a hurry? Could it really have nothing to do with Yang Chen? Also, wasn't Cheng Dong Yang the young master of Daqian City? Why did he obey Yang Chen so obediently? Who is Yang Chen after all? Because of today's events, Yang Chen was originally planning to completely fall out with the Yi family after returning home. What kind of people are they all? Not even as good as animals. But Yi Shuerong advised him, forget it, they also suffered a lot at the restaurant just now. My mom is old, and being scolded by Zhao Sheng so harshly, she probably can't take it. Forgive them this time, they must also feel very uncomfortable. Yang Chen sighed inwardly. His wife was too kind and soft-hearted. Yang Chen felt a bit sorry for her. Well, this time, for the sake of his wife's kindness and innocence, he would let them go. He had become so strong to protect his wife's goodness and purity. Yi Shuerong, I will protect your beautiful world. What kind of thing is this? After all, she is our daughter. Aren't you pushing her into the fire? In the living room, Yi Mingshan, who had just returned home, said with some distress. 
Yi Mingshan saw the disheveled Yi Wenching and Hao Hongqin and learned about what had just happened. Although he didn't like this daughter at all, she was still his own flesh and blood, and he wasn't that cruel. You say it so lightly, if we didn't let her go, do you think we could leave? Hao Hongqin said unreasonably. Yes, Dad, the young master of the Zhao family, we can't afford to offend him. Yi Wenching added. Sacrifice her to save the family, what's wrong with that? Hao Hongqin became more and more excited, as if she had done a great job. Just as she was getting carried away, the door opened. Yi Shuerong and Yang Chen pushed open the door and returned home. The three people in the living room were dumbfounded. Yi Shuerong? How did you, how did you come here? Aren't you? Yi Wenqing stammered, staring at them as if he had seen a ghost. Aren't what? Abandoned by you, given to someone else to sleep with? Yang Chen retorted sharply. This statement made the family extremely embarrassed. What are you saying? Do you think we wanted this? Hao Hongqin immediately shouted unreasonably, as if she was the most wronged person. Oh, so you just stayed at home and did nothing? Yang Chen looked at her coldly, his eyes icy. I? Hao Hongqin was suddenly speechless. Forget it, husband, I'm tired, I want to go back and rest. Yi Shuerong shook her head. Yang Chen didn't even bother to look at them, and helped Yi Shuerong back to the room. What's going on? How did she, how did she come out? After the two returned to the room, the family looked at each other. That was Zhao's young master. Clearly, he had detained her, right? Just now, it was already a situation where prayers were unanswered. Could it be that Yang Chen brought her back? How could that useless person do it? Hao Hongqin asked incredulously. Did he resort to violence? After all, he spent a few years in the army and has some fighting skills. It's possible that he forcibly brought her back. Yi Wenqing analyzed. What? Wouldn't that offend the Zhao family? Would he dare to hit someone from the Zhao family? Then how do you explain how he brought her back? It's not like the young master Zhao gave him face, right? They had never considered this possibility, completely dismissing it. If the young master Zhao gave face to this useless person, it would be an international joke. In any case, Wenqing, next time don't bring random people home. Remember that. Yi Mingshan turned to reprimand Yi Wenqing. Yi Wenqing was scolded harshly and dared not speak. He harbored resentment. Even now, Yi Mingshan still had some taboos about this matter. Although he felt a bit guilty, what he was most worried about was whether he could move into the new house. During this period, he tried to smooth things over at home, fearing that he would offend Yi Shu Erong and her husband. He was afraid that if they were displeased, they might not let him move into that villa in the end. That wouldn't do. That was his biggest dream after so many years of hard work. The next day, Yi Mingshan privately talked to Yi Shu Erong to calm her down. Rong Rong, don't blame your mom and Wenqing, they may be a bit selfish at times. But, deep down, they care about you. Yi Mingshan lied against his will, saying these words without a blush. A thick skin was essential for business people. Dad, I'm fine. I didn't blame them. Yi Shuerong shook her head. She didn't want to appear too petty or immature. She had always been obedient since childhood, bearing all the losses herself. She was used to it. Yi Mingshan felt relieved, that's good. By the way, that kid Yang Chen didn't offend the Zhao family, did he? He was still a bit worried about this. Dad, he has been bullying me so much, are you still worried about that? Hearing this, Yi Shuerong's tone turned cold. I didn't mean that. After all, the Zhao family has a significant influence in Gautan. It wouldn't be good if things turned unpleasant. Yi Mingshan realized he misspoke and quickly added. Yi Shuerong felt a chill in her heart, realizing that her father was also that kind of person. I don't know what Yang Chen did, I only know that he saved me. But as for offending the Zhao family, I'm not sure. Dad, I still have work to do. Yi Shuerong didn't want to hear her father continue. 
Although she was also worried about Yang Chen's safety, she was more disappointed in her family. Now, among the three emperors of Gautan, the Hai family was destroyed by Yang Chen a few weeks ago, and this time, the Zhao family fell into his hands. When Zhao's family had learned that his son was killed, he was furious and immediately started investigating the matter. With his means in Gautan, he quickly found some clues and knew who was present last night. The young master of the Cheng family in Dishang city was brought before Zhao Wen for questioning. In front of the Zhao family, the Cheng family had no status. The Zhao family controlled nearly 30% of the city's commercial activities, a truly powerful family. With just a word, Zhao Wen could make Cheng Dongyang tremble in fear. Zhao, please calm down. This really has nothing to do with me. It was that person, he was the one who killed the young master Zhao. Who? Who is that person? Zhao Wen slammed the table, angrily asking. Zhao, please don't get angry. I really don't know much about that person's background, I just know that he is really wealthy. Maybe richer than anyone in our entire city. Bullshit, everyone knows that the head of the Hai family is the richest in Haizhou. Now that the Hai family has been destroyed, I am the richest. Zhao Wen became even more furious upon hearing this. Zhao Yi, I really didn't lie to you about this. Nearly half of the luxury cars in our underground parking lot belong to that man. And it is said, it is said. Cheng Dongyang trembled his lips, not daring to continue. What is it said? Zhao Wen demanded. It is said that the Hai family was actually destroyed by that man. This statement struck Zhao Wen like a bolt from the blue. What? Although afraid of Yang Chen, Cheng Dongyang couldn't resist the pressure from the head of the Zhao family and confessed everything. His words left Zhao Wen feeling stunned. The downfall of the Hai family had always been his greatest fear. He always worried that one day he would meet the same fate. But this guy actually told him that the mysterious person who killed his son was the one who destroyed the Hai family? Isn't this stepping on his head? Could it be that he is being targeted? Is what you said true? Zhao Wen's lips trembled, almost unable to speak. Zhao Yi, how could I dare to lie to you? I have seen a bit of the world in Gautnan, but that person's background is truly terrifying. It's better for you not to provoke him. Cheng Dongyang sincerely advised. He was afraid that if Yang Chen was provoked, he would do something terrible. If he turned his anger towards him, it would be over. But Zhao Wen was not one to take things lying down. He had never suffered such a big loss. After sending Cheng Dongyang away, he pondered for a long time and made a decision. He went directly to see another person, Zhang Dao, the head of the Zhang family among the three great emperors. Since the incident with the Hai family, the two had gradually joined forces, seeking strength and unity and discussing countermeasures. Now, among the three great families, only the Zhang family was still safe for the time being. Zhang Dao was now also on edge, with so many things happening, it seemed like disaster could strike him at any moment. Upon learning of the information Zhao Wen had uncovered, Zheng Da was even more terrified. Is this true? This is too terrifying. How did someone of this caliber come to Gautan? Zhao Wen sighed, Gautan has been restless for the past two years, with big shots falling one after another. I think most of it has to do with this person. It's best not to spread this matter. Do you have any way to deal with him? After pondering for a moment, Zheng Da's voice sounded slightly ominous, how about this, I'll bring in some top-notch experts from the martial world to find this person and cut him into pieces. There's no need for us to be so afraid. This plan deeply resonated with Zhao Wan. But he was still a bit uneasy and asked, but this person is extremely powerful, are you sure you can deal with him? Zhao brother, rest assured, we may not be able to confront him head-on, but we can take him out in secret, right? I know those experts from the martial world, they are all top-notch. With their skills, it will be a piece of cake. Zhao Wen nodded in agreement, alright, it's all up to Brother Zhang's skills. If successful, we will have eliminated a threat to Gao Tan. Zheng Dao immediately made a call, and soon, a large number of top experts began to move towards. Gao Tan. After work, Yi Linlin Lin drove her BMW X4 out of the company parking lot in a grand manner. 
This 500,000 car was considered one of the best in the company, and everyone envied it. Even Yimingshan's car was not as luxurious as hers. As she passed by the gate, she happened to see Yang Chen, who was leaving work, riding an electric bike with Yi Shuerong. Yi Shuerong was clinging tightly to Yang Chen's back, exuding a face full of happiness. This scene made Ji Lin Lin very unhappy. She was clearly sitting on a broken electric bike, why did she have such a radiant smile? How come she wasn't as happy driving her BMW? Considering the recent series of events, Yi Lin Lin felt even more frustrated and angry. She rolled down the car window and deliberately slowed down as she passed by Yi Shuerong and the others. Linin, what a coincidence. Ye Shuerong greeted her warmly as soon as she saw her. But Ye Lin Lin looked at her arrogantly, with a disdainful expression, saying, I wonder which factory worker came out, turns out it's you. Ha, huh, quite impressive. Be careful next time you enter the company, it wouldn't be good to be mistaken for trash and kicked out. After mocking Yexuron, Yellen Lin rolled up the car window satisfactorily and drove off. You! Watching Yellen Lin's departing figure, Yexuron was very angry. It's just a mode of transportation, convenience is the main thing, but in her eyes, there are still distinctions? She thought Yellen Lin had changed after the last incident, but she was still the same. Rong Rong, it's a bit far to commute from home to the company on an electric bike. How about I buy you a car? Yang Chen didn't pay attention to Yellen Lin's provocation, just earnestly suggested. Ah! Ye Xuerong was stunned. Her husband must be thinking of spending money recklessly again. But a car is indeed a necessity now, the distance is not very convenient for commuting on an electric bike. It's also a bit embarrassing to always borrow the family car. We can buy one, but don't buy one too expensive, Ye Xuerong pouted. Don't worry, wife. I won't buy something too expensive. He didn't want to buy a car that was too expensive, it would be too flashy. It wouldn't be safe for his wife to drive alone somewhere. Just buy something decent. Of course, his concept of not expensive might be different from that of ordinary people. The next day, he took Yexuron to the car dealership. This area concentrated almost all the 4S stores of various brands, and almost everyone who bought a car in Gauten came here. Wife, choose whichever one you like, and we'll get that one. Upon entering a dealership, Yang Chen said generously. Okay, but husband, where did you get the money from? Ye Xuerong seized the opportunity and asked him immediately. Yang Chen realized that this might expose his identity a bit, so he quickly said, Well, wife, after returning from the army before, I saved some private money. I haven't mentioned this money before. Don't be angry, wife. Ye Xuerong felt that Yang Chen was not telling the truth. She knew Yang Chen's identity must be extraordinary, so she occasionally deliberately tested him like this, teasing him. As soon as they entered the dealership, a salesperson greeted them. The salesperson, out of professional courtesy, saw their attire and appearance and didn't think they were people who drove good cars, so he wasn't very enthusiastic. He directly led them to the row of the cheapest cars. Ye Xuerong looked around and stopped in front of the cheapest Volkswagen Polo, with a discounted price of around 70 to 80,000. She thought it was acceptable. Yang Chen frowned. Although his wife's car couldn't be too expensive, this was too cheap. Wife, as a manager now, driving this car might be a bit beneath you. How about I help you choose? Yang Chen hurriedly said. With that, he scanned around and his gaze landed on a car on the display stand with elegant lines and quite eye-catching. Hey, that one looks good, quite suitable for you. How about we get that one? Yang Chen said directly. In fact, before coming today, Yang Chen had already ordered a car for Yexuerong. It was the one he was now interested in. A few days ago, when they were out on the street, they saw this car, and Yexuerong casually said it was beautiful, which Yang Chen remembered. Before coming today, he had already arranged for this car to be reserved at the dealership. If Ye Xuerong didn't see anything she liked more today, they would just go for this one. What? Do you know what kind of car that is? It's not in the same league as the one you're looking at. What are you thinking? The salesperson was shocked when he heard this and then disdainfully looked them over. 
Yang Chen also glanced at him and asked, What's the problem? Nothing, it's just, sir, do you know how much this car costs? The salesperson's tone was very contemptuous. I'm not sure. Yang Chen replied truthfully. He only knew that Ye Xuan liked it, nothing else mattered. Then let me introduce it to you. This car is a classic model from Porsche, the Panamera. This is the most expensive car in our store. Priced at 1,600,000 yuan. This car, there's only one in the store. This guy actually said he wants this one? The salesperson thought he must be a clueless bumpkin, and hearing the price, he must be scared to death. Who knew, Yang Chen's face showed no expression, but rather seemed quite satisfied. Pretending, ha! Huh? He must be scared to death inside. The salesperson thought to himself. Yi Xu Erong couldn't help it, pulling Yang Chen's sleeve, Brother Yang Chen, I don't want this. It's too expensive, let's look at something else. Wife, I'm asking you, do you like this car? Yang Chen looked into Yi Xu Erong's eyes, asking seriously. I like it, but... Liking it is enough, no buts. Yang Chen said. Yi Xu Erong sighed inwardly, Yang Chen is really going to spend money recklessly on her. Can't stop him. In fact, Yang Chen was puzzled, a car over a million, does Yi Xu Erong also think it's expensive? Isn't it quite cheap? Among the cars in his garage, which one is not worth tens of? Millions or more. The most expensive sports car is nearly half a billion. In comparison, this car is simply too cheap to mention. Go try it out, see if it's comfortable. Yang Chen said again. What? Try it out? Are you kidding me, can anyone just try it out? The salesperson quickly intervened, full of disdain. What, can't this car be test-driven? Yang Chen was puzzled. Of course it can be tested, let me tell you, rich people can test-drive however they want, what about you? Acting all high and mighty from the start, can you really afford it? Poor bastard. The salesperson seemed to have run out of patience long ago, blurting out all this. Just a couple of bumpkins, coming here to look and try, really annoying. Might as well just curse them out and send them away. What if I can? Yang Chen said again. He seemed neither rushed nor annoyed. Ha, huh, if you buy it, I'll kneel down and call you dad. Come on, show me the money, do you have the guts? The salesperson didn't bother hiding his rudeness and contempt, saying it outright. Oh, remember your words. Go call your manager. I've already placed an order for this car. Yang Chen said calmly. Damn, what did you say? Are you really trying to deceive me? Let me tell you the truth, this car was actually reserved by a big shot long ago. How dare you pretend to be him? I advise you to get lost quickly. Don't let the security come and handle you. The salesperson deliberately spoke loudly. He was trying to embarrass them. By now, many people who came to buy cars were attracted by the commotion and gathered around. Yi Xu Erong felt extremely embarrassed. Brother Yang Chen, don't stoop to his level, let's go, let's not buy it. It's okay, if we don't like it after buying, we can drive it for a couple of days and then get rid of it. Yang Chen said indifferently to Yi Xu Erong. What's going on? Xiao Lu? Why is there such a commotion here? At this moment, a middle-aged man who looked like a leader walked over. He also noticed the situation happening here. Manager, it's nothing, just two bumpkins causing trouble here. Xiao Lu, the salesperson, quickly lowered his head and said. We're just here to buy a car, what do you mean causing trouble? How dare you speak like that? Yi Xu Erong was angry and retorted immediately. Manager, they said they want the Panamera. What? The manager was taken aback. Sir, are you sure? This car has already been reserved by a customer. Don't waste our time, go check. My name is Yang Chen. Yang Chen said directly. The manager also looked puzzled but he immediately went to the counter to verify. Everyone was staring at Yang Chen, seemingly wondering why this guy was looking for trouble, with his appearance, he didn't look like someone who could afford a Porsche. 
Does he need to be embarrassed before feeling good? Xiao Lu also looked at them with a sneer on his face. Even if he didn't chase them away, the manager would have to have the security guards kick them out if he found out the information was fake. But soon, the manager came back running all the way, and he seemed to have transformed, respectfully handing the car keys to Yang Chen with both hands. I'm sorry, Mr. Yang. This car is yours. I'm very sorry for what just happened. It was my oversight in management. What? The big shot who ordered the car, is him? The whole place was shocked. Could this guy really afford to buy a Porsche? Unbelievable. The salesperson surnamed Lu's smug expression froze on his face. Is this, is this real? Is he really a wealthy man? What did you just say? Kneel down and call me dad? Yang Chen coldly scrutinized the salesperson. I? Xiao Lu stuttered, unable to say a word. Forget about calling me dad, you're not qualified, you trash. Kneel down and apologize to my wife. The salesperson was now filled with fear towards Yang Chen. He finally understood that this man was definitely a hidden big shot. The look in Yang Chen's eyes at that moment sent chills down his spine. Still not apologizing to the customer on your knees? Seeing his hesitation, the manager immediately shouted from the side. In front of everyone, he had no choice but to kneel down obediently. The arrogance and pride from before were gone. He looked like a grandson now. Then, in front of everyone, Yi Shuerong took the car keys handed over by the manager with both hands and sat in the car. She felt like she was dreaming. This all seemed too unreal. Go ahead, wife, it's yours. Yang Chen sat in the passenger seat, smiling at her. Yi Shuerong carefully stepped on the gas pedal, drove the car off the platform, and then directly out of the showroom. As they watched the Porsche disappear in the dust, everyone seemed to still be in a state of shock, unable to recover. You've disgraced our store. How have I taught you usually? How dare you offend such a valued customer? Your salary for this month is deducted, get out now. The manager directly scolded Xiao Lu again. Xiao Lu was completely devastated. He never expected that a moment of looking down on someone would lead him to such a miserable situation. Not only did he lose face, but he also lost his job. Early the next morning, Yi Linlin arrived at the company parking lot in her car and immediately noticed that her usual parking spot was taken. She was furious. Who dared to take her place? Everyone knew that she always parked there. However, when she saw the car clearly, her anger turned into shock. It was actually the latest model of a Porsche Panamera? Whose car was this? Who in the company could afford this? Compared to her own car, this car instantly made hers pale in comparison. As she was silently amazed, suddenly, the door of the Porsche opened. The person who got out of the car, to her surprise, was Yi Shuerong, with Yang Chen. Oh, what a coincidence, you're here to park too. Sorry, we've taken this parking spot first. Yang Chen looked at Yi Lin Lin coldly and said so. Yi Lin Lin's eyes widened in disbelief. This, this is your car, she asked through gritted teeth. What, surprised? This cheap car is just a temporary replacement for Rong Rong. We'll change it. Later. Yang Chen said casually. Yi Lin Lin's eyes turned green with envy. After so many years, she had only managed to get a BMW X4 and thought it was impressive. But Yi Shuerong's first car was a Porsche worth over a million? Where did they get the money from? Could it be that the North City project had such a big profit margin? Don't think embezzling a bit of money from the company makes you great. Sooner or later, I will kick both you and Yi Shuerong out. Yi Lin Lin glared at him, swearing an oath. Oh, then you better work hard. Yang Chen smiled slightly and walked towards the company with Yi Shuerong. Yi Shuerong was very disappointed in her sister's behavior, but so she didn't say a word and left with Yang Chen. Yi Lin Lin stood behind, itching with anger. At noon that day, the she wolf came to report the situation to Yang Chen in various news. She met with Yang Chen every once in a while, usually sitting together at a street stall, accompanying the Lord of War to drink a bowl of wonton or eat some snacks. 
For the she-wolf, although she knew that Yang Chen was a man beyond her reach, such moments were extremely happy for her. She cherished them very much. My lord, the construction of the main building of the Mu Rong group has been completed, and it is expected to be officially completed by the end of this month. The company's various businesses are also actively expanding, and everything is going smoothly. Very good. Yang Chen nodded in satisfaction. Yi Xu Erong's birthday was approaching, and Yang Chen thought of the scene where he would personally hand over the company to her, feeling secretly happy. Who is mainly in charge of the company now? We have hired a very professional manager named He Jinin, who is a reliable person and has done well in all aspects. Currently, he is serving as the vice president of the Mu Rong Group. Okay, let him report to me in person in the future. Yan Chen did this as a reward for the vice president. For those who served him, being able to personally interact with the godlike chief god of war was a great honor. By the way, my lord, recently two families have been active in secret, the Zhao family and the Zheng family. They seem to know that you killed the young master of the Zhao family and are preparing to retaliate. The she-wolf mentioned this matter cautiously. Such trivial matters are not worth worrying about, they can't stir up any trouble. Yang Chen said disdainfully, then asked, by the way, have they started training at the martial arts school? After taking over the Fonglin Martial Arts School, Yang Chen assigned the task of training new recruits to the She-Wolf. Although this was a bit of a waste of talent, the She-Wolf was one of the top experts in the Northern Territory. However, there was no one else available at the moment. Among these young newcomers, there are some good talents. They were delayed by that charlatan from the Jianghu. Unfortunately, they seem a bit unruly. I'm thinking whether to use force against them. Yang Chen shook his head. I don't want students who bow to power. Forcing them to submit with violence will not cultivate talents. Let's go and see. Yang Chen attached great importance to this matter. In a place like Gautman where there were all kinds of people, sometimes it was necessary to use a tougher approach, so cultivating new martial arts experts for his own use was very important. Whether it was for the security work of the Mu Rong group or for eliminating the social forces in the gray areas, it would be very useful. The she-wolf drove Yang Chen, and soon they arrived at the Fonglin Martial Arts School. The afternoon sun was still scorching, and in the martial arts arena, these people were all sweating. But at the same time, they were also complaining. Damn, this is impossible. They are just making it difficult for us. Forcing us to do this training, do they want to kill us? Yes. They might as well just kill us all. There's no need to torture us like this. As soon as the she-wolf entered, she heard such voices and was immediately angered. She clenched her fists and was about to approach those people, but Yang Chen stopped her. Signaling her not to act impulsively. And as soon as they saw Yang Chen, these people shrank back. They had all witnessed the previous incident with their own eyes. That shadow still lingered in their hearts. Therefore, although this man always appeared calm, composed, and even somewhat refined and scholarly, they were afraid of him. They always felt a faintly terrifying dominance emanating from him. This was something that his calm exterior could not conceal. What, are you willing to be useless? Yang Chen spoke up. I'm giving you such a good opportunity for growth, don't you plan to cherish it? It's an opportunity that people outside can't even beg for. This is not an opportunity at all, it's just torture. Yes. What you are asking for, no one in this world can do it. A group of people gathered their courage and spoke one after another. Hearing this, Yang Chen smiled bitterly and shook his head. He had already seen the projects arranged by the wolf girl, which were already at the simplest level, completely entry level. Yang Chen stopped talking and walked up to the stage. He walked to the table, raised his hand, and forcefully split it. This was the first training, breaking bricks with one hand. The training here used only the most sturdy marble bricks, but under Yang Chen's hand, they were as soft as tofu. Next, he walked to the second training, lifting the bronze cauldron with one hand, climbing up the three-meter-high wall. Then he leaped down from the highest point. His whole body was as steady as a rock. Amazing balance ability. For the third task, he picked up a stone and threw it with a swing of his arm. 
The stone embedded deeply in the moving target 10 meters away. Precise and accurate. Yang Chen completed each task one by one, as smoothly as eating and drinking. Until he completed the last task, he walked back to the crowd without a hint of redness or breathlessness. The whole scene was shocked. It was too terrifying. These things they had been unable to achieve for the past few days, but this person actually did them so easily. It was like flowing water. This left them completely speechless. Even the wolf girl watching from below was deeply moved, even feeling a bit of girlish excitement. The demeanor of the chief was truly charming. What shocked her the most was that his power not only did not diminish at all, but seemed to have become even stronger. Could it be that during these two years of seclusion, he had been practicing? Remember, you are not lacking anything compared to others. People are born equal. I have trained countless new recruits like you in the North, and they have grown into kings among soldiers. Even the most outstanding among them have become a new batch of war gods trained by me. Do you not want to become strong in your lifetime? Upon hearing Yang Chen's words, all the disciples of the martial arts hall were eager and excited. His words instantly ignited the flame in their hearts. No man would not want to become stronger. Especially these martial arts disciples. Remember, out of the more than 500 disciples among you, I will only keep a hundred at most. Perform well. In a while, I will come personally to assess your progress. Leaving only a hundred out of 500 people. A one in five chance. This further stimulated their fighting spirit. To become stronger. This was almost the only thought in the minds of all the disciples at this moment. Yang Chen had inspired countless soldiers on the battlefield, so this small scene was naturally easy for him. Before leaving, he set up a training plan for these people, 10 kilometers of weighted running every morning. 3,000 sets of push-ups and sit-ups every day. Although the disciples were secretly shocked, this time, everyone had no complaints. The wolf girl was even more admiring of Yang Chen. His intelligence and strength made the wolf girl admire him even more. After resolving the matters of the martial arts hall, Yang Chen went straight back to the company. The time of the collection specialist was relatively free, so he could often go out casually. Upon returning to the company, as soon as he entered the elevator lobby, he ran into an acquaintance, Jean Xiaoqing. Holding a stack of documents, she was about to go somewhere to deliver them. Brother Yang Chen. Xiaoqing greeted Yang Chen somewhat shyly. She seemed to have a fluttering feeling in her heart every time she saw him. Yang Chen nodded, Xiaoqing, how is your mother's illness? Well, she has had the surgery and been discharged. She is now recuperating at home. Thank you so much, brother Yang Chen. If it weren't for you, our family wouldn't know what to do. Jin Xiaoqing stared, sincerely expressing her gratitude. I will definitely repay that money, to you, she quickly added. As long as your mother recovers, that's all that matters. As for the money, you can repay me when you earn big money in the future. There's no need to mention it now. Yang Chen waved his hand. He had already planned that when the Mu Rong group was handed over to Yi Shu Erong in the future, he would let this girl go with her and continue to be her assistant, she is sincere and reliable in her actions, so Yi Shu Erong can trust her. Just then, Yang Chen suddenly noticed, under the light, that Jin Xiaoqing's cheeks seemed a bit swollen. Upon closer inspection, there were several bruises on her neck, arms, and legs. Although she tried to cover them up with long sleeves, Yang Chen still noticed. Xiaoqing, were you beaten by someone? Yang Chen's voice turned cold. I? I'm fine, I accidentally fell last time. Jin Xiaoqing hurriedly covered up, nervously said. This childish lie, of course, couldn't fool Yang Chen. He frowned and pressed on, what really happened? Xiao Qing, tell me the truth. Yang Chen Ge, it's those creditors from last time. Unable to withstand Yang Chen's questioning, Jin Xiao Qing reluctantly whispered the truth. Upon hearing this, Yang Chen's anger surged. What? Those people came back? Didn't they stop already? As soon as he said that, he realized he had underestimated them. These social thugs, how could they give up so easily? 
These people are cunning and will seek revenge sooner or later. Well, those people have a new leader now, they said he's a big shot, very scary. Yang Chen Ji, don't worry about this, I will earn money to pay them back myself, I've caused you too much trouble already. Yang Chen suddenly blamed himself, he was too careless, which led to Jin Xiaoqing's suffering. If he hadn't coincidentally seen it today, he might never have known about this. Xiaoqing, if those people come looking for you again, call me, understand? Yang Chen's tone was firm. But Jin Xiaoqing shook her head desperately, No, Yang Chen Ji, I know you're good at fighting, but, they are tough guys in society, I really can't drag you into this. I'll handle it myself this time. Seeing Jin Xiaoqing like this, Yang Chen sighed and knew he couldn't be forceful. After some thought, he advised, Don't forget, Xiaoqing, I have money. I can help you pay them back, at least you won't have to borrow money from me with interest. Isn't that right? Jin Xiaoqing hesitated for a moment, feeling that it made sense, she nodded, okay. Yang Chen Ji, thank you so much. I will definitely pay you back the money. Later, Jin Xiaoqing told Yang Chen that those creditors would come to their house every night to demand payment, it had been going on for several days. Each time, it disturbed the whole neighborhood. She couldn't bear it anymore. Okay, tonight I'll go to your house with you. I'll help you pay them back. Yang Chen said decisively. After discussing with Jin Xiaoqing, Yang Chen reported this matter to Yi Shuerong. He said he would help Jin Xiaoqing with a small favor that night. What, Xiaoqing's injuries on her face, weren't they from a fall? Yi Shuerong was surprised to learn the truth. Yang Chen shook his head helplessly, his wife was too naive. Be careful then. Don't get into trouble. I'll be waiting for you at home. Yi Shuerong instructed. She felt a little jealous, her husband was going to another girl's house. But she also knew that what her husband was doing was right, she had to be sensible. After work that night, Yang Chen went to the place where Jin Xiaoqing lived with her. It was an old neighborhood in the suburbs, even older than their house, where Jin Xiaoqing rented a house. Yang Chen Ge, we're here. This is my home. Jin Xiaoqing stopped in front of a dilapidated door, opened it with a key. A small room of less than 10 square meters, filled with cheap living supplies, the mother and daughter squeezed into this small house. It seemed that many things had been smashed, definitely done by that group of people. It had even been splashed with red paint. After asking, it was revealed that their original house had been sold due to medical expenses. They had moved here over a year ago. Yang Chen couldn't help but feel a twinge of sadness for Jin Xiaoqing. This girl had it tough. No wonder that woman Jin Yuning would despise this home and never show up. Xiao Chang, why are you causing trouble for Yang Chen again? Didn't we agree to handle this ourselves? Jin Xiaoqing's mother scolded slightly. She was a woman who cared about her reputation and felt embarrassed to keep bothering others. She felt especially indebted for Yang Chen's help. It's okay, this trouble is partly my fault, so it's only right for me to help you, Yang Chen immediately replied. In the evening, Yang Chen was invited to stay for dinner at Jin Xiaoqing's house. Close to 7 o'clock, there was a commotion of footsteps outside the door, sounding very chaotic. It seemed like there were quite a few people out there. Soon after, there was a loud banging on the door. Come out. Your ancestors are here to collect debts, a rough voice came from outside. Jin Xiaoqing and her mother immediately gasped in nervousness, feeling extremely tense. They reflexively stood up. Yang Chen gestured for them to stay put inside the house and went to open the door. Oh, today you brought some backup? Kid, are you here to stand up for them? The leader of the group sneered as soon as he saw Yang Chen. This guy was bald and looked fierce, with a face full of muscles. Each person in the group was holding a large machete, baseball bat, with about 20 to 30 people in total. They all had a thuggish look, casually sizing up Yang Chen. Brother Chang. It's him. The guy who took down Ahu in public last time, it's this man, someone suddenly recognized Yang Chen from the side and pointed at him, sounding a bit stuttered from fear. After all, the scene at that time was too terrifying. Brother Chang, the bald guy, immediately glared at Yang Chen, scrutinizing him. 
Oh, it's you? Damn it. Kid, where do you think you're running off to today, he said, tightening his grip on the machete in his hand, while the others behind him started to surround Yang Chen. Yang Chen couldn't be bothered to deal with these pests and just waved his hand, saying, let's talk outside. If you have something to say, say it to me. Yang Chen's calm advice was completely ignored by these people, who pushed him aside and rushed into the house. The group aggressively grabbed Jean Xiaoqing and her mother and started dragging them outside. Let go of my daughter, the mother and daughter screamed in fear, resisting desperately. Damn it, if you don't pay up today, I'll have your daughter first, then sell her, the men rudely pulled and cursed at them. Yang Chen swiftly kicked two of the thugs, knocking them unconscious on the ground. He walked over and stepped on one of their heads. If anyone moves again, I'll crush his head. Yang Chen's voice was cold and firm. Damn it, let him go, the men were all intimidated and dared not approach. Let me ask, who's the big boss behind you? I just want to talk to him, Yang Chen said impatiently. His main goal now was to control the gray area and underground circles in Gao Tan, so he didn't want to waste time with small fry. Damn it, you have the guts to ask. Are you looking for my big brother, the bald guy immediately retorted angrily? So who exactly is your big brother? Yang Chen felt tired of talking to him. If you really want to know, I'll tell you. Have you heard of the name Yan Wan? He's the new big boss in Gao Tan. Yang Chen almost wanted to laugh. These trash were actually causing trouble in his name outside? Is that so? As far as I know, Yan Wang's rule is to never bully the common people. Will he still protect you for doing this? Yang Chen asked darkly. This statement surprised the bald guy, as he knew it was true. But he couldn't understand how this man knew about Yin Wang's rules? Stop talking nonsense. My brother is Yin Wang's only subordinate, Dragon Lord. Have you heard of him? His words are as good as Yin Wang's, the bald guy insisted. Dragon Lord? Yang Chen felt a bit familiar with the name and soon realized. It was the big shot from the underground circle he had recently taken down, originally, this guy is his man. You guys are Dragon Lord's men, right? Now I understand, Yang Chen nodded and took out his phone to make a call. Get to Tianhe community within five minutes, I'll be waiting here. On the other end of the phone, Long San was still enjoying himself at a sauna center, surrounded by several beautiful women, having a great time. When he received the call from that lord, he immediately felt his scalp tingle. He quickly got up. Without even changing his clothes, he prepared his car and rushed madly towards that community. At this moment, a large crowd had gathered in front of Jean Xiaoqing's house, all neighbors from the vicinity, watching the commotion. It was the first time they had seen someone dare to provoke these lone sharks. Isn't this seeking death? So they all gathered to see what would happen to this person. As soon as Long San arrived, he was stunned by the scene before him. His younger brother, Xianzi, was actually with that lord? What's going on? This usually arrogant younger brother couldn't possibly be up to any good. He immediately had a bad feeling. My brother is here. Kid, you're dead. Ha ha ha. Xianzi saw Long San arrive and was immediately delighted. He was about to go over to greet him, but Long San strode over and kicked him three meters away. He fell directly into a pile of garbage. Damn it, how dare you be so arrogant in front of Lord Ming? Tell me, how did you offend Lord Ming? Long San angrily scolded Xiangzi. Everyone was shocked by this. Lord Ming? Could it be this man? It couldn't be true. Is this person making even Dragon Lord call him Lord? These people began to tremble, realizing that things were not going well. Long San, are these the people you brought with you? Such talents, lending money at high interest rates, extorting the common people. And using my name? Yang Chen's voice was extremely cold as he questioned Long San. Dragon Lord's legs were trembling, and he knelt directly on the ground, Lord Ming. This is not my responsibility, I had no idea this guy would dare to use your name to do such things. Please forgive me. The famous dragon lord, one of the top figures in the underground world. 
Actually, kneeling to this unknown man? Seeing Long San's reaction, the group of people gasped in shock. Yang Chen disdainfully glanced at those thugs and continued, I am very dissatisfied with your brother, but I don't want to take lives. Get rid of all these scum under your command, and we'll consider this matter settled. Yes, yes. I understand. I'll do it right away. Even though Changzi was Long San's own brother, he didn't dare say a word more. He now had no intention of resisting Yang Chen. After saying that, he gritted his teeth and stood up, walking towards Changzi and the others with a cold look in his eyes. Seeing his own brother's reaction, Changzi panicked. Brother, you have to help me, I'm your brother. Changzi still didn't realize the seriousness of the situation, still kneeling and begging for mercy. Dragon Lord's scalp tingled, and he went over and kicked him in the face, making him bleed. Damn it, even if you're my own brother. Not killing you is already considered lucky for you. Do you know who this lord is? He's my big brother. The king of hell himself. The king of hell? He's the king of hell? They were just about to lay hands on the king of hell? Xiangzi's heart sank halfway. The group of people involuntarily knelt on the ground, sweating profusely, trembling. Dragon Lord's men went directly towards those people. Their faces were cold. Then, screams rang out. Accompanied by the clear sound of bones breaking. This sound made the onlookers feel their scalps tingle. Those neighbors who were waiting to see Yang Chen's joke were now completely dumbfounded. Jean Xiaoqing and her daughter stood there in a daze. They witnessed the whole process with their own eyes, which was too shocking. The impact on their hearts was too strong, and they couldn't come to their senses for a long time. They won't kill anyone, will they? Xiaoqing hurriedly ran to Yang Chen's side, asking nervously. If they deserve to die, they will. Killing a few scum in society is a great achievement, Yang Chen said with a smile. Hearing this, Xia Qing's sense of compassion disappeared. She looked up at Yang Chen, feeling as if there was a glow around him. This man had helped her once again, but she had nothing to offer in return. Yang Chen, I really don't know how to thank you. Jin Xiaoqing stood in front of Yang Chen, grateful, not knowing what to say. As long as you're safe, that's all that matters. I promise, no one will dare to bother you again in the future, Yang Chen said calmly. Yang Chen, are you someone in the underworld? She asked cautiously. She had seen clearly when that person knelt down and called him big brother. Sort of, Yang Chen smiled, unable to hide it any longer. After all, he had recently announced his intention to enter the underworld and dominate Gao Tan. And you're the boss of the underground in Gao Tan, right? Jin Xiaoqing asked boldly. Yang Chen hesitated for a moment before saying, not quite yet. Yang Chen, you're so powerful, why do you let Rong Rong's sister-in-law mock you instead of telling her the truth? Jin Xiaoqing couldn't help but ask her biggest confusion. After this period of time, she had discovered that this man was not the useless son-in-law who could only work in his wife's family's company as he appeared on the surface. He was actually a rich and powerful male god. I have my reasons. I want her to live in a simple, uncomplicated world, free from those complicated things. So, continue to keep this a secret for me, okay? Only you and I should know about this in the entire company, Yang Chen's voice was calm but carried an undeniable force. I will keep it a secret, Jin Xiaoqing nodded quickly, then said, is there anything I can do for you? I'm willing to do anything to repay you. She wanted to say that she would dedicate herself to him, but she didn't dare to speak. Just help Rong Rong's sister-in-law with her work, that's the best way to repay me, Yang Chen said. Jin Xiaoqing was somewhat disappointed, but she secretly vowed to take Yang Chen's words seriously. Because he was her benefactor. After resolving the situation here, Yang Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief and could go home. Honey, how did it go? Are you okay? When he arrived home, Yi Shuerong asked worriedly. It's all taken care of. Everything went smoothly, Yang Chen said casually, not wanting Yi Shuerong to worry. That's good, Yi Shuerong nodded. Yang Chen could tell that his wife's expression seemed a bit off. What's wrong? Did something happen? He asked immediately. Yang Chen, I need to tell you something. 
Yi Shuaron's expression suddenly became conflicted. What is it? That car, my dad wants to drive it. You don't mind, do you? She asked somewhat hesitantly. It turned out that after Yi Shuaron bought a Porsche and Yi Linlin found out, she immediately went to report to Yi Mingshan. She said that Yi Shuaron was embezzling company money and was so brazen about it. She exaggerated the situation, making Yi Mingshan very surprised. This daughter, who had always been honest, had learned to make money from the company? When they returned home, not only did Ji Mingshan scold Yi Shu Erong, but he also confiscated her car, saying that such behavior would not be tolerated. He blatantly took the car away. Yang Chen was furious. The car he had bought for his wife was taken away so easily by these people? What kind of joke was this? Honey, don't worry, my dad has never driven a good car in his life. The most expensive car he has is a used BMW 5 Series. I haven't bought them anything with the money I've earned for so long, so why not give this car to him? Yi Shuerong said sincerely. Yang Chen shook his head helplessly. Yi Shuerong's filial piety was a bit too much, she has been bullied since childhood and has gotten used to enduring it. She only knows how to empathize with others, have those vampires ever cared about her? So you didn't tell them that it was me who bought it for you? Yang Chen asked again. I told them, but they don't believe you have money, Sai. Yi Shuerong's words made Yang Chen extremely angry. He really wanted to reveal his identity directly and scare these people to wet their pants. But after hesitating for a moment, he felt that he shouldn't act impulsively. There was no need to do so much for this kind of trash. Okay, then I'll give you another one. It's okay. Yang Chen said directly. Ah, no need. Yi Shuerong hurriedly tried to refuse, but Yang Chen was firm. Of course. And I'll give you a better one. Yang Chen said word by word. He was really a bit annoyed, the Yi family members wouldn't learn their lesson without suffering a bit. Later, Yang Chen made a phone call. Long San, for what happened today, I'll give you a chance to make up for it, help me find a few people to do something. The next day, Yi Mingshan took advantage of the weekend to drive with Hao Hongqin. Driving such a high-end luxury car, the two of them were in a great mood, feeling very proud. Driving the brand new Porsche Panamera, Yi Mingshan was very pleased. For so many years, he had never been willing to buy a good car for himself. But when it was forcibly taken from someone else's hands, he didn't feel sorry for it. He didn't know if this car was obtained through corruption by Yi Shu Erong, but he didn't care at all, as long as he could drive it. He didn't care how Yi Lin Lin took advantage of things over the years, but when Yi Shu Erong became wealthy, he couldn't stand it. Hao Hongqin naturally had the same feelings, and she was the one who encouraged taking Yi Shu Erong's car. Yi Mingshan was leisurely driving when suddenly a van in front made a sharp turn, catching him off guard, so he quickly hit the brakes. With a loud bang, he still collided. It was quite a commotion. Fortunately, the impact was not severe. No one was hurt. The luxury car had just been in Yi Mingshan's hands for the second day, and it was already involved in an accident. Yi Mingshan was extremely distressed. He got out of the car and saw a clear dent in the front of the car, looking extremely ugly. He was instantly a bit angry. Especially when he saw that the car he had collided with was a very junky Suzuki van, he was even more furious. How dare someone drive such a junky car and collide with his Porsche? All the blame was on the other car. Oh my god, it's been hit like this. Bastard, get out of the car. Pay us money. Hao Hongqin also got out of the car and, seeing the car in such a state, immediately started shouting. At this time, there were quite a few onlookers around, wanting to see what would happen next after such an expensive car collided with a beaten-up van. Then, the door of the van in front suddenly opened with a clatter. Five or six burly men got out one after another. Hao Hongqin, who had just been shouting, was dumbfounded. You old bastard, don't you have eyes? How dare you hit my car? The leader of the group immediately glared at Yi Mingshan and cursed angrily. Seeing this group of thugs, the husband and wife immediately shrank back, feeling very frightened. Yi Mingshan also felt a bit nervous. Oh no, 
they had encountered troublemakers this time. What? It was clearly you who hit our car just now. This time, Hao Hongqin finally had a chance to argue reasonably, but she found out that the other party was not someone who reasoned. Bullshit, you were driving too fast. Want to deny it? Do you think I'm easy to mess with? The driver directly retorted. Driving a good car, feeling all high and mighty? Damn, I hate rich people like you the most. Go smash his car for me. He shouted at the people around him. These people then took out tools from the car and headed towards the Porsche. Smash. Yes, these people were arranged by Young Chen through Long Yi. Since your Yi family members are so shameless, he didn't mind using some cunning means to deal with them, want to drive a luxury car, huh? Even if you drive it, you won't enjoy it. In just a few minutes, these thugs turned a brand new Porsche Panamera into a pile of scrap metal. Yi Mingshan's heart was bleeding to see this. He had just started driving it, not even for a day. He was grinding his teeth. After living for so many years, he had never suffered such a loss. But he knew very well that these hooligans were not to be messed with. If he didn't leave quickly, he might end up in trouble too. Normally slick and cunning in business, he was now facing real thugs with no way out. The onlookers around were excited, clapping and cheering. Beautiful, it should be like this. They've met their match, ha huh? Damn, they're so arrogant just because they're rich, they deserve it. The crowd overwhelmingly supported those who smashed the car. People's inherent resentment towards the wealthy, they didn't care about right or wrong. This left Yi Mingshan and his wife with no chance to reason, just trying to stay alive. The agitated crowd was likely to come over and attack the couple at any moment. The two dared not linger and fled in panic. Minji, it's done. Long San treated Yang Chen's words as if they were a decree, he was already nervous about that day's events, so when he had the opportunity, he quickly made an effort and brought along his strongest henchman. Well, very good. You've done well. Yang Chen praised. With just a simple sentence, Long San felt extremely grateful. After teaching a lesson to Yi Mingshan and his wife, Yang Chen went directly to the car dealership. Scanning around, in the center of the showroom, there was already a new Panamera on display. Mr. Yang. Hello, hello, you're here again. Are you here for maintenance, or? As soon as he saw Yang Chen, the manager personally went to greet him. Buying a car. Yang Chen said simply. Decisive. The manager took a sharp breath, this gentleman was truly extraordinary, buying a car every week? Cars may be consumables, but not to this extent. All right, all right, which model would you like to see? The manager wiped his sweat, his face full of smiles as he asked. The same one. Yang Chen pointed his finger, and the manager followed his gaze, almost losing his balance. Another Panamera. Did this man have a money printing machine at home? Buying a car every week was one thing, but a Panamera worth over a million every week? Are you kidding me? The manager felt like he was dreaming. This sales volume would probably push the store to the top, solely thanks to this distinguished customer. The manager didn't dare to delay, quickly went to swipe the card. Soon, Yang Chen drove the new car back to the company. Parking the car in the garage, he got out of the car. By now, he had already noticed a few figures in the corner. They had been following him for quite some time. In these past few days, assassins had been appearing in secret, trying to take him out. Unfortunately, these trash, either he took care of them himself, or the she-wolf took care of them in advance. He knew very well who sent the assassins, it was none other than Zhao Wen, along with Zheng Dao. This time, two people came, one fat and one thin, exuding a heavy aura, clearly skilled martial artists, and quite high-level ones at that. At least much higher than the previous Shan family father and son. However, Yang Chen didn't take them seriously at all, just continued with what he was doing. It wasn't until the two felt the time was right that they slowly approached from behind. Flanking him from the front and back, they cornered Yang Chen in the middle. They thought Yang Chen hadn't even noticed their presence, feeling rather disdainful towards him. Bro, is it him? 
This kind of guy, does he even deserve us to make a move? The thin one said disdainfully. He seems to have some skills, but unfortunately in front of us, he's no match. Kid, do you have any last words? The fat one, called brother, stared at Yang Chen with fierce eyes. Just get on with it, let's talk. Yang Chen smiled bitterly and said calmly. The fat one was getting annoyed. Facing death, he dared to provoke him? He clenched his fist and struck towards Yang Chen with a bang. At the same time, he lightly stepped on the ground, moving like lightning. However, this strike was easily dodged by Yang Chen, with a speed that was almost unimaginable. Your skills are not bad. Are you one of the Blood Hand soldiers? Yang Chen asked casually. Martial arts in the world, nearly half of them come from the Northern Territory, which is a true battlefield where practical combat skills can be thoroughly improved and refined. Just now, when those people made a move, he felt familiar with their style, as if they were one of his subordinates. But Yang Chen's words made those people stunned. You actually have some knowledge. You, actually know our blood hand leader? Compared to Yang Chen's skills, they were more surprised by his knowledge. I know very well. Blood hand has followed me for so long, and I have trained him myself, Yang Chen said with a slight smile. Blood Hand is one of the eight great warlords in the Northern Territory, on the same level as the previous Eagle Eye, and holds a terrifying position in the Northern Territory. However, no matter how high their status is, they are still just small disciples under Yang Chen. Not to mention the disciples of his disciples in front of him. You really don't know your place, dare to say such things? The fat man was immediately angry. This person was too arrogant, daring to slander their leader like this? As soldiers of the Northern Territory, the most intolerable thing for them is disloyalty. Loyalty is the soul of every soldier. Prepare to die. Before the fat man could make a move, the skinny man beside him was already furious, throwing a punch from above towards Yang Chen. With a powerful inertia, the sudden strike was extremely swift, even his companion couldn't react in time. But when they did react, Yang Chen had already extended a finger, firmly stopping the punch. Such a powerful punch, in front of Yang Chen's slightly extended finger, had no effect at all, even if the person used all his strength, he couldn't move an inch. Incredibly, this person, with just one finger, could restrain the other from such a terrifying attack? Watching this incredible skill, all five people were dumbfounded. Yang Chen was using softness to overcome strength, not exerting any force at all. If he really wanted to deal with him, a slight increase in force with his finger would have disabled his entire arm. You, are you? The fat man finally understood something, stuttering, but never daring to say that name out loud. Brother, who is he after all? Could he be? In the Northern Territory, anyone who reaches this level of martial arts and realm, everyone knows who he is. Chief, we deserve to die a thousand times. How dare we offend you, sir? Please grant us death. The fat man knelt directly on the ground, bowing his head and begging. Seeing this, the skinny brother beside him also knelt down quickly. When he heard the words chief, he was already covered in cold sweat and couldn't stand steady. Since you are soldiers of the Northern Territory, I don't want to harm you. But how did you end up in this situation, working as assassins for some wealthy person? Tell me the truth. Sir, you already know everything. My brother and I were really helpless. After retiring from the army, our elderly father fell seriously ill, and we were short of money at home. So we were forced to do this kind of work. We have just started in this line of work. The fat man explained everything nervously. In front of the god of war, they dared not tell a single lie. They were genuinely afraid. They could only tell the truth in full detail. It's really that trash. Yang Chen thought to himself. These flies are not done yet? It seems that unless they are swatted with a fly swatter, they will continue to harass him. What you are doing is a disgrace to the word soldier. But considering your filial piety, I won't pursue it. I will give you a chance to redeem yourselves by letting you two train my disciples. Use your skills for the right path. Yang Chen arranged for these two to go to the Maple Forest Martial Arts Hall, 
which was undoubtedly the best use for them. Although their martial arts skills are like elementary school students in front of him, they are considered figures to be looked up to by the disciples of those martial arts schools. The strength of the wolf girl is too strong, and there are many other things for her to do. It is most appropriate to have these two help cultivate subordinates on the high beach. From this perspective, the Zhao family did me a favor. The two brothers were extremely grateful and kept bowing their heads. Thank you, sir, for sparing our lives. We will definitely swear to be loyal to you in the future. At that time, Zhao Wan and Zhang Dao were now very confused. They couldn't believe that despite sending out so many experts in a row, not a single one managed to kill Yang Chen, let alone harm him in the slightest. This time, the people they sent out ended up becoming his subordinates? What kind of magic does this guy have? Old Zhang, what kind of people did you find? This is ridiculous. Zhao Wen said angrily. Damn, I don't know why these bastards are so unreliable. They are all top-notch experts I invited from the martial world. Zheng Dao also felt very frustrated, encountering such a situation for the first time. Spending nearly a million, not to mention the loss, but instead providing manpower to the other side? I recently investigated that guy too, just a useless son-in-law from a small family, without any skills. No one outside respects him. How could he have such skills? Zheng Dao said in extreme confusion. This person is definitely not that simple. Zhao Wen firmly shook his head, denying, I think he may be pretending to be weak and strong. Zheng Dao, however, did not agree, Brother Zhao, you are overthinking it. He's just a leftover from the Wei family. You are overestimating him. Oh? Do you know him? Zhao Wen curiously asked. Of course. Eight years ago, the Wei family was still a top family but my brother Jean Wei set a trap, and overnight they lost everything. This guy became a destitute and ran away to become a soldier. It wasn't until two years ago that he came back and became this son-in-law. Oh, so he was from a big family before? Zhao Wen, being younger than Zhang Dao, didn't know as much about the past. Yes, but later the Jean family also had trouble and was suddenly wiped out, the whole family died. Probably offended someone. I almost got implicated too. Recalling the events of the past, Zheng Dao still felt lingering fear. Pausing, he analyzed, in my opinion, the reason this kid can do these things is probably because he has someone powerful backing him up. It's definitely not all his own doing. Zhao Wen nodded in agreement with this statement. Zhao, I know of an even more powerful expert. This time is different from those people. He is a super assassin ranked in the top 100 in the martial world. Zheng Dao said through gritted teeth. Zhao Wen seemed to be somewhat distrustful of him, is that so? Don't send him over and have him taken down. No, this time it's absolutely top-notch. This person is cunning and vicious, with countless lives in his hands. Even some national leaders would hire him for assassinations, like the former president of country Jay who died by his hand. Zheng Da said confidently. What? So powerful. Then why not invite him immediately? Upon hearing this, Zhao Wen finally regained some confidence. However, this person is not easy to invite, and the price is also very high. Zheng Da added. Zhao Wen, being a money lover, hesitated upon hearing this. Even Zhang Da, a rich man, said it was expensive, then it must be really expensive. But he immediately slapped his thigh and gritted his teeth, as long as he can kill the enemy who killed my son, I will pay any amount of money. All right, I will go contact him. Invite this great master. This time, we will definitely take that guy down. The two immediately agreed on this matter. After work, Yi Shu Erong saw the new Porsche and was simply too surprised to breathe. Honey, you're being too extravagant. Don't worry, there are activities, because I bought a car, so I'm a VIP customer, and also because that salesperson disrespected us last time, so the boss intentionally gave me a big discount. Yang Chen quickly explained. But you can't buy a car every week. How much money do you have? Yi Shu Erong asked a bit overwhelmed. As I said, I saved some money back when I was in the army, not much, but enough to buy two cars. Yang Chen smiled, what? 
Can't I spend money on you? Yi Shuerong felt helpless, her husband was spoiling her too much. What can she do? But when Yi Linlin saw Yi Shuerong driving a Porsche again, she was shocked. How is this possible? Wasn't the car given to dad? Did she secretly take it out again? Or did dad give it to her again? She was so anxious that she ran to complain to Yi Mingshan. What? She's driving that car again? Yi Mingshan's eyes widened. Dad, don't you know? Isn't that car supposed to be yours? Seeing her father's surprise, Yi Linlin was also astonished. Uh, that car got damaged. When asked about it, Yi Mingshan quickly mumbled. He didn't dare to reveal his embarrassing situation. At the same time, he was extremely shocked. How much money did Ji Shuerong embezzle? The two cars combined cost at least three million. Dad, are you saying that the car is not the same as before? Did she buy another one? Yi Linlin was also shocked. Yi Mingshan's face turned ugly, remaining silent. Dad, you should check her accounts properly and kick her out of the house. This Yi Shuerong is just a freeloader. Yi Linlin said angrily. Is she better at making money than herself? How could she stand it? Checking the accounts, does it benefit you? Yi Mingshan asked coldly. It's not just Yi Shuerong who looks bad on the books. No one in their family can escape. This left Yi Lin Lin speechless. Don't worry, I won't let Yi Shuerong have too much power. After the North City project is almost completed, I will kick her out. Hearing her father's words, Yi Linlin felt relieved. She felt secretly pleased. Oomph, even her father is helping. Yi Shuerong, how long can you hold on? This time, although they knew that Yi Shuerong had a new car, Yi Mingshan and his wife didn't dare to confront her again. They could only be secretly annoyed. The last incident had left a shadow in their hearts. They were afraid of being attacked by thugs or jealous people when driving on the street. Yang Chen's trick was very effective, once bitten by a snake, one is afraid of a rope for ten years. Just as this matter was settled, the Yi family encountered a new problem. Relatives from their hometown came to visit. To be precise, they came to borrow money. Hao Hongqing came from a humble family in the countryside, not wealthy. When she married into the Yi family, Yi Mingshan's father had not yet made a fortune. It was only after a few years of their marriage that Yi Mingshan's father's business became successful. After a few years, his father passed away, and the business fell into Yi Mingshan's hands. Since the Yi family started to prosper, a bunch of relatives from their hometown came to borrow money. Among them, Hao Hongqing's younger brother, Hao Dahue, was a particularly troublesome character. In his thirties, almost forty, he was still lazy and unskilled. Since his sister married into this slightly wealthy family, he would come every year or so to leech off them. Yi Mingshan was both annoyed and fearful of this guy, but out of respect for Hao Hongqin and the fact that Hao Dahue had connections in society that were not easy to deal with, he had to endure it. Knowing that this annoying relative was coming, Yu Wenqing had already left early to hang out with her friends outside. Only Hao Hongqin and her husband were left to entertain Hao Dahue. Sitting on the sofa, after exchanging pleasantries, Hao Hongqin asked, How much do you plan to borrow this time, Zizi? Not much, this much. Hao Dahue gestured with two fingers. Twenty thousand? Are you sending for the beggar, sister? Two million. Hao Dahue said impatiently. Oh my goodness, borrowing so much? Dahue, what are you planning to do? Hao Hongqin was taken aback. Isn't it to consider starting a business? I also want to make big money like my brother-in-law. Hao Dahue continued nonchalantly. Wasn't that what you said last time? Hao Hongqin looked helplessly at her younger brother. This time it's true. I have it all planned out. I just need the startup capital now. Hao Dahue said confidently. Dahue, you know our family situation. How can we just come up with two million so easily? Your sister's family is not an ATM. Yi Mingshan shook his head helplessly. Stop pretending, brother-in-law. Your family lives in such a big house and does big business, 
What's wrong with borrowing 2 million? It's not a big deal for you. Besides, supporting me won't be a loss for you, I'll definitely share the profits with you once I make money. How Dahue shamelessly said. The implication was that he had no intention of repaying the money. At that moment, Yi Shuarong and Yang Chen had just returned home. Upon opening the door, they saw their uncle and aunt sitting on the sofa. Yi Shuarong couldn't help but gasp. Uncle, you're here. Yi Shuarong looked uncomfortable facing her uncle. She had never had a good impression of this despicable uncle since she was young. He had been caught stealing several times in the past and going to jail was a common occurrence for him. What disgusted her the most was how he would leer at her with his eyes, she had been harassed by him since she was young. Oh, wrong wrong, you're getting more and more beautiful. Not bad. Hadevue said, reaching out to touch Yi Shuarong's hair. He was getting closer and closer. Yi Shuarong instinctively moved back, feeling extremely disgusted. Facing this behavior, Yi Mingshan and his wife did not intervene at all, as if it was a common occurrence. Yang Chen couldn't take it anymore, he stepped forward and grabbed Hao Dahue's hand, twisting it forcefully. Keep your distance from my wife. Yang Chen's voice was icy cold. Hao Dahue winced in pain, feeling like his hand was about to break. Hey, Yang Chen, what are you doing? What attitude is this towards your uncle? Let go. Hao Hongqin immediately protested, unwilling to see her brother being treated this way. In front of others, she always defended her younger brother, after all, he was her only sibling. She had secretly taken money from home to support him, in today's terms, she was a brother supporter. Yang Chen coldly let go of Hao Datue, who was clutching his hand and shaking it, unable to recover. Oh, so this is the useless husband that Rong Rong found? Wasn't he forbidden from entering the house? Hao Dahue sneered at Yang Chen, disdainfully. It was unclear where he got the confidence to mock others, being so useless himself. Oh, that's all in the past, now Yang Chen is living in our house. Yi Mingshan quickly explained, afraid of upsetting Yang Chen. Let him live in your house, are you willing? Hao Dahue asked coldly. We're moving soon. We'll be living in Yang Chen's new house. He's just staying with us for a few days. Yi Shuarong said, feeling a bit annoyed. Just him? Does he even have the money to buy a house? Don't make me laugh. Hao Dahue looked down on Yang Chen with disdain. Yes, Yang Chen, you should borrow some money from your uncle. Your uncle is planning to start a business soon. How? Hong Qin chimed in. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't lend a single penny to someone like you. Yang Chen said bluntly, Yi Mingshan listened with satisfaction in his heart. These were words he didn't dare to say out loud usually. Damn, your son-in-law is quite arrogant, isn't he? I'm not even in his eyes, am I? Hao Dahue couldn't contain his anger. How dare this guy talk to him like that? He's just a son-in-law who married into the family. Yang Chen. How dare you speak like that? What's wrong with borrowing some money from your uncle? Hao Hongqin immediately reprimanded. You have money, you can borrow it yourself. Yang Chen coldly snorted and said, Rong Rong is tired from working all day today, so she won't be entertaining guests here. We're going to rest first. With that, he took Yi Shuarong back to the room. Although Yi Shuarong felt it wasn't right, Getting rid of this creepy uncle was better than anything else. Damn, sis, are you going to let him act so arrogantly at home? He doesn't even respect me? Watching their backs, Hao Dahue gritted his teeth in anger. Just wait, I will kick him out sooner or later. Making him divorce Rong Rong is just a matter of time. Hao Hongqin immediately said. Hearing this, Hao Dahue seemed to calm down a bit, then said, Sis, I don't care anymore. When can you give me the money? I need it urgently. Do you need the money for your business that urgently? Hao Hongqin asked puzzled. Actually, I need the money not just for starting a business, I'm also planning to get married soon. Really? Is that true? Hao Hongqin was delighted to hear this. Her brother had been single for over 30 years, and he was finally getting married. 
Of course it's true. Everything has been arranged. How Dahue said confidently. Okay, sis, I'll figure something out for you. Consider it done. How Hongqin readily agreed. Yi Mingshan watched anxiously from the side but couldn't say anything. Back in the bedroom, Yi Mingshan began to reprimand her, do you really think our family can just come up with two million so easily? The company's focus is on the North City project now, all the money has been invested there. Forget about two million, even one million would be hard to come up with. Yi Mingshan said impatiently. What? What should we do then? I already promised my brother. I don't care. Hao Hongqin was also at a loss when she heard this. She knew Yi Mingshan wouldn't make up such things, and she was aware of the family's projects, so she fell silent. If you want to borrow, you have to use your own money. Yi Mingshan said impatiently. Right. Why not ask Yi Xu Erong for the money? She's been so rich lately, buying two cars each costing over a million. Shouldn't she contribute to the family? Hao Hongqin had a sudden realization and said immediately. Yes, that's right. Yi Xu Erong must have money. Yi Mingshan nodded in agreement. Hao Hongqin made up her mind and without hesitation went to talk to Yi Xu Erong. At night, when Yang Qin was not in the room, Hao Hongqin quietly sneaked in and closed the door. Rong Rong, you know, your uncle doesn't have the same financial conditions as our family. He really needs the money now. Otherwise, how could a person who cares so much about his face come to borrow money from us? Don't you think so? Hao Hongqin pretended to be kind and earnest. Mom, does he really care about his face? Every time he shamelessly comes here and persuades you to give him money. Yi Xu Erong said indignantly. Yi Xu Erong. How can you speak about your uncle like that? I don't care, you must be the one to borrow this money. It's not much, just two million. Your father is tight on money right now, so only you can provide it. Hao Hongqin became unreasonable. Two million? Mom, I don't have that much money, how much do I even earn? Yi Xu Erong felt overwhelmed. Her mother was joking with her, throwing out such a large number. Fine, do you think I don't know you have money? You bought two cars in a row. You're quite capable. But when it comes to borrowing money for your uncle, you suddenly act poor? But, but that's all Yang Chen's money. Yi Xu Erong panicked. Yi Xu Erong. Is this how you treat your mother? I don't care, you must borrow some money for your uncle. You're pretending to be poor when asked to borrow money for your uncle? He doesn't have any money. Okay, if you don't pay, then I might as well die. I'll just die. Han Hongqin's crying, tantrums, and threats to hang herself left Yi Xu Erong feeling helpless. Watching her mother's dramatic behavior, she was on the verge of rolling on the floor. She had to say, okay, mom, I'll figure something out. Hmm. Your uncle will need money tomorrow. Hurry up and get some. When Han Hongqin heard this, she immediately stopped her tantrum, turned around, and left. Her change in attitude was faster than flipping a book. Yang Chen, about my uncle borrowing money, can you help? After Yang Chen returned, Yi Xu Erong helplessly asked him. Although she felt embarrassed, her mother's tactics left her with no choice. Did my mom ask you for money? Yang Chen could tell what was going on with just one glance. Well, we really don't have much money at home recently, and also, last time when we bought the car, my mom and them thought we had a lot of money. Yi Xu Erong said softly. She felt helpless for repeatedly troubling Yang Chen with her family's problems. Although she believed Yang Chen might have some money, the amount was still difficult to mention. Yang Chen knew that Han Dahue had been coming to Ye's house to suck blood not just once or twice. Facing such a person, they had to find a way to teach him a lesson. Okay, don't worry about it, leave it to me. Yang Chen knew that lending money to such a person would only make things worse. He would keep coming back for more. So, they had to take some tough measures against him. Make sure he never dared to come back again. Really? Thank you so much, husband. If my uncle doesn't pay back the money later, I'll pay you back. 
Yi Shuerong said earnestly, looking at Yang Chen. Yang Chen smiled, flicked her nose, don't be silly, we are husband and wife, why split things so clearly? What's mine is yours. I'll take your uncle to get the money tomorrow. Don't worry about it. After Yi Shuerong promised Han Hanqin, she was very happy and immediately went to tell Han Dahui. Is everything settled? Okay, that's good. Han Dahui was very pleased. His sister's family was indeed a reliable cash machine. It seemed like he could continue to come back whenever he needed money. In fact, he borrowed this money not to start a business or get married. It was purely because he had run out of money from gambling and had accumulated a lot of debt, so he had to come to his sister to help cover his hole. Yang Chen had already figured this out. The gambling place he frequents is located in the county town of his hometown, the largest underground casino in Gautan. Okay, I got it. After the she-wolf investigated, Yang Chen immediately made another call. Long San, do you know the underground casino in Huang County? I know, it's run by a younger brother. We used to call each other brothers. Long San answered respectfully. Okay, help me deal with a person. This person will go there soon, and I want him to shiver at the mention of gambling for the rest of his life. Okay, I'll take care of it. Early the next morning, Yang Chen drove Han Dahui to get the money. When they arrived at the bank, Yang Chen stopped the car and said, I heard you need the money for a wedding, right? Two million seems a bit low? When Han Dahui heard this, he impatiently looked at him and said, You kid, you're quite sensible. Of course, two million is not enough, but with your situation, how much can you get? How about I prepare ten million for you? Yang Chen said with a smile. What? From you? Do you have it? Han Dahui was shocked. Of course. Since it's such a big deal like a wedding, I should also contribute. I happen to have some savings, so I'll lend it to you. Yang Chen said. Okay, okay. Han Dahui was very excited, nodding vigorously. But, you will pay me back, right? This is not a small amount of money. Yang Chen deliberately asked again. Of course. Do I look like someone who doesn't pay back debts? Go get the money. Han Dahui's shamelessness was outrageous, Yang Chen didn't say much, he went straight to get the money for him. The moment Hao Daihui received the two boxes of cash, his hands were shaking with excitement. Ha ha! It seems that this son-in-law of yours is somewhat useful, not as useless as they say. Hao Dahui was overjoyed. He was extremely grateful to Yang Chen. After taking the money, he left without looking back. Yang Chen watched his back with a smile on his face. In fact, the hole that Hao Daihui needed to fill was only 2 million. This time, he got an extra 8 million. He could have a good time again. His gambling addiction had already made him unable to control himself. After leaving Gautan, he headed straight to the casino. All of this was expected by Yang Chen. He was well aware of the psychology of such people. They couldn't change their ways. No matter how much money they had, they would end up gambling it all away. How da Hue, do you have enough money with you? Two million, or should we chop off your hand? As soon as he arrived at the gambling den, the people inside stared at How da Hue and asked. How da Hue snorted coldly and impatiently pulled out two boxes. Take a look at this. Everyone was shocked. Today, I'm going to have a good time here. I dare anyone to stop me. All right, Hao Da Hui, where did you get the money from? Everyone was shocked and looked at Hao Da Hui with surprise. Then, someone went to make a phone call to the boss. Boss, the person has arrived. Hmm, this is the person arranged by my third brother Long to take care of, we must treat him well today. The boss's voice was cold and sinister. Not only do we have to make him lose all the money he brought, but we also have to make him owe us tens of millions. You guys handle it. Understood, understood. The henchman nodded with a sly smile. With ten million in hand, Hao Dahui suddenly became the most powerful man in the entire casino. Everyone came to serve him. 
They poured water for him, lit his cigarettes, and treated him like a lord. The boss even arranged for all the drinks to be free for him. Compared to his 10 million, the drinks were nothing. In no time, Hao Da Hui won several hundred thousand. He was on cloud nine. Increase the stakes, keep going. Hao Da Hui was very pleased, giving orders continuously. Master Hui, should we include all this money? The people around the gambling den now called him Master Hui. Of course. Can't you see that my luck is good? Yes, yes. Master Hui is sure to win this round. Deal. When he saw the result, Hao Dai Hui was dumbfounded. Oh, Master Hui, sorry, you lost. Over 8 million, instantly gone. In less than an hour. Hao Dai Hui's head buzzed immediately. What's wrong, Master Hui, are you still playing? The next round might turn your luck. Play, of course, play. Hao Dai Hui went all out in the casino, gambling for three hours straight. Master Hui, you've lost again. Don't talk nonsense, continue. Keep going. Hao Da Hui was completely hooked. Don't rush, how much do you owe in total now, do you have an idea? Yes, no, I don't care, keep going. I'll turn things around in the next round. You already owe a billion. The cold voice made Hao Da Hui shudder instantly. He sobered up in an instant. This money is not as simple as just losing a hand, you might have to give up your life. Master. Please wait. The next round. I'll turn things around. How da Hue begged in fear. The next round? Ha, I'll give you an hour to raise the money, once you have enough money, we can talk about something else. What? Last time you gave me three days to come up with two million. No more nonsense? I've already started the timer. The fourth master said coldly. Hao Da Hue was completely panicked. He picked up his phone without hesitation and could only call Yang Chen. Yang Chen, lend me some money. Hao Da Hue ordered directly. Borrow money? I heard you lost a billion, is that right? How did you? No? Ha, do you think your little affairs are unknown to others? Enough talk, hurry up and lend me. I know you have money. Money? Ha, ah, do you think 10 million is the same as a billion? Even if I sell my house and car, I can't help you. Yang Chen said. How Da Hue was stunned. Because he really believed it. How about this, I'll lend you another 20,000 yuan, you go outside and hide for a while, hide for 3 to 5 years, when you come back, everything should be fine. Yang Chen said leisurely. This was all part of his plan. Hao Da Hue was instantly overwhelmed. But now, he had no choice. Yang Chen instructed again, by the way, remember not to call your family, otherwise you know the consequences, if the people from the casino track you down, it will be disastrous. Brother Yang Chen, everything is settled, shall I bring back the 10 million to you? Soon after, Long Sen called Yang Chen. No need. Just distribute it among your brothers. Yang Chen said indifferently. This small amount of money was nothing to him. Upon hearing this, Long San was overjoyed. The boss was too generous. Saying it was a reward of 10 million. Also, tell your friend to close down the casino and run away early. I won't pursue the dirty money he earned, but from now on, he shouldn't mix in the underground circles anymore. Yang Chen added. What? Long Yi was stunned. But he didn't dare to go against his boss's words. He could only inform that brother. Not long after, the city launched a surprise operation and thoroughly investigated that underground casino. Fortunately, Yang Chen gave him a chance to escape. Otherwise, he would have ended up inside too. Meanwhile, in Haizhou, the provincial capital, Zhao Wen, the head of the Zhao family, and Zhang Dao, the head of the Zhang family, had already gathered in the secret private room of the most upscale restaurant in the city. Today, they were going to meet a very important guest. This person was the top international assassin they had found, Tiger Shark. After making an appointment and waiting for three days, the other party finally agreed to meet, showing great arrogance. 
In order to carry out their conspiracy, they had to give him this face. After waiting in the private room for almost an hour, Tiger Shark finally appeared slowly. This person was a lean man with a face full of scars, looking extremely terrifying. Zhao Wen and Zhang Da were already a bit impatient, so when they saw him, they were not very polite, not inviting him to sit down or offering tea. When Tiger Shark came in, he was not polite at all. He directly pulled up a chair, lit a cigarette, and coldly said, You are the clients? Ha, huh, now anyone can hire me. This remark made Zhao Wan and Zhang Da very displeased. The two great emperors of the high platform were belittled in front of this person? As if they had no dignity at all. I have heard about your little matter, if it wasn't for someone extremely difficult to deal with, you wouldn't have come to me. Am I right? Tiger Shark looked at the two men and exhaled smoke. The two men felt embarrassed and quickly replied, Yes, that's true. Tiger Shark didn't waste words, flicked the ash off his cigarette, and said directly, My conditions are very simple, one billion. Transfer it within a day. Once the money is received, wait for further instructions. I will do it when I have time. His tone was casual. But the two men felt a chill down their spines. One billion? Although the Zhao and Zhang families were top-tier families, they couldn't just take out a billion casually. Their total assets were only around a hundred billion, asking for so much money to kill a person was simply a joke. Go to hell, who do you think we are, saying you want a billion? Just a dog, dare to ask for such a high price. Get lost. Zhao Wen couldn't bear it, stood up and scolded. After so many years in Gauten, no one dared to provoke him like this face to face. Although Zhang Dao was also unhappy, he didn't have the courage, because he knew who the other party was. He wanted to stop Zhao Wan but it was too late. Tiger Shark's eyes sharpened. The fierceness in his eyes made Zhao Wan shudder. The next moment, a cold light flashed. A dagger had already stabbed fiercely into Zhao Wan's shoulder. Just a few centimeters away from the heart. Let me tell you, when your grandfather comes to kill, you are the lowly ones, acting like dogs. Dare to be arrogant again, and I'll kill you on the spot. The tiger shark stepped on Zhao Wen's thigh, holding the knife handle, and said sternly. Zhao Wen was in pain, sweating profusely, and trembling with fear. Now, he was genuinely terrified. This person is too crazy. He really dares to kill. He is an international killer with blood on his hands, killing is as common to him as eating. Tiger Shark God, don't be impulsive. Let's talk. We'll give you money. Money is all we need. Jung Dal was also scared, quickly got up and persuaded, speaking from a distance, afraid that this terrifying man would come at him with a knife too. Let me tell you, my time is valuable. If you invite me, you have to accept my conditions. If the money doesn't arrive within a day, then you will be the ones to die. Tiger Shark stared coldly at them, saying each word. Zhao Wen and Zhang Da didn't dare to say a word of disagreement, only agreeing repeatedly. Tiger Shark then put away the dagger, picked up the information on the table, and coldly looked at Yang Chen's profile, sneering, Ha, huh, just an unknown ant in a small city, I'll make you people here broaden your horizons. You don't even know what a top international killer is. As the end of the month approached, there were only two or three days left before moving to the new house. The Yi family was excited, looking forward to moving into the mansion. This move meant stepping into the ranks of the truly wealthy. They would be looked up to wherever they went. For these vain people, it was very tempting. However, they could never have imagined that just two days before the end of the month, some very bad news suddenly came. The Nanshan Villa area was suspected of illegal. Construction. The province sent a document requesting demolition. This news quickly made the wealthy residents of Nanshan uneasy, but these rich people had many properties and were not concerned about losing one villa. However, for some small homeowners who had spent a lot of money to buy a villa, this was a big blow. They were trying to appeal, but since the developers of the Nanshan villa area had already fled, there was no compensation. They were in a dilemma. And some people were even more unable to stay calm. Have you heard? It seems that the Nanshan Villa area is going to be demolished because of suspected illegal construction. 
When Yu Wenqing returned home at night, he hurriedly told the news to Hao Hongqin and Yi Mingshan. What? Really? The whole family was shocked. The two were not as well informed, and were still unaware. It's true. The news has spread, it is said that because the developer of the Nanshan Villa area offended a big shot in the province, almost all of his properties were sealed overnight. Even the Nanshan Villa area is to be demolished and turned into an eco-forest area. Yi Wenqing said confidently. Hao Hongqin immediately lamented and cursed, what a mess. This is really unfortunate. Just as our family was about to move in, such a thing happened. We finally had the chance to move into that big mansion. Alas! Am I, Yi, destined to never live in that dream place? It's fate. Yi Mingshan also said with great sorrow. He had been looking forward to this good news for almost a month, and now it was all ruined. A few days ago, he had boasted to everyone, telling the wealthy in the circle that he was going to live in the Nanshan Villa. Normally, he was lowly regarded in this circle, and those big families didn't even pay attention to him. He had hoped to gain some face this time, but now it was all gone. While the Yi family mourned, Hao Hongqin suddenly remembered something and said, I mean, since we can't move into the Nanshan Villa, are Yang Chen and Yi Xu Erong still going to stay with us? What do you mean? Yi Mingshan narrowed his eyes. Why let them stay in our house? Isn't it just to live together in the new house later? If we can't move into the new house, why should we continue to accommodate them? Hao Hongqin said viciously. Why Yi Mingshan seemed a bit hesitant. This, isn't it inappropriate? Are we really going to kick them out? That's too heartless. Just let Rong Rong borrow money. Tisk. What's there to be considerate about with such useless people? Besides, they don't have a new house now. Are you willing to let them live in our house like this, eating our food and using our things? This made Yi Mingshan fall into contemplation. Yi Wenqing quickly added fuel to the fire, saying, exactly. Look at them, if it weren't for that friend's charity, they wouldn't be able to move into a new house in this lifetime. Besides, maybe that whatever Mu Rong group is just playing them, they probably knew long ago that the Nanshan Villa area was going to be demolished, so they deliberately gave it to her. Honey, don't forget, Yi Shu Arong borrowed money, but think about it, where did her money come from? This statement from Hao Hongqin finally woke up Yi Mingshan. He had long wanted to find an opportunity to drive Yi Shu Arong away. This project was in her hands, and she had made so much profit from it, which made him feel distressed just thinking about it. Yi Mingshan finally nodded, determined, all right. Let's find a reason, and when the two of them come back, we'll confront them. In the evening, when Yang Chen and Yi Xu Erong returned home, they saw the Yi family of three sitting on the sofa, all looking at them expressionlessly. Dad, what's going on? Are we having a meeting? Yi Xu Erong looked puzzled at the scene before her and asked. It's not a meeting, just something to tell you. Let your mom tell you. Yi Mingshan coughed, seeming a bit embarrassed to say it himself, so he handed it over to Hao Hongqin. What's wrong, mom? Well, we need to use your room for something else, so you two have to move out first. We're not sure until when, so don't ask. Hao Hongqin was not hiding anything. The implication of these words was no different from directly kicking them out. Ah, but we just moved in. Yi Xu Erong was surprised. With such a simple reason, they were being asked to leave? This was their home. Yang Chen sneered and looked at the family, asking, What, are you planning to kick us out? Are you still planning to live in the Nanshan Villa? Hao Hongqin impatiently interrupted him, Enough, Yang Chen, stop pretending. Your villa deal has fallen through, don't you know? Yang Chen really didn't know. He had never cared about such trivial matters. What do you mean it's fallen through? Yi Wenqing also sneered, saying, You're really good at acting, huh? Your house can't be lived in anymore, it's going to be demolished. Are you really clueless or just pretending? Ha! <laughs> Yi Xu Erong was stunned, is that, true? That area is suspected of violating regulations, the developers have all run away, Mu Rong Group's so-called gifts are just trying to deceive you. Being played like a fool and not even knowing it, it's really laughable. This made Yang Chen furrow his brow. 
Who dared to demolish his house? Asking for trouble? All right, pack your things quickly before tonight and leave today. Hao Hongqin didn't want to say much more, just said it like that. They were clearly being kicked out. And Yang Chen, your job will be temporarily suspended, the company's finance department needs to lay off staff, you don't need to go from tomorrow. Yi Mingshan suddenly added. That's fine. Yang Chen nodded sincerely. He had only gone for Yi Shuerong's sake in the first place. This Yi family was really pushing it. Just as the two were about to leave, Yi Mingshan suddenly stopped them, Yi Shuerong, wait. Dad will give you another chance. Dad asks you, are you going to divorce him or not? It's been two years, he's still a failure, haven't you seen through him yet? Let me tell you, as long as you two divorce, I'll help you find a suitable match. I know many suitable friends from first-line families, they are all better than him. Yi Mingshan said this without any regard, as if he didn't care anymore, the implication is that if Ye Xuerong is willing to contribute to the family and marry a wealthy second generation, perhaps Ye Mingshan will give her a chance to stay. If these daughters are not willing to marry for the sake of the family's connections, what's the point? That's his thinking. Dad. What are you saying? I will never divorce brother Yang Chen. Ye Xuerong was so angry that she was about to cry. Hearing her parents say such things made her very upset. She spoke firmly, which also moved Yang Chen. He coldly said, out of respect for your elders, I will warn you one last time. Anyone who tries to break up me and Ye Xuerong, I will not show mercy. His tone was so heavy, it was the first time. The whole family was stunned by Yang Chen's demeanor, a kind of dominance they had never seen before. They were so scared that they couldn't speak for a long time. This waste actually dares to threaten them? Heo Honkin was furious, but she didn't dare to explode. Because Yang Chen's eyes really scared her. By the way, Yang Chen, the company needs to lay off staff recently, and we don't need you as a debt collection officer anymore, Ye Mingshan added angrily. He he, I was just playing house with you, did you really believe it? Yang Chen sneered and then turned and left the Yi family with Ye Xuerong. They had to go back to the small house they had rented before, luckily the rent had not expired yet. I'm sorry, brother Yang Chen, my family, they really disappointed me. How could I have such parents? As soon as they entered the house, Ye Xuerong burst into tears and fell into Yang Chen's arms. She felt wronged. Extremely wrong to the core. It's okay, don't cry, baby. Don't forget, you still have me. I will take you to live in a new house. Don't worry. Yang Chen comforted her softly. The king of the iron-blooded war god, but in front of this woman, he was so gentle and delicate. What he couldn't tolerate the most was his wife being wronged. Today's events made him feel angry. The last bit of face for the Yi family was gone in front of him. Things had to be resolved one by one. He first called the she-wolf, find out who in the province ordered the demolition of my new house. Tell me what's going on. After a phone call, in less than a few minutes, he got the exact information, sir, it's clear. That developer Ling Xianyuan seems to have offended the second in command of the province at a certain banquet, and overnight all his property was seized, and he fled abroad. The reason for the forced demolition of the Nanshan Villa area was actually for revenge. The so-called illegal construction was just an excuse they found. Yang Chen had expected something like this, it was just a struggle between the power and money circles, neither side being good people. Their struggle was not a big deal, but the house he had set his eyes on was not going to be easily given away. He had personally designed the interior, all according to Ye Xuerong's preferences, meticulously prepared. It was almost ready. You dare to demolish it just because you say so? Tell that second in command that this house is mine. Let him think it over. Rong Rong, pack your things, we're going to live in the new house. After making the call, Yang Chen said directly to Ye Xuerong. Ye Xuerong, with tear marks still on her face, was still feeling sad on the sofa. When she heard Yang Chen's words, she hesitated, live in a new house? Where do we have a new house? Nanshan Villa. You forgot, my wife. Yang Chen said naturally. Ye Xuerong shook her head helplessly, Honey, are you confused? 
They have already told us, the villa is going to be demolished, I just checked the news, construction will start next week. Sigh. It's okay, if construction starts next week, we can live there for a day at a time, it's better than not living there at all, right? Yang Chen smiled. His words persuaded Ye Chuang, she wiped her tears and nodded, you're right, it's a shame not to live in such a good house for a couple of days. Yeah, it's like staying in a hotel, right? Yang Chen persuaded her that he definitely couldn't say that he had already arranged for the demolition to be cancelled. If he mentioned it, Ye Chuang would surely be surprised at how he knew. It's better to just have her stay for now, she will find out later. The two of them drove directly to the Nanshan Villa area. The mountain roads in the Nanshan Villa area were crowded, with a constant flow of cars, mostly leaving and none entering. One by one, they were all moving company trucks, and the wealthy residents living there were busy moving out. They all felt that time was running out, so they were hurrying to move. When they saw a car driving back, everyone looked at it with suspicion. Oh, it's you guys? Hee <laughs> hee, what, taking advantage of the fact that the house hasn't been demolished yet, coming to experience it for a couple of days? A convertible car coming towards them slowed down as it passed by Yang Chen and the others, and the people inside looked at them mockingly. It was Yang Cheng. They had met him last time they came. Oh. It's you? Damn, what's with the arrogance? I know all about you living here, you're just taking advantage of someone else's misfortune, in plain terms, this house doesn't belong to you at all. What are you showing off for? Yang Qing had known about Yang Chen's situation from Yi Wenching a long time ago. He knew it was a reward from the Mu Rong group, that's how they got this opportunity. This made him jealous and unhappy. Husband, ignore him, let's go. Ye Chuarong felt very uncomfortable seeing Yang Qing pulling on Yang Chen's sleeve. He he, a pair of poor losers, remember to stay away from me when you see me in the future. Yang Cheng sneered and shouted, then stepped on the gas and drove off. Yang Chen was a bit annoyed, this guy was quite arrogant, wasn't he? This kind of person was too annoying. When the news of the cancellation of the demolition came out in a while, this guy would definitely come back. If he had to live in the same community as this kind of person, he would be a bit repulsed. He decided to take Ye Chuarong to the new house first, and deal with other matters later. Wow, the decoration of this house, is amazing, this. After entering the villa, Ye Chuarong was speechless. The overall style of the decoration in the house, the choice of furniture, the layout, all matched her tastes and preferences completely. The materials used were all top-notch imported goods, and even after the decoration was completed, there was no need for airing out, it was completely free of formaldehyde and any pollution. Craftsmanship from the European Royal Family I specifically asked the decoration team to follow my design. How is it, do you like it? Yang Chen looked at his wife indulgently, speaking gently. I love it, I love it so much. Ye Chuarong's eyes were moist, her husband was too good to her. Then, she lowered her head again and murmured, but, the house will be gone soon. It's a pity. It's okay, let's cherish the present. Besides, maybe there will be a miracle. Will there really be? Ye Chuarong raised her head, staring blankly into Yang Chen's eyes. Maybe, Yang Chen smiled. He pretended to be mysterious and didn't say anything. The next day, the news came out. The demolition plan for the Nanshan Villa area has been cancelled. When this news came out, the wealthy residents of Nanshan wailed in despair. Are they playing with us? We've put in so much effort to move out. And now they say they're not going to demolish it? In fact, the most uncomfortable person was not them. It was the second in command of the province. The phone call he received made his scalp tingle. He almost offended that big shot? For him, that was almost like losing half his life. If things went wrong, his political career would be over too. He almost tremblingly issued a notice to cancel the demolition plan and completely stopped all sanctions against the developers. Rumors about this incident immediately spread outside, some said the developers had found a big shot to back them up, some said even higher-ups couldn't stand it anymore. In short, a big shot had appeared. Only someone with even greater power could influence such an event. 
The developer of the Nanshan Villa area was the Nanshan Group, and the CEO was Ling Xian Yuan. When this guy found out what had happened at home, he was ecstatic, the carriage and horse came back non-stop. Although he was not sure what had happened, he was well aware of the identity of the buyer of his S-mansion, a prominent figure in the Northern Territory. This is strictly confidential. Moreover, from what he heard from his subordinates, when everyone else moved out, the owner of the S-mansion turned back and stayed. This guy is very clever, and he immediately figured out what was going on. He hurried to the mansion area without hesitation, waited for a long time, just to see the appearance of Yang Chen. Mr. Yang, you are my great benefactor. Equivalent to my own parents. I will do anything to repay you. Ling Xian Yuan waited in the mansion area for a long time, and as soon as he saw Yang Chen appear, he knelt down directly, bowing to Yang Chen in gratitude. Whether you are my benefactor, I don't care. First of all, I must maintain a low profile here. You need to handle the confidentiality work for me, understand? Yang Chen was a bit annoyed by this guy and could only say so. Understood. Your matters are my top priority. Also, help me with one more thing. There is a family in this mansion that I am not happy with, make them leave. Yang Chen said coldly. Sir, which family? Ling Xian Yuan asked without hesitation. Anyone who upsets the god of war must be severely punished. The young family was overjoyed when they found out that their house would not be demolished. Although it was troublesome to move back and forth, keeping their own house was better than anything else. The family was preparing to move back, but as soon as they entered the Nanshan mansion area and swiped their access card, the red light flashed several times. What's going on? Security. Your device is broken. Yang Qing shouted arrogantly. I'm sorry. What is your card number? The security guard asked, entered the number, and immediately understood. Oh, you are Yang Qing from the Yang family, right? Don't come in, you are already on the blacklist of our Nanshan mansion area. What? Yang Qing was almost driven crazy. How could this happen when they were living well? Your behavior in the Nanshan mansion area is unacceptable, don't you realize it? How dare you offend the guest of the S mansion? Based on your behavior, Mr. Ling has decided to ask you to leave, the security guard said sternly. Yang Qing suddenly understood. It was because of the trouble they caused to Yang Chen yesterday? But how did they find out about it? He couldn't figure it out. Ling Xian Yuan in Nanshan was not someone he could afford to offend, he was a big shot in the provincial capital. Although the deputy head of the province could easily control him with a word, in front of small characters like them, Ling Xian Yuan was still a formidable figure. Therefore, the order he gave, Yang Cheng dared not disobey. He could only leave the Nanshan mansion area in embarrassment. The people of the Yi family soon learned the news. The whole family was dumbfounded. They never expected such a thing to happen. The demolition notice issued yesterday was cancelled today. Wasn't this making a fool of them? After knowing that they couldn't live in the house yesterday, they directly drove out Yi Shu Arong and her husband. They didn't care about any face. And now, others moved into the big mansion, and they could only watch. The family regretted deeply, wishing they could hang themselves. What should we do? The mansion, they just came back? What kind of situation is this? Yi Mingshan wailed. The mansion won't be demolished again, right? Hao Hongqin asked anxiously. What are you thinking? This time it involves even more powerful figures, haven't you heard the rumors? This is no longer a local matter, do you think anyone can shake it? Yi Mingshan scolded. Then, then let them come back. I don't care, no matter what, we have to move in. Hao Hongqin lost her temper and started to act like a spoiled child. How can we do that? Besides, we have torn our faces apart. Even if Rong Rong is obedient, can she really accept it, taking a step back, even if she can accept it, do you think that Yang Chen would forgive us? Yi Mingshan sighed. When Yang Chen was mentioned, Hao Hongqin fell silent. He was not an easy person to deal with, and she still felt a bit scared from the last time she saw his eyes. 
So, what do you suggest? I want to live in this house. Hao Hongqin said without hesitation. In my opinion, we can only try a different approach now. We can't force our way through, we have to be more subtle, Yi Mingshan said cunningly. In the afternoon, Yi Shu Erong received a call from Yi Wenqing. Rong Rong, our father is sick, Yi Wenqing said in an unusually gentle tone. What? What happened? Yi Shu Erong was a bit panicked. After all, he was their father, and despite their differences, she still had to consider their feelings. Yi Shu Erong valued emotions the most, whether it was love or family affection. Yes, his heart condition acted up again this morning. He had to be given several bottles of fluids at the hospital before he stabilized, Yi Wenqing continued the act. He made it sound so real. How could this happen? How is dad now? Is he okay? Yi Shu Erong asked with concern. He's not very stable yet. The doctor said that this illness requires proper care, and our current environment, with all the hustle and bustle of the city, is not suitable at all. Oh. What should we do? If he needs to stay somewhere, it has to be a place with clean air and a peaceful environment, which would be beneficial for his condition. Yi Wenqing said convincingly. Yi Shu Erong thought for a moment and then said earnestly, that's easy. He can stay at my place. This suggestion made Yi Wenqing happy immediately, although he asked, is that really possible? It's fine, you all can come too. The more family members, the better care he'll receive. Yi Shu Erong said sincerely. Yi Mingshan's plan was very successful. It worked effortlessly. The whole family cooperated in this act, and their acting skills were so good that they could have made a movie. Before long, Yi Mingshan and the others moved in. Of course, Hao Hongqin and Yi Wenqing couldn't be left behind. The family of three was eager to come to their new home. The design and decoration of the Yes Villa deeply impressed them. The whole house was so beautiful that they would be willing to live there for thousands of years. Watching this proud family, Yang Chen's eyes turned cold. Yang Chen knew exactly what was going on. This old man was playing the sympathy card, he was using Yi Shu Erong. Was he really sick? Ha, huh, with his demeanor, pretending to be a bit weak, could he fool others, let alone fool him? Yang Chen could tell if someone was really sick from three meters away. But Yi Shu Erong's character just fell for it. Even if he confirmed it himself, it wouldn't matter. Since you want to live in my house, fine, I'll give you this opportunity. But don't forget, Yi Shu Erong and I are the masters of this house. In the future, you must follow our rules. After the family entered, Yang Chen directly and unapologetically said to them. This statement made Yi Mingshan's family very unhappy. Although Yi Shu Erong felt that Yang Chen was a bit rude, she knew that it was necessary because sometimes her family members were indeed a bit unruly. What do you mean by this? You're giving us a hard time as soon as we arrive. At least call me mom. You, a son-in-law, want to step on our heads? Hao Hongqin was not pleased and directly retorted. I've made myself clear. If any of you misbehave in the future, don't blame me for not warning you. I will not hesitate to kick you out. Yang Chen said coldly. His tone was very heavy, and there was no room for compromise. Looking at his eyes, Hao Hongqin softened. After Yang Chen and Yi Shu Erong left, the three of them gathered to discuss. Just wait, this brat is showing off in front of me and my daughter? This matter is not over, I must punish him, Hao Hongqin grumbled. But how should we punish him? After all, we are living in someone else's house, Yi Wenqing said helplessly. Why should we let him bully us like this? I need to find a way to kick him out. Hao Hongqin gritted her teeth. What? But this is the home of a couple. Don't forget, he listens most to Yi Shu Erong. If Yi Shu Erong tells him to leave, will he still stay? But how can we convince Yi Shu Erong? Yi Mingshan actually started discussing this matter seriously with Hao Hongqin. Find a way. Anyway, the five-year contract for this house was signed in Yi Shu Erong's name, it has nothing to do with him. Hao Hongqin may not be very bright usually, but she is very resourceful in such matters. 
Yi Mingshan nodded, okay, I think it can work. Despite his stern appearance, he and Hao Hongqin were on the same wavelength, otherwise they wouldn't have become a couple. I have a plan to break them up. At this moment, Yu Wenqing also had a sudden inspiration and said, clapping his hands. What plan? Tell me quickly. There is no man in this world who can resist temptation. Yi Shu Erong is indeed pretty, but after a while, he might want a change of taste, right? Are you suggesting? Hao Hongqin looked at her daughter, starting to understand. I will try to seduce him. I don't believe he can resist me. There are plenty of men chasing after me outside. When the time comes, I'll record a video and show it to Yi Shu Erong. Can't we break them up then? This plan works. Once Yi Shu Erong knows, she won't be able to stand it and will definitely make Yang Chen leave. In the afternoon, Yang Chen went to inspect the Mu Rong group. Of course, he went there secretly, without saying hello to the wolf woman, and rode his bike there. He didn't like to bother others, and he also wanted to see the current situation of the company. Upon arrival, he was quite satisfied with the well-built building and the surrounding environment with mountains and water. Inside the company, it was bustling with activity. Yang Chen went to the elevator lobby, where there were four elevators to avoid congestion during rush hours. Pretty good. While waiting for the elevator, there was suddenly a commotion behind him. Turning around, he saw a young man with slick back hair, looking arrogant, speaking loudly, and followed by a group of people. They were heading towards the elevator lobby. These people were nodding and bowing to him, indicating that he might be a significant leader? Yang Chen was a bit repulsed by this attitude and planned to ask Yi Jinin about this person when he went up. It would be best to take some disciplinary action against him. Soon, one of the elevators arrived, and as the door opened, Yang Chen walked in directly. Hey! Stop right there! Which department are you from? This is for senior executives only, how dare you enter, the slicked back hair man suddenly shouted. Yang Chen realized that this guy seemed to be talking to him, so he turned to look at him. He hadn't done anything, but the guy was coming after him? I'm not from any department. What's the matter? Yang Chen asked back. He was telling the truth, after all, the company's president was Yi Xu Erong, and all the documents were in her name. He actually had no position in this company. How come anyone can enter now? This is the Mu Rong Group. The most prestigious company in Gao Tan, do you know that? The group behind him also looked down on him disdainfully. They had an attitude of looking down on a country bumpkin. Everyone here was dressed in high-end suits, and they all had a strong sense of superiority, after all, they were all talented elites who had squeezed into the business world. Without any ability, one couldn't get in, looking at Yang Chen, he was not dressed well either, with nothing expensive on his body, not even a watch on his wrist. He looked like a poor guy. Yang Chen, however, looked him over and asked, I want to know, who are you? Me? Ah, you dare to ask. Tell him who I am. The slick-haired man said condescendingly. Listen up, this is Mr. Hu, the general manager of our Mu Rong group. Everyone nearby said proudly. Yang Chen shook his head and smiled bitterly in his heart. A small general manager acting so arrogantly in the company? Quite something. I see you're here for an interview, right? Leave now. Our company will never hire someone like you. The general manager sneered. The people around also mocked and laughed at him. Yang Chen couldn't be bothered to talk nonsense and said coldly, Mr. Hu, I know who you are. Damn, you're quite arrogant. Before he could finish his sentence, the elevator doors were about to close, and these people could only squeeze into the elevator first. But when they saw the floor number Yang Chen pressed, they were stunned again. Why are you pressing the top floor? Are you going there too? The HR department is on the fifth floor. Yes, you do need to go to the HR department later. Yang Chen nodded. Is this guy crazy? These people whispered to each other. Soon, the elevator doors opened. What shocked Mr. Who was that Vice President Mr. He was standing at the elevator door. He's here today? Isn't he always too busy to show up? 
Mr. He. Why are you here? I didn't know you were coming. Mr. Hu instantly changed from his arrogance to extreme humility. He was about to go over and greet the vice president, but he saw the vice president completely ignore him and respectfully greet another person next to him. Mr. Yang, you're finally here. I'm sorry, the front desk just told me you were here, I couldn't contain my excitement and came to greet you at the elevator. I hope you forgive me. After all, you came in person, I can't be disrespectful. Mr. He Jinin almost bowed as he spoke. This scene left everyone in the elevator dumbfounded. This is, the high and mighty President He. Is this a dream? President He also bows to people? Then this person, must be really amazing, right? They all looked at Yang Chen with fearful eyes. They were just provoking and looking down on him earlier. Now, these people were starting to sweat and their legs were trembling uncontrollably. Yang Chen looked at them and just nodded calmly, how did your company hire these people? I found that some trash has also sneaked in. This statement scared Mr. He Jin In, who immediately lowered his head, I'm sorry, Mr. Yang. It's all my negligence. After all, the company is large, and I can't inquire about every employee. Who are you referring to? I will definitely kick these troublemakers out. Mr. He Jin Yin's respect for Yang Chen was genuine. He didn't know the identity of this mysterious investor, but he knew that this person had built the company from scratch. He was the legendary figure with deep pockets. The people behind me, abusing their managerial positions in the company to bully new employees and enjoying privileges. Yang Chen replied. What? Mr. He Jinin only noticed the insignificant Mr. Hu in his group at this point, and his eyes widened. These people dared to offend Mr. Yang? The people behind had already been scared out of their wits, and they knelt down. Directly on the ground. All of you go to the HR department, sign the resignation contract immediately. Get out. Mu Rong Group doesn't need you pests. Mr. He Jinin said sternly. These people had fought tooth and nail to get into the Mu Rong Group. Especially Mr. Hu, who had used connections to get in, but now, after just a few days of showing off, he was being kicked out like this. He was on the verge of tears. After inviting Yang Chen into the office, Mr. He Jinin reported in detail on the recent situation of the company, he was well versed in all the data and his analysis was on point in all aspects, Yang Chen is quite satisfied to have such a person assisting Yi Shu Erong, so he is very reassured. By the way, there are two big companies coming to discuss cooperation recently, one is the Zhao Group from the Zhao family, and the other is the Baijing Group from the Zhang family. Both of these companies are heavyweight enterprises, so I have specially prepared for everyone to negotiate together. Establishing good relationships with them is very beneficial for the company's development and can help us establish a solid foothold in the local area. What, does our company need others' help to establish itself? Yang Chen interrupted, asking coldly. No, that's not what I meant. He Jinin was flustered, unable to grasp Yang Chen's thoughts, so he cautiously asked, So, Mr. Yang, what do you mean? Yang Chen smiled slightly, a hint of coldness flashing in his eyes, and said, It's fine, let them come. I will personally meet with them. Just preparing to look for you. They actually came to the door themselves. Good, saved me the trouble. In fact, Yang Chen had long planned to deal with the Hai family, and when the opportunity arose, he acted directly. He had long been displeased with the so-called three emperors, and he intended to eliminate each one of them. Now, it's the turn of these two who don't know their place. Yang Chen came out of the Mu Rong group and went straight home. It was already late. Yi Shu Erong needed to work overtime tonight, so she would be coming home later. Hao Hongqin and Yi Wenqing had also gone out, so when Yang Chen returned home, he found only his sister-in-law Yi Wenqing at home. The lights in the house were dim, with only a few very dim lights left, creating a very ambiguous atmosphere. Yi Wenqing was sitting alone on the sofa, with red wine and candles on the coffee table. Brother-in-law, you're back. Yi Wenqing greeted Yang Chen warmly, a departure from her usual cold and stiff demeanor. She was wearing a sleek silk nightgown, very thin, almost transparent. Yi Wenqing, what are you up to? Yang Chen asked with great displeasure. 
Brother-in-law, why so serious, sit down and have a drink. Keep me company. Yu Wenqing's eyes were seductive as she pulled Yang Chen to sit down. Yang Chen could tell she was up to something, but he didn't expose her and sat down directly, curious to see what she was planning next. Brother Yang Chen, try this wine, it's delicious. Yi Wenqing said, picking up a wine glass and handing it to Yang Chen. Yang Chen pushed it away directly. I don't drink. Brother Yang Chen, it's rare for just the two of us at home. I just want to have a good chat with you, to get closer. If you don't even drink, you don't consider me as one of your own, do you? Yi Wenqing pretended to be wronged. One of my own? You were never one to begin with. Yang Chen said coldly. This made Yi Wenqing feel embarrassed and awkward. She didn't expect Yang Chen to be so disrespectful. Ice cold. Could it be that she wasn't tempting enough? She decided to be straightforward. Brother Yang Chen, let me be honest, I also know that you and my sister have been together for so many years, are you tired of it too? I've always liked you. With that, Yu Wenqing sat directly in Yang Chen's arms. Yu Wenqing had already prepared the camera early on, hidden in the corner, capturing the scene on the sofa. Even for her, being with a handsome man like Yang Chen was not a big deal, not a loss. She planned to record the video and let Yi Shu Arong see it herself. Could she handle it? She would definitely cut ties with this man. She was thinking happily, but then. Smack! A crisp slap rang out. Echoing throughout the living room. Yi Wenqing was stunned, falling directly from the sofa to the ground. When she came to her senses, she felt a burning pain. Half of her face was swollen. I think I warned you before, don't cause trouble in my house. Can't you understand human language? You, you. Yi Wenqing trembled with anger, but she had nothing to say. Living in my house, it's because of my wife Yi Shu Erong's face that I took you in. If it weren't for her, you would have been kicked out long ago. If you don't know how to appreciate, don't blame me for being rude. After scolding angrily, Yang Chen didn't even bother to look at her and turned back to the room. Yi Wenqing was ashamed and angry. She had never experienced such humiliation from childhood to adulthood. This guy actually doesn't fall for this? Upon learning all this, Hao Hongqin and Yi Mingshan were also extremely surprised. Is this guy's character so upright? He doesn't even fall for such temptation? Mom, this guy is really weird. I did that, and he still didn't take the bait. Yu Wenqing said angrily, with an ice pack still on her face from Yang Chen's slap. It seems we need to think of other ways. Anyway, we must break them up. Hao Hongqin swore. Enough, I think we should stop stirring up trouble and calm down. Yi Mingshan couldn't bear it and said. He also had to maintain some dignity, and he now felt that letting his daughter do such things was not right. But Hao Hongqin didn't care. She was a person with no bottom line at all. This guy is stepping on us like this, can you bear it? I don't care, if we don't kick him out, I swear I won't be human. After the last falling out, Yang Chen had already left the Yi family group and had long stopped being a so-called debt collector. So he returned to his idle life. However, he had many things to do recently, such as today when he was going to meet Long San to discuss the recent underground boxing matches. Every once in a while, there would be a boxing match in the underground circle, where various forces from the underground circle would come with their top fighters to compete and show their strength. This was a tradition that had been formed over many years. After all, it was no longer the era of gang fights, even in the underground circle, but they could still showcase their power through boxing matches. Therefore, each underground boxing match would attract a large group of people from the underworld, and the most powerful figures would come. Yang Chen went directly to find Long San at his headquarters, which was the Seahorse nightclub controlled by Long San. This was a high-end nightclub in Gautan, with very expensive consumption, and the hostesses inside were all valuable, with the top ones costing up to a million. When Yang Chen arrived, he startled Long San, thinking he had come to deal with him, but he breathed a sigh of relief when he realized he had already submitted to the other party. Seeing this figure, he was on edge at all times. How will the boxing match be arranged? 
Sir, don't worry, we will send out the strongest fighters. I have many excellent fighters under my command who can definitely be of great use. When he heard that Yang Chen had come to ask about this matter, he breathed a sigh of relief and said confidently. Who are they? Let me see. Yang Chen raised his eyebrows. Long San took a deep breath and immediately called his top fighter over. A burly man in a suit walked over, exuding a strong aura in front of Yang Chen. Yang Chen could feel the martial arts aura emanating from him, but he was still too weak. Come on, hit me and see how strong you are. Yang Chen said directly. Ha! Huh? The fighter was confused. Don't understand? Remember, use all your strength, no holding back. Yang Chen's words made the fighter a little stunned. What are you waiting for? Do as the boss says. Long San immediately shouted. The fighter dared not hesitate, took a deep breath, shouted loudly, and threw a punch. After all, he was also a martial artist. Under such provocation from others, he naturally wouldn't hold back any strength. Everyone wants to prove themselves. Unfortunately, when this punch hit Yang Chen, there was hardly any sound. It was completely muffled, as if hitting the ground. The fighter took several steps back, and when he stood firm, his hand bones were completely broken. And Yang Chen stood as steady as a pine tree, unmoving. It was as if nothing had happened at all. Just this little strength? Not enough. He shook his head. Carry on. Useless. Long San immediately ordered. He knew how terrifying Yang Chen was, and this time once again confirmed the terrifying strength of this person. The advanced bodyguards he spent millions on each year were no match for him. I'll arrange for people myself. I will find some real masters, but remember one thing, you must call all the people in the circle, don't miss any gang. I understand. I will definitely do as instructed. Long San said respectfully. After explaining this matter, Yang Chen left the Seahorse nightclub. But Yang Chen had no idea that his departure was actually seen by another person from a distance. That person was his other sister-in-law, Yi Lin Lin. Yi Lin Lin came out to play with some friends today, and came to the nightclub at night. Just as she arrived at the entrance, she unexpectedly ran into him. She was extremely surprised, for a moment she thought she was mistaken, how could someone like Yang Chen afford to be here? But she was sure she wasn't mistaken, it was him. Immediately she had an idea. Her reaction was quick, she took out her phone and started taking pictures of him. When Xing, I heard that the family is trying to find a way to divorce Yang Chen and Yi Xu Erong. Soon, Yi Lin Lin called Yi Wenching. Yes. Sister, do you have any good ideas? Of course, let me tell you a secret, I saw Yang Chen at the Seahorse nightclub. Yi Lin Lin's tone was mysterious. What? He actually went to that kind of place? Are you sure you didn't see it wrong, sister? Yi Wenching was extremely surprised. The Seahorse nightclub is such an expensive place, how could a poor guy like Yang Chen afford to go there? Of course. If Yi Xu Erong knows about this, won't she make a scene with him? Hearing this, Yi Wenching became excited. And she was secretly surprised that this guy actually had so much money in his hands, he was actually hiding it. Soon, Yi Lin Lin sent the photos to Yi Wenching. The Yi family was very excited. Now they had something to hold against him. That night, the family mysteriously called Yi Xu Erong into the room and showed her the photos. And they exaggeratedly talked about all the bad things about Yang Chen. At first, Yi Xu Erong couldn't believe it, but looking at the photos, she had no choice but to accept the truth. What could a man do in such a messy place like a nightclub? The moment Yi Xu Erong saw the photos, she felt heartbroken. She never expected that one day Yang Chen would do this. Under the siege of her family, Yi Xu Erong reluctantly agreed to talk to Yang Chen tonight. When Yang Chen returned home in the evening, he saw the whole family sitting in the living room, waiting for him early. The difference this time from before was that Yi Xu Erong was actually among them. Yang Chen had a bad feeling in his heart. Husband, have you been hiding something from me recently? Yi Xu Erong looked at Yang Chen, before he could ask, she forced herself to remain calm. 
In fact, deep down, she was already feeling like crying. Ha! Huh? No, not at all. Yang Chen was confused, had his secret been discovered? But, with so many secrets, which one did she find out? You're lying, aren't you? Yi Shuerong was extremely sad. She wanted to give Yang Chen a chance to admit it himself, but he was still lying. Indeed, men can turn bad. It's just a matter of time. Wife, are you talking about? I'm talking about you going to the nightclub. Last night. You're not going to deny it, are you? At this moment, Hao Hongqin couldn't help but interject coldly. Yang Chen reacted after a moment, then realized what she was talking about. Oh no, was it because his wife saw him going to that crappy place to find Long San last night? Huh, you still want to deny it, don't you? Lin Lin took photos of you. You really have thick skin. Seeing Yang Chen's reaction, Yu Wenqing immediately chimed in. Yang Chen understood. So it was that bitch spreading gossip in between, but this kind of thing, he really can't blame their family, this matter would cause a scene in any family. It's really hard to explain this time. Wife, it's not what you think. Oh? What do I think? You just went in to take a look? Didn't spend any money? Let me tell you, Seahorse Nightclub, non-members can't even get in. What else do you want to deny? Yi Wenching kept pressing on relentlessly. Making the situation worse and worse. Yang Chen looked at Yi Wenching's eyes, almost spitting fire. This matter was already difficult to explain, and with her adding fuel to the fire, it became even harder to defend himself. Does this family have to break them up to feel comfortable? Yi Wenching was a little scared by Yang Chen's eyes and couldn't help but shrink back. Rong Rong, don't you believe me either? Yang Chen paused for a moment, looking at Yi Shuerong's eyes. Yang Chen, tell me, what did you go there for? Yi Shuerong's eyes were a little red, she said softly. Looking at Yang Chen with her eyes. I? Yang Chen was speechless. Should he tell her that he went to negotiate with a big shot in the underworld? His plan was to eliminate all the gangs and clean up the underground circles? These were things he couldn't say. At least not now. I will tell you everything at the right time. Yang Chen said very seriously. Wait? Ha, ah, you really know how to talk. If we hadn't found you today, who knows how many times you've been there. Still waiting? Waiting until you bring back the wild woman from outside? Hao Hongqin said a bunch of vicious words just to prevent Yang Chen from explaining. Yang Chen clenched his fists. Yang Chen, I want to be alone. Yi Shuerong lowered her head, wiping away tears. Alone? I want to move out. Yi Shuerong replied. What? Before Yang Chen could speak, Hao Hongqin and the others couldn't sit still. Move out? Daughter, it's him who betrayed you. Besides, this house is yours. Hao Hongqin said anxiously. This was not the result she wanted. Mom, please stop. Where else can Yang Chen go? Yi Shuerong said firmly. Even at this time, she still cared about Yang Chen. Rong Rong, don't go anywhere, I'll go back to the old house tonight, and we can talk when you calm down. Yang Chen spoke up. Hao Hongqin and the others succeeded. They really drove Yang Chen out. The family was overjoyed. Except for Yi Shuerong, who was heartbroken, the three of them in the living room watched Yang Chen leave. They were so happy that they didn't know their own last name. Oomph, dare to go against our family? This is the consequence. Yi Shuerong was heartbroken, she wanted to rush over to stop him, but was stopped by the family. She could only sit on the sofa, burying her head in tears. Yang Chen returned to the old rundown neighborhood, sat on a bench by the roadside, took out a cigarette from his pocket and lit it. The fact that Yi Shuerong was heartbroken was the most painful thing for him. He did everything to make her happy. But things turned out like this. The Yi family had completely entered Yang Chen's blacklist this time. There would be no next time. He would not tolerate them anymore. After repairing his relationship with Yi Shuerong, 
he must severely punish these trash. The cold neighborhood echoed his mood. Suddenly, a person walked towards him, holding a short dagger in his hand. A sinister smile on his face. Who are you? Yang Chen looked at the person in front of him, his eyes as cold as frost. Oh, it's necessary for you to know. I will make everyone who died under my hands understand who killed them. Listen, my underworld code name is Tiger Shark, ranked 133rd on the assassin list. The man looked at Yang Chen with a condescending attitude. As if his words were enough to scare the other party. Are you here to kill me? Yang Chen asked. Exactly. The man looked at Yang Chen with a face of disdain and ease. He felt that this guy must be pretending to be calm. His heart was already trembling. What he liked most was to play with his prey. Making the deceased feel pain, fear, and torment before death was his greatest pleasure. Yang Chen just nodded and said, Go ahead. There is no greater sorrow than a heart that is dead. Having hurt Yi Shu Erong's heart, he really wanted to die. If this person could really do it, it would also relieve his worries. The tiger shark, seeing the man's indifferent attitude in front of him, was secretly shocked. Is there really someone who is not afraid of death? He was very angry at that moment. Look, I won't let you die easily, I will definitely torture you to the point of wishing for death. He clenched the dagger tightly and launched a sudden attack. That speed was not something an ordinary person could achieve, a ghostly speed of striking. The moment the stab went out was less than a tenth of a second. In that instant, the tiger shark already felt that the man in front of him was a waste. His knife was aimed at Yang Chen's left abdomen. But at the moment the tip of the knife pierced Yang Chen's skin, it stopped. Unable to move forward at all. He was stunned. Iron, iron cloth shirt? The tiger shark took two steps back, somewhat surprised. He had already seen that Yang Chen was skilled, but he didn't expect that he had trained his iron cloth shirt to such a terrifying level. Invulnerable to swords and spears. Not even he had reached this level. His eyes began to show fear. What? Can't kill me, huh? Then it's my turn. Yang Chen threw away the cigarette in his hand and stood up. The man took a step back in fear, staring at Yang Chen intently, his whole body tense. At a time when he was in a very bad mood, this person actually dared to provoke him and even threatened to kill him. There was no choice but to say that this guy was really unlucky. On the other side, Zhao Wan and Zhang Da were gathered together. Zhao Wan still had heavy bandages on his shoulders. The tiger shark had shown restraint with that knife, otherwise, it could have crippled him. The experience in the provincial capital that day still made Zhao Wan grit his teeth. The prestigious Gautan family was actually humiliated like this by someone? But, at the thought that this tiger-like person could help him kill Yang Chen, he could only endure it for the time being. If this assassin didn't see something in him, I would have to find someone to take him out too. Zhao Wen gritted his teeth. In fact, he knew he didn't have the ability. It was just to save face. Zheng Dao immediately advised on the side, this assassin is really powerful, do you think anyone can deal with him? Only someone like him can kill Yang Chen. Zhao Wen was a bit annoyed, looked at the time, and asked, now, that guy should have started, right? Yes. By now, Yang Chen is probably already a corpse. Zheng Dao looked at his watch and immediately felt proud. Getting rid of this big trouble, both of them were very satisfied. By the way, how are your negotiations with the Mu Rong group going? Zhao Wen suddenly asked. For Zhao and Zhang's families, the newly emerged Mu Rong group was a huge threat. It was a powerful enterprise that could reshuffle the deck in Gautan City. Faced with this extremely powerful new group, they knew they had to choose to cooperate, it was the only way out. It's almost done, the senior management on the other side agreed to meet us tomorrow. Speaking of this, Zheng Dao was excited. Being able to meet such big shots was definitely an opportunity to climb up. Zhao Wen was also surprised, it's too coincidental, I also have an appointment with them tomorrow. Let's go together to negotiate with the Mu Rong group. Great, let's join hands and make big money. Ha ha ha. 
Zheng Da clapped his hands in joy, feeling that an opportunity was right in front of them. Early the next morning, Zhao Wen and Zhang Da were neatly dressed and headed towards the Mu Rong group in a dignified manner, accompanied by their subordinates. Today was a big day for them, the perfect time to negotiate cooperation with the Mu Rong group. With their entourage of Mercedes-Benz cars, they arrived in a grand manner. Parked in front, their presence was imposing. You two are here quite early. Please come inside. The person welcoming them at the door was He Jin In. There was no grand reception, only He Jin In and one of his subordinates. They appeared rather indifferent, as if in a bad mood. Mr. He, good morning. All right, let's go in. The two individuals greeted the deputy general manager of Mu Rong Group with great respect. He Jinin's status in the business community of Gautan City was extraordinary, as he was a business tycoon from the capital. To willingly serve as a deputy in this company indicated the great attraction the company held for them. Wait, Mr. He, aren't you the one negotiating with us today? As they were about to enter, the two suddenly realized this. Today, that gentleman wants to meet you in person. He Jinin remained expressionless. Upon hearing this, the two were taken aback. They both knew who that gentleman was referring to. The behind-the-scenes boss of Mu Rong Group. To have such a significant opportunity today? Both of them were excited. Leaving their subordinates waiting outside, the two eagerly entered the company. They took the elevator and arrived at the meeting room door. With anxious hearts, the two gently pushed open the door. Inside, a figure with their back turned to them was sitting on the sofa opposite. From behind, the figure exuded an imposing aura, tall in stature, clearly a formidable character. The two stood respectfully there, politely saying, Hello, leader, we are the heads of the Zhao and Zhang families, here to discuss cooperation with you. The sofa chair slowly turned around, revealing a man who looked at them with a cold smile. Here you are, both of you? Ah, what? Zhao Wen and Zhang Da were shocked as if struck by lightning. They shuddered all over. It's, you, this can't be. The two were almost going crazy. The person in front of them was actually, their archenemy. The enemy they could never reconcile with. Yang Chen. Seeing him, Zhao Wen gritted his teeth in hatred, the resentment of his son's death surging instantly. He exclaimed, you're not dead? What, you didn't come to see me today? How would you see me if I were dead? Right? Yang Chen said with a cold smile. The two were startled, you mean, you're. They already understood in their hearts, but they were unwilling to admit this fact. The lofty figure in their minds, the mastermind behind Mu Rong Group, was this Yang Chen they wanted to kill? Now you understand? Come, take a look at this, maybe you'll recognize it. With that, Yang Chen tossed a black plastic bag over. It landed with a thud in front of them. The two took a step back in fright. Then, cautiously, they approached and tentatively opened a corner of the plastic bag. Ah! They jumped in shock. Inside, there was the head of the assassin they had found before. The face was contorted, too gruesome to look at, evidently tortured cruelly before death. You sent this trash to kill me? What were you thinking? Should I say you're naive, or you don't know any better? Yang Chen seemed somewhat helpless as he spoke, playing with a pen in his hand. The two were almost scared out of their wits. Now, they finally understood the extent of the person they had offended. They were truly afraid. Completely terrified of Yang Chen. What, what do you want? The two trembled uncontrollably feeling a chill being in the same room with such a terrifying devil. Especially Zhang Dao, who could barely stand, the two huddled together, shivering. What do I want? Shouldn't you be asking yourselves that? Yang Chen's eyes suddenly flashed with cold light, glaring fiercely at them. Sending assassins to deal with me repeatedly? If I don't deal with you, are you going to heaven? Yang Chen coldly questioned. The two dared not even make a sound. Zheng Da, do you think I don't know about your family's relationship with the former Gao Tan overlord, the Jin family? You were also involved in the plot against my Wei family back then. 
Yang Chen's tone suddenly changed dramatically, the truth, he had already found out, Zheng Da was just a small lackey back then. Although he spared his life when he wiped out the Jin family, it was only because he didn't want to slaughter all the wealthy people in Gautan. Many prominent families were implicated with the Jin family at the time, and it was impossible to eliminate all the lower-ranking soldiers and generals. Otherwise, Gautan would have no one left. But unexpectedly, this scum continued to thrive. Instead, he took the opportunity to develop into one of the three emperors of Gautan. Yang Chen had long wanted to punish him. And you, when you got involved with this thing, you were already doomed. Moreover, daring to repeatedly send assassins to deal with me is a crime that cannot be forgiven. Yang Chen stared at Zhao Wen fiercely and continued, The only value left in your remaining lives is to live well for me, until the anniversary of my Wei family next month, then I will use your heads as offerings. Before that, you are not allowed to die. Yang Chen's roar frightened them. Zheng Da had already wet his pants, and the ground was filled with a foul smell. Zhao Wen was no better off. They dared not look directly into Yang Chen's eyes, only trembling with their heads down. In the end, Yang Chen ordered them to spend two weeks reorganizing their family business and then hand over all their assets. The two of them walked into the company looking bright and beautiful, but came out looking like dogs. They stumbled out of the building and hastily got into a car, fleeing without looking back. Zheng Dao and Zhao Wen's spirit of resistance had now completely disappeared. They now realized how terrifying Yang Chen was, far beyond their imagination. They had lost a lot of financial and physical resources, and finally understood. Their opponent could easily crush them with just one finger. It was just a matter of whether he wanted to or not. In the following days, these two did not obediently comply. They were making their final struggle. Frantically transferring assets overseas, preparing to flee. The entire Gautan city was about to face a major reshuffle once again. Heroes emerge in troubled times. A new king is about to be born. These days, the person Yang Chen was most concerned about was still Yi Shu Erong. He couldn't be by her side, so he was somewhat worried. But he couldn't disturb her, he wanted her to calm down for a few days. Everything will be fine. But unexpectedly, bad news came. That day, he received a call from Jin Xiaoqing. Brother Yang Chen, Rong Rong's sister is in trouble, please come and see her. She's in the hospital now. It turned out that these days, Yi Xu Erong was so upset that she couldn't eat or sleep. She was used to having Yang Chen by her side, and suddenly missing that person, how could she feel good? In addition, the recent work pressure was extremely high, the project was at a critical moment, and Yi Xu Erong was responsible for every detail, working tirelessly. She was almost busy until late at night every day. That day at the company, she finally collapsed. When she went to the pantry to get water, her vision went black, and she fainted. This time, Yi Xu Erong actually remained unconscious for a day and a night. After being taken to the hospital, the doctors couldn't find the cause at all. In the end, they could only maintain her with intravenous fluids. When this incident spread, people were discussing it one after another. Unfortunately, there were no people who truly cared about her. When discussing this matter, everyone's comments were extremely cold. Do you think Yi Xu Erong won't wake up this time? Yi Lin Lin said maliciously. She was very happy in her heart, wishing that Yi Xu Erong would die so that there would be one less competitor in the family. Yi Wenqing also added, Sister, even if she doesn't die this time, she's probably going to be a vegetable. She's exhausted every day, not eating, who knows what strange illness she has. Oof, it's really a stroke of luck for me too. Yi Lin Lin said smugly. She had been looking forward to this day. On the other hand, Hao Hongqin and Yi Mingshan were also discussing this matter. If Yi Xu Erong doesn't wake up this time, does that mean the house will belong to us completely? What are you saying, after all, she's our daughter? Yi Mingshan couldn't bear to hear it. What's the rush? Didn't I say if? If we get the house, we won't have to worry about that guy Yang Chen eyeing it. Hao Hongqin calculated happily. She had never cared about her daughter, even if it was a matter of life and death, she always put her own interests first. Yi Mingshan sighed, feeling a bit helpless and unsure of what to say. 
In fact, what Hao Hongqin said reflected his own dark thoughts. He just didn't want to admit it openly. This cold-blooded family was in the middle of their conversation when suddenly, a person came from outside the hospital corridor. Yang Chen, with a tense expression and veins bulging on his forehead, rushed over and the first thing he said was, Where is my wife? Seeing Yang Chen approaching like this, everyone was startled, and Hao Hongqin immediately said, Yang Chen, how dare you ask? Our daughter Yi Xu Erong has nothing to do with you now, she has agreed to divorce you. Hao Hongqin, if you dare to sow discord again, I will definitely slap your face swollen, Yang Chen said firmly. You, how dare you call me by my name? Fine, you bastard. She was about to curse, but the dominance in Yang Chen's eyes made her shut her mouth in fear. It was so intimidating. That look made her believe strongly that Yang Chen would really hit her, and if he did, it wouldn't be light. Yang Chen, what are you doing? Rong Rong is in this state because of you. Yi Mingshan reprimanded on the side. Because of me? Ha, your family has burdened her with. All the work, can she handle it? She is a person, not a machine to make money for your family's company. If anything happens to Yi Xu Eron, I will not let you off. Yang Chen said angrily. Yang Chen's blunt words left the Yi family speechless. Yi Mingshan also knew deep down how hard Yi Xu Erong had it, deliberately burdening her with all the work. He wanted Yi Xu Erong to give up, but he didn't expect this girl to be so stubborn, actually carrying everything on her own. It ended up like this. Just then, a message from a nurse came. The patient is awake. Everyone entered the ward. Naturally, Yang Chen was the most anxious, he walked quickly to Yi Xu Erong's side. Rong Rong. Are you awake? Brother Yang Chen, is it really you? I feel so dark. I'm so scared. Yi Xu Erong said in a helpless voice. These words left everyone stunned. So dark? What did Yi Xu Erong mean by that? The room was brightly lit, all the lights were on. Yang Chen's heart clenched, a bad feeling creeping in. Wife, can't you see anymore? This question also surprised everyone present. Yi Xu Erong looked blank, her eyes devoid of light, just shaking her head, I don't know, everything in front of me is just black. Her eyes stared into emptiness, without focus. Yang Chen felt his heart shrink. He was out of breath. Yi Xu Erong, because of work and sadness, had finally worn herself out. She had actually gone blind. He hadn't taken care of her properly. He felt deeply guilty. Yi Xu Erong, are you blind? At this moment, Yi Linlin asked maliciously. Yang Chen turned around, glaring at her, get out. Yi Linlin was startled, his gaze could really kill. She didn't dare to stay there, but before leaving, she still said defiantly, humph, I don't want to stay here either. Husband, I'm so scared. Yi Xu Erong said with a trembling voice. Yang Chen hugged her tightly. Don't be afraid, I will make you better, I promise, Yang Chen said earnestly. He meant it. Brother Yang Chen, I miss you. Yi Xu Erong didn't say anything else, just kept hugging Yang Chen. I realized how much I rely on you after not seeing you for a day. These past two days, I've been crying at home every day. Yi Xu Erong sobbed. Rong Rong, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done those things but you have to understand that I had my reasons. There are things I didn't tell you for your own good. Yang Chen's heart was as if being twisted by a knife, explaining like this. Sometimes, he really couldn't help but want to say everything about himself. But he still restrained himself. I believe it's all my fault. I can't believe I distrusted you like that. Come back, come back home. I can't live without you, Yi Xu Erong cried. Okay, Yang Chen said only this one word. Sometimes, a word is worth more than a thousand words. Yi Xu Erong and Yang Chen thus restored their relationship. She wanted Yang Chen to come back home, and this time, the Yi family couldn't stop them. They could only watch as Yang Chen returned to this home. At the same time, under Yang Chen's insistence, Yi Xu Erong was brought back home. He never trusted those so-called hospital doctors. Moreover, Yi Xu Erong's strange illness left even the doctors at major hospitals helpless. 
they couldn't find any cause at all. Yang Chen decided that he had to rely on his own medical skills to cure Yi Xu Erong's eyes. Originally, when Yi Mingshan heard that Yang Chen was taking Yi Xu Erong out of the hospital, he was very dissatisfied, thinking it was reckless. Letting Yang Chen treat the illness, isn't that nonsense? What kind of illness can he cure? But how Hong Qin immediately persuaded him isn't it more beneficial for the family if Yi Xu Erong, who is blind, returns home? Thinking of this, he remains silent. They all thought that Yang Chen treating Yi Xu Erong's illness was absurd and never believed that Yang Chen had the ability. So, they were just waiting for Yi Xu Erong's eyes not to be cured, making her completely disabled. This way, the family would be rid of an obstacle. Because after Yi Xu Erong went blind, her work was completely put on hold. For the Yi family, this was a great opportunity. By changing the person in charge of the project, wouldn't Morong group have nothing more to say? Would they let a blind person continue to be in charge? Definitely not. Yi Linlin thought so too, she was already impatient, waiting for the project to return to her hands. Seizing this great opportunity to quickly squeeze out Yi Xu Erong was the right thing to do. However, before they could act, Morong Group announced that the cooperative project was suspended. And they declared that they would wait until the person in charge's condition fully recovered before continuing the project in the northern city. The Yi family was also at a loss. They didn't understand why Morong Group valued her so much. Was she indispensable? It was simply unbelievable. But they had no other choice, after all, it was Morong Group, whatever they said was final. Who would dare to say otherwise? After Yang Chen returned to the villa in Nanshan, he found that there was an extra person in the house. It was a young girl who looked about 16 or 17 years old. Surprisingly thin. Upon inquiry, he found out that she was the maid hired by the family just two days ago. It wasn't surprising for the Yi family, who were so fond of luxury, to hire a maid. Moreover, the S villa was so big that it really needed someone specifically to clean it. Besides, these days Yi Xu Erong was sick and needed someone to take care of her. Girl, how old are you to start working? Yang Chen looked at the girl with some concern. She seemed too young. Brother, I'm already 18. Don't believe me, I can show you my ID, the girl said anxiously. She seemed afraid of losing her job opportunity. Yang Chen sighed. This girl had it tough. She was only this age and already working as a maid in someone else's house. She was very cute, but just thin and dark, clearly not eating much, probably malnourished, and must have done a lot of work. Those rough hands could prove everything. After asking, Yang Chen learned that her name was July, a very nice name. July, why don't? You go to college? At your age, shouldn't you be enjoying your youth on campus? When this was mentioned, July lowered her head. Our family is poor, we can't afford it, so I had to start working early to help my family. Hearing this, Yang Chen felt a bit sorry for her. Li July, are you slacking off again? Did you come to our house to chat? If you don't want to work, then get out. At this moment, a fierce voice came from the side, scolding her without any face. Sorry, auntie, I'll go work now. July was so scared by how Hongqin's scolding that she immediately picked up the mop and started mopping the floor. She didn't dare to say another word. Yang Chen frowned with disgust, staring at how Hongqin. If someone talks to me, do you have to scold them? Do you think you're so great because you're spending money? What, I spend money, so I can't scold? Did I hire a maid or a nanny? Hao Hongqin said sharply. Yang Chen clenched his fists. Hao Hongqin was actually provoking him. It seemed like she was scolding Li July, but in reality, she was targeting Yang Chen. And Hao, brother Yang, please don't argue. It's my fault, I won't do this again in the future. Li July kept apologizing. Seeing her like this, Yang Chen relaxed his clenched fists. This girl was too pitiful. She shouldn't have to endure this at her own home. Later, after questioning her, he found out that the Yi family only paid Li July 2,000 yuan a month. Even with meals and accommodation included, this amount was too low. Where can you find a full-time maid this cheap nowadays? 
Yang Chen understood why Hao Hongqin hired her, it was to take advantage of this naive girl who didn't know anything. This way, she could easily boss her around and pay her less than others. Hao Hongqin's plan was cunning. After Hao Hongqin smugly left, Yang Chen took a deep breath, calmed himself down, and then said to Li July, July, can you bear this? I advise you to go work elsewhere, you'll definitely earn more. Yang Chen's words were sincere. But Li July misunderstood him, she dropped the mop, nervously grabbed Yang Chen's arm, and begged, Brother, please don't make me leave, I will work hard, it doesn't matter if Auntie and Miss scold me. I don't feel wronged. Yang Chen sighed. Forget it, he should protect this girl himself for now. If she encountered another evil person outside, who knows if anyone would be able to help her. During this period, since Yi Xu Erong went blind, her mentality had calmed down a lot, and she could easily put work matters aside. At first, she was still worried, but Yang Chen told her that Mu Rong Group had agreed to suspend the project, which relieved her. Yang Chen had already figured out the cause of Yi Xu Erong's illness. After taking her pulse, he asked if she had been poisoned as a child. How did you know, Brother Yang? Yi Xu Erong was surprised. When she was seven years old, she was bitten by a snake while playing in the countryside with her family. She had been unconscious for a few days, and when she woke up, her body didn't have any major problems, so she didn't think much of it. Yang Chen determined that the toxin must have accumulated in her body, and this prolonged exhaustion had triggered it, causing harm to her eyes. This disease was not difficult to treat, but it would take some time. And it required some very rare herbs. Yang Chen called Wolf Girl, help me find two types of medicine, Tianwenji and Changming Kao. These two Chinese medicines were extremely rare, not only on the market but even in high-end herbal circles, they were very hard to come by, almost unheard of. However, the Wolf Girl calmly replied, yes, I will arrange it immediately. Whatever Yang Chen needed, she could provide as much as he wanted. She could even bring it as food. By the way, it's been 10 days now, how are those martial arts disciples doing? Yang Chen asked again. The two new brothers are training very well and very strictly. Those who should be eliminated have already been eliminated, and the ones left are truly talented and capable. Following your orders, a total of 100 disciples have been selected. The wolf girl answered respectfully. Initially, the two assassins, fat and thin, whom Yang Chen had taken in, were training new recruits very diligently at the martial arts hall. They couldn't have dreamed that they would have the opportunity to work directly for that important person. This was something they had never dared to dream of before. With such an opportunity, how could they not cherish it? They would rather go without food or drink to complete the tasks assigned to them by Yang Chen. After the hellish training, the remaining 100 people can be said to have emerged from the gates of hell, with spirits and bodies as tough as tigers and leopards. It can be said that they have truly reached the pinnacle of the high-level martial arts circle. They are no longer the disciples of martial arts schools with empty reputations. Good, out of these 100 people, pick 10 elites for me. I will need them tomorrow night, Yang Chen arranged. The boxing match is about to begin. The entire underground world of Gautan City is restless, with various gang leaders unable to contain themselves. Through this boxing match, some gangs can establish their status overnight, while others may see their myths shattered and fall from grace. It's all very common. After all, this is the annual event of the underground circle. A true display of power. The boxing match is held at the Jianghu Bar, and the annual event takes place there as well. At this moment, many luxury cars are parked outside, and inside the venue, many underground big shots have gathered, each one extremely powerful and influential figures in the circle. On the surface, everyone is chatting and laughing with each other, but secretly, no one is willing to yield to anyone. They are all waiting for the competition later to show off properly. Long San, I heard you recently acknowledged a big brother? What's this, are you willingly being someone else's lackey, someone teased Long San nearby? This incident caused quite a stir in. Gautan and people in the underground circle were very surprised. Such a big shot actually became someone else's underling? They thought Long San must be finished now, getting older and unable to keep up with the times. That's why he went to hang out with someone else. 
Whether I acknowledge a big brother or not is none of your business, got it? Big gun? Long San replied impatiently. Staring at the guy nicknamed Big Gun. He was also a big shot on the street, on par with him. The two of them had never gotten along well. Damn, you're still pretending? Look at you, getting more and more cowardly, you're fucking regressing. I think in a couple of days, you might as well be my lackey, better than some inexplicable people outside. Inexplicable? Ha, uh, you're really asking for it. My big brother is not someone to joke about. Long Sen coldly snorted. His tone was full of boundless confidence. Is that so? How awesome is he? He calls himself Yama, I call myself the Jade Emperor. Ridiculous. Big Gun said, laughing along with others. Everyone now looked down on Long San. They didn't respect his behavior at all. Long San felt a fire burning inside but could do nothing about it. After all, he used to be a big shot on the street, and now he was being mocked like this. No one respected him at all? He just hoped that the expert his boss sent this time was reliable, otherwise, he would truly have no face in the underground world of Gautan. Inside the venue, each big shot brought their best fighters, people they had spent a lot of money specially training. Half of the martial artists from East Sea were now gathered here. Seeing the fighters brought by those people, Long San also felt nervous. He was worried that his boss might underestimate the situation. The people gathered here were all ruthless characters. Just then, Yang Chen finally entered. Behind him were ten martial arts disciples dressed in white gowns, with wolf-like eyes and expressionless faces. They walked with great momentum, exuding a fierce aura. As soon as they entered, several security guards surrounded them, wanting to stop them, but before the guards could get close, the people behind Yang Chen pushed them away with a wave of their hands, causing all the guards to stumble back several meters. Seeing this scene, all the big shots were no longer calm. Who is this? So arrogant? Stirring up trouble as soon as they arrive? Not showing them any respect? Where are you from? Do you know what kind of occasion this is? Who gave you the guts to barge in like this? Someone immediately questioned. The venue was silent, with everyone glaring angrily at Yang Chen. Ordinary people would have been scared, but Yang Chen remained unfazed and even pulled up a chair to sit down. The martial arts disciples behind him immediately stood in formation, exuding a powerful aura. Big brother, you finally arrived. Long San hurried over and greeted respectfully. Oh, so this is the big brother you recognize? Ah, uh, quite arrogant, huh? The crowd was surprised to hear this. Is this guy really from the martial arts world? He doesn't look like it at all. Did you just pick him up off the street? The big cannon mocked. Everyone was disdainful, as Yang Chen didn't have the air of the underworld and seemed different from them. Long San paid no attention to them. Looking at the people behind the leader, he noticed that there were quite a few, but why did they look so familiar? Long San wasn't the only one who felt this familiarity. These people, aren't they the bunch of losers from the Maple Forest Martial Arts Hall? Someone recognized them. These trash only dare to intimidate the foolish rich people in high society. We in the underground circle are the real experts. I advise you to take your trash and leave now, don't embarrass yourselves later. The big cannon laughed. The people in the venue were also extremely disdainful. Yang Chen's lips curled slightly. Don't worry, you will soon see their level. These ten people had gone through a hellish ten days to break through the siege. These ten days felt like ten years, and ordinary people would have a hard time enduring even a minute. Now, they had not only improved their skills but also their overall mental and spiritual state, entering a new realm. Seeing Yang Chen's confidence, the leaders were even more displeased. If it weren't for the rules, they would have ordered their men to attack him right away. Alright, since that's the case, let's not waste any more time, let's begin. The host of this event was the leader of the Black Hawk Gang, known as Black Master. His position in Gautman was also formidable, and even Long San had to show some respect to him. This competition venue was his territory, and the Jianghu Bar was his establishment. As soon as he spoke, the competition officially began. 
In the first round, they arranged for Yang Chen's people to compete. This was intentional, as they wanted to crush his prestige early on. Everyone was well aware of the limited skills of the Maple Forest Martial Arts Hall. The father and son from the Shan family were deceivers, so what abilities could their disciples have? Everyone was eager to challenge Yang Chen's people, hoping to beat them down hard. Underground boxing matches were extremely dark, with no rules when it came to fighting, and there were deaths every year. Losing on stage meant either death or severe injury, as these were all a group of bloodthirsty lunatics. When they sent out Yang Chen, he casually gestured, and two disciples immediately went forward. It was a two-on-two -two match. I'll send two to play first, feel free to send more. Yang Chen said with a slight smile. This indifferent attitude further infuriated everyone, and one person in the audience shouted, Come, I'll have my men face you. This person was the leader of the fierce tiger gang, Tiger Master. Two burly men stepped forward from behind him, muscular and experienced fighters. The fierce tiger gang's fighters were not to be underestimated, ranking among the best in the city. Seeing them, the spectators below were secretly excited, eager to see how these two maple forest. Martial Arts Hall disciples would be beaten. I'll give you two a chance, kneel down now and beg for mercy, so your deaths won't be so ugly later. The two strong men flexed their fists, wearing cold smiles as they taunted their opponents. The martial arts disciples were familiar with the underground circle of Gautan and knew that they would have been terrified of the fierce tiger gang in the past. But now, things were different. Their courage was no longer the same as before, they were not only fearless, but rather excited. They didn't speak, just stared at the two people in front of them with wolf-like eyes. After the four people stood on the stage, the referee blew the whistle and the match began. The two members of the fierce tiger gang were irritated by the gaze of these two individuals, roared angrily, and pounced on them directly. It seemed like they intended to end the fight quickly. The two individuals didn't move at all until the others approached, then suddenly dodged. Their reaction speed was astonishing. They then launched a direct attack from the side, aiming for vital points. The force was explosive. The two burly men from the fierce tiger gang didn't have a chance to retaliate and were knocked down heavily by the two individuals. The two individuals showed no mercy, each focusing on their prey and launching a fierce attack. It was extremely brutal. At first, there were cries of pain, but gradually the sounds faded away until there was silence. The two disciples of the fierce tiger gang who were disabled were thrown down like that. Everyone was stunned. Tiger Lord, Black Lord, Big Cannon. Everyone present widened their eyes. Weren't these people just the trash from the Maple Forest Martial Arts School? How could they become so strong? This doesn't make sense. Did these people suddenly experience something? Awakened? Yang Chen looked very satisfied, yes, the training was indeed effective. He knew that these people had more skills than what they showed, and with continued training, their future looked promising. The two individuals sent by the Tiger Lord of the Fierce Tiger Gang were the strongest fighters. Even these two were defeated, leaving him dumbfounded. Keep coming at me. Who else? Black Lord became anxious and shouted without hesitation. Other gangs couldn't stand by and also sent people to confront these individuals from the Maple Forest Martial Arts School. What was originally a boxing match for the entire underground society had now turned into a series of matches against the disciples of the Maple Forest Martial Arts School. Each gang took turns sending their strongest fighters to battle against them. No one wanted to easily let this newcomer take the upper hand. However, reality was cruel. One by one, the fighters they sent were defeated, carried away with broken arms and legs. The number of defeated fighters kept increasing. Finally, no one dared to boast anymore. The arena fell silent. Anyone else planning to come? Yang Chen looked at these big shots of society, mockingly asking. He and his ten men had defeated hundreds of martial arts experts brought by them. With everyone already defeated by them, who else could step up? No one said a word, silently fearful. Oh, since no one else is coming, does that mean I've won? Yang Chen asked again. Still, no one dared to respond. They were resentful and afraid to confront this person. Just now, 
his subordinates had shown remarkable strength, quite terrifying. Who would dare to look down on him? Black Lord gritted his teeth, extremely displeased, but the fact was right in front of them. They really couldn't beat him. Yang Chen adjusted his collar, stood up, and said, let me say a few words. Today, I came here to announce something. I am establishing a new force in Gauten called the Yen Luo Gang. The core principle of our gang is very simple, to become the biggest. In the underground world of Gautan, there can only be one gang in the future, and that will be mine. As for you miscellaneous gangs, you have a choice to make. Join me and be my underlings, or wait to be taken down by me. You have three days to decide, no extensions. After arrogantly stating his words, Yang Chen left the boxing arena with his disciples, leaving behind a group of stiff-faced big shots of society. Now, it was Long San's turn to be smug. Hee <laughs> hee, take your time to consider, everyone. No need to rush, one night is enough for you to think it over. Seeing these arrogant individuals who had just been bold in front of him now looking dejected, he felt extremely pleased. I have to say, your people can't take a hit. TSK TSK. Just raising a bunch of useless people, and they dare to boast? My big brother just casually sent some of his newly trained recruits to play around. Long San casually boasted, not realizing that what he said was true. This statement shocked everyone even more. What? If what Long San said is true, then this person's strength is truly unimaginable. They finally understood why Long San was willing to be a follower. These people were scared. Overnight, the underground world was in turmoil. Some ran away, some surrendered. The previously famous underground bosses were now in disarray. Yang Chen's appearance was truly a game changer, catching them off guard. As Yang Chen's representative in the underground circle, Long San suddenly became prominent. Many small factions flocked to him, seeking his support. His territory expanded instantly, and he rose to power in Gautan. The Yen Luo gang quickly made a name for themselves overnight, and everyone in the underworld remembered this terrifying name. However, not all of these thugs and gangsters were willing to submit obediently. After all, they were used to being arrogant leaders in society. A group of people gathered in the middle of the night, led by Hei Yi, Hu Yi, and De Pao, discussing countermeasures at the Jianghu bar overnight. Hei Yi, are we really going to let this guy step on us? De Pao asked unwillingly. Hei Yi spat, damn it, he just has a few tough guys under him, that's all. Just based on that, it's not enough to dominate Gao Tan. Exactly. Want to. Establish dominance in the underground world, it's not just about fists. Without connections, do they think they can stand firm with just a few thugs? Right. There are plenty of tough guys. Aren't they all working for us as followers? The crowd echoed Hei Ye's words. They felt he made sense. After discussing, they ultimately decided to join forces against Yang Chen. They must take down this person. I may not have anything else, but I have a lot of money. That guy hires a few thugs and thinks he's great? Then I'll use money to poach them. I don't believe these martial artists are loyal to people, only to money? Hey Yi said smugly. Hey Yi, that's brilliant. This move is ruthless, someone immediately praised beside him. Their tone was quite sinister. These people doing shady business had enough money to crush someone to death. They believed that even if that guy had strong financial resources, could he really resist the entire underground circle on his own? Dig up all your thugs, let's see how you can still be arrogant. Early one morning, Yang Chen heard Hao Hongqin arguing in the kitchen. It seemed she was scolding Li Chou Yuan again. Yang Chen approached and listened carefully to what she was saying, and he understood the situation. You've only been here for a few days? And you're asking for time off? What do you think our home is? You want to come and go as you please? You have no respect, right? Hao Hongqin's words were very harsh. But Li Chou Yuai was still pleading, Aunt Qin, there is a real emergency at home, my father is sick, I need to go to the construction site to fill in for him this afternoon, just for this afternoon. Your family has a problem, what's that got to do with me? Do I owe you anything? 
Hao Hongqin rudely interrupted her. She didn't care at all about what Li Xiaoyue was saying. Her arrogant attitude was disgusting. Xiaoyue, if you have something to do this afternoon, go ahead and do it, no problem. Yang Chen came out and said immediately. Hao Hongqin was immediately annoyed, turned her head and glared at him, Yang Chen, are you looking for trouble? The person I hired, what does it have to do with you? Does she listen to me or to you? Yang Chen snorted coldly, you only pay her 2,000 a month, and you still dare to say that? From now on, I'll pay her 4,000 a month. I am her boss from now on, and you have no more say in this. Yang Chen said firmly. This left Hao Hongqin speechless for a moment. After two seconds of silence, she sneered and said, Hey, Yang Chen, it seems you have a lot of money, huh? You spent money at the nightclub last time, and now you're showing off here? You really have a lot of hidden money, don't you? But Yang Chen said coldly, whether I have money or not, it's none of your business. Even if I'm poor, I can still afford to pay Li Chou Yu's salary. Unlike you, who only knows how to take advantage of others. No different from a vampire. You. Hao Hongqin was so angry that she couldn't speak. This guy just came back and started picking on her. He was doing it on purpose. The nanny she hired, wasn't it just to bully her however he pleased? Why was he meddling in her affairs? He was really stepping on her toes more and more now. After Hao Hongqin angrily left, Li Chiyue whispered to Yang Chen, Brother Yang Chen, you really don't need to give me so much. 4,000 is too much. You provide me with food and lodging, and also give me so much money, how can this be? My whole family doesn't earn that much in a month. She was very touched, but she said firmly because she really felt embarrassed to let Yang Chen spend money like this. This money is what you deserve. With such a big house in my family, 4,000 yuan is already a big compromise for you. Just work hard, and I will give you a raise later. Yang Chen's voice was unquestionable. But, seeing Yang Chen so determined, she had to agree, feeling grateful inside. I won't delay too long in the afternoon, I will come early. She quickly assured Yang Chen. After Yang Chen returned to his room, Yi Shuerong asked him worriedly, Husband, did my mom bully Chou Yu out again? It's okay, I've taken care of Chou Yue. Yang Chen quickly replied. That's good. Looking at her wife's empty eyes, so pitiful and helpless, Yang Chen felt very uncomfortable. The taste of losing sight was really terrifying. Wife, I will cure your eyes soon. Hmm, I believe you, brother Yang Chen. Did you get the medicine? Yang Chen called the she-wolf to urge her. It has been shipped from a certain country, urgent delivery, it will arrive tomorrow. The she-wolf said. Good, it needs to be done quickly. By the way, sir, there have been some incidents at the martial arts gym these days. What happened? Yang Chen asked in confusion. A few people who seemed to be from the martial arts world dared to come secretly to poach our people. Many people have already left, how do you want to handle this? Should we punish a few escapees to deter them? Hearing this, Yang Chen sneered. He didn't expect those grandsons to dare to play this trick? They really had guts. However, it suited his intentions. Tell them, those who want to leave can leave, I will not stop them. Only those who are willing to stay here and sincerely want to become stronger with me have value to stay. He despised those who bowed for a little profit and didn't care about the departure of such people. It would be more advantageous for his team if they left. This time, the underground circle really spent a lot of money. They thought they had underestimated the Maple Forest Martial Arts Gym before, that these disciples actually had such strength. So they were willing to dig people over at all costs. This money spending method really worked, almost half of the disciples of the Maple Forest Martial Arts Gym came over directly under the huge temptation of money. They thought, since they had already trained themselves. With this ability, they would never go hungry wherever they went. Since there was so much money to be made, why think about anything else? But they didn't know that they had just scratched the surface. There was a huge gap between themselves and true strength. At the bar in the rivers and lakes, seeing so many people coming to join him, 
Black Lord and his men were so pleased that they couldn't close their mouths. Ha ha, money makes the world go round. These people are so impressive, but in the end, it's all for money, right? I'll make you do whatever I want. Black Lord laughed heartily. This time we can say we have gained a lot of strength. The cannon also flattered. Now that these forces belong to Black Lord, naturally his power was the strongest. Relying on these people from the Maple Forest Martial Arts Gym, it was possible to dominate Gautan. Black Lord was also very proud, of course. Ha ha ha, let's see what that grandson has to compete with me. I will teach him a lesson this time. Gather everyone in the afternoon, attack all of Long San's territories. Declare war on the Yen Luo Gang. Complete chaos. The underground world of Gautnan City was like a powder keg ignited. Various industries such as KTVs, bars, bath centers, etc., had been greatly impacted. Not to mention the many underground gambling dens, game halls, and the like, all under attack. Long San's influence in Gauten is not small, with many businesses under his name, not to mention some gangs that recently surrendered, adding up to countless numbers. Therefore, the resulting impact can be imagined. Overnight, everyone in Gauten City felt insecure, even legitimate businessmen and wealthy individuals were afraid of being affected. They dared not go out casually. Long San was still feeling proud, thinking that after that night's battle, he could take control of all the gangs and rise with the boss. Who knew that today, these people would dare to declare war directly? What are they up to? Long San was a bit confused, but he couldn't think too much. He quickly organized his men and prepared for battle. Unfortunately, Long San's men were no match for those disciples trained by Yang Chen. These people were like tigers and leopards, leaving no grass wherever they went. No matter where they were sent, they easily took down their opponents. In less than a day, nearly one-third of Gautun's underground industry had fallen into Blackia's hands. Impressive, these youngsters from Fonglin Martial Arts School are really something, Blackie said with satisfaction. He was feeling extremely pleased at the moment. Through Yang Chen's sudden appearance, people in the underworld now supported Black Yi. Some even wanted to support him as the boss of Gao Tan. Taking advantage of this counterattack, he expanded his territory significantly. This is what they call turning a disaster into a blessing. How are the forces of the Yen Luo gang doing? Boss, as per your orders, we have taken down all that needed to be taken down. The leaders of those small gangs who surrendered to the Yen Luo gang have also been captured. They are currently being beaten up over there. His subordinate reported respectfully. Very good. What about Long San? It should be happening soon. Not long after, Long San was indeed captured. His seahorse nightclub was also raided. Long San's men were taken down by the opponents in minutes. Long San, thought you were tough? How come you ended up here with me? In the Janghu bar, Blackie sneered as he slapped Long San's face, feeling triumphant. You guys are looking for death. I gave you a chance to follow my big brother, but you didn't cherish it, right? Long San gritted his teeth. Still dare to act tough? Do you really think you have a powerful big brother? Let me tell you, your big brother is already finished. Kneel down. Blackie shouted sternly. Several people came from behind and immediately held Long San down, making him kneel on the ground in a sorry state. Long San was a bit scared by his actions. Black Yi, do you really dare to touch me? Aren't you afraid of my big brother? Black Yi went up and gave him a few slaps. While scolding, he said, your big brother is nothing but a piece of shit, look at the people behind me. He clapped his hands, and fifty to sixty people came out from behind all wearing white coats, all disciples of Fonglin Martial Arts School. Long San was dumbfounded. You, you guys actually? Long San couldn't believe it. These people actually used such underhanded tactics? Undermining their own people? Didn't expect that, huh? Huh, thought your big brother was so great, huh? He can't even control his own people. Long San was starting to panic. This guy actually brought so many people, probably more than half of Fonglin Martial Arts School's disciples came over. 
Now, I'll give you three minutes, call your so-called big brother for me. Blackie said arrogantly. He couldn't wait to teach that arrogant guy a lesson. But upon hearing Black Ye's words, Long San secretly smirked. You said it, don't regret it. Long San thought to himself, these people were still too naive. Thinking their boss had such abilities? He had witnessed Yang Chen's terrifying strength countless times, these people just saw the tip of the iceberg and thought Yang Chen was so capable? These people are completely wrong. After receiving a call from Long San, Yang Chen arrived shortly after. As soon as he arrived, he saw Long San being tied up on the ground, kneeling and getting slapped. He was too arrogant yesterday, and these people were all unhappy, so today they took the opportunity to beat him up one by one. They beat Long San until he was unrecognizable. Yang Chen didn't feel much about the humiliation of this thug, but if he used this to provoke himself, that would be bad. Big brother. Big brother, please save me, big brother. Long San had almost lost half his life from the beating, and as soon as Yang Chen appeared, he started howling. Everyone looked at Yang Chen. Blackie smirked and said in a deep voice, Kid, you really dare to come? How many lives do you have? You didn't even bring anyone? Bring someone? Overestimating yourself, huh? What, you think you have the strength to challenge me after snatching a few useless guys from me? Yang Chen looked disdainfully at the few people. In front of him, feeling like laughing. Still acting tough? Make him kneel down before talking. Black Yi was furious, gritting his teeth. But after his command, none of the martial arts disciples moved. Fear was evident in their eyes. After all, the person in front of them was the big shot who had trained them all. What, spent so much money, and you still can't get them to move? Black Yi was annoyed. He had spent nearly 8 million to recruit them. This amount of money was astronomical for them. But even after Black Yi spoke, no one dared to move. These people were not fools, they were well aware of Yang Chen's strength. They still vividly remembered the scene when Yang Chen entered the arena to challenge them. Even if they all teamed up, they wouldn't stand a chance against him. Before they came, they had no idea their employer intended to make them confront this big shot. If they had known beforehand, they wouldn't have agreed to work for these people in the first place. Not for 8 million, not even for 8 billion. Sorry, your money is not enough to make us risk our lives. Finally, one of the martial arts disciples spoke coldly to Black Yi. Black Yi was a bit stunned. You, really dare not listen to me? Don't forget, you are the dogs I hired. This was the first time he had paid to hire people, and they were not under his control. If a dog couldn't be restrained, it could bite him at any time. But these people completely ignored his intentions and didn't move. Since you have betrayed the martial arts school, shouldn't you take off these clothes? Still want to use the name of the martial arts school? At this point, Yang Chen spoke. His voice was extremely cold. The martial arts disciples became nervous. Under Yang Chen's authority, they subconsciously felt fear. Master of the school. Please forgive our audacity to actually work for this trash. We have no intention of opposing you. The disciples suddenly knelt in a row, bowing to Yang Chen in unison to apologize. This scene stunned everyone. This guy was so highly regarded by them? Eight million wasn't enough to buy them? Don't call me the master of the school anymore. You have betrayed the martial arts school for a little money. Although I won't blame you, you are no longer part of the martial arts school. Take off your clothes and leave. Yang Chen said coldly. Thank you for your forgiveness, sir. Thank you for your forgiveness. The disciples gratefully took off their martial arts uniforms and left the bar. Black Yi and his group were completely dumbfounded. They had spent millions to recruit people, but it was still useless. They still didn't dare to resist Yang Chen? What a bunch of useless people. Grinding their teeth, they also looked at Yang Chen with a bit of fear. They couldn't quite figure out this person. As Yang Chen approached them step by step, the aura of dominance, both hidden and visible, made everyone present feel it clearly. They couldn't help but want to shrink back. 
Black Hawk Gang, right? I said Xiao Hei, you really helped me a lot, directly helping me to secure one third of the underground resources. How should I thank you? Yang Chen said with a playful tone. The sarcasm in his words was evident. Hei Yi gritted his teeth and glared at him fiercely. Don't think that cultivating a few disciples from martial arts schools makes you powerful. The underground world of Gao Tan is not as simple as you think. Hei Yi said defiantly. All right, I'd like to see what you're capable of. I'll give you a few more days to continue expanding your influence, no need to rush. Let me see how big you can really grow. Yang Chen said disdainfully. After speaking, he took the half-dead Long San and left Hei Ye's territory. Boss, we can't let them go. This group of people will definitely find a way to deal with us when they gather together. Long San said anxiously as soon as they left. He couldn't understand why his boss didn't take the opportunity to take down these gangs in one go. Those people just now were already intimidated. Long San, since you're with me, you'd better broaden your horizons. You can't achieve much with a narrow vision, Yang Chen said lightly. Are you saying? Long San was a bit puzzled. Give him some time and opportunity to expand his power. When the time comes, we can take him down without wasting energy dealing with those small fries, Yang Chen said nonchalantly. Long San finally understood. The boss is very confident. He intends to let Hei Yi expand to the extreme, devour all the small gangs, and then deal with him. This is the most efficient way. He is determined to take over the entire underground world, and he is not joking at all. When Yi Mingshan and Yi Wenqing returned home from work today, they immediately nervously rushed into the house, locked the door, and quickly closed the windows. They kept peeking out from the window crack, and any movement outside would scare them. Yi Mingshan, what are you doing? Why lock the door and windows? Hao Hongqin looked at them puzzled and confused. Keep your voice down. It's not safe outside today. Don't you know? The gangs on the streets are in a big fight, chaos everywhere. What if we get involved when we go out? Yi Mingshan said nervously. He was really scared. This old man values his life more than anyone else. Today, the entire city of Gao Tan is in turmoil, scaring the wealthy like him to death, afraid of being affected. Those people in the underground circles are all reckless lunatics. He and Yi Wenqing saw with their own eyes today how a KTV near the company with a background in the underground circle was smashed and looted by a group of people. It was like dealing with bandits. They were scared to death. Even Yi Wenqing was nervous, wishing to hide under the table. Although this girl is usually bold, she becomes timid when faced with such situations. Seeing them like this, Yang Chen shook his head helplessly and said, It's over. You can come out from under the table now. Yang Chen felt a bit disdainful. Yi Mingshan, as a man, showed no courage and acted cowardly in such situations. It's over? Yang Chen, do you? Know what happened? Yi Mingshan looked at him in surprise. Believe it or not. Yang Chen couldn't be bothered to deal with him and didn't bother to explain. But he found it amusing in his heart that the minor incident he was involved in had caused such a big impact. These so called upper class people really showed their true colors. Glancing at the time, he suddenly felt puzzled it's late, why hasn't Chi Yu returned yet? Hearing this, Hao Hongqin sneered and said, Ha, that little slut, she probably ran away, right? I knew she wasn't a good person. Better check if anything is missing at home. Hao Hongqin was still upset about this morning's incident. She was deliberately scolding Li Qiyu for Yang Chen to hear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm late. Brother Yang Chen, you can deduct my salary. At this moment, the door suddenly opened, and Li Qiyu returned. She looked disheveled, and her clothes were a bit dirty the Yi family immediately showed a look of disdain. I mean, how dare you come to our villa like this? Do you know you're dirtying the air in our house? Hao Hongqin said disdainfully. Exactly, looks like she crawled out of a garbage dump. Disgusting. Yi Wenqing echoed. The whole family had no sympathy at all. It's okay, Chiyue, I won't deduct your salary, just clean yourself up. 
Yang Chen ignored them and said softly to Li Qiyue. Li Qiyue thanked Yang Chen and quickly went into the bathroom. Mom, why did you bring such a dirty person into our house? Is she worthy of our family? Li Wenqing asked with great disdain. Well, she's not under my control now, she's hired by someone else. Hao Hongqin said sarcastically. Yang Chen coldly said, if you can't stand it, you can move out of this house, no one is asking you to stay here. This made Ji Wenqing and the others silent. The anger towards Yang Chen in their hearts deepened. Later, out of concern, Yang Chen asked about Li Qiyue's situation, only to find out that she had walked back on foot because she missed the bus after finishing work for her father at the construction site in the afternoon. That's why she arrived so late. He couldn't blame this girl at all, instead, he only felt sorry for her. She was too strong, too resilient. Yang Chen made up his mind to protect her well and treat her like his own sister. Yang Chen's medicinal herbs finally arrived. From a snowy mountain in a certain country, transported through layers of manpower and resources, even using a special plane. A team of people escorted it. Yang Chen's treatment finally began, after preparing and boiling the herbs, he gave it to Yi Xu Erong to take. This medicine needs to be taken for three days to take effect, dear, bear with it. It might be very bitter. Yang Chen said. Yi Xu Erong tried hard to swallow it, but she smiled sweetly, it's not that bad, I can drink it. She knew that this medicine was prepared by her husband after a lot of effort, even if she didn't know if it would work, she still had to cooperate with him. Whatever Yang Chen gave her, she would eat it with complete trust. Such trust was touching. By the way, dear, I've been feeling bored at home these days, can you take me out for a walk? Yi Xu Erong suddenly suggested. Sure, no problem. Yang Chen immediately agreed. In the afternoon, Yang Chen took Yi Xu Erong to a mountain in the suburbs of the city, where the scenery was beautiful and the air was fresh, perfect for an outing. He took Yi Xu Erong here to relax, even though she couldn't see it, breathing fresh air was good for her. They had been together for so long and he had never found the opportunity to take Yi Xu Erong out. Finally, when he took her out, she couldn't see. Yang Chen felt very guilty. Dear, I want to eat ice cream. While resting in a pavilion, Yi Xu Erong said coquettishly, Aren't you feeling cold? I want to eat. Okay, I'll go buy it for you. You sit here and wait for me. Yang Chen said indulgently, getting up and walking towards a nearby ice cream stand. Yi Xu Erong waited alone on the bench in the pavilion. At this moment, several well-dressed men and women walked by, chatting and laughing. There were many tourists on this mountain, so Yi Xu Erong didn't pay much attention. However, when they saw Yi Xu Erong, they stopped in their tracks. Is that her? Yi Xu Erong? Oh, it really is her. What is she doing here? The few people recognized her immediately. These people were Yi Xu Erong's high school classmates. They used to be a small group back then. The leading girl, Zhang Yu, was a famous female bully in school. Coming from a wealthy and influential family, her status in society was extraordinary. During their student days, she had always been jealous of Yi Xu Erong's beauty, so openly or secretly, she had caused her a lot of trouble. What made her most angry was that the boys she liked were all writing love letters to Yi Xu Erong, at that time, because of Yang Chen's protection, Zhang Yu didn't dare to be too arrogant towards her. Upon hearing this voice, Yi Xu Erong was also stunned. Zhang Yu, is that you? she tentatively asked. She had recognized the voice of her former classmate, but she thought that after so many years, the grievances should have been resolved. He he, can you still recognize the voice of this old lady? Zhang Yu sneered. Yu Jia, you don't know yet, this Yi Xu Erong is blind. Ha ha. What? It's karma. This is retribution. Zhang Yu immediately said triumphantly. Back then, wasn't Yi Xu Erong very arrogant, flirting with men everywhere, and now she looks like this? Ha ha ha. They were all very happy. Yi Xu Erong listened with great anger. Why did they slander her like this? After so many years, have these people not changed at all? Make her kneel. Yes, make her kneel down and kowtow to apologize for what happened back then. 
Several people clamored. Saying that, several men went over and dragged her up. Yi Shuerong was very scared, let go of me, let go of me. She felt extremely helpless. But how could she resist these people? After being held down, she was slapped hard on the face, the sound of the slap crisp and loud. Dare to resist? Do you know what consequences you'll face? For provoking me? Zhang Yu said arrogantly. Yi Shuerong's head was spinning from the beating, she couldn't resist anymore. At this moment, Yang Chen finished queuing and finally bought two ice creams. He happily walked back, planning to give one to Yi Shuerong. Before he reached the pavilion, he saw this scene from afar. The ice cream in his hand fell to the ground. His eyes almost shot flames. His wife, being humiliated like this. And in front of so many people. She was the love of his life, a treasure he wouldn't even hurt a hair on. But now, she was being slapped like this in front of everyone. Yang Chen walked over step by step. Oh, I know this guy. Could he be her husband? The women saw Yang Chen appear and stopped, looking at him one after another. I heard he's a son-in-law, now living off Yi Shuerong's family? Ha ha. Yi Shuerong married such a useless man, they really match. They laughed heartily. Hey, kneel down and count out to us, then we'll let your wife go, how about that? The eldest sister Zhang Yu looked at Yang Chen and mocked. Yang Chen didn't want to say another word. He didn't want to make another move. His head was buzzing, finding it hard to calm down. For the first time in two years, his patience had reached its limit. Slowly, he took out his phone from his pocket and pressed a button. Activate level 1 support for me. Yang Chen said just that. When those people heard it, they were stunned. Then, they burst into laughter. They didn't take Yang Chen's words seriously at all, instead thinking he was crazy. They mocked him one after another, is this guy crazy? What level 1 support? Does he think he's a general? Special forces? They mocked Yang Chen without realizing the truth. Level 1 support was not just any special forces. It was the special forces within the special forces. In less than five minutes, the sky suddenly began to roar. The roaring sound shook the sky, their ears ringing. The people on the ground looked up in disbelief at this scene before them, what was happening? Growing up, they had never seen a fighter jet, let alone so many of them. A total of eight planes. Soon, the planes landed one after another. The doors opened. From the planes, hundreds of elite soldiers in full gear descended, exuding a fierce aura. The soldiers knelt before Yang Chen, respectfully saying in unison, Tiger Wolf Team assembled. Waiting for instructions, sir. This shocking scene almost made the men and women on the ground faint. They shivered all over, trembling, these dogs that usually bark loudly, thought they were bullying a weak cat, but in fact, they have provoked a lion. What will happen to the dogs who have angered the lion? They will end up as dog meat. Take my wife aside, and then seal off this place. Yang Chen ordered coldly. Yes. The warriors immediately sealed off the area, blocking all the roads. Several men and women started sweating profusely, trembling. Disaster was imminent. They only understood these few words. They had provoked not an ordinary local bully, nor an ordinary wealthy person. He was a man who could summon eight fighter jets and hundreds of elite soldiers with just a phone call. Despite living for so long, they had never seen such a scene before. Make them kneel down first. Yang Chen commanded. Hundreds of gun barrels aimed at those men and women. With a shiver, they immediately knelt down. Before you die, I will let you witness this scene, so that you won't have lived in vain. Yang Chen said. Those men and women were no longer concerned about anything else, only begging for mercy while kowtowing. They couldn't even speak a word. The ground was filled with a stench. These people, all wet themselves. Especially Zhang Yu, who was trembling, she was just the daughter of a prominent local family, well aware of her family background, which was nothing compared to the terrifying scene before her. Yang Chen didn't want to dirty his hands with these filthy worms. 
Why would you bully my wife, who is so kind and innocent? You scum, tell me, how do you want to die? I will grant your wish. Yang Chen's voice was as cold as ice, filled with endless anger. But those people couldn't speak anymore, they were trembling so much that they couldn't even open their mouths, just bowing their heads. Their minds were blank. They were almost scared out of their minds. Let them kneel here for three days and nights, then throw this trash down from the mountain. Yang Chen, feeling disgusted, finally gave the order. The men and women could only accept Yang Chen's decision, knowing they were already condemned to death, with no hope of survival. After punishing this trash, Yang Chen walked over to help Yi Shu Erong and boarded the helicopter. The fighter jets directly took them home. Rong Rong, how are you? Yang Chen looked at his wife with some concern and asked. The swollen marks on her face made him angry, wishing he could tear those scumbags into pieces a hundred times over. Honey, I'm fine. What just happened? What's going on? Yi Shu Erong asked anxiously. She knew that Yang Chen seemed to have dealt with those who bullied her classmates, but she didn't know what he had done exactly, only that it was a big commotion. It seemed like a lot of people had come. She even heard something about a tiger wolf team. It's okay, Rong Rong, those people have been punished, they won't dare to bully you again. Yang Chen said softly. Looking at his wife's still slightly swollen cheeks, he felt heartbroken. But, what did you do? You didn't do anything to them, did you? Yi Shu Erong was worried, as the families of those classmates had power and influence, she was afraid that if Yang Chen used force, it would cause trouble. No, just a few comrades happened to be playing on the mountain and they helped me subdue those people. Don't worry, everything is fine now. Yang Chen reassured her. Yi Shu Erong was half believing, and asked again, where are we now? Why is it so noisy? The helicopter's rotor was roaring, making it very noisy. They had to raise their voices to talk. Yang Chen quickly replied, We are sitting on a tractor right now, the driver is. Giving us a ride down the mountain. Tractors are just naturally noisy. The driver in front was speechless. His boss was really good at joking around. The helicopter flew over the entire Gotten City, and finally, slowly flew into the Nanshan Villa area which had its own private helipad, no one has stopped here for many years. The location of the heliport is actually behind Villa S. So, this commotion alarmed someone in the house. At that time, Hao Hongqin and Yi Mingshan were both out, leaving only Yi Wenching at home. She heard the roar of the helicopter and was surprised by the noise, so she immediately ran out to sea. The scene before her was shocking. A military helicopter, actually parked there? Has a high-ranking officer from some military unit come over? But that wasn't the most shocking thing for her. Because right after that, she saw the person coming down from the plane, it was actually, her own sister, Yi Shu Erong? And Yang Chen? This, how is this possible? She was simply dumbfounded. What left her dumbfounded the most was that after Yang Chen came down, the people on the plane actually bowed respectfully to him. Their attitude contained too much respect. What on earth is going on? Could it be that? Yang Chen's identity is not that simple? Yi Wenching was deeply shocked. She didn't tell anyone about this matter and temporarily kept this secret to herself. She planned to quietly explore it on her own. The Zhang Yu family, as well as several influential classmates' families, were all wiped out. Without even a chance to say hello, they were uprooted overnight, and there was no news from several families overnight. Of course, Yi Shu Erong would not know about this. Then, two more days passed, and after using Yang Chen's medicine for three days, Yi Shu Erong finally regained her sight. Oh my god, I can see. Yi Shu Erong was overjoyed. The taste of losing sight was really unbearable, so she was so happy and excited at this moment. However, only she and Yang Chen were happy, none of the Yi family members had a good look on their faces, all looking stiff. They didn't want to see the scene. But they had to pretend to be happy, great. It's good that you're better. They couldn't understand it. Where did Yang Chen get the ability? He actually cured Yi Shu Arong? This shocked them deeply. Brother Yang Chen, 
How did you learn medical skills? After calming down, Yi Shuerong couldn't help but ask Yang Chen. At first, she only cooperated with his treatment to make Yang Chen happy. She had actually prepared herself mentally to never see again. Diseases that even doctors couldn't cure, who else could do it? But Yang Chen really did it. And it only took a few days. Yang Chen smiled and explained to her, I self-studied some traditional Chinese medicine when I was young. And these days, I looked up a lot of information and found many remedies. So I kept trying, and it worked. Maybe it's also because you are blessed by heaven. Yang Chen was known as a medical god in the Northern Territory, so this was a piece of cake for him. The reason he used those precious medicinal materials was that in his heart, Yi Shuerong's position was too important, so only those medicines could match her. Ha, dumb luck. The Yi family members were very disdainful and secretly cursed. They didn't believe that Yang Chen had any medical skills and thought that the remedies he found online just happened to work. But Yi Shuerong simply didn't believe Yang Chen's words. How could such a lucky thing happen? Time and time again, things told her that Yang Chen was really extraordinary. With so many skills, he had been hiding for two years. This time she deeply believed that there must be more secrets she hadn't discovered about Yang Chen. Brother Zhao, I have good news. That day, Zheng Da came early in the morning to find Zhao Wen, looking excited. Zhao Wen had long been discouraged, completely defeated by Yang Chen. He was now busy transferring assets, and when he heard Zheng Da's words, he didn't have much spirit. What good news? At this time, what good news could there be? Brother Zhao, I found someone to deal with Yang Chen. Isn't that good news? Zheng Da said with a happy expression. What? Is there really someone who can deal with him? Who did you find? Zhao Wen was initially happy, but when he thought that the two people he had brought in succession were easily defeated by Yang Chen, he was not so trusting of Zheng Dao. Rest assured, the person we found this time will definitely take care of him. Seeing Zhao Wen's doubt, Zheng Dao said confidently. Do you know which organization the assassin who was taken out by Yang Chen last time belonged to? The Black Blade Society. Now the people of the Black Blade Society are everywhere trying to find out who killed their most capable warrior, and they swear to seek revenge. Really? Absolutely true. If we surrender to them now, isn't this an opportunity? Upon hearing this, Zhao Wen's mind started to churn. He had heard a lot about the reputation of the Black Blade Society, a terrifying underground organization with a formidable presence in the North. Whether it was their financial power or the grey industries they controlled, everything was immense. They had numerous renowned assassins under their command, striking fear in the underground world. If they could get the people of the Black Blade Society to deal with Yang Chen, wouldn't it be as easy as pie? Instead of letting Yang Chen devour all our assets, why not take our money and seek refuge with the Black Blade Society, preparing for a final showdown? They have no leads on us yet, so if we go assist them, wouldn't it be perfect? Zheng Dao continued to persuade. After pondering for a moment, Zhao Wen found Zheng Dao's words quite reasonable. All right, this time we'll confront him head on. Even if this Yang Chin is strong, can't the Black Blade Society handle him? This time, it was their last chance. They plan to unleash all their power as the two emperors of Gautan to confront Yang Chin properly. After her eyes had recovered, Yi Shuerong was eager to get back to work. She immediately returned to the company to resume her duties. The North City project also needed to resume. However, something unexpected happened. Yi Mingshan called for an emergency high-level meeting to announce some important news. The company's funding chain had been broken. In other words, the Yi family had run out of money for the project. The North City project was the most critical project for the Yi group, and without money, it would be a complete disaster. Lin Lin, talk to Ching Yang and see if he can use his connections to secure a loan, Yi Mingshan quickly asked. With the company short on funds, borrowing from a bank was not easy, as many companies were lining up to borrow money, and not everyone could get a loan. At this point, having connections became crucial, as it made things easier. Dad, getting a loan isn't that easy especially in this market. You know that. Besides, 
I don't even have control over this project, so how can I talk to him? Yi Lin Lin's series of responses left Yi Ming Shan speechless. Although Yi Lin Lin was the general manager of the company, she showed no sense of responsibility and didn't take the family matters seriously. If it didn't benefit her, why would she bother? Lin Lin, if we lose the project, the company will go bankrupt, don't you understand that? Yi Ming Shan said angrily. He was fed up and spoke bluntly. Dad, let me think of a solution. I'll talk to the bank, Yi Shuarong quickly interjected. All right, go talk to them. If it doesn't work out, we'll have to change the project, no other choice, Yi Mingshan said. Yi Shuarong was somewhat surprised by her father's words. How could he be thinking of changing the project at a time like this? She felt a bit disheartened. But for the sake of the family, she decided to put aside these petty grievances for now. She was selfless, but not everyone was the same. Some people were not only selfish but also despicable. As soon as Yi Lin Lin returned home, she eagerly hugged Fan Xing Yang and said, Honey, I have good news for you. What good news? Fan Xing Yang asked eagerly. Our family company is facing an economic crisis, running out of funds. Our opportunity has arrived. What, really? Fan Xing Yang's eyes lit up. The reason why the two of them were happy about such a situation was not without cause. The marriage between the Fan and Yi families was originally a huge conspiracy. The Fan family's goal was to find an opportunity to devour the Yi family, so that's why they agreed to this marriage. In fact, they never really respected this small family. And this conspiracy was planned by Yi Lin Lin and Fan Xing Yang. They colluded with each other. When the time comes to bring the Yi family under the Fan family's control, they will kick them all out and let Yi Lin Lin take charge of the Yi family. So, when the Yi family encountered a financial crisis this time, it was the moment when the Fan family entered the scene. As long as the Yi family cannot find funding in time, they will be in danger, even facing bankruptcy. At that time, seizing the opportunity to acquire them wouldn't be difficult, right? Both of them thought about these things and were secretly excited. Yi Lin Lin even felt that she was already halfway to the position of the president. That old thing should have handed over the family business to her a long time ago. Yi Shuaron was also a little worried facing the huge financial gap. The amount needed at home is not small. Continuing to maintain the project will require millions. Even the company's market value is not that high. Darling, what are you worried about? The family is facing closure, our financial chain is broken. Yi Shuarong spoke frankly. Although she felt that telling Yang Chen these things was useless. Try getting a bank loan, with this project, it shouldn't be difficult, give it a try. Yi Shuarong shook her head, it's not that simple. I've tried several banks, but it didn't work, they said our family's qualifications are not enough. Yang Chen thought for a moment and said, try again, wife, in case there's an opportunity. Yang Chen advised. Yang Chen knew that he couldn't let the Yi family collapse directly, his wife wouldn't accept that. She would be very sad. Besides, it's not yet time for her to take over the Mu Rong group, so she has to wait a little longer. After leaving Yi Shu Erong, he immediately made a phone call, my wife is planning to borrow some money recently, let the people at Gauten Bank handle it themselves. In the afternoon, Yi Shu Erong prepared to continue negotiating with the banks. She had already visited half of the banks in Gautan City, none of them had agreed, and she was already feeling disheartened. Originally, she was holding on to a glimmer of hope to continue trying, anyway, there was no other way. But in the afternoon, she received a phone call. Miss Yi, hello? I heard you want a loan? Um, how did you know? Oh, our bank is well informed, let's do this, come to our place to sign. How much loan do you need? I probably need around 60 million. Yi Shu Erong said nervously. Ah, that's too little. Let's prepare a billion for you, would that be enough? The other party immediately said.